like the platform and the experience, right? That's okay, true. that's true. I've restarted the recording, so now the re-upload won't have Lincoln Park in it. <laughs> like, Stellar. <laughs> I feel like it might get hit with copyright for that. Maybe. Were you just like casually listening to that in the background before the stream started? Well, I'd had it on for the past like hours, just an album, and and then I forgot that it was on. You know, because you just kind of <laughs> just blends in with you. Album. <laughs> album. It happens. Well, uh, hey, um, I'm gonna use the loo real quick. I'll be right back. <laughs> Right at the start. I thought you went like okay. an hour ago. Yeah, all right. Get going. <laughs> no, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just confused. I'm, yeah, I'm real confused. That one was before, status, as but... he says. Yeah, yes. Okay. I mean, yeah, I guess so, but <laughs> I don't know. Oh. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to EFAP, y'all! Yeah. I'm, I'm just glad we're all started. <laughs> we're all here. It's going to be great. Settle in, folks. We're in for a long night. Uh, we got people saying, like, oh, you're going to spoil Joker 2. This is, I uh, would have thought you could tell from the title, what? not about Joker 2. <laughs> like, this is... <laughs> <laughs> and I think... not... <laughs> Wait, I don't think anyone here has seen it yet, right? Uh, no. I don't yeah. think nope. so, no. Nope. I mean, it, it came out for me today, and I I'm say, I can't obviously see it here, so I haven't seen it. Isn't it, isn't it out in two days? Well, apparently like, it's out tomorrow tomorrow here. It got some, some early... Oh, did America get it early or something? I don't know. Maybe. Uh, I mean, I IGN saw it like a actually. month ago, apparently. Well, yeah, I think it was at a film festival, right? Like yeah. Venice or something? Mm -hmm. Let me see. And then along came Zeus. Everything about Joker 2. <laughs> okay. Yep. Stream September 4th or, it came yeah, out. Uh, one month ago. <laughs> and screenings in selected <laughs> cities. Well, la-dee-da. Leash yeah, but, uh, mm. hey, look, all right, we we got to play Star Wars Outlaws, you know, so that's <laughs> fuck yeah. Yeah. Yay. my so favorite who are the game. Losers here, not us. Who won? Truly, <laughs> See, there, there's more hours in Star Wars Outlaws than in one movie. So, thank yeah, you. I guess so. Yes. so yeah, a real positive more outlook. Fun. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> Well, uh, why don't we get started with a wonderful, wonderful announcement that many may yeah. not even be aware of. Oh. And I'm not even, it doesn't require any of us to say anything because it's been pre-built through effort, <laughs> artistic in, in flegrity, and, and that's going to be relevant later or whatever. Also, Das is here and he helped edit this video, so haha. -ha. Oh, hello. It was hello. fun. All right, I'm just going to play it, so... You're all in, I think, anyway, right? Oh, one of I'm one of you in. is missing. Disgusting. I'm in like Donkey Kong. Who is, is that in? a saying? It's probably me who's not in. Give me a wow. second. Wow. I, so. I think that's what they say. Give, give me give me just a minute. Yeah, I gotta useless, do something. Pathetic, I annoying, be. talking donkey. <laughs> donkey. You know, do you guys see this picture of cats versus dogs on the watch together? Yes. No. That woman? Do you not see that? Oh, okay. Yeah, I see this it. I see it. Okay. Because it looks like um, it looks like the woman who's enjoying whatever it is she's looking at. It kind of looks like she has a mustache, but it's like it's oh, it's, it's I see what you're talking about. Sorry, oh. kind of off to the side, you know, and like it fell off. Like she got out of bed, like she slept with it on, and it got you know it, it gets jostled around. She's getting in the way of um, our usual, the big bunny. Big bunny. Yeah. Oh, the yeah. Trump's bunny. It's true, we haven't seen that guy in a while. Big buck mm. bunny. Yeah. Terrible. I'll call you. Oh my goodness, okay. Holy shit, that was scary. Oh, collide me. Sorry, guys. Fuck. It's scary time. It's Halloween. <laughs> okay, Yay. here we go. I'm going to play it now. <laughs> I have okay. my Grab your blankie. Do don't be, don't Do be scared. It. I got it. Here it comes. Yeah, my... right. <laughs> it's the spookiest time of year, and what's Looks more suitable than EFAP <laughs> celebrating with a brand new set True. of terrifying plushies? Introducing the EFAP Halloween plushie set. Starting with Mauler the Longpire, a terrifying monster of bloodthirst and long. This cuddly beast is both infamous and primal in his desire to drain the very soul from the world of media. And he's coming for you. But he's not alone. How could the long pyre be complete without his trusty doggo? Ragzolantern! Poised charmingly in his pumpkin, your Ragzolantern will be there to offer his support and encouragement and sarcastic commentary to all your endeavors. This gourd-adorned Shiba Inu will give your pumpkin patch a pantalooned pooch's worth of company, and of course, both of these fine fiendish fellows are joined by yet another. 
Though his eyes may have all the seeming of a demon's that is dreaming, Fringy the Raven will gladly okay. perch atop your couch, oh. cuddly and at the ready. This Corvid ventures nowhere without his scythe, and he's more than ready to slash his way through all obstacles. But not without the final member of this cutthroat cohort. Hear the bell as it strikes the hour of the wolf. When the midnight sky is red, a beast shall emerge from the forest to plunder your local pizza parlor. Behold, the dreaded werewolf, complete with the sunken eyes of a beast who avoids the searing heat of the sun, carrying with him a slice of his latest victim. Oh, this oh, legend of the night will surely be a fantastic addition to this crew of dark demons and pumpkin playmates. But that's not all, no sir. Have you ever left home only to worry you're leaving the members of your favorite podcast behind? Do you despair when Mauler's commentary, Fringy's laughs, Wolf's fury, or Rags's puns aren't around anymore? Well, anguish no longer. Now you can stay warm and cozy during those chilly autumn days while constantly explaining to everyone that no, it's, it's not electronic fapping, I swear. Introducing the official Every Frame a Pause Halloween hoodie. Perfect for lounging around indoors, God, shopping, hug, long guy. walks on the pier, <laughs> weddings, baby showers, funerals, <laughs> Halloween. Christmas, complete with the expected Yay. furnishings of the season, as well as some gorgeous artwork by Black Soul Odin. The EFAP hoodie is ready to keep you warm and comfy through those winter months. There may even be a surprise guest on the bag. Ooh, Pick jelly. up yours today, yeah. because once jelly, the campaign ends, it'll be gone for good. And don't forget, Maul of the Longpire, Rags o' Lantern, Fringy the Raven, and Werewolf. Completing the EFAP Halloween set. For every item you pick up together, the discount will increase. Be sure about what you'd like before it's too late, as the spooky season will not last forever. Find them all at makeship.com forward slash shop forward slash EFAP. All links can be found in the description. Thank you all so much for watching and supporting the show. We will see you next time. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> That's pretty Yo, fun. We got They're adorable. Merch. Wonderful. You might those even those look so good. What a great look! Yeah. Really I'd good. Give a round of applause if Mike, Mike would pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> well, what if you if you talk and then you do it? Will it be in the background? Uh, I don't. I don't think so. I don't. You don't think uh, so? No. no. All right. Oh wow. Just tried it. Didn't work. All right. Think. Damn. Shit. And then, because well, I'm so clever, those look great. I just realized well, I don't have a, dis a link to them in the description. <laughs> oh, no! Can you put them in now? Oops. What do you mean, can I put them in now? I'm not literally typing things and clicking Liar. things to make that happen. Consulting with sinister narrative. Okay, I believe like, you there. You mean the link is in the description. <laughs> it was a really neat tune in that trailer. You know? it, was, uh, mm. it was. Yeah, that was catchy. really great. It's I love that. One. It, it, it was well appropriately spooky. It's so funny, people being like, oh, gee, I'll grab one of them. How? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's in the what? It's like when I'm playing a game and I know what I want to do, but I don't know what the button is. What are the fucking after. rules of this game? I'm just standing game. there like a fool. Like, what, what, what do I... I uh... But yes, makeship.com forward slash shop forward slash efab is honestly a very simple URL surprisingly like uh, mm. to get That's into nice. the team That's of five here. Nice helpful storefront that just shows you all of them right there. Oh, a spooky right. variants. And finally, a piece of clothing that relates to efab. Can you believe it? Whoa. Yeah, it's I only been a... seven years. <laughs> if only yeah, rags can, uh... would wear clothes. I, 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 years. ironically, I'm the one who had to wear this one to, to, to test it out. Cause yeah, oh. they, they sent me the one <laughs> to Way test to sell it. it. It's, it's actually kind of nice. <laughs> I like it. It's good in person. It's soft. It fits well. The hood is snug, but not like constricting. It's really nice. It was not a good initial sales pitch, though. It's like, I had to wear it, and it was actually <laughs> kind of nice. Was the thing is, was I forget. Was what was the done point? It was like a process of elimination. I'm... It was like, because I, was it that me and Free don't typically wear hoodies? We can't be like a, a judge of it's exactly It's because I live in America. Uh, or was it that too? Well, because, to be it fair. Was because... They no, no, we, we, like we literally days. just, I said, I, I don't really wear hoodies, so, like, I, I don't know how it fares if I was to wear well, it, it versus other hoodies. Well, that's not the reason, because I don't wear clothes ever.
but I'm still the one who had to test it. It was probably the America thing. Uh huh. America. That was probably that it. was probably the reason we discussed. You're it wearing is, a pumpkin right nice now. Hoodie. No, I'm gourd adorned. True. The guy did say that in the video. Look at this set. Look at how great this set is. Look at how <laughs> it fun looks so it is. good. It's really, really great. fun and charming. They've turned out very, very well. And I'm sure I would never. Agree. They look. They I would look never. Great. Yeah, I'd not. Sac I would never sacrifice my integrity or anything to to prop up these products. Oh, I'm just. Like, I am biased, but like, theme. holy, like these guys, like guys, these these look really good. Makeshift, 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 <laughs> makeshift. Ma our lords, our overlords at makeshift did a really good job oh. with these. They look really excellent. Hey Theo, you recognize what I'm holding? I don't. I'm sorry. Wow. Fake fan. Am I a fake I fan? Yeah, I'm a fake you're fan, aren't fake I? Fan. I can't see. Yes. No, Rags, you wouldn't recognize it. Uh, you no wouldn't one, know. Metal I wouldn't. will be the judge of that. You won't know. Not only would you not, I wouldn't want you to figure out how to... Yeah, exactly. ...what it is. <laughs> Technically, it's a spoiler. <laughs> what, That's is it okay. something about Buffy? Correct. So Theo's See? a bad person I, now. I recognized oh, it. Right. Yeah, but you recognized yeah, okay. it with all the context clues. That's that's easier. That's how you recognize. That's how you learn about the world. Is context too many clues. context clues. It made it too easy for you. It, it's actually negative points for Team. Well, who are you against, Sneem Rumbo? <laughs> Sneem. Team, team Sneem. Team Sneem. <laughs> team Sneem. They actually had someone called Sneem in the game. They really did. <laughs> they did early. <laughs> and he never fucking early. showed up. It was bullshit. He didn't show up. It's true. Also, you you got you gotta mention the discount. Oh right, yeah. So the way we convinced them to make it work, because it's a big old set, we were worried that of course uh, it's gonna it's gonna take a chunk out of a wallet to grab more. Uh, if you get one regular price, two five percent off, three ten percent off, four fifteen percent off, and if you get all five, it's twenty five percent off all of them. So the, Ooh, if you get, and if you get two of each, that's like a three. That's like a fourth. <laughs> that's that's like that's well, if lying. if it's let's say I'll choose like a random sort of hypothetical that's pretty common. If you spent a million dollars on a, the set, like you bought enough to facilitate that, it would go down to seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars, which is a Whoa. saving of two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Yo, hypothetically, I could buy a lot of things with that kind of money and i just save it by buying all of them that's incredible Whoa. you could buy another two hundred fifty thousand dollars worth of the plushies, plushies and then get yeah. a discount on that <laughs> it's incredible. basically like myself. getting free plushies exactly True. is this live uh no this is not live this is recorded yeah. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. <laughs> Metal could buy some better internet with all that money that he saved on the. Uh, I, I the thought he did have good internet. I'm the one with the shit. Internet. My, my internet. I, I have fine internet. My <laughs> internet is good. Yeah, I like how it's often seen as like a as a, a slight against the person to have shit internet. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's your fault. You're immoral Man. for having bad internet. <laughs> you so chose this. You monster. Well, we may as well not actually, you know, delay. We got we got, we got a long stream ahead of us. <laughs> All We're right, gonna fun's start over. Back today. To work. It's over, is, bitch. Welcome to. It's not even the beginning because plenty of you guys in chat have been watching us. Like stream. I just pick and choose the, the internet that I gotta get. <laughs> what? Huh? And, uh, is he lagging right now? <laughs> is that what's happening right now? Is that the ghost of rags, like being in a conversation <laughs> that was taking place <laughs> two minutes ago? <laughs> <laughs> is he about to say uh, what? Is he about to disconnect? On Rag, say what? I think he's about to disconnect. Well, good oh, the wow. suspense is oh, killing me. Yeah. <laughs> it's so spooky, dude. He was he was making the metal <laughs> internet joke as he was dying. <laughs> <laughs> Yuri reminds me of, this is such a deep cut, in the finale for Hill House, when they first meet back with Nell, she starts talking to them in conversation that's happening later. He's, 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 <laughs> oh, yeah. he's doing a spooky. I think he's dead. All right. <laughs> so anyway. Oh, dear. Well, that's the episode for today, guys. Thanks for hanging out. It was fun while it lasted. <laughs> We're going to begin our Star Wars Outlaws arc today in this stream, even though technically it's already begun, you know that, you've been watching our streams, you probably know a lot about it, several people in chat, but several people don't, and for them, oh, we have a show for you. This is probably not Hello, the first... Everyone. Am I back? Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Hi. Perfect timing. How's yeah. your internet, Rags? That was it's, pretty it's amazing. It's really good. It, it's really, my internet's great. 
Excellent. <laughs> mm. Comedic timing, internet, it's great. So, uh, yeah, we're going we're gonna to have a couple streams on this, and this isn't the only... Yes, ARC. Yeah, you know what that word means. Um, and so we're going to start real early on, and we're going we're gonna to talk about the story that is the release of this game, the company behind it, and the game itself, and what people have said about it. So okay. what better way to start than to go back to videos that were releasing, kind of reviewing the game before the game even came out? Wait, you know, what? Call them, Wait, that's how is not this possible? possible? Yeah, you get, you get people who get access to early things, and they get to it's... say, hey, oh, this shit. early thing is this, and then everyone goes, ooh, and you've got footage as well, meaning you really did play it, which isn't the case yeah. all the time, actually. <laughs> Sometimes they don't even have footage that's real. <laughs> they don't even have footage from the actual game. You guys remember, the? wasn't yes. that the cyberpunk controversy they had? Yes! Well, they, yes. they didn't yeah. let you, uh, they didn't let you record the, what, what you played, right? Well, I thought yeah, it was and... either console or PC, but one of them had to use the footage of the other to promote oh, it. Was, there were no, I believe there were no, no console. console review copies. And... That's it, yeah. It was something to do with mm. the uh, yeah I, I that was that was craziness. That was man. Yeah, reputable that, names said it man. was really good and it was so that, very that was just, next gen. That was, that was just very much a case of like the hype had been built up for so much for so long that like everybody wanted to participate yeah. and then, you know give it a little bit of time and it actually gets released and then lo and behold people aren't really <laughs> happy with the game uh, with the state of the game. <sighs> Um, well, let me just, let me just see here. There's no way that could happen again. They've learned their lesson, right? Well, CD Projekt Red they probably have learned their oh, lesson. What? I think they did, didn't they? Uh, Cyberpunk is considered a good game did. these days. Yeah, I've heard a few years to get there. Yeah, you know the early review types of things where there's this big embargo and they can't like you know record their own footage and shit. I Which mean, you uh, would you think know, they would. You know that Total Biscuit would have made a video saying, Ooh, yes. "I will now talk about the Cyberpunk 2077 review situation for X minutes." Yeah, mm -hmm. he absolutely would have made a video on that. Mm -hmm. And, and I, I would love it, to I see it real quick. I looked at it real quick. CD Projekt Red actively took steps to compel reviewers to only show B-roll or trailer footage that they chose in reviews. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah, it was scummy, scummy stuff that happened when uh, Cyberpunk came out. Yeah, a, a couple people have been chatting saying it's great now as a game. It's like, well, pity it wasn't great when it launched, but hey, yeah, better now than never. were really, really rough. Maybe I'll go back to it one day. We'll find out. I, I do like now it's a solid yeah. like five or a six. Maybe. Yeah, I do see recommendations for it a lot. Uh, yeah, these I've seen days, plenty so. of recommendations. People speak very highly of it. And you know, I, I mean, it's, it it's no Gollum, but you know. Well, no, on a legitimate no point, I was going to say it's like uh, the, the uh, No Man's Sky, right? The story of that is fascinating. Oh, it's yeah. a fascinating I mean, story. It's probably one of the best. Yeah. Uh, it's it's one of the best redemption stories in gaming. Yeah. Good on them. They just so, kept silence, dug wait, in, Molly. and they just fucking yes. did the thing. Someone in the Discord sent this. They said, is this how your face works? Is that... <laughs> or... <laughs> or is are you are you be eyes honest? Closed? Is this how your face works? <laughs> what's going on? What's, what's happening here? Go. What? Where? Did, which one are your eyes? What are we thinking? What's going on? I, I, my guess is the harder lines is like closed eyes, right? Like that's what exhausted. I thought. Yeah, that's what I thought too. He was like like Avatar: The Last Airbender, and oh, <laughs> right. he can't he can't take it. Okay. Hey. Have I Moriarty. been not heard? Well, no, no, no. I haven't been heard. Jesus but Christ, I've been back. thinking you're ignoring me. <laughs> Mark Moriarty. Now well, that now you've had... all eyes on you, my friend. Yeah, now that you've had practice. Now you have the microphone. Answer, yeah. <laughs> so the, the eyes are closed, right? The, That's what the I M, thought. That's what the I top thought. of the M is more like an eyebrow, and the bottom leg would be like closed eyes. Because <laughs> the part here... The the part here. Let me let me do this here. I can I can make a quick little thing. For me, I have always interpreted mine will be green. Where the green, I'll show you here in a second. The green are the eyes. I don't know why I'm narrating this. I might as well probably because you want to <laughs> we fill can't see it. potential dead air. But I can take care of it by saying no. You don't have to do that because it's already done. I thought that you were a bird, and the green was your closed eyes, and the in the orange was your beak. And you were sad, so the other, the black Aww. lines were the tears, and they were pulling black on tears? your face. Black tears? Damn. Black tears. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm so way wrong. more emo than metal, man. 
Also, yes, we will be doing the finale of Rings of Power on Saturday, and my god, Whoa. have I never been more excited to talk about an episode of that show than I have with episode 7. Mm. Uh, I'm only halfway through an episode, I just can't believe what I'm seeing with my eyes. <laughs> it's just so... So, I yeah, haven't watched episode seven, episode seven yet. I'm afraid. Insanely to. awful. Yes. Like even by Rings of Power standards, absolutely the worst episode, but also the funniest episode when Elrond's horse jumped in the air and kicked the wow, orc. Spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Friggy Friggy spoiled zero point zero one percent of how funny that episode is. You'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> it was the point that he drew attention to in particular, so surely it was worthy of not spoiling so that we can enjoy it for ourselves. No, he right? chose it by random, I, right? Oh, Frank? sorry. I assumed All right. that I also assumed given that episode eight is coming out today, that <laughs> you know, if anybody was up to Are you gonna spoil that show, too? <laughs> <laughs> I do find it hilarious how it's, it's like, oh yeah, you spoiled this episode that came out a week ago. Listen, well, I, we, I don't, I don't want people. Yeah, to spoil rings of power, boy, get Citizen on it. Citizen Kane, and yeah, that exactly. came out like thirty years ago. So, just because it's long ago, you know. My goodness. But anyway, hey. we're not talking about rings of power. We're talking about we're talking True. about. Uh, so to get power. back on get track. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll have fun editing we around this to get the section. Track. Well, uh, so, yes, like I said, we're starting kind of early, and we're going to check out what I have been told is one of the most controversial, and judging from the comment section, I'd have to say they are correct, reviews, or, well, you know what? Uh, it's it's a first impression. It, it's Why is my f doorbell ringing? <laughs> Everything is falling apart. <laughs> Damn oh my it. God, this, is, this is the last EFAP. Oh For my sake. God. Uh, it's you guys, uh, it sounded disaster. like an ice cream truck going by. Go ahead and carry on in one second. Power. We don't know what's going on with Moriarty's yeah. face. Someone's at Mahler's door. My face oh my is goodness. normal, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I know, so, wow, how calamitous. Jeez. I suppose this would be a good time to ask what everybody had played this on. Yes, uh, this on PC. Uh, I played this on my personal computer. Well, yeah. so who, who, so wait, so that was Dev and Rags played on, and, and Metal, right? You played on PC too? I played on PC. No, I'm on PS5. Oh, oh you played on okay. PS5. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. I played on PS5 and Mola did as well. The apprehension was definitely because I, I, I can't remember what the, what were the PC uh, specifications, like the recommended specs for, uh, for Outlaws. Find them. Stupid Let's quadruple A specs. They usually put those on Steam. Stupid. I, yeah, I just remember it being here, Ubisoft has some listed right here. Here, let me, uh, I'll read them out and I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll paste them here for you guys so you can read along if Mahler gets okay. back. Um, so the system requirements for Star Wars Outlaws, the recommended requirements, which they, they say is 1080p at 60 frames a second, okay. high graphics preset, and then AMD's FSR thing set to 2. Um, Windows 10, Windows 11. Um, a processor is the AMD Ryzen 5 5600X at 3.7 gigahertz. Or an Intel Core i5-10400, also known as 10400, at 2.9 gigahertz or better. Um, but the big thing is the video card, which they recommend an AMD Radeon RX 6700 XT, 12 gigabyte, or an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 Ti, 8 wow. gigabytes, or better. And I was <laughs> running this, uh, now I was streaming it, um, but I was running this on, I have a very good computer, it's a 4090, um, I forget what my CPU is off the top of my head, um, but I was... Like I was, I was brute forcing my way through this game. It was smooth, but and it was on everything was on ultra, but it wasn't like so high. It, it was like that that range of frame rates based on what was going on on the screen, where it's like, oh, yeah, I, th this isn't that well optimized. Mm -hmm. I just, I'm just yeah. like mm -hmm. brute forcing my way through it. Because well, you would stream at thirty, so I couldn't tell if the frame rate was falling below sixty. Yeah, or not. Um, on my end, it was it it was like very playable, but. Everything's very playable on my computer. You'll be so, quick. Yeah, uh, there's a lot of people who have no idea what any of this means. So if one would like to translate it in normal speak for like, this is some heavy requirements and a surprise, especially for what they're promising for it to run at. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, <laughs> considering yeah. how beautiful the game was, I think it's fair, no. right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, I'm it. actually, um, I'm actually surprised we have more PS5 players than we have PC players in this one. Do you mean um, in well, it, It's like I said, the, the I PS5 didn't want to play version. it on PC when... That, I, yeah. So, because of like, um, screen issues and shit, huh? When I stream a game, I yeah, quite like it yeah. being on not my PC because of... Uh, <laughs> 
the the sort of I guess the weight of all the different things happening at once, but also because if anything goes horribly mm-hmm. wrong, which I heard happens with this game, it wouldn't affect my <laughs> PC at all. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, I have a pretty good PC too. Um, and I do have, whenever I stream, I have two PCs going, one for the stream, one for the game. So that's not a problem. But even then I heard so many problems on PC compared to console. It's almost like we've gone back in time to, to the nineties and two thousands where consoles are just more stable than PCs are, which is very strange to think about because it wasn't like that 10 it's years ago. It's strange when PC gaming has become increasingly popular over the last decade. Yeah, you know, you remember, like, the game has back more people the... playing on it than ever. Yeah, like, back then, we would constantly see devs, like, snub PC players and even, like, make fun of them and stuff, like Cliff Blazinski <laughs> and shit. It's like, mm-hmm. oh, I mean, it... man. Well, that was one of the things I'd said back when I started on YouTube and I was doing PC versus console things. So I was like, yeah, PCs aren't as stable as consoles, but but I, I don't give a shit I, like, I'll, <laughs> like i'll take that negative to get all of the positives it's like i'll just uh-huh. deal with it if it happens it's yeah, still somebody will it. mod the problems out right but unfortunately it meant that even though i only had two i guess three three crashes but after the first couple crashes i made a little thingy for my stream and i never got to show anybody so oh. i i did a little paint i did a little paint drawing i can show it now yes. and and i and i put this underneath <laughs> Underneath my screen, just in case, but the game never crashed again after that. <laughs> oh, it did. Yeah, it did. It did crash the third time, and that was under it. But it was blue screen my PC, so no one got no. to see anything. So no one got to see. Oh it. well. <laughs> you really captured K Vass. I feel. <laughs> <laughs> well, I figured out on my PC. Uh, this game does not like VPNs running in the background. For some reason, when you have VPN running, the game just crashes at some point. I thought Why? it was really funny. I don't know. I've seen you play through, so I was like, when you said like it's the VPN, I was sitting there thinking, does he know it crashes anyway? <laughs> just... it, never... yeah. it only crashed like, one yeah. more time after I turned it off. And I mean, you know, for bear me. in mind, it crashes on PlayStation Five as well. I think it crashed for me three or four times. Oh boy, it was yeah, it crashed it was for me for once. me. So it it's it's crashes like that. It's just like luck of the draw a lot of the times. Well, yeah, because um, it's hard to tell why. One of the crashes I had, I, I, I wanted to fast travel, my mistake. Uh, <laughs> the second one was just, I was driving through an area and then it, it just froze. And then another one, I pulled up the map and then it crashed. Like, it, <laughs> it, it, it was very unpredictable why it, was, it would ever crash. Yeah. You knew when I mean, you, were pull, you were like, pulling the map up, you're like, this is a notoriously difficult thing for a game to pull off, so I know I'm risking a lot doing this. And eh, yeah, yeah, I, you got what you deserve. I know. I hate to derail. However, uh, someone in my server, Aid of Quality, they have drawn this. They they drew some Moriarty fan art, and I think you should <laughs> see it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we should. I love it. <laughs> the, pro- the proper oh interpretation. <laughs> I just love That's the bum great. bum. You could get that from the his profile picture. The little dumpy right there, just <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love it. He ain't flying with that dump truck back there. (laughs) That's beautiful. He's got a he's got a he's got a dunk sized rear end going on back there. You know that might that might have to be your avatar for the rest of the stream. I don't know what you're talking about. Like I wasn't already doing that. (laughs) (laughs) You gonna fit the bum in? (laughs) <laughs> what if it, what if it, it pops up for us and it is just the bum? Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. The just bum. the bum. <laughs> Perfect. Now you've donned your Halloween attire. Beautiful. All right. Are we actually ready to begin this? Oh, by the way, yeah. when I was t- <laughs> when I was talking, the doorbell rang. What I forget sometimes is my window is open and the door is directly beneath where I am. So. When I said, like, who the fuck is ringing my door? When I went to go and answer it, the delivery man just had, like, the most blank face. Like, I have a delivery. It's <laughs> <And I was laughs> like, part of my job, dude. Like, okay, Baller is the hateful, the hateful vampire, I man. Just, I just love the idea. He's like, you ordered it, man. Why have you come to my own here. Do not you know I'm streaming? <laughs> So anyway, <laughs> I'm going to suck the blood out of Star Wars Outlaws. As I was saying, <laughs> controversial video. The mm-hmm. uploader is someone I don't think we've ever covered before, but reviews lots of games called G Man Lives. He's a uh, oh, oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. uh, well, so this is the thing. Like I, you know, we could expect all kinds of things from this. All I know is that it was kind of a hated video. So I was, I'm very curious because. Oh. It's just a first impressions of Outlaws. Now, the reason why this is good for us to cover now is because we all know the game. 
like I say, we sure. all, we got a couple of people here a little less familiar, but that's because it's fun to have, you know, some variety. But raise your hands if you've gotten to the very credits of the storyline by playing thoroughly through the game, because I have. I yeah, uh, sure did that. I'm raising my hand. That I is not five, four, four, five. Dev, do you complete it, right? Well, just like with um, Atomic Heart, me and my friend passed off the controller, but I was there for the whole playthrough. So that counts. Yeah. You guys, you guys hopped and seeded it. Yeah. Yep. Um, so you, you got to play a decent chunk and experienced the game, so to speak. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, a lot of us are very familiar with this video game, and many of you in chat would have watched mm -hmm. us get familiar with it, so you probably know how we feel in general. So it's going to be very interesting to see what is a, a first impressions video of the game such that, like, if you played it for X amount of hours, this is the conclusion he comes to, I guess. Um, let's see here. It's been a bit, bit of a rough time for Star Wars. So, is everyone ready? We're yeah, ready. Yeah. Um, um, yes. How exciting. Wait, what is this? Whoa. Hmm? What's what? I was about to say, what What's is what? this, uh... No, that's not, what, the, the thumbnail popped up for just a second. And thumbnail? It's, I guess he did a thing <laughs> where KVS is smiling. Mm. She smiles, I was just curious, huh? Well, this is the most expressive I think that I've ever seen her, and I think it's it's fakery. <laughs> it's oh, AI. Yeah, it must it be. <laughs> yeah, it's just the AI like smile thing. It's like a yeah. they put a why smile didn't they do, on Why didn't he do it for Why didn't he do it for Nix? Yeah, why did the coward not do it for Nix? Maybe maybe <laughs> maybe he didn't maybe apply the filter Nix's... to Nix, and Nix is being more honest. <laughs> Nix is very expressive. He, he, well, Nix is more expressive than she is. No, I know, but that's the point that Nix is like. Hmm. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Are you really? laughs> it's a video game, I guess. And... <laughs> I can't confirm, but you know, I'm just saying. Uh, at least Kay's happy. Don't want to color your uh, expectations. <laughs> All right then, soldier on. We must. It's been a bit of a rough time for Star Wars fans lately, especially with all the drama surrounding the recent Acolyte series. I like how he says lately. <laughs> it's been a bit of a, bit of a tough time to be a Star Wars fan, fan since 2015. No, he's he's know, definitely for, right. For uh, years old, but yeah, the acolyte exploded with like controversy. So he's right to say it's like yeah. especially, but. Yes, uh, Star Wars fans have not been in a good place for a while now. <laughs> and then as far as other Star Whoa. Wars games go, the only real recent release worth mentioning is a train wreck of a remaster for the original Battlefront that yeah, deservedly that. got dragged across the coals. I am very curious how you called that a train wreck. Uh, simultaneously to say that mm. this is actually pretty good. Uh, he, oh, well, maybe he's uh, implying uh, that the... Maybe the remaster is like really right? buggy, or as far as like I knew, glitches. There's and... problems with its online functionality because I played a lot of like Galactic Conquest to test it out, and it seemed to function pretty good. Okay. I guess the thing is, is that whatever problems it has, it's still Battlefront, right? So yeah, like it's still it's still the game that we all enjoy. Um, and yeah, it's it's a spire, so they don't do anything to it to upgrade it in any way. They just try and uh, uh, like it's a graphical like. It's the kind of, uh, playing the Bounty Hunter remaster, you guys know if you watch my stream, it's very like, do you know that feeling you have when you're f familiar with a really old game, like really familiar, but you don't play it for even as long as a decade, then you boot up like a remastered version and it kind of looks like you remember it because you don't remember it looking like it did when you played it 10 years ago. And so in right. a sense, it do, like you're like, this didn't really change at all. Uh, it's exactly the same, which is kind of a good thing in that you don't want it change but at the same time you're like wow you guys didn't really do anything or it doesn't feel like you did much of anything um there's that but then there's also the fact that as far as i'm aware they fucked up a bunch of the online functionality for the game which ah, pissed people right. off okay um, yeah makes sense which is kind of why most people wanted to play it right yeah well oh. uh, relaunching Star Wars battlefront 2 is an excuse to get everybody to get into playing it so yeah mm -hmm. they, that's why everyone would be mad at them if they fuck that up for sure because mm -hmm. uh yeah, it's a fucking uh, uh, full functionality with multiple people playing. It is a fun game. Either way, though, things could be looking up a bit with the upcoming Star Wars Outlaws. <laughs> That's a really yeah. funny statement. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> things could be looking up. I don't think anyone was looking up to this. No, it, it was uh, revealed. Everyone was looking at this sort of like, oh. Oh. 
Uh, right. It's, yeah, it's it's sort um, of uh, it feels like the closer it's gotten to launch, the more and more people were uh, not liking what they <laughs> saw <laughs> for this game. Open Planet Action Adventure Game developed by Massive Entertainment. We are playing as a thief named K. Vess, yeah. a character who shows. Oh wait, can we let's can we go back just a moment to that gameplay footage? Because I think I noticed something there. So mm -hmm. let's let me play it. When it gets to the footage, I'll pause it. An Open Planet Action. So, this is an early build of the game. Because... Oh yeah, look at Nyx. Look yeah. at him. They changed mm -hmm. it. Not... They changed it to where. Oh, because he's in... side saddle. Yeah. Is he side saddle? Yeah, that's what he's doing. I right? guess, he's yeah. Doing... Yeah, his front his two legs are probably over. Yeah, he has side saddle. Yeah. Um, but yeah, in the in the game, in this current version when it came out, he hops on the back of it and he holds on to like the little yeah. like, little bar on the back. But on this one, you can actually see in the footage he even moves around a little bit. By mass so yeah. I think you'll swap to the left side. But yeah, I was I was noticed looking at that gameplay and I'm like, oh, okay. I was uh, I was looking at it and noticing and just being reminded, man, it's so empty. It's, yep. it's, it's, it's also, I, I don't, I'll draw back one more time, but see that tree on the hill there that's going to be on the left hand side? Mm -hmm. Is it like blowing in the wind in a way that it doesn't do in the game? Coming Star Wars Outlaws, no, what? an open planet action adventure game developed by Massive Entertainment. Oh, you're playing as a thief it's named Windy, huh? The, the I, yeah, but, but is it like, you, like that? They, yeah, they move in the wind, yeah. Okay, I was I was checking. I didn't know because it looked like it looked odd to see it moving like that. So maybe I was just asking, you know. Do a lot of tree looking. Didn't in know the if game that was something that got. Hmm. Yeah, here and there. Okay. Here and there. I do a little tree looking. I didn't think it tree was, watcher. Yeah. You know, like I said, I, I'm surprised. That's the thing that you're paying, again for me. It's just seeing it again, man. It it really is just like totally empty. <laughs> like, <laughs> what do you mean? There's yeah, random was, encounters with like three uh, guys who shoot at you and you kill them, and then you take their polycarbonate and then you continue. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. very <laughs> exciting. <laughs> Shut up. Gotcha. Yeah. It's, like the, it's the problem in, com in conception with games like this because like. You just set yourself the un the impossible task of filling so much fucking space with stuff, and yeah. you will not have the time to put proper attention towards all of that stuff. You just won't. There's a pretty thick line between the two, like, areas you want to avoid. You have the big, expansive, open worlds that are full of not much, and then you have the... The Skyrims where you have a little world and everything's crammed into it and you can't go 10 feet without bumping into something, which makes the world feel extremely small. There's a big area in between those things where you can get a sense of scale, but you don't want it to feel empty. And like The game, Witcher 3. I, or Rockstar I think games? I'll, well, I think Rockstar, yeah. Witcher 3 is a really good example, I think. Red Dead Redemption 2. I think part but of the, it, what you want is you want ideally a breadth, like a range of possible interactions, such that I the things you're, you're right. doing in the game world aren't like the one thing. That's what the open yeah, world, exactly. as it's currently imagined, seems to be best suited for. Even though I tend to not especially think it's very if you have well, to well, yeah, I, I agree uh, with that. Speeder. An additional thing as well is the idea that the world is actually sort of alive and responds to you, and and that you yeah. can like it's not. Because here it, it's like yeah, I mean, I guess the graphics are all right, but I mean, in reality, like. This open world is less inter like there's there's less interactivity here than like the Grand Theft Auto games on PlayStation Two. <laughs> like it's yeah. actually kind of yes. crazy. You know, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas is like a more robust open world game than Star Wars Outlaws, and it came out twenty years ago. Mm -hmm. And What's especially when you have a game where you um... have access to fast travel and a speeder, which is like the speeder. It kind of it books. It goes pretty quick. So going, I mean, if you if you played a playthrough with her where you didn't fast travel going two kilometers away doesn't really take you that long i, I feel like that, that's speeder, so much the thought still... i would want to uh now that you've mentioned the speeder rag so like for comparison in grand theft auto san andreas like i need to explain this to everybody there's multiple vehicles that you can drive and not just cars there's bikes motorcycles boats planes helicopters you have access to an entire arsenal of, of weapons including like rifles rocket launchers um molotov cocktails uh, th there's three cities that you can explore, as well as a countryside. There's casinos, so you can play card games, and a variety of card games. You can buy property. In this game, you got one vehicle. It's this one, right here, it's the speeder. You can't drive other vehicles. You can't, like, nope. steal other vehicles. 
goes. So you can yeah, sure gosh darn there. find them, walk past them, and not that's, do that's anything true. with yeah. them. Because they shoot people yeah. Yeah. them. It's so funny how they make you play as an outlaw criminal person and you can't steal <laughs> vehicles. <laughs> like, that's, that's, yeah. that's, that's well, the layup. It's, it's, you can, it's, it's not even you can't steal. You, can, you just can't yeah. steal full stop. <laughs> Yeah, just, you can't, there's like you can one. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This, what, we're hang on, I'm, I'm, we're I'm, gonna I'm, end up talking about the whole game where we should really stick to topics oh, that are prompted man. by the video because we've got so much to get through. We're gonna, yeah. we will literally just yeah. move into an EFAP talking about the game. That's all that's gonna happen. Because for every mechanic you describe, it'll step on another bad one. I, I guarantee oh, yeah. it. <laughs> San Andreas is a classic. That's not fair. It came out 20 years ago. What do you mean it's yes. not fair? Well, so not why is it not fair? Why is it not fair? I think I think to this me the more annoying the thing is the uh, is the idea that you can't to compare it to like like modern rocks. I mean, it's funny. Grand Theft Auto Five is is like twelve years old, or ten, eleven years old. <laughs> um, but like the the idea that this can't be compared to like you know the it, I, like I don't know what to say. People are going to compare it to the okay, the bar that's set for, to for be clear, open world game. Perhaps you're choosing one of the like RDR two like a better you know is comparing it to a god, but which is fair I think. But this is worse than Simpsons Hit and Run for open world, as far as I'm concerned. Well, I think I think it is fair to compare a respectable smaller game to a much larger better game, and you can use that as almost to say even though like let's say let's say Outlaws was um like good or at least it was pretty decent, like it was actually of good quality, you could compare it to Red Dead Redemption 2 or whatever and say, it's not quite that good, but it does a good job for what it's trying to do and its budget and the time they had to make it and stuff like that, and I think that would be a respectable comparison. This is like when people say, um, when they compare like Rings of Power to uh, uh, Game of Thrones or something, and they say, oh, well, that is a fair comparison. you got to look at what it's trying to do, what it's purporting itself to be. They were big in this game up, and a lot of people were big in this game up. This was going to well, be a I mean, big open world big Ubisoft deal. Star Wars game. Yeah, its I mean, failure this is... has seriously hurt the company. Um, it has. It, mm -hmm. it seriously has, and it's clearly been responsible for the Assassin's Creed Shadows delay because that they might be in serious trouble as a company. I like. Ser I seriously wonder, like, how long Ubisoft. Well, you've, uh, you've already seen some of their investors start talking about we want to sell the company now. So, like, yeah, like it, it's, it's yeah. a big deal. Not looking yep. good. I think yeah. Ubisoft. I, just, I, I decided to quickly like look this. it up, and uh, yeah, the Star Wars Outlaws had Ubisoft's biggest marketing campaign ever of all the games they've ever made, and yeah. it apparently cost them up to three hundred million to um to, uh, to create uh, the game, but it um, did sell like eight hundred uh, eight hundred thousand copies. Like that's still. Yeah, but that's not a well, hundred million we got, dollar budget. We got no, something not, coming no, up for but... that discussion. Um, okay, okay, yeah. Okay, all right. <clears throat> now we can. <laughs> There's so many things to talk about. I'll try, <laughs> just try and get this, this poor yeah. guy get his opinion out there, you know? I, I do want to go back to something that you said r real quick, Theo. Um, you mentioned, you guys are talking about emptiness in open world games, and I guess here, here's me with my controversial opinions again. I guess I mean I, I prepared to get to get blasted for this. Here we go. Sometimes I actually don't mind an empty open world. I kind of enjoy just the the bleak nihilism of it, but it has to be done right. Oh, okay. I was, uh, I was about to agree. Uh, okay, I was about to agree with you because I thought you were saying because it gives the game a feeling of openness and space it makes the world feel massive in a real way and it's immersive yeah. to often not bump into things every once in a while then he said bleak nihilism and i jumped off that train <laughs> oh, <immediately. I'm> really... <laughs> hold on no I'm, I'm not talking about this game to be clear i'm talking about like, like a fallout or something where like, the, this the should game be the game desolate. that well, you say in, in, that like, capacity, some nihilistic. Or, in that capacity you always have like the cheat answer of shadow of the colossus right like ignoring yeah. bleak nihilism for a second but in terms of the use of space purely for like the impression of space and an atmospheric goal, Shadow of the Colossus is an easy slam dunk because yeah. there's very little actually going on in the world. If that's what you mean, mm -hmm. I understand. You just chose words that don't mean yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. I do that all the time. My, I don't know if you've noticed my, uh, yet. My I have a my foot in my mouth. Sort of big preference is that I, I really prefer when open world games are set in cities, typically. I I don't know. Like mm. I, I I think that I think when you look at stuff like Red Dead Redemption, it's like, okay, so that's like open world in a countryside done right. Um, but a lot of the time it feels like open world games are set in the countryside that you can run into that big problem of man, there's like a lot of space. Yeah, it's really, really big, but have you filled it with enough things to do to justify the size? Mm -hmm. 
I, whereas in cities, it feels like cities generally like naturally invite you more buildings that you can enter and, and things to do and, and characters to interact with and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah to uh, a city, they kind of demand of you plenty of landmarks. To take it's advantage a yeah. of like that much space without like falling prey to this, there's nothing to do in the open world. Like as if, as if we try to make an open world game where that couldn't be a criticism, right? Like there is a big empty open world, but you wouldn't necessarily criticize it for being empty. You seem to like fall into design sensibilities that don't align well with what an open world in the current like conception of things is trying to do. They're generally very sandboxy. They want you to like fuck around with the various interactions and just stuff that can take place within an open world. So they're not really sure. tuned to do that sort of experiential type of thing. It's funny you say that because... Has... Oh, go, go for it. Go for it. All right, I will. Um, the... Yes. Uh, I, just, someone's got to commit. I just wanted to... <laughs> but, <laughs> no, um, a lot of it is like the, the element of design philosophy on what you want the size of the world to sort of represent. If you had a game that looked really good, and it took you a decent to a, a, a quite a bit of time to get to a place, but when you got to the place, it was really intense, really engaging. The journey back or journey to the next location would be like your, your sigh of like, oh, okay, mm -hmm. take a breath, we're going to do the next thing. My journey to the next location is like my, my rest period, right, where I can sort of relax, and then I get to the new place, and then we're going to do something really fun, really engaging, really intense. But if that journey is just the dull moments in between the locations, which are also <laughs> the dull moments, it really, it's like it hyper accentuates the dullness of the travel. Mm -hmm. And that's one yes. of Star Wars Outlaw's biggest problems. You don't have the peaks of excitement in between the relaxing travel between those peaks. Yeah. I actually yes, think yes. this, this I, tree I, that you brought up, Regs, is a good example of that because, uh, boy, I didn't realize the trees were moving either uh, because I wasn't paying attention to anything when I was driving around. I was just trying to get there and be okay. done with it. But it's have not, something I, to entertain you. Yeah. Just follow those mission markers. Just go. Playing this game is like it's like a malaise of settling into... Like you do, you're deciding when will it be that I just do the main story and then play something else. How much side content will I actually do before I just say, fuck it, you know? Mm -hmm. You're not looking forwards to the thing you're going to. It's just like, well, here's the next job quests. on the checklist. And, and the thing is, like, it's, it's, uh, it really, it's been a little bit uh, an annoying to see people. This game is not like you, what we would call Ubisoft's, like, Far Cry 3, Assassin's Creed 2, like, these games have way more to offer than Star Wars Outlaws. Like, I would prefer it if there were radio towers that I could climb. I would prefer seven. it if there were <laughs> yeah. and stuff. People expected like, that, more... and they didn't even get it. <laughs> and they didn't even get it, exactly. In yeah. a game that was is full of shitty, boring, awful third-person platforming, they didn't have mm -hmm. the towers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I would kind of a staple of Ubisoft games. I enjoyed, Ubisoft... I enjoyed climbing the towers in Assassin's Creed, like, getting up to the top and then perching Agreed, and then yeah. jumping off that was fun you see so, ubisoft took the um look it took the criticism that there were too many towers that you had to climb that were boring and said what if we put them all underground <laughs> <laughs> yeah. or like they, 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 there were towers there's, there's nothing on top of them <laughs> there's yeah. those like imperial bases you, oh there's a tower go up it what's up there nothing i had a oh. couple of those where i like conquered them and then i was like is there anything here? <laughs> nope. I guess I'll go. <laughs> Bye. Especially yeah, when you're like, not you are like a, a... you are at wanted five out of six, and I'm like, okay, but no one's here. I'm alone. No one's not even a conciliatory <laughs> piece of dura steel for my trouble. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if it's even as simple as in Far Cry, if you cleared an outpost, like it would tell you, it'd be like, yeah, you did a good job. Whereas here, it's like, oh, you got all of the treasure. And it's a fast okay. travel location. The, You've unlocked this still as a fast there. location. It's still there though, forever. So. Yeah. You know. Oh, everything it's there resets for five in this game. Minutes too. And you can I, come back, yeah. Again, I'm gonna push that we carry on because, good God, yeah, yes, easy yeah. to drift. Let's uh, go. Fine, I guess I'm not saying my thing again. To, to be appropriate <laughs> to Star Wars, each of us will have to remind each other by quoting the famous, famous, most famous Star Wars quote: uh, "Stay on target." We'll have to, we'll have to say that, okay? And we'll get through this. Okay. It's a trap. <laughs> it's a trap. Action adventure game developed by Massive Entertainment. We are playing as a thief named K. Vess. A character who shows us yet again that scanning someone into a video game really is hard work. I know. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's, that's an interesting no, 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 no. conclusion. 
That uh, changed her model. Yeah, she, that, don't, that don't look the same. Um, she doesn't look at all like the actual <laughs> actress. It. That don't Thank look God. the same. Holy, is that what she looks like? Jesus. All right, here we go. Let me get you a picture. <laughs> yep. She looks better uh, right, than the model. Here we go. No, it's, it's just they don't look the same. They don't look yeah, the they same. Don't, That's it. Yeah, they have they, different features. They don't look the same. Why is this a 47 megabyte image, IMDb? Holy shit. <laughs> Gotta see the wrinkles <laughs> and the pores. Go on, go. The oh, there, there, ain't no wrink my, there ain't no wrinkles. My <laughs> my around. What did he say precisely? Uh, just that it proves once again that it's difficult to scam people into video games. Unless right. it's like, I, unless there's some meme I'm not getting here. <laughs> oh. I mean, I tend to lean towards the idea that fundamental facial sculpts tend to be better, the likes of which you see from CDPR. Like, the facial models in CD Projekt Red games just look far better than anything I see elsewhere, I think, in terms of ability to portray particular ranges of motion. Mm -hmm. okay, what I do recall is, if you were like on the, you know, the more culture war side of the internet, this is the only thing that people over there was, were talking about when it came to Star Wars Outlaws is, oh my god, they made the girl ugly. And it's like, well, okay, I get it, but there's, there's more reasons as to why this game is bad than I don't, that. KVS isn't ugly. She's fine. She's she okay. looks so yeah. fucking normal, dude. She looks yeah, she <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, I, I so much just I'm... utterly grassless behavior online about She's no Donka, but is... she's alright. She's alright. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm really glad uh, yeah. to hear you guys say that because I was watching this being like, this is the most normal average girl I've ever seen. I don't know why people I mean, so you get, normal, had, uh, dude. You get the fuck there ups. Out there? Graphical fuck ups make it look like yes. a goblin. Yeah, but... the lighting. Can... <laughs> well, yeah, that's different. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, like, we live in a world where, like, everyone's, uh, I say everyone, no, only crazy people. But there's a lot of people out there who are like, yeah, Aloy, pff, she's super ugly. I would never. It's like, yes, you would. Yes, yeah, you fucking you would. would. <laughs> <laughs> if you think Aloy isn't even attractive, you're in. You're actually insane, or you're gay. No, You'd even the gays you know it. You in the street. Even the gays know it. <laughs> You'd stumble over your words. You wouldn't make eye contact. Admit it. Right? <laughs> hey, well, it's not hot enough for me. Okay. You're a fucking Damn, basement gremlin. Admit it. It's Damn. okay. <laughs> oh my God. This one's Aloy, right? Uh, I don't know if, which one this is from. The Horizon Zero Dawn. Yeah, yeah that's Aloy. Holy shit, is that the? Yeah, she's fucking right? gorgeous. That's Aloy from the first game, right? No, 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 but is that the actress that you just posted, Regs? Wow. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, that's that's Humberly Gonzalez. Holy that's the shit, voice man. actress for K Vess. Yeah, I would and say they did not too, manage to get her into this game. And now look up the, um, I forget the name, voice actress for um, Quiet, Metal Gear Solid, and Stephanie uh, Justin. Let me copy a picture here. And you're like, that's just her in the game. That they just, yeah, that it's just, just her. her. That's yeah. her. Yeah, I know uh, Kojima does like a lot of straight that's... up scans of actors and puts them right in, and they look pretty damn good. Well, mm -hmm. that's how we got Conan in. That's how Kojima likes to do his stuff. <laughs> yeah, playing well, with his actor friends. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Yeah, I'm just confused as to the, the the notion that it's become hard to scam people in. I, I didn't. I didn't. Know that that would be, I don't think. Well, here's don't Melina Jurgen. The reason you go cinema. after. Like, I don't know. I don't know if that'd be, ever be the reason you go after this mocap, like, this way of doing things in terms of creating face mm. models and stuff. No, I suppose, what like, I the more is... relevant criticism is that, like, a lot of the... Uh, you mentioned it before, Theo. Like, the mocap and a lot of the animation is just, like, really stiff and stilted. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. <laughs> it's not very convincing at all, right? Like, it's, it's uh, not particularly impressively animated. Right, even compared to yeah. games that were coming out like PlayStation 3. Like, Uncharted 2's got, like, better facial animation for its characters. Yeah, what I've noticed is a lot of this conversation online started up with, um, with Spider-Man 2 and Mary Jane. And I posted the picture in, in the chat. And, and that's when people started saying, oh my god, they're making all the women in video games ugly! And I'm like, okay, I get it, but it, I don't think it's as bad of a problem as you think it is, guys. I, I well, Mary Jane I here is, like... 40, right? Well, girl on the girl on the left is way hot. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, th that is the face model that they used. That's what I'm saying. Uh, no, it no, it isn't. I'm sorry, that, yeah, that's exactly this, this. This one is. No, it isn't. Okay, I have to, I have to look up again. I'll, I'll try to find it again. I'll look for my files. This is a lie. You're telling me a <laughs> lie. There's no. That's not. Am that's I, not the. Am face. I lying to you? Hey, yeah, um... that's not the face model at all. This is you're you're spinning a yarn. Is what you're doing. <laughs> Okay, I'll 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 relook it up. I mean, just I'll tell you what. While more. you're looking it up, let us stay on target. Oh, right, good sorry, point, sorry. Good point. Good point. Good point. 
That's right. Ryan. I was talking about her. With the general just being that Kay owes a sizable chunk of dollar dues to a crime syndicate that's put a price on her head. And the only solution is to put a... No, she doesn't. No. Well, I, I no? mean, she stole from... She doesn't owe them money in the sense... That... I don't know. That's an odd what way was, to phrase what it. Been the context of... that he, what would have the context been that he would have... Did it, would he let me, have let me go like, the one more time. introduction or... Yeah. Being that Kay owes a sizable chunk of dollar dues to a crime syndicate that's put a price on her head. Yeah, yeah that's just that's not, not true. Yeah, 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 they, they want to kill her. Right they just all. want her dead. I think yeah. that just might be a mistake. It's a death mark because she did the highest. Yeah, because yeah, she, she didn't even mark. she didn't even steal money. They just put a death mark on it right. because uh, yeah, because right. you were trying to do I the, the heist with the people. She money because she took a ship, but like that doesn't yeah. Yeah. the that... ship has value. Yeah. But he never yeah, the, mentioned the ship. To be at clear, all. this is not a Han Solo paying Jabba situation at all. It is a we fucking hate you, and there's a bounty on your head essentially. Yes. Yeah. How they referred the to it as a bounty a couple of times in the game. How that we sent to kill you failed again? How could this do, have happened? Do you think he thought that because she's like... Because she's kind of broke in the game, right? Yeah. Well, the idea that... that the reason she does the heist well, is she no, wants to get off the planet. because of the side quests you do. Well, but, but well the at this point, she is. Like she's broke. It, it's the video game special of... We're going to tell you you're broke or this or that or the other about your place in the world. And then we're going to violate it for the sake of contemporary video By game you design. make shit tons of money easily Im immediately. <laughs> yeah. I think I ended... Yeah. I, I, I like think I bought... run down hard done by Witcher. And then he's running around able to buy out the entirety of Velen, probably. <laughs> it's so stupid in this game as well. It's like, oh, I'm... And Deb's like, oh, let me pay your Deb. How much is it? Like a thousand? You look at it, it's 50 credits. Like, yeah. what? <laughs> oh, dude, I had a fucking yeah, rock and sell it to the weird. guy over there. Yeah. You get like a hundred. When, when I press tab, I see like qu quintuple digits for yeah. my credit count. <laughs> and I feel like that shouldn't be an issue. <laughs> but yes, you, uh, it's called a death mark, but it's referred to a bounty as a bounty a couple of times. And the only solution is to put a crew together and pull off some kind of intergalactic heist to pay off her debts. Is that like the story? Also untrue? The heist the gets her money, story. which represents freedom to escape the death mark, is the idea, right? Yeah. Yes. She's stealing yeah. from the person that she owes money to in this scenario, which doesn't make much sense <laughs> at all. He's gonna steal from Slero to pay Slero. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why he would say this. That's not the story. This is this. It is might. People not, have said it might be true. the the line they gave him, but he would have played. He would have played that part, surely. No, well, no, I mean, no. So uh... when they did the the early stuff on this, they did a four hour because uh, a couple of my friends did it right. So what they did is they they had you yeah. join on Discord and then they Discord shared it to you and you logged in through uh, like Hamachi, right? The fuck. And you played it on the their servers. Hamachi still through... works. Yes, and so you <laughs> wow. played it on their servers through Discord for four hours, and you started around the part where you get your ship. So, like, right, so I, it would have been on Tashar, so then right? they, that would have been, like, They must have told him this, cause, right? But you never would have played the first, like, five hours. Well, they would have given him a blurb. Here's yeah, but what the happens. blurb is you're, wrong. You're playing right after the intro. <laughs> right, so their blurb is just wrong. They lied to him. Well, they changed I'm willing it. to give that. Because I think that that it's just, is, but it's the no reason to lie about it, you know. Like the there's no game there. I don't think I could see Ubisoft saying it's like you know Han Solo, a smuggler oh, yeah. type of story. You owe Jabba or some other guy. What are we smuggling? Yeah. No, nothing actually. This second half of 2024 is really looking like it's going to be packed with things like the Silent Hill 2 remake, mm. Space Marine mm. 2, mm. Ubisoft's own Assassin's Yay. Creed Shadows, mm. and... No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, about that. It's gonna be perfect, boys. I'm ready. Uh, oh. Hope as you guys well. are ready for some packing. And thanks to Ubisoft Australia, I recently got a few hours to sit down and check this one out. So mm. let me take you to that... Oh, you do that? Yeah. You do that? What happened? All right, everyone. I'll reroll it. Keep an eye on the rats. The rats on the floor. Keep an eye on them. Oh yeah, I recently got a few hours to sit down and check this one out. So let me take you to that. Yeah. Everybody. I have spotted this in the game myself. This is not something they fixed. Many Suddenly, rats. Are the shadows that good in the game? I can't remember. I just find it funny that the rats better in this than the real game. It's very amusing. It is very amusing. Yeah. That. That sometimes you have like a whole bunch of them and they go like poof and there they are. Squeak! That galaxy Squeak far, and far away and give you my thoughts. Let's punch it. That's what, what? she says when you. Let's punch it. She does Star Wars.
That was she my uh, that was my play style by the end of the game. Let's punch it. <laughs> Let's punch it. <laughs> I mean, Rags, you opted for one of the most effective strategies. Nice. <laughs> it was yeah, really man. funny. You could yeah, just, just you could you could stun everybody with your your pistol too, and then you could just roll up to them and stun punch them, and then just and one then, punch drunk them. And it, it works on everything. It works on Gamorians. It works on Death Troopers. <laughs> it works on everything in the game. And, sure and you can even wear clothes that give you health whenever you do melee takedowns. You know, sounds. What was, so dude, you just, what was you're nuts? You're just an invincible juggernaut. There combat are, rolling and stunning <laughs> and punching your way to victory. There are a couple of sequences where I was watching. Uh, this happened to myself and then, um, like, Fringy Rags, uh, Malleus. You'll be going through a sequence and you've almost broken it entirely. Then you're like, oh, I guess I can't do that. Okay, yeah, fine, fair enough. And it's like, oh, shit, if only they had this one key piece of information. For example, you can go through punching literally everybody, but sometimes you'll bump into a Gamorrean, and you punch him, and then Kay will go, oh, oh and then he'll kill oh, you in one hit. And it's yeah. like, oh, okay, fair enough, I guess they finally accounted in some way. It's like, no, if you just hit him with a stun shot, you can do the same thing. Yes. That's yeah. it. You can. Oh, I never tried that. I, I just that. stunned. I yeah. just unlock them with headshots because they always you can, tumble, uh, stumble back oh no, yeah, every time. We're talking strictly about melee, so if you hit them, yeah, you yeah, hit yeah. normal people, but you can only hit them once you set them up. With, I think it, I, was, I said stun shot. That does work, but ion shot is, is also viable. Yes. Right, right, right I, right. I learned it with the stun <clears throat> shot when I was in Jabba's Palace trying to rescue Nyx from these, from these absolute disgusting degenerates who stole him from me. Mm -hmm. um, but... In that section, you got to be quiet, so you have to use the little stun pistol. I was like, "Oh, stun and stun and a punch, the old razzle dazzle." Yep, works every time. A lot of people make the joke that it has like soup after she punches people and stuff. But it's like that. Uh, was the was it Harry Potter oh, wow. rod where his like head goes all floppy, or Harry's head goes floppy, right? <laughs> like, oh oh yeah, <laughs> he has to take the skeleton. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah that would be here. Well, that would be a few punches. That would be a way for the animators to lean into the like cheeky goofiness of it, and like after every she, she does a punch <laughs> takedown, she has to be she goes like ah, and she like shakes her hand a little bit, stabs her hand like, with it a stem. Be a it wouldn't be mechanically mm. different, but it would be like oh, it they're like it hurts her hand, but she's doing it because video game. Well, but at least it's like a fun thing. But in this game, it's like nah, she the just fact, punches. She the punches fact that ninety eight percent of people who have seen it go wait, what the fuck? Is evidence that they had that reaction when they made it, and they were like, "Yeah, just, just, this just is keep fine. going. It's fine. Just keep going." This and they fine. don't even do the thing where she hits hits them with the blaster or something, like using yeah, the yeah, drone. The obvious thing. Something. I'll you would tell, think well, she'd use a baton metal. Or all the the reason why metal. The reason why that happens is because mm -hmm. if you have a blaster in your hand and you press punch, the blaster she drops it instantly. No, your <laughs> no your your pistol. Your pistol. Uh -huh. If you have your pistol in your hand and you punch it in a single frame teleports yeah. into your holster so that she could do a punch Damn, instead of having them just program it to have her melee with the pistol or punch with her left hand. would have been hand. so much easier. What can't this weapon do? <laughs> right, so the events in Outlaws no, takes place between Empire together. Strikes yeah, Back and Return of the Jedi, also uh -huh. known as the best possible time period. Why do you think they chose uh, it? Uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> to make people like yeah. you say things like this. <laughs> Uh, little, little Ooh, it's the, the best the time. Well, is I suppose that that's Jar right. it is because because imagine if it was like, yeah, no, it's it's set during the prequels, so we're not we're no. Yeah, well, no. wait, well, that would have been no. Yeah, well, wait, I, I assume it, is, right. is the point you're making that nobody's going to say it's set during the prequels. This is not a good time to set an open world. <laughs> it's like, yeah, no. exactly. What do you it's, mean? No one likes like, those. I, I, it's just that um, it's the OT. You know, it's the OT. Yeah. That's when that's when Disney would prefer for like basically everything to exist around, so that they can have stormtroopers, mm -hmm. tie fighters, and of course here it's like, hey, yeah, look, Tatooine, but OT, you know, it's OT yeah. Tatooine. But it's so crazy that God, this I is Disney, fucking the company hate that had it so in much. Yeah. <laughs> This is the company that spent how much money on their own sequel trilogy? All of that yeah. stuff, all of their High Republic shit, and yeah. here we are, back at the OT, I'm, back to the are. movies made in the 70s. Here mm -hmm. we are, man. I think, We're um, back to 1980. They probably had that discussion, by the way. It's like, Tatooine, that's been in a lot of stuff. We sure wanted to use And then some guy was like, yes, yes, yes. I, I yes, presume yes. that it would have been that Tatooine was always, that was right from the start, there would have been Tatooine. That's what I'm saying. Like, oh, that, there's guy. that guy who's doing that, but then there's, there's, there's probably people, there's probably someone on their team that has a creative vision of some sort, and they were like, maybe we do a different plan? And they're like, no. Like, okay. No, get we out. Can do it that, way, and that way we can show it's Luke's the, house. It's the meme, <laughs> you know, you know where they throw him all the way. What? 
You huh? said that way we can show Luke's house. <laughs> what? You said that's, what what, you that's the way we can show Luke's house. Is that in the game? Yeah, you missed it. Yes? Yeah. Oh, did you actually oh. miss it? The funniest part. Yeah, because the like... funniest part is he did a poll saying, "Do you think they put it in?" Everyone voted yes, so that he said, "No, well, that, they didn't." Well, it's because the po <laughs> well, that's because the, sec the section where I did that was go to the abandoned moisture farm, and so I was like, "Oh shit, is is this gonna be the Luke Skywalker house?" And I did the poll, and like eighty percent of people said like yes or something like that, and so I was like, "Oh my god, there's no way they do it because it's just it's even of by their standards that's so it. on the nose." Well, I oh, thought that'd be too much would. even for them. So, I did. Not, I thought nah, they did absolutely it. were going to do it. I, I, I was convinced. Can you act, so, so you can actually Rags, go Rags, there. they did Toshi the Station. Yeah. yeah, they did. Oh, exactly. Okay. Yeah. No, I, <laughs> well, they yeah, also did great. Canto Bite, and we love that. As soon no as I got way. to Tatooine, that was the first thing I wanted to find. I was like, it's... oh, we got to find a little task. And then, yeah, lo and behold, there it is. The yeah, I just love to hear this because at some point I just... I need where you go there. It's so fun to hear because at some point I just disengage from one of the... Who's pressing oh, play? Okay. What are you saying, Metal? At some point, Stop. I just... <laughs> Let him talk! <laughs> you can just tell me to leave if you don't want me here. <laughs> uh, at some point, I just disengage with all the side stuff. He was like, oh, I don't want to go fetch something else. I just want to get through the story yeah, now. Because just yeah. like, I was yeah, no, so I bored that. by everything. Um, to be fair, oh, I missed him on my... Uh, him, as if Luke is there. <laughs> <It's a> <laughs> Hello, <laughs> Mauler. Um, I but... am Luke. Yeah, it is. It is definitely there. They definitely did it. Uh, Rags, I guess you you owe everyone one more outlaw stream. How about that? Crazy. <laughs> Holy shit! Do you realize? Well, after the game, it gives you like basically a, a continued playthrough, like a new, yeah. not a new game plus, but like you get to keep playing to do all this stuff. So, I would... <laughs> but right. but this no, would be I don't this know would be shit. an example I did of five um... streams. Okay. This this would kind of be an example of the point though as well. It's like not only is it set on Tatooine, it's set on the very specific mm -hmm. area of Tatooine that you remember yeah. rather than anywhere else. You could have said it like if you told me it was set on Tatooine, but we were on the different a different side of the planet that had entirely different place like locations. That would be kind of interesting, but of course. Yeah, but then like, why no, are we going to Tatooine at all? Exactly. Yeah, they yeah, would have why, that conversation why, why probably. Tatooine, unless we're going to Mos Eisley and, I can, and we're going to Jabba's palace. I can see a company if they were going to be like making a decision of we can go to Tatooine, but we're going to show the part of Tatooine that no one ever talks about and hasn't been in the movies and everything, where it's actually okay. That little sliver at just the right angle of the planets at the top and bottom, where it's mm -hmm. like kind of a, a little bit temperate. You know, because mm -hmm. if you remember in the in 77, when A New Hope came out, like the, the picture that they showed yeah. the landscape of Moss Eisley, it was it was by a river. So it, that that got changed later. Now Tatooine is just a shitty, sandy desert where there's nothing. But in the original trilogy, Tatooine was kind of like, where do they go to shoot? It was like Turkey or Kazakhstan or something Morocco. to shoot it. Some, it was Libya. Like Tunisia. Okay. Oh, don't you oh mean, I think it was right? Tunisia. Yeah. yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. So, also known as the best. All that. Mm? I didn't say anything. I was, it wasn't wasn't me. Thought. <laughs> Impossible time period. Simply because it's when one of the all-time goats, Shadows of the Empire, is also set. This. That. Uh, oh, that's no, why. It's because of the, no, what the fuck okay. even is that? It's because of the movies. It's because of the films. Well, but he's, well, he's, 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 he's saying it's a it's it's a good time to set it because another game that's good was set then, which is like that doesn't help anything oh, at all. Another game I, was made by LucasArts, not so, Ubisoft. I mean, you could just put Rogue Squadron in here then as well, I guess. Well, I just I wasn't <laughs> expecting that for a reason. He could have been like this makes, anything else. This makes even less sense though, because imagine I told you guys like it's real great. They're set in the new open world in the prequel era because actually that's where the Lego prequel games took place. Right, because <laughs> like, um, we were all sitting okay. there on the assumption that he was talking about and the movies, me? and then he busts that out. <laughs> That's not—it's yeah, just not anything. Know, you know, you'd I have, you'd have a problem with that game. The, you'd have a part of point. Render's cool, but <laughs> you'd have part of a point if you were to connect the people who made it have similar interests, or they are literally the same people. Uh, like they have the same design outset, or they—they're inspired by the game. Or some connection. But all he said was like, "This game was set then." Like. Yeah. Well, I, 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 funny as well, it's I like, mean, so that's that wouldn't be canon now. That would have been decanonized. Yes. Uh, and also, yes, it was made it by LucasArts, which LucasArts got destroyed when Disney acquired Lucasfilm. Now it's Lucasfilm Games that licenses it out to EA and Ubisoft. Yes. <laughs> Gross. Yeah. I mean, oh, yeah, that was the feeling that I was having. 
that was the feeling I was having when I was playing it actually, because I grew up playing Shadows of the Empire and I really liked it. Yeah. And it's it covers the same kind of area of the lore and that it's both like an underworld type story. And I'm just thinking like, okay, this this obviously means that Shadows of the Empire is not coming back then. Those characters are gone. Right. Oh, someone said it's obviously a joke. Yeah, we were joking as well. Good. Yeah, it was so obviously a joke what we were doing. Yeah. Yeah. Embarrassing if you can't yeah. tell. Yeah. Like, come on. Pretty, yeah. yeah, wow, jeez. Because the Empire is also set. This means that there's also a heavy Imperial presence throughout all the various planets you visit. And it is kind of uh, cool in that regard. Get heavy. <laughs> uh, not, wait, no, hold on. Heavy. Oh, wait, hold on. What? Let's, let's get the that... whole section. No, no, yeah. We'll go back even further. As of the Empire is also set. This means that there's also a heavy Imperial presence throughout all the various planets you visit. And it is kind of cool in that regard. Which is not true. You literally paused in where we were last time asking for more context. Thank you very much. All right, let's rewind again. Yeah. Just said, <laughs> because this means that there's also a heavy Imperial presence throughout all the various planets you visit. And it is kind of cool in that regard, getting to worm your way through various security checkpoints. I... Okay. You do that once. I... Wait, two one. things. That's do you see that the clip I... he had had a glitch in it? And then secondly, this is the worst example of that possible. Do you see the, the, the lady? Glitch. the lady directly in front of... Play a character just to the right, she jumps. Watch this. Worm your way through various security checkpoints. What is this? You, you have to worm your way through various security checkpoints. This is a scripted sequence that happens yeah. once and I never mean, again. Maybe yeah. again, it's just what he was it's fed. Not in the interactivity. The, maybe it's the only part, only time he saw that in the. Uh, yeah, like, we well, missed the part that where he said Here's something was just guy. wrong. I yeah. don't even know why it would be a point of praise. There's no interactivity. You don't have to do anything. You just walk through, and it's like, oh, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. yeah, you let me in? Yeah, and that's it. There's no gameplay. It's it's like a scripted yeah, event, weird. and it never happens again. If this is his I example... I even found it annoying, because the, the, the guy looks at your, your thing and goes, oh, so you're this person? Like, he's supposed to know that, because you're dealing with a fake uh, uh, ID. It's insane in the first place. It is insane. It doesn't make sense in and of itself the way it's functioning, but it's a really weird example to choose of how do you have to worm your way through Empire security in a heavily, like, impacted of Empire world. Like, all of these statements are wrong at every yeah. level. Yeah, well, yeah. well he said that there's... He said... Yeah? He said there's a heavy Imperial pres presence on all the places that you go, which is just not true. Well, he he to, started did, off with this wrong. Did he go to any of the other planets in, in the preview? Well, he, he, he's made the claim. Whether he went there or not. Do you, th I, do you I think at this point he needs to be clear if he's saying this is the case or if he's quoting or what they've told him what, to say? That's what he was told. Yeah. Boy, and we'll never know. And we'll the, never know. You know, the, oh God. So I, I know at least Mahler, you know, I have a fucking hard on for this shit. <laughs> I have such Rat, a problem Mahler knows, Mahler with, knows with all this about kind of fucking ethical <laughs> quagmire in in video game reviews, where yes. we don't know what you play on, we don't know where you got it, we don't know what you were told, we don't know if you were paid we don't know if maybe they sponsored other things from you i really have a problem with it so with you bringing it up yes that is exactly it how much do you know were you told this by them were did ubisoft sit you down and say here's what this is happening and by the way because i can tell you that during those four hours there is a person on that discord call with you so that person is saying oh well you know so here's what's happening in this moment and you're just repeating pr to me now that's all you're doing is just repeating PR to me, and you're not telling me that you're repeating PR to me. So that makes you nothing more than a fucking shill, and it really pisses me off. Yeah, because if you don't come in afterwards and say, like, guys, they lied to me about this, and, like, I repeated it and everything because I trusted them and I believed them. But if there's not a follow-up video that says, yeah, like, I just spread, like, wrong information, I told you things were in this game that were just not in the game. I wouldn't well, be a. Then, kind of um, get you I could believe this. With other sponsors, though, there, there's some well, then room that's here. That's the price of integrity, isn't it? Yeah. There's some room here so. for interpretation. I could, I could, if, I, if the fucking gun to my family, I could argue there's a heavy imperial presence in all planets. I, uh, I don't think I'd be. It wouldn't be very honest, but I would use, I would use words in a very specific way <laughs> to, to get my points. Yeah. However, worm your way through like security checkpoints. That one is like, what are you referring to, man? Like, well, what... just even with what you see here, like what's on screen, you don't do anything. You walk up, and then a, a, like a non-interactive cutscene plays out, and then you just in, and then it never happens again. You can just come in and out through this area freely. That Which like, there's no gameplay here. Ad. That's fine if if what I'm watching is an ad. Well, well All right? that's not if, it doesn't describe I mean this is just not it doesn't not describe like 
It's, this no, isn't, no, this isn't I mean like, is uh, that, this doesn't happen in the Moriarty's game. Moriarty's a shill confirmed. <laughs> what I mean is that Oof. if I'm he watching it was fine an and ad, it wasn't. if I'm watching an ad, you can use terms like, oh, you know, and you're going to have to do, but if you are a reviewer who is supposed to be telling me as the consumer what I should expect if I pay up to 130 fucking dollars for this game then you should be telling me the goddamn truth and if you're not then you should be telling me where you're getting these words that you're saying to me from and that like is no i'm with you on that yeah. I, it, it, but to it's be honest, a really I would, big issue in our industry i would prefer that ads are held to this that they have to be able they have to tell you the truth they can't lie to you that would be nice it would be I get interpretations, yeah, like I said. Yep. If someone said, there's an imperial fucking base in almost every planet, so that counts as heavy, uh, I don't know, impact on, on the planet itself, I'd be like, hmm. Mm, mm, is mm. there, though? But at least that's debatable. But this is yeah. such a weird choice, because this is a cutscene. You don't even get to do anything mechanically. Well, yeah, because yes. when you tell me worm your way through, it'd be like, oh, so I got, like, options here. Technically. But you, you don't. <laughs> And the I mean, way she wins is dumb as fuck. It makes it, it makes it sound like a player guided activity. Yeah. It is yes. specifically framed to sound like a fr player guided Especially activity. Especially in the context of the Assassin's Creed well, uh, developers, where you might be thinking, oh, so it's going to yeah, be yeah. something like that. Uh -huh. Like, yeah, do I go through the checkpoint with like a disguise or fake papers? Well, then, or do I have to use my stealth to find another way around? Does your sure equipment find me? and your history and your choices determine if you can get through and the nature in which you get through? And you know that's or all the stuff. Is, like, ooh, that sounds interesting. Or is a checkpoint merely those funny little laser walls they put in the road that you could just jump just right walk over? Past. Oh yeah, jump over. <laughs> you can jump right yeah. over. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. You're you're actually showing it. You can't do anything here. Oh, yeah. There's oh, no man. button you can press. Yeah. Nothing you can do. Torn Valerio Nup. That's me. And they do it I once, mean, which makes no lying. sense either, but, because when I'm you were two, she's so good. How? Yeah, she's so good at lying. I, well, like, yeah, this is, is just a... An, it's a random name. So you're Shlomo Shlomo Yes. <laughs> Are you okay. Steam? You, you oh, said it with more conviction sure than she did. Yeah. You yeah, can't, you can't fail this and it doesn't say, repeat. Well, yeah, it's, it might actually be the worst possible vision of this happening, you know? Like, it, it has no impact, it means nothing, and it's terribly executed. It's just why I even mm. bother putting it in the video game. It's so like, that people can say shit dialogue, like this. <laughs> you have to pass security checkpoints. Like, oh. I guess so. I guess Because so. if this would be like a real video game, this would be your tutorials. Like, here, you need to make sure you have a proper fake ID so you can get through well, all these. Sneaking into uh, a bar at the beginning. Or like, they, you'd be on yeah. Canto Bite in the tutorial area, and you'd have yeah. to sneak into like the High Roller VIP lounge at like one yes. of those gambling places. And so mm -hmm. you'd have to, that would be like part of the little heist to get some information. Or and then like, um... you would have to, they'd give you something. I mean, they, won't, they don't give you enough, like they think you're stupid, so they won't do this. But they'd say, here's your information, learn it, make sure you know this so that they ask you a question, you have the answer. And then the player has to read the info, your name, how old you are, your home planet, why mm -hmm. you're here. And then, like, randomly, you're going to be asked one of those questions by the person, you know, interrogating you, and you have to give the actual <laughs> right answer. I don't know that I need papers, please, out of the game. Do it! I think I'd like the, that. I think I'd like that. that I fucking love the open all kinds of choices. To, like, throw different kinds of interaction at you, which what is like, important for the open world. Yes, yes, like, actually. What if the retarded wall. upgrade system gave this you an option to pursue, right? You can go with, like, Gunslinger, and you can add one more target onto your Deadeye or whatever. You can go with, uh, like, Adventurer, and it makes you have more heart or just things that i'm trying to work within the game because there's so fucking little to work with but if you pursue the dialogue tree and you actually get better at persuasion and if like rag said right at the beginning the first simple almost childish tutorial test is you're like trying to convince someone to give you a free drink at the bar that's it and you got like four options and you get more if you upgraded dialogue in the opening tree of options just feel like in video game stuff it's not even particularly impressive then they could have done it mm -hmm. Yeah, you like yeah. Us a drink. Oh, a lot of RPGs have done this before, I think. Oh no, Mahler! No, you can't have a drink at the bar. What are you talking about? You can't <laughs> I like how order you, a drink. I like how you said that. Like I just suggested something that can happen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just hey, cutting you, you off in the knees. It was a mechanic, right. rags. Of course, it can't happen in this game. You have to understand, rags. You can't order a drink at the bar, but you can order food for a quick time event minigame. You can't oh. fail. Oh god, <laughs> the last the, like the, five the, fucking minutes. I, yeah, the god. food, the food mini game is the worst part of this whole game. I, I that's oh, not even true. That's not even true. It's so bad. So, 
It's a the two and a half minute long part. quick time event that's that's like aping Monster Hunter World for no reason mm. at all. And it, it just, in a bad oh way. Oh my god. But I, I would, however, like well, to just reiterate what I said earlier because this stunned me. You cannot order a drink at the bar in the Star Wars Outlaws Underworld Crime no, Syndicate nope. game. You, you can go to the bar to and the you bar. can lean on the bar, but you cannot order any drink. What a shame. What a fucking shame. What a fuck, <laughs> absolute shame. It's not yeah, hard to get it in. And secondly, it would be cool if there was, however many bars there are on each planet, for every first drink you have at any of them, it just gives you a small boost in some way to something. That makes you feel like, yes. hey, well, cool. you got you to make it like in Grand Theft Auto, where you get drunk. And then well, that <laughs> too. You stumble, around, <laughs> you stumble around and fall over. Uh, yeah, Disney really can't funny. have you getting drunk. There's so much and like you have unique oh. lines of dialogue that reflect that the character is drunk. There's like really zero style and flair. Make it events out of it. Well, there's no interest oh, in making a video fun? game here. No. No. That but... would be really cool. Is if if you were drunk in the game and you had to do multiple like dialogue options, the dialogue options showed up as like the most amazing, clever, incredible thing from your perspective. And then when you press it and your character says it, it's not nearly as cool as That'd you thought fun. it was. I like, the idea of the, I like the idea of when you're drunk, the dialogue selector thing. Like it's subject to physics. Like it has accelerated. <laughs> Acceleration and deceleration, <laughs> such that it's difficult to actually get what you want. <laughs> That's funny. Mm -hmm. Oh, we should stop. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Bullshit! No, go ahead. We're no, seeing corrupt having... Imperial officers trying to cut a deal for some extra credits. No, they're not! No, okay. they just wipe okay. clean for money. So That's that is it. one of the most generous descriptions of what these fellas are, which is an automatic get rid of your empire notoriety instantly for money uh, little kiosks. That's what They're not people. And They're the sad people. thing about them is, you can get rid of your Empire notoriety just by sitting in a toilet for like two it minutes. Oh minutes. yeah, <laughs> it's insane. It just goes away uh, on its own. Rags, it's, it's so bad. It's a joke anyway. It's, I've it's, I had several I times in my it. stream <laughs> losing notoriety in the places I gained it. I'd be like running around yes, killing stuff, yeah. looking for things, and it's like they've lost you. Like, well, how have they? I've not even. <laughs> <laughs> and then started yeah, running away. Oh, that's base. right. Yes, yeah, so, there was one time I was at the top of a t of one of those towers on the first planet, and I wiped out everyone around the tower. And like speeders would come up, and you just blow them up, and doesn't matter. And then like I, we got to six, and then I saw a um a ship come down from orbit. I'm like, oh, it's gonna be big, and it like did a few laps, and then just left. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, um, and then I just <laughs> lost all the notoriety. It's like, wait a minute. <laughs> You can I'm, I'm here. I'm, I'm right thing. where you're looking for me. <laughs> if you get the death troopers, the the wanted doesn't go down, right? You have to. Yeah, you have to. Death. Oh, does it not? They, I never noticed because no. I just. I'm pretty sure they do. The if you oh, it drives me insane. I hate this so much. I you have go, no idea. You're, you're going around and like, oh, I want to get this meter up because it's probably be like GTA. Because be fun. You're going to be fun and there's like a fight to the death because at some point you're just going to get overwhelmed. So you get this meter all the way up. And what happens is. Oh, Death Troopers have been dispersed. They're the best of the best. And then you get a marker on your map. And you have yeah, to go to them? You need yeah, to go like to three the Death Troopers. Away. They're two <laughs> yeah. kilometers so, away. Just to be yep. clear, I never actually went to the Death Troopers because... Oh, oh you're cool. Like, uh, so, not, but it's so why, funny. Like, what happens? What, okay, so you happens? go there. They like... There's like three or four Death Troopers. So just the not black... Looking for you it's or always three. Are no. It's always three. They always three so they just say oh they're planning the search for you but they're just standing there waiting they for you showed to up in there. the ao to plan the search for you so, yeah. so good. metal to you be know, clear even, out of the, the let's say 10 yeah. times i've seen it happen on your your playthrough of mine uh five times it broke so uh, you didn't oh. realize this because you didn't know what it means for it to be broken if you can see the oh, landing okay. ship it's broken Th that's not supposed to happen Really? Oh, you okay. noted well, it. That happened every yeah. time for yeah. me too. <laughs> yeah, it, it happens a lot. Uh, you noted it, Val. You're like, oh, thank goodness they uh, stacked up together so I could hit them all with my explosive shots. Like, you almost had it. They were literally spawned inside each other. They were all in the same yeah, that, place. Yeah, yeah, that, that's what I. That's what I meant. Yeah, I yeah. Didn't, they, they just broke. They came out of the new. So what happened is the, the ship, whole thing broke. Ship lands, drops them. They get stuck inside each other. The ship can't <laughs> leave until they disperse. So it's just stuck. It's all stuck. That's great. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah, and what you do on this in this space is you, you there's one commander guy, you kill him, get his key card, go yeah. to a little terminal, and then you get rid of all of your stuff, and that's it. Yeah. You can just get it rid of actually, the wanted level. It's bizarre. It is unreal that they just spawn off in the map and they don't pursue you. What is the point of that? You know what's yeah. the biggest joke is though? If you have a faction that has like poor 
reputation review, they will find you fucking everywhere. I think you need terrible there's for just, that. There's just five speeder guys here that just arrives like, we're gonna kill you now. And it's like, oh, you should be death troopers because you find me immediately, all the time. Yep. No, yeah, you're right. They, the, they, they actually the pursue you. That you. Yeah. It's, it's, it's the, ridiculous. I don't know what the fuck they were doing there. It's so dumb. As far as I can tell, the only negative that you get out of that is that you cannot fast travel while you have a death trooper. Like, no yeah, you can't while they're active. Yeah, but because I did, I was curious. Um, I got them on me, and then I went to, to continue story, and they, they, their notoriety gets wiped if you activate a cutscene. <laughs> Great. <laughs> the game is broken. Oh, everybody, game, are you man. shocked? <laughs> it's so detestable. Like, it, it doesn't even strike me as broken. It just seems like they just didn't. Nobody in the room Air? wanted to make a video game. And it's so disappointing. It's the, yeah. it's the yeah. equivalent of like essay prompt into turn in blank sheet of A4. Like maybe you were some mechanic <laughs> half ass. Well, so <laughs> maybe it's time to, to mention because I already found this out literally just before we start up the stream. So when I got to the end, it was Jabba that saved me. Same for Fringy because we'd gotten our reputation full with him. Uh, I think. Metal and Rags, you both had the Ashiga save you. Ashiga, right. yeah. Um, yes, I've seen the Crimson Dawn. Yeah, our reasons are the same. Do it, yeah. And then I guess the Pikes, if you've got them at the highest. But apparently, if you drive all reputations to zero, like terrible, and then complete the final mission, the game will uh, break. It'll it'll freeze. It'll crash because it can't. <laughs> well, that's a, Doesn't know a what cannon. to do. It break. It breaks cannon. There's no one to save. The rest There's of no the one that likes so... KVS enough to save it. <laughs> it's just a video game built with like the utter detest, like disdain for what a player might want to do. Like they haven't accounted even yeah. remotely. Remotely for yeah. anything a player might want to do. That's what's so crazy about it to me. Because usually these giant sprawling projects at least have like the decency to pretend that they know that a player is going to do things that they don't mm -hmm. explicitly intend. You know what? If the, the great thing about the reputate, just the great thing about the repu. Oh, go ahead. Really quick, if the game, as someone just mentioned in chat, if the game had balls, if you had zero rep with everybody, you should just lose. That should be the ending. Yes, hell yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah, it's like the super bad ending of Mass Effect Two if you have no loyalty. Yeah, exactly. To I was thinking that. Too. <laughs> Which yeah, I mean, I, I think Mass Effect 2 is probably the best comparison yeah, because the there's, yeah, yeah. No, there, there were so many show. endings mm -hmm. in Mass Effect 2 and so many d different choices you could make. Now, in Mass Effect 3, they kind of fell apart. But in, in, yeah. in Mass Effect 2, there was so much stuff you could choose to have a, a, like a wide variety of endings. And it felt like you were actually making choices, at least some parts in that game. It was quite nice. Well, you're making the same mistake that I did, which is that I expected the story in this game to matter. Right. And I know I probably <laughs> fool. <laughs> I know fall. I should. Right. Like, but I do have this expectation from Star Wars games that if they have conversation choices, that I can choose something, you know, light side, dark side, whatever. But in this game, it became really clear really fast that your choices nope. don't matter. Because you're juggling these four reputation sliders, uh, and you might think, you know, oh, it matters, man. but you're just playing the game with all four at the top by the end, and it's a question of which one do you want to have to turn some items into to bring it back up, right? Like, that's what every choice in this game is, is, okay, so if I give it to these people, do I want to bring them back up to the top with a few items later on? Mm -hmm. And that's it. That's yeah, it. yeah. That's the whole when you're almost better off... Of, of, well, uh, I, uh, waiting until the story shit is done because they have some mandatory shifts in the reputation. Yes. And there's just nothing you can do about it. So if you want yeah, it to be in a particular place, you just have yeah. to like wait and and some of them make no fucking sense. I don't I don't mean to go into that. I was gonna say actually, um, because I we we were choosing which to talk first. So Mel, what were you gonna say? Oh, it just the, what you were about to uh, touch upon. The only reason I was I had the Ashiga at the end was because of the main mission I had to do for them. Yeah. That's the only reason why this, because I had Crimson Dawn on excellent because I did the the side quests for them in the beginning to see what happens, which just turns out doesn't matter. There's still going to be restricted areas you were never allowed drip. to go to because why why bother? And then I just did the main mission. It's like oh I guess the Ashiga are now on top. Well I'm not going to bother doing any more side quests because fuck mm -hmm. that shit. <laughs> well for me the moment when I kind of realized oh none like none of this matters was is actually kind of early on. It was on Tashara still the first planet. Um, pretty much since the, the very beginning of the game, um, I hate the Pikes because they're inextricably linked to the Book of Boba Fett. So um, I murdered every single oh. one that I could. Nice. And uh, so my reputation with the Pikes was basically terrible as quick as it could become terrible and remained terrible for the entirety of the game, much to my mm -hmm. hilarity. But there is a side mission 
on that is always open that you can never fail or not be able to accept. There's a side mission where um, uh, you can go to Gorak, the leader of the uh, of the Pikes, and he wants you to do a job for him, even though Kves has slaughtered countless dozens of his men and stolen all the <laughs> stuff from him he still invites you into his office and says hey do you want to do this job for me to find mm -hmm. something that i really need you to find because the mission needs to happen and it doesn't give a shit that you hate the pikes and you've been slaughtering them which is by like an uncountable amount which is why i would call it it's like it's not that it doesn't matter it's that it's like anti-matter it, it actually gets in the way so hard of everything else that's happening because they fucked it up because it is funny because i was watching you ha that happened to you on your stream rags where it's like oh that it's like gorak's like i've sent death squads after you also can you do this small mission for me <laughs> <laughs> also can you, can you give me can you give me my ring back <laughs> It's so stupid. I mean, I, I was like, no. This kind of reminds me of, and I forget what the details were, but it was it was one of the expansions in World of Warcraft where if you had very negative rep with with one of the factions, they would attack you on site. But there was like one guy off to the side who'd be like, "Listen, you're an asshole, but I can help rehab your reputation if you do like a long side quest with me." And it's like, okay, well, that kind of feels about right. How how you would do that in this situation? But the in this game, they're just like, well. Nope, you just have to do the cutscene and fuck it. The only thing you seem to really get locked out of because you don't have a high reputation is some little, like, mini... I don't, I'm not even going to call them side quests. They're, like, little mini jobs. Yeah, yeah. Like, busy work jobs. They're usually mm -hmm. that's high risk, high rewards. But they're, they're not, like, interesting in the sense of gaining no. you anything story or even mechanically. It's just, like, no. go into the Empire place and download a thing that's so, going to make it slightly more difficult than just going to A to B without any enemies to deal with. They're so fucking boring. Yeah, they'll boring. say, like, oh, you can't fast travel. So, yeah. You only get one attempt at it or something yeah, yeah. like that. Yeah. just pointless restrictions but the How... thing is is that even if you do that quest it's not really a quest right it's literally i didn't call it a side quest it's, it's just a and job thing it's a side yeah. job it's so it's a... incredibly I mean, frustrating to be fair most of the tasks in the game are that that's true they're yeah. just busy right, work. but like you, you do all this work to have you know this high level of reputation with these these things and what do you get as your reward literally nothing i mean i guess you get some like cosmetic gear if you get it up to excellent but outside of that what are your quests actually nothing <laughs> it's so fucking frustrating i need man. well I, I think each rep has an armor set associated with it right it that's does, what i'm saying you get some, some they've got that, but... the, um... there's some but a lot of them will overlap with other ones and um mm. it's like i just like the reason i went for crimson dawn was because one i literally forgot that they were in star wars solo a solo <laughs> story star wars <laughs> and because I just liked, I liked their drip the most. I was like, oh, that, that looks neat. I'll be their person. And yeah. that was it. That's all the thought process that went into well, the decision. I wanted to unlock the all of them just to check what they have. And uh, I remember finding the Imperial one. You get the Imperial suit from the Pikes, which feels weird, but sure, fine. The Pikes don't get to have their own thing. They just have to go with the Imperial one. Um, and it gives you... More so benefits in Imperial places. So I was like, uh, I don't spend that much time in so yeah. Then it's like uh, the Crimson Dawn one had some good stealth stuff, and I was like, that's okay. Um, but the Ashiga top unlock, um, I, I I was telling Fringy about it. At the end, I had like eight health, which is yeah. huge. Oh yeah, um, all the health that I could get, I and, got too. And then yeah. it's and yeah, and then it's like also you can hold extra back to. It's like Jesus. Then it's like also you'll um, I can't remember. I think it's the full set benefit, but you get uh, you'll you'll continue to heal even when shot. So you know, usually it says. Yeah. You get like four gonna heal and only one of them is done if you get shot it cuts off the three uh the set benefit makes it so it continues and i was like that's um that's not a really big deal super you could tank a lot of damage that way yeah and... and you can carry more grenades carry more back to you take less damage from blaster shots you get like more adrenaline for did you get the bonus reason, and it's like oh shit that um if you get dropped to zero hp it'll fully reset your health to full I saw that bonus, but I never died, so I didn't bother. But Amazing. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> like, yeah, and, like, and what I'm getting at, of course, is that it just it just trumps every other single outfit. There's no reason I had to wear any other outfit. The um, if I, I, I actually found the picture. Someone saved it from the game. Let me post this here and read it, because I, I, I hate this kind uh -huh. of a lot. So at yeah. the very beginning, you have the little tutorial message pop up that explains to you that there's like a faction reputation system in this game. 
Mm -hmm. And at the bottom, they basically, a good reputation's good, you get some stuff, and a bad reputation is bad, you're cut off from some stuff, but, like, that's barely, barely true, technically. Um, but at the bottom, right, it says, there's, there's the crossed fingers icon, right? Loyalties change, betrayals are inevitable, and a resourceful outlaw must know how to play the underworld to their advantage. No, you don't. Um, so, <laughs> uh, wouldn't it be interesting, right, if, like, betrayals weren't inevitable? If you could actually stick with the faction? If you could mm -hmm. be like, okay, I'm going to roleplay as being a, a big simp for this faction, or I love this faction. I don't know why they would say with a system, betrayals are inevitable. It's like, well, well no. Some people, well, they'll, they'll be loyal to a faction, and that faction will give them a lot of rewards and good stuff if you're loyal to them. And they'll be like, oh, hey, it's Cave S. She's done a lot of good jobs for us. She's super awesome. She does good stuff for us even when there's, like, not much in it for her. She's really, she's really, really cool. And so you let her in and you give her a whole bunch of stuff and everything. But the way that they describe it here is, first off, way more complex and interesting than it actually is. But mm -hmm. they're just like, oh, yeah, you just go around betraying factions and everything. Like, the reputation really is just a meter that goes up and down instead of, oh, no, 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 you betrayed us the last time. We're not. We're, you're not doing jobs for us anymore. We we just literally can't trust you. The impression you I got out. very quickly from this is that it's it's built shoddily from what they would like to do in when they're playing, and they haven't entertained like anything else. Because first thing I wanted to do was do everything for Java, no matter what, every choice. Yeah. But the campaign <laughs> is built such by a person who believes that everyone who plays this would obviously want to subvert Java at every turn, and and it's like, oh, that's Which awkward. It's kind of, it's, I mean, it's a challenge that you, you, you have when you make a game where you have choices, and choices that presumably are meant to affect the story, is that you have to account for players feeling differently than you, and, and doing things differently, <clears throat> and that you need to write your character in the story accordingly so that it doesn't feel like one choice that they make contradicts um, the story or the character. Yeah. But yeah, I guess they didn't realize that people love Java, well, it... and they want to help him. Another example, Which is right? Weird is to because present... the game relies on you, Love and Java, because look, you're talking to Java. Look, no, it's been it's, Fortuna, well, it's Salacious in a, Crumb. In a sense, but it seems more so that they like other characters more. Like yeah, to give you an example, right? When we, before. I got this impression in my first stream when they, they were talking. Like, you're talking to Danka about the job you're doing, and then she's like, "Here's the uh, the person you're working for. Here's a Crimson Dawn leader, or one of them, not Kira, but the other." And it's like you have a personal conversation with her, and she's interested in helping. And I was like, "Hmm." We're quite antagonistic with Gorak, but we're quite friendly already with the Crimson Dawn leader. And then Jabba is almost only presented villainously. There's nothing there that could ever be considered cooperative, or he's not interested in your skill beyond the fucking juxtaposition almost of destroying his entire palace, killing all of his men, and wounding his rancor. And then he's like, "I'm impressed. I like you." It's like that. That <laughs> that's yeah. not well, what would yeah, happen but, at well, all. Kira's really cool, like, though. Have you considered that? It, Kira's so really cool. And that's a good example because by the time I got the cutscene where I was leaving uh, Kajimi, like they were having a conversation, like face to face. I'm like, oh yeah, you know, okay, you're you're a crazy lady. But like, I had the worst reputation. Like they at that point, that was when I had the lowest reputation with Crimson Dawn, and they were sending yeah. people after me. But like, they're having this conversation like they're pals. When according to the reputation system, she hates me, but she doesn't. You should be <laughs> yeah. Once you get all of that, and then you get um, the, the ending, right? So if Crimson Dawn save you, Kira's on the, the hologram thing, and she's like, you know, I'm going to help you, KVS, you're a blah, blah, blah. And then it'll show a shot of KVS, kind of kind of smiling. It's like, yeah, yeah, cool, we got, we got it. If it's the Ashiga, she's kind of neutral about it. She's like, okay, you helped me, cool. If it's Jabba, she looks disgusted. She's like, ugh, you helped me. Meanwhile... I, Muller and I. <laughs> Over the Thrill. fucking moon that he helped me. Yeah. I was so happy. My true love came to get me. And so right. this is what I mean. Like, I the game... The, the game wants to pretend it's like it's you get to choose. But it's like, no, you've already chosen. And I know you've chosen. And the whole game yeah. reflects that. You're you're boring. You went Crimson Dawn of the Coolest. Kira's awesome. It's like, no, she's not. I mean, she's lame. Mm -hmm. She's super to, lame. Not to spend even more time on it since we still got this <laughs> this video to be talking about. Um, yeah, I was about to say. Well, I'm... I'm... <laughs> Yeah. I'm limiting myself hard here. I'm just 
trying not to say anything <laughs> so we can continue. <laughs> uh, yeah i mean i guess we can continue we'll probably come up later because i'm sure the reputation yes. system will get talked about yeah but yeah, point yeah. being i love how we're here point being this one guy that relinquishes all empire notoriety for a price is is a the way he describes it makes it sound so much more interesting when it's not bullshit we're seeing corrupt imperial officers trying to cut a deal for some extra credits good Extra credit. Kind of oh, no. See, he makes it sound like it's more than just <laughs> one thing, which is lower notoriety for money, strict transaction. Yeah. Nice reminder as well That's that despite this hill of beans that exists in K's world, there's still that greater struggle going on in the background. Despite all that, though, it seems you're mostly just going to be dealing with the wretched hive of scum and villainy that make up Outlaw's uh, criminal uh, underworld, and that's yeah. a good thing. Uh, waste of time. I, uh, I'm not even sure why it would be said that it's a good thing. Wouldn't it be cool in Star Wars Outlaws if you could actually, like, buddy up with the Empire? All the Rebels? Yeah. Oh, you know? yeah. There should be an actual faction. There should there be a fifth be, faction or, in this game. Or, crazy thought, Empire. what about the Zarek Besh? Why can't I try and subvert Slero by getting in with the Zarek Besh? Exactly. Yeah. I'll get rid of your oh, death well. mark, but uh, you gotta make it's, it up to oh, me. Oh, the but, you scope know, yeah. is minuscule. I, I guess I just find it anyone who can do yeah, that. Yeah. It's a good thing that we're just focusing on the um the 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 criminal gangs. It's like yeah, why before. why why can't we be involved in like why wouldn't we be able to have an impact on the rebellion or the empire as well? If yeah. that broader struggle is going on, and 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 the reality is this game invites it because the actual central conflict. It's not about the syndicates. It's about mm -hmm. the rebellion okay. and the empire. On that note, because I said this on Real BBC yesterday, and now we're still early in this video, but I'm all, I, I, I'm almost certain this is the kind of video that would have said it, especially if they told him to. If there was a mechanic, and it is just a box, and it is a box present on all planets, and you can donate uh, any choice of money down to you, you can choose uh, any amount, put it in the box, and it goes toward either your choice, the Rebels or the Empire, and it's contextualized as some smuggler's box that'll it'll get you, that'll put it towards the thing. Zero to 9999 credits does nothing. 10,000 to either the Empire or the Rebels, if you do it, it'll send you a, a literal fucking text thing on screen, and it'll say, uh, thanks to your donations, the Empire has managed to actually like crush the Rebels, or at least uh, consolidate power. And if you do the reverse, a text will come up saying the Rebels have actually secured further settlements and, and different planets and they've made a serious push forward in their fight against the empire and that's it i feel like these videos would mention that as like your efforts to donate you can choose to spend the money on yourself or you can donate it to greater causes and actually affect the events of the world i feel like that's what they would say mm. and that's what i feel mm. like with a lot of these mechanics is there's nothing to them whatsoever but you can describe them in ways that kind of make them sound a little neat, you know? It's like, oh, that's... It's just a text yeah. blur. Yeah, they no. sort of interact with it actually means. So frustrating. Yeah. I, I think the worst part about it is that you can actually imagine how this would be really good in a different game, in a better game. Absolutely. You know? yeah. Like, I'm, I'm thinking back to, like, you know, this game, but it's, like, a GameCube-era game or something, and you, you, like... You know, Eternal Darkness style, you complete a run with with each of the factions and then like you unlock a hidden fifth ending where you actually do take control of the Zarek Besh. And like the ending is like the the real oh. canon ending is like is like K like sitting on the throne and like it's like yes, I've won everything. Like, you yeah, know, that's yeah. something I said to the game. Yeah, she's yeah. like, Oh, like you were gonna take I, over? Actually, <laughs> I'm gonna take over. Yeah. I'd play that game five times to see that ending back in 2003 or whatever, you know? Like, yeah, I, just, I could see how this would work really well. And they just, just being able it. to build your own faction. I'm just oh, shocked that's not even, so wasn't cool. even considered. It, like, yeah, why can't I just, just make my own real. faction? Like, what yeah, the fuck? Yeah, that is crazy. That's crazy. It seems to me the more compelling pitch would be that you play as ND5, you play as a robot, and <clears> you're <throat> like, fuck it, I'm going a, I'm to a make my own syndicate. I'm going <laughs> to take over. And then you yeah. come into and you conflict know and you recruit people and you get like lieutenants and stuff and you build your like you build up your own uh, empire. They even let you name it. You can type letters into the game and it'll present those yes. letters later. Could you imagine that? Could you imagine naming Whoa. your speeder or your ship or anything in this game? Could you imagine how crazy <laughs> that would be? <laughs> or any of them. Your ship is called the Trailblazer. And every single person goes, oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wanted to call by the wings also, of redemption, I, I, but fine, you know, it's up to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like this is going back to the um 
the ending conversation you had about a minute ago, but having Kay's personality be a little bit different based on who you're siding with, I think would also be nice and go, just go a long be way. Just fucking different. Kay sucks. <laughs> yes. okay. just change the whole like, fucking game. Why not? I, I'm so serious that she sucks. She's, such a, she's such a shitty character, right? And I want to qualify that. It's not that she she's like acted poorly or whatever. She is an idiot. She constantly says stupid quips. She's an asshole to everyone. The reason she doesn't have her own faction is because nobody fucking likes her. She just sucks. And, and like, maybe well, she has an arc Java that likes by it, the end of the game. I mean, it's funny that you say that, but like, it's kind of a problem. Everybody likes her in the game, basically. Like, yeah, so yeah like cool. all those fucking experts you point. come across, Hero they like her immediately. Her. Yeah. yeah. The I the the Celo girl yeah, where she's like trying to shot. trying to fuck her immediately in this in the cutscenes when she kind of screwed her over. Remember the girl who says like I can upgrade your thing if you go and fetch this part, and the part leads her to like a trap. First of all, the turbine she turns off turns back on when she goes in. Oh yeah. And then you have to do all mm. that dangerous as fuck platforming, which all of us died on because it's funny. And then uh, by the time you complete it, she's like, oh yeah, that was a little harder than I thought. She's like, yeah, well, this part isn't even necessary to upgrade your thing. I just wanted it. It's like, oh, okay. And then she's oh. like, can we, can we date? Because <laughs> KFS is retarded. <laughs> I should have the freedom to kill people on a whim. It's Star Wars Outlaws. Fuck yeah. If someone does that shit to me, then I should be able to extort them for money, threaten them, or murder them on the spot. Well, yep. You can't, you can't do that. You're an outlaw. Outlaws, repercussions for that. outlaws are notoriously friendly people who do nothing but <laughs> go by the friendly, law. Yeah. It needs to. They need to play into the in-group, out-group dynamic of like gangs and syndicates. If you are with us and you work with us and you're loyal, if you do good shit, we are going to take care of you. You're going to get you money. We're going to set you up. But if you betray us or if you go against us, we're going to hunt you down and kill you, and we're going to find you. Right? Even down, we're going to find people you care about too. Yeah. Even down to the smallest of things, because like we talked about how it can't do anything broad right, but there's so many like tiny immersion breaks as well. Um, if you're in favor with the huts, even up to excellent, there are places on Tatooine where you need to, when you're doing one of those missions where it's like you need to go to one of our strongholds, pick a thing up, and deliver it to somewhere else. Like, okay, fine. But um, there's this one place. You know how every district has a place you can go and then a place you can't go, even if you're on excellent reputation. You cannot go into this part because that's yep. where we keep all the special things, even though that sucks too. You should absolutely get to yep. a point in Reputation where you can go into the super secret parts. Fucking all those goons are in the super yeah. secret part. Are they all much better reputation than me? Who's been completing all of your most... This is besides the point. So I had excellent uh, excellent reputation with the Crimson Cringe. And then I had to talk ah. to someone. And that guy wasn't like a restricted area for me. Like, yeah, I yeah, actually... yeah. That's one of oh, the yeah, aliens. Oh, yeah, the landing pad. The guy yes. the landing pad. You can't yeah, get there yeah. even with excellent. You, you have to yeah. sneak in. That's the reason I always so, have to be deified. Well, but you my thing's funny, okay? Yeah. So there's, <laughs> yeah, a, there's a building that is off limits. <laughs> and there's an entrance that has a door. And there's a Gamorrean guard standing in front of it. Now, my job, as described <laughs> by the commission of the contract, was to go to up to a box that was next to the Gamorrean guard pick up the loot inside it and deliver it somewhere else. So I walk up to it and it's on the borderline of his activation of me going too close to the restricted area. So mm -hmm. I'm literally opening the box and he goes, hey, and then everyone like turns and he goes, hey, hey, what are you doing? And I was like, my job? What the fuck are you <laughs> mad at me for? What? I thought you told me to do this. And they're like, oh, what are you doing? And then you back away and they're like, oh, okay, thank God. I thought you were going to the restricted area. It's like, ugh, fuck it, hell. When you know what it what should be is. What do you want is... me to do? Do you want me to do this job or not? Are you is the person who gave me this job? Are they corrupt? Are they betraying the organization and using me as a stooge? What's happening here? It would never happen. But what you want is just a bit of banter. Even you get that. Uh, you get the guys saying like, "Oh, it's converse Like everyone's in a while is very much uh, stock. It's not in any way like so dynamic. Cool. But imagine walking into the restricted area and someone goes, "Hey, oh, it's you." Eh. What are you? Uh, yeah, what exactly. have you been up to? Like you know, because like I, we can trust you. You wouldn't. You wouldn't do anything to us. You. You fought for us in the Battle of Gana. And I heard about that job you pulled off. On yeah. Could Jumi go plantation? Like, that was really how you slick fucked up work. the Crimson Dawn for us. Like there's no way that you would. You'd subvert us. Like I trust the. I shit can't believe you. you'd punch them all in the face. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I heard <laughs> Dark Souls. <laughs> <laughs> you rolled around like Dark Souls and punched them all to death. <laughs> Your I famous, you your like great it. fist. May I, may, may I see your fists? Can may I see I your see calluses? Your they must be legendary. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's like we were making, uh, brick. making jokes about how there's going to be like a memory where her, her hands got cut off and she got given mechanical ones by her mom or something. <laughs> oh, there you go. Right, I get it now. 
Uh, oh, the first mention <laughs> first mention of KVS's mother in the stream. Yeah. Rico! Yeah. Yeah. Woo. yeah. It's a waste of time. Despite the exactly. final game being about putting this whole team together and all that kind of stuff, the only recurring character they showed off in this early preview was a Rodian called Waka. <laughs> Which is uh, really Waka. funny cool considering the full game. <laughs> What a cool character. What was he the was. point of that? Uh, the thing that struck me so hard when completing the game is why did they have Waka at all? Why wasn't he just Kadeek yeah. to begin with? I because... forgot he exists up until now. Because <laughs> slight it's slight drama yeah. at the end. The mildest of drama when he's just like, actually, I betray him, you now. But and you like, saw oh, yeah, it coming. Well, I saw it coming. Fucking, yeah, I think everyone, everyone did. did. Nobody knows why she trusts this fucking guy. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. She's a retard moron. Uh, and that fits in with her character. She's very consistently written. I'll say that. Well, it, was, it, was a, it was a great gamble that paid off at first. He fully fixes the ship in like a, For if free. you play it right, he does it in like an hour. Yeah. You can just fix a starship. I love that when he's just, like, I'm gonna yeah. fix the ship, and she's like, You're not gonna leave with it, are you? And he's like, No. <laughs> yeah. Okay, All right, cool. Cool. Well, yeah, he just, doesn't just, leave with and it. And he doesn't. He could. Though. And the thing is, he why could. not? He says, I, I can't have loose ends. Like, oh, shut the fuck up. You know, the. Um, vest. Do you know what the equivalent of that is, by the way, in the other direction? So, like, this is a, t a time where the writers need him to not kill her, right? Or to not l simply leave with the ship, because he, of course, could. So they're like, Oh, he has to. He has to tear up loose ends and you're like okay so simultaneously though why don't we kill Slero at the end remember when uh, Vale betrays him and she says I can't have a dead ISB officer like I can't I can't do that mm -hmm. and it's like why <laughs> like he's it's much worse to have him alive and angry at you isn't it no she's like no it'd be much worse if uh, if, if we kill Listen, him look I killed legions of people in order to get here I'm not going to kill the bad guy at the end and charge it him. Makes at all. no all sense. Right. You, of course, would <laughs> kill Slero, and you probably. It's his death mark that he's provided, right? Like, if he's dead, he's not going to pay. So. Well, that would be a thing that he tells you. He's like, by the way, just, just to be clear, Kay, uh, the death mark, uh, I have it in. I, it's, it's part of a trust with my estate and everything. If I die, the death mark is still active. And if people yeah. turn it in, they'll get paid. So well, killing me? No. It's you could not even, gonna help. You could even have him say the death mark doubles on my death. Like, yeah, uh, something like so. that. You know, like something interesting that a neat villain of your entire yeah. fucking game could say? A neat yeah, villain? You mean like Darth Vader? Well, no. he's not in this game. <laughs> Why would KVS ever interact with Darth Vader? That doesn't make any sense that he'd be in this game. <sighs> that, would be, that would be awful. That is the correct reaction yeah, that sad. everyone had when he turned up. Everyone just went, Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> It's so gross. For fuck's sake. I can't believe it. I was just like, yeah, sure. Whatever. He was so cringe, too. Yeah, so he was cringe. Oh, God, gross. Yes, he is the force. You know, Ragged, you know, they originally had him get the lightsaber out, and they were like, oh, he always does. They make fun of us for doing that. We should use the force this time. Get yeah. the lightsaber out. <laughs> what if he broke the... all the glass in the room and then pointed it at Slero, and that's that's not edgy. We need a, we, we need another Darth Maul cabby where he just turns on the lightsaber and turns it off. That shit was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> you know what this is, right? It'll cut right through your bones. I'll get you. I'm gonna get I'm a hologram, but I'll get you. If, if like I'm ever eagle. in the same room as you, you'd better watch out, because I'll get you. Who serves as Kay's mechanic and works on repairing and upgrading a ship. Then you've also got Kay's little... Is when he says that, who serves as Kay's mechanic. Like, I guess for an hour if you go through it. Well, I guess right speed, he was know? told that slash played that or whatever, so sure. But it's it, technically it's, true. It is weird, isn't it? Because the review, this can only work until the game releases. And then it's kind of just obsolete. And then it's mm -hmm. like, yeah, oh, like all of this just wasn't true slash misleading or a yeah. lie. Which, because, for instance, if someone said, like, well, that's the point of it. And I'd be like, no, like in a bad way. Like, like the information becomes wrong once the game is out. Because yes, serves as her mechanic yeah. is very yeah. like. Pfft, I was, uh, yeah, and yet that. this video will remain up, and it's going to become you know uh, uh, referenced by people. People will point to this. It will maybe lead people to buy the game. Yeah, there's a lot of problems with the thing. Like, yeah, if it was me, I would have been like, yeah, those Ubisoft guys. Like they showed me a bit of the game, but like they, a lot of the stuff they told me was a lie. They lied <laughs> to me. Yeah, you can make the follow up video and be like, it's a, it's fascinating to compare the game to what they told me the game was. But if yeah. you do that, you might not then get invited lose again. Well, and to be fair, anyway. right? Uh, if you want to be as as friendly about this as possible, I'd be like that. That is true. Probably they probably won't invite you back, and that's that's a sacrifice you'd have to make. 
But you yeah. should make it. I think we should. We would, would all imagine right someone would someone would properly mm. do this. The amount of street cred they would get on YouTube, I think, were pretty big. Well, <laughs> well, to, well, what if, he was doing was he was he was um he was he was playing the game, right? G-Man um, Lives was, he wanted to increase his faction reputation with the Ubisoft Syndicate. <laughs> <laughs> well, because I was just going to say, like, if they sent me a message saying, you called us liars, I'd be like, but you lied to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you did what, lie. What do, you call so, what do you call someone who lies? <laughs> and if they said, like, we're never inviting you to anything again, I'd just be like, well, that's unfortunate, because, you know, like, I'm not, you know, you know what I mean? Like, it, it'll happen, but... It's okay, you'll be fine. You don't need a Ubisoft. Really <laughs> you'll be fine. Right, you, you I don't know, know Ubisoft, happens. especially modern Ubisoft, like this Ubisoft is what you want to get in good with. This one, like five years ago, I'd be like, okay, I, mm. I guess like you're scum, but I understand. Now it's like you're retarded. <laughs> I mean, but, but <laughs> like 2024 Ubisoft. It. I have right? to, yeah, like, I would under. Oh, sorry. Like it makes sense why this happens, right? Yeah. Because access, you've got this sort of. Uh, pressure, right, of self-censorship and avoiding criticism because you need to maintain your positive relationship with the game company or else you don't get that. And if you don't get that, you know, early uh, review, then you don't get the views. I'm just curious how, I, I haven't looked at this um, uh, video. I'm curious how many views it has on YouTube because that, you know, amount of money is money that doesn't exist anymore if he doesn't put this out, uh, 130,000 views. So this has got, you know, two grand in, in ad sense that he doesn't get just plain and simple. Doesn't get so got he a is, promo code in it as well. For a, and a promo code. Yeah. And he's probably got, you know, uh, um, Patreon support and blah, 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 blah. Right. So there is a, a significant amount of money that's tied up in this shitty video, right? Like a significant amount for most people, thousands of dollars uh, of money, where if he doesn't put out this shitty video, right, he doesn't make that money. He has to make a video that actually is good. And that means that, you know, whatever. Uh, but but people are willing to watch it because it's a new thing. It's a, a, a spicy new game. People are interested in it. Oh, and it might actually be good. Wow, I can go and I can watch this great video about the So, like, it is an insidious part of the industry where if you don't have these videos that, that people want to watch, right, then you lose out on thousands of dollars. And it's just gone. It's gone forever and you can never get it back. And that video well, only matters mention... for a short period of time. It matters for, you know, the two weeks before the game comes out when you have the opportunity for and the interest, right? And outside huh. of that, that money's never there again. Sort of so I, I understand. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Uh, I just quickly, I've seen uh, someone say, I want to see the comments. And someone else say, I can't imagine the comments are pretty good. Then someone said... Uh... I know what the comments are going to say after the EFAP. So we haven't read them yet. We will at the end of this video. Believe me, no amount of what we could say could make that comment section more negative than it already is. Oof. <laughs> and, but to and that's go back to what you were saying so about like the whole, uh, you know, money influence and everything like that. It doesn't just end with uh, Ubisoft when it comes no. to like these companies that was like, oh, we're not talking to you anymore. They talk to other companies and then they blacklist you in return for like saying like, oh, look at you. You went, well, you went worse than that. They liar, all use you know? the same PR companies. Yeah. So like, oh, one company got, you know, 150 companies are not talking to you anymore. Mm -hmm. Right. It is a very large thing. Ubisoft is a little bit different. Um, you know, the really big companies are a little bit different because they tend to have a lot of internal uh, PR people, right? But they all work. They're, they're incredibly incestuous. They've all worked in the same places before, mm. right? If you are a, a PR person at Square, you probably were a PR person at Ubisoft and you were probably a PR person at Sony and you were probably a P right? Like they're all the same things. It's really, really easy to lose all of your access. If you're a gaming YouTuber, it's really easy and you'll never get it back again. <laughs> Yeah, so I rely understand on that so that you say the things they want yes, to say. Yes, that's the fucking bullshit you're, part of it. You're playing the integrity game. is expensive. It's really expensive. It really <laughs> is. Because if he comes out and he puts out a video and he says, Ubisoft lied to me, 
Here's what they said during my, you know, potentially uh, uh, NDA'd four hour time period where I spent with them on, on this. And yeah, it was through Discord and we used Hamachi and here's all their background system. And here's how they showed me. And this is what they said to me. And here's, you know, uh, maybe a screenshot of the thing that they said to me in Discord. That person is not only going to lose Ubisoft, they are going to lose everybody else. And that means that now you're not just losing the three, five, six thousand dollars that you made on one video. You're not getting any other videos either. And suddenly you're making videos on things that have already released and nobody's going to watch a Star Wars Outlaws uh, a video that comes out two weeks after the game releases. It just doesn't happen. Well, depends. <laughs> yeah, well, I think they absolutely it will. It depends on, on who we're talking about. Nobody's going to watch an IGN review on Star That's Wars. That's what I mean. That's what I'm just, I mean, here we are. We yeah, will because I, the, we're weird. Yeah. <laughs> to be clear, I absolutely do mean that. Like the IGN style, because this is an IGN review, right? Like it's not an in-depth review here. It's not like he's going into it's not everything a good so review. far. Well, it's, it's a, a first, first, first impressions. A first yeah, we, impression. We still got a lot of video left here. Well, and on that point, we are currently at a rating of about one hour per minute, so not bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, can, I yeah, have the day off tomorrow. I'm fine. <laughs> All right, so that takes us to tomorrow, definitely. There's a Rodian called Waka, who serves as Kay's Waka. mechanic and works on repairing and upgrading a ship. Then you've also got Kay's little furry buddy named Nyx, about the Yay! closest thing we're ever going to get to <laughs> Stitch friend. appearing in the Star Wars universe. I don't know why you're this... such a big fan. I find him lame. He's lame. Wow. Yeah. I, I, like lame. I just I like his, I know I like he exists because so he's the baby yeah. odor effect. Yeah, I mean, every, yeah, exactly. everything of positivity you could possibly say about him is specifically like in a lab designed to hope that you would say it. There's nothing True. substantive exactly. about it. <laughs> True, it yeah. worked, my beloved. Okay. Jabba um, is harder. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, whoa. <laughs> you take that back. <laughs> Thing plays the part of the cave ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we can agree. <laughs> the token cute little side character, which is pretty much a Star Wars staple by this point. You know, basically uh, the doesn't it's been have to be a staple by yeah. Disney. It's definitely been made a staple by Disney, but it didn't have to yeah, exactly. I mean, does Andor have a cute sidekick other than that robot that's with his mum? That's that doesn't even really count. Uh, just... yeah, but that wouldn't that wouldn't really count, I don't think. Yeah, so uh, Andor people, managed to I, escape was... this cringe. Um, well, because it's in Star Wars Jedi, right? He's got like a little robot Jedi survivor and but... thingy. Yeah, they. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they have it. Obviously, does does Ahsoka? Ahsoka doesn't count because she she just has David Tennant robot. He does. He's not like a cute no, one. So it's not quite the same. No, he's but like it's... verging on an actual. But character, like, I, yeah, I yeah. think it would have been way cooler. It would have been way cooler if he was like a like kind of like a space wolf, like really kind of like a menacing, kind of almost scary uh, critter. But, I wasn't you know, joking. He was, he was, um, oh, Nix was a sweetheart. I wasn't joking in your stream that. rags. I would have preferred. That, uh, no, I, know I don't know what the. That. That's what I'm saying. I don't know what the species called, but Salacious B. Crumb type, where it's because it matches <laughs> oh, the outlaw yeah, sort of fun. thing. Yeah, Can you imagine, like, fun. while you're talking to people because you're an asshole, he's just mischievously like goblining around and he's stealing <laughs> shit. <laughs> he's rubbing his think, hands uh, together. Yeah, it would be fucking awesome. You can upgrade him, and he'll like he'll just have. Say, for example, someone's like, "I like you, kid." He's just the background with like a displeased face. It's like, mm. <laughs> I don't like this person. Stinky man. Yeah, and he's just trolling and fucking with people in different cutscenes. I would have way preferred that. <laughs> and he, I just feel like he matches a, like a, a scum character. Like, if, if you could play well, as a think... scum character, it would be cool to have that as your pet. It's that Nyx doesn't match, or sorry, it's um, uh, Kay doesn't like match this world. There's no, there's never a point where I believe that she's cut out for any of this. And that yeah. she wouldn't get like instantly slaughtered whenever she tried to do any of this stuff. <laughs> she's like, she's a D and D character. You know what I mean by that? Like, yeah, but like a shitty one. That yeah, that's, that's what I mean. Who doesn't I'm using want to role play yeah. yeah. sense. Like you, you suppose... know, your first time playing D and D, you showed up like you made a character that's essentially just you, and you don't really know how to role play character traits yet. So mm -hmm. you just don't fit into anything. Kind of a uh, it sort of adds to the ludo narrative dissonance, right? Of her just like just slaughtering like hundreds of uh of enemies yeah, throughout the dude. game right at the beginning so, like, when... upbeat and positive and like oh yay i'm some... going on an adventure people oh, in chat some food speculate on how he would how he would work you know because of his patented shit like solution so like in the middle of a you're having like a back and forth with someone and they say like a really good bird on you and then you're like well 
you're you're fat, and then you just have him go, oh, <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> he's, like, he's like your hype man. That would be so fucking awesome. That would be great. I mean, the sort of like reach that you could try for, this would be probably very difficult to implement, is have the player's behavior in some way rub off on whatever he ends up being. Yes. The way the player conducts themselves influences how the, the pet I know, sidekick uh, character turns out. Some people think it's cringe in Fable 2, but the more evil acts you take, like maybe the, the darker the creature becomes, the and he gets some horns, the more or condoms he digs sunken up, his yeah, eyes yeah. are, just things like that. <laughs> yeah. It'd be cool! Just imagining you punch too many people, and then he starts like just attacking people wherever he goes now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like you have a friend. Steal from he... people constantly, he'll start just stealing from people. He's pulling the wallet yeah. out of a friend's <laughs> pocket. You're like, no, 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 no. And he's like, no, oh, yeah. okay, yeah, fine. <laughs> and then he gets like really happy when he meets Salacious B. Crumbs. He's like, yes, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> one of us. One of us. Same role as Wicket, BB-8, or BD-1 in Jedi Survivor. Imagine he had a little knife and he could jump on people. <laughs> yeah. He would have, like shanking people. people. Oh Should god, be, uh, I need it. I want it. Would it be like in the knee or like the ankle? Because he's so short. Because <laughs> like, would just, like imagine you're... this little gremlin creature with a knife down there. You know what they got? They got you in the vault, and she she does the thing of like get him, Nick, or whatever. But like the equivalent for this would be like get him, and then he jumps on their head, and slices their throat. <laughs> like, <laughs> Jesus. Like, oh my god. <laughs> I just meant distract him. Holy <laughs> shit! Now we gotta oh, deal damn. with the body, and there's so much blood. <laughs> and it starts. He, like, he does. Yeah, he's, he's he like does, covered like, in really blood. He's stroking your hair. Your he's like, I saved you. So they're like gargling for five minutes, <laughs> trying to stop him. It's really awkward and terrible. It's like when Jesus gets uh, stabbed in South Park. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Or the dude who's trying to end himself in that zombie episode. He's like, oh, God, he just keeps shooting himself over and over. It's almost that he does the Hoffman stab. He's like, <laughs> grab the mouse. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I want to play this game. Never mind, we got this. Yeah. But he actually <laughs> has a bit of a role during gameplay. Go get him. Mad. He a a role. Role. Incredible. Come on. No, come on. Come you know on, what? Overall. He's both wrong and right. He's wrong in the sense that there's <laughs> yeah. barely any gameplay. He's right in the sense that this is the most OP use of how to deal with the stealth in the early game. Like, you just send Nyx, send Nyx, send Nyx, send Nyx. The terrifying thing to me is that he he acts with some sort of surprise that the little sidekick thing is, like, a game element. Yeah, that's a bit... That has yeah, horrifying yeah, implications. You, you, <laughs> should, you should expect... That, yeah. that that would be the case. It shouldn't be a surprise that if you have a companion that follows you on your adventure, that he can do stuff. Yes. Which is funny when he can barely do shit. Well, so can we like, be honest? He's not just that he does shit. He is enabling shit to happen because they're too lazy to make it possible in game with just K. Yes. Exactly. Why isn't there an ability to take down two enemies at once on your own terms? Why does it have to be? Go get him, Nyx. All right, now I'll punch this guy, and then I'll punch the guy that you've jumped on. Except for yeah. the times when I lock on to the wrong person. Oh, oh my god! You too. <laughs> Jesus Christ! And then I get yeah. Happens yeah. all the time with me. I have so to do the whole like, section no, again. The one my cursor is physically—it's it's right there. My cursor yep. is on that guy, and the game's like, "How oh, about this guy over there?" So something that happened <laughs> no. to yeah, like, me and Fringy was we sent Nyx to a guy, and then we go for the other guy, but K auto tracks onto the wrong one, kills him. And the f guy we wanted clearly sees this happen. Is like, oh my god! And then you are allowed to stealth take down that man somehow, <laughs> and you don't get no. detected. <laughs> it's like, okay, yeah. I'm happy with this result, I suppose. Fine. Because not only can he activate switches or someone I no, discovered, come on. someone I discovered no, with this lady. I'm almost certain. I need to go test it. Uh, if you fire your gun, she'll turn around and say, "Hey." And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> she just stands there yeah, going, hey. I lost dude, my shit I, I, I'm a little bit Good like, enough. oh, he can activate switches. Yeah, you get to a place where you can't progress until you hold the button and then tell Nick yeah. to go press the button and then you can go through the door. And it's the Why only are you way describing this like it's it's like anything? So, but this, this is the thing. Really cool does he know? know. This, this is the ultimate does he know? Because this is 80% of the puzzles is there's a wall? Yeah, Nick's puzzles, can press yeah. a button. Pretty, yeah, exactly. Like there's so many times <laughs> this... where it would just be, oh, I can't progress. Oh, that means I just got to get Nick's to press a button. Yeah, 
Star Wars Outlaws is like incredibly unimpressive and disappointing, uh, especially <laughs> after you play an actual game. Yes. So the game I played before this was Prey 2017. Yeah. Oh. This Woo! fucking game, the the amount of variety you have to get into a single room. There's like yes. three or four ways to get into a single room, and then you play this. It's like press the the button. It's like <laughs> oh <laughs> cool. <laughs> Well, in Prey 2017, you're like, oh, there might be a vent somewhere up there. Oh, I can hack. Oh, I can just pry open the door if I'm strong enough. I can... There's so many things oh, you can do. By the way, foam dart gun and a small opening in this window. I'll shoot the computer to get I'll the door open. I'll shoot the open. computer to get the door open. It's so cool. <laughs> it's it's great. Oh, everyone should play Prey. I've waited way do too long it. to play that. Can it's you send Nick to open doors in Prey? No, I well you shoot that is that shit, isn't it? <laughs> no, <laughs> shoot. <laughs> no! <laughs> how dare you? Don't say you, that. You feed Nicks to the goop monsters, and no. there you go. <laughs> no. Put him out the airlock. <laughs> One of my favorite games to play in stealth was um, it was Deus Ex Human Revolution, and yeah. like thinking about even stuff like like the unfairly maligned Duck Hill Splinter Cell Blacklist was like, man, these were like actual games with like real s actual stealth mechanics, you know? Like, like you had all of these those kinds of comparisons. Cause it's like, dude, they're like, yeah, it's like you said, they're, re they're actual video games. Mm -hmm. They give you a variety of tools and a variety of options and a variety of different paths that you can navigate. And then something like Deus Ex, depending on what kind of um, augmentations you get, that'll just start to radically change your pet play style the longer you go on, right? If you go into... Like, whether you want, like, brute force or stealth or, you know, whatever number of options that are available to you compared to... Yeah, no, so Nyx, you can get him to press a button that'll open the door. But it's being described like it's a real thing. Like, it's being described <laughs> as if it's a mechanic. Well, this guy's played a bazillion games, I happen to know that. I'd love to have a nuts and bolts conversation about this. Like, you don't find this remotely impressive as a feature, correct? Like well, it, well, it works. You'd be like, hmm. I don't know what being described as if it is a feature. No, yeah, well, it, it is a feature, <laughs> like, but not, not I mean, an impressive yeah, one. Yeah, in the pure sense of the word, sure. But I mean, if you played lots of video games, you know that this. Well, is, like in this the is incredible in the greatest power. version of this game, this would probably happen at certain points, and it would be fine. Like we'd be fine with the idea of sending a little guy to go and press a button or annoy a person, blah blah blah. But we're expecting. Well, yeah, it would be one option of many. Yes. Yes. And also, I mean, there's never, it, it's never, Nyx is always the, the question is, how do I even phrase it? Nyx is always the answer, is the point. Yeah. There's never a wrong time to use Nyx. Nyx is always just the right move to make. Well, the game never presents you with the idea of Nyx is like a creature, he's an animal. Um, and if you tell him to do something, he will do it unquestionably because he's loyal to you, because he's your little companion pet. So there's never a point in the game where you can tell him to do something that would hurt him or that would put him in a really bad situation. Or that he sometimes isn't successful at doing. Your reputation. Yeah, like, it's just, I, I think the only thing is, like, if you tell him to pounce on, like, a droid, it just doesn't, it's oh, just yeah. not effective. But that never, right? Like, so you know that. Once you've done it once, you'll be like, okay, so no. You do, do it again. one but time and what you're I mean like, is, oh, I just stun it. Yeah. If he tries to, let's say there's a lever to pull and he jumps <laughs> on it and then goes, hello, and slips off it and falls down. And then a trooper is like, hey, and picks him up. And so now you have to save him. He has like 10 seconds before, you know, something like that. They, they never do anything like that. The yeah. game is, uh, I don't, just to be clear on the mechanic, is his use always context sensitive? Like, you will always get like a little prompt to use the Nyx button when no, you can there are things around. You, no, you, okay, can, so you, you have Nyx vision. Q. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You and hold then down a vision... button and it puts you in Nyx vision. Yeah. And you could right, specifically right. tell him to go to places where yeah, he can at any time you can tell him to go anywhere. Somehow but... even worse. Yeah. <laughs> it's quite oh, finicky it's... though, because it... apparently like 18 different options all overlap and you're just like, well, hold on. Yes, it, it locks on oh my to people God, all yes. the time. I mm -hmm. hate that it is such an insane lock on distance. Where it's just like, not no, finished. It's don't jump on him, Nix. Go to the spot where my cursor is. What's the point of the cursor game? Oh, and... <laughs> to be clear, <laughs> I'm not referencing the last Guardian type shit where Nix randomly doesn't listen to you. I'm talking about how he can commit to an action and he can fuck it up and then you have to help him as a sort of just a pull, push and pull risk and reward element that's totally realistic and fair and, and not like it could be that he tries to do something and he just gets spotted there's never anything like that 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 is actually interesting in the game yeah, sometimes he's invisible to them. The, you the can have him jump on a stormtrooper and he'll fuck with them and they'll be like blah, blah, blah. he'll land on the floor and they'll start shooting but they can't hurt him ever he can never yeah. be in danger 
Well, what's, what, what, one thing I really being don't... inconvenienced by things like that. So unfortunately, in like a AAA space, that sort of thing is just never going to happen. Unfortunately for Kay's character, she behaves with Nyx knowing that he cannot ever get hurt. Yeah. She tells him mm -hmm. to do extremely dangerous things constantly because yeah. she knows like her pre like Nyx will never get hurt. There's nothing that can happen think... to Nyx. So she'll be like, go over there and bug those Imperial Stormtroopers. Go over there, jump on that robot's face. Here, hold this shutter open so I can destroy this mechanical device inside that's two inches away well, from surely you. The... That would hurt me, the player. The best one yeah. would be you can have him jump on someone's head and then you can shoot them in the head and it'll never hurt him. Oh yeah, or punch him. Yeah, or, or they can have, have grenades. Grenades can go off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And oh, at least he runs away. Literally had him go <laughs> down. No, yeah, you're right. It, 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 there's no consideration for, and there's no, like I said, there's no, not even there's no like temporary health bar where he loses it and he falls to the ground. And he's now inactive for three minutes until he'll come back up and be like, Ugh. that's what Far Cry did when they were like, hey, if you have an animal companion or any companion in Far Cry, if they're if they get damaged or busted up enough. They're going to be out of commission for a while, so that would be like you're repercussions. not like, like yeah, there, it's repercussions in that good little area of you don't want it to happen, but it's not an instant reload if it does happen. It's like with um, I think they had mentioned this with like companions and Fallout or some other game. They said, well, we already know that if a companion dies, the players are just going to reload anyway because you're not going to if your dog dies in the game, just out yeah. and about, you're you're going to reload because you don't want your dog to be gone because of course you don't. So we need to have that penalty be in that middle area. Oh my God, but there is, is no penalty with Nick. He is like Elizabeth Comstock. I didn't think about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. He's way better than Elizabeth. You take that back. <laughs> you know, e even in cutscenes, when when the when um, Kay is talking to Nick, she's talking to him like he is the comedic relief of a movie. Well, she's always talking like she's in, a, you know, the MCU. Like, oh, yes. Yeah. yeah, I guess. Yeah, fair enough. Because not only can he activate switches oh, right, or video. panels for you from a distance, <laughs> but he can also pick up items or distract enemies long enough for you to move in and deliver that knockout block. He says Would that. Would you ever use that mechanic? He says that like it's impressive in any way, shape, or form, as opposed to exactly what you would have expected at base level that this creature it's could like do. The most basic. He can pick up a gun for you. Whoa. You can distract wow, someone. Time, I, Whoa. The only yeah, time amazing. I think I ever engaged with that, and it was very rare, was if I was behind cover, and I'd say, hey, bring me that gun, because mine is balls, My, and that's a really good Once one. I had upgraded the blaster Thanks. enough, I didn't need any of the pickup guns. Even though the pickup guns yeah, for a while was staggeringly better. Once you get... So, I don't know if you got... Did any of you play with the heavy bolt? The oh, all the time. Pistol 3? All the, the third time. option for not, not, No, not the, not the power bolt, the heavy bolt. Oh, it's, no, um, so that. the heavy one, stupid. it's the original blaster setting, but it's like, it shoots like boom, 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 mm -hmm, boom. Mm -hmm. And uh, once you get the full upgrade for it, uh, it's fucking, it's just unbeatable. Like, you can kill everything. I was just running around stunning people and punching them. So. Well, so <laughs> I was about to say, you don't even need the blaster. Something uh, that I may not have even known about, if not for Fringy finding it, is the, and I mentioned it to you, Rags, is the grenade stealth. It's a really. It's the funniest thing in my head. Oh, people told me about that in my chat. Yeah. Gr grenade yeah. stealth is amazing. It's one of the later <laughs> abilities you can unlock where Nyx can set off grenades in people's pockets. Now, as you may know, 99% of the people in this world carry a grenade. So mm -hmm. wherever you well, go... You? Yeah, of I course. Do. And uh, yeah, so in mine, stealth man. sections, it ends up being hilarious. You can wipe out 90% of the people there every time. No problem. And I most of the time... Yeah, if you do it right, there's a little little thing you need to know to get it right. It's not too difficult. But what, if you know it right, you'll be in stealth the full time. They'll, they'll not be able to, to find you, especially with the use of Nyx as a distraction. But uh, what I was going to bring up is that there are run and gun sections. Like sec it's, it's, This is actually a really good example. The Do you remember this part of the when you're stealing the artifact from Crimson Dawn for the Ashiga? Uh, the first section is stealth. The second section is forced like action. They know where you yes. are. And it's like, oh, let's go. I did yeah. that section with stealth grenade instead of guns a blazing, and it was like more effective. And I was like, <laughs> "Is stealth grenade just everything now? Am you I just, just going to do stealth grenade for yeah, <laughs> yeah, why for free? Why wouldn't you just and hit the, the button that makes enemies explode?" The best revelation I had about it. I was going to call with Freaky thinking about it. I was like, "Wait a minute! To steal the grenade, I have to do a QTE to blow up the grenade and kill an enemy. I don't even have to do a QTE; it just does it automatically." They made that easier. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> they made it easier. Oh. It costs nothing. You can do it instantly and again and again and again. Nothing. You can do it such that you blow someone up. Some guy goes, what was that? And you can send Nyx to him before he can even get to the body. He'll blow up. And then the next person's <laughs> yeah. like, wait, what was that? <laughs> I need to just do it over and over All and over again. All the other cards live in fear and existential dread that they too will <laughs> Okay, well, Rags, the best thing about the um, first half of the Ashiga thing is I blew everyone up except the robot, because you can't do that with him. He doesn't have any grenades. And I thought to myself, the robot's like, why do all of my humans blow up? <laughs> why why <laughs> am I alone? <laughs> is that company so terrible that they just explode? Yeah. It's so, so awful, but... Yeah, uh, of all the, the options you could do with Nyx, I never expected that. I never expected them to be like, you can distract, you can send him to temporarily stud, you can kill people with him instantly. You're like, oh, well, that's Holy just shit. that's just better Nyx than all the other options. <laughs> why, why would you? And it counts as stealth. Yeah, no, why does grenades count as stealth? It's insane. Rags, you did it like with an actual grenade. You killed someone, and I think someone was like, "What was that?" And then someone else says, no, "Like, thought I, I heard no. something or whatever." I didn't kill someone. I just chucked it to the other side of the room to see what the AI would do. Right. I just threw a grenade to the other side of the room. It exploded instantly. It was probably nothing. Came from somebody else. <laughs> then the some, everyone else was like, "What was that?" Then they started randomly shooting oh. their blasters. Yeah, no, you're in the. <laughs> they randomly that happened to me, you and Fringy. That room. I don't know what's wrong with the AI, but they'll just keep shooting that one Viper droid. They're obsessed with killing yeah. it. Um, That's a target. There's yeah, that. I, yeah. But what I just mixed up was the other memory where you'd killed. I think you called it Betty or Sandy or something. And oh, one of them, Sandy, yeah. One of them went past Sandy. her, and they were like, "Our officer is down." And then someone else says, "It was probably nothing." Wait, what? Completely passed out with a bruise on her face. I love. <laughs> like, oh, it's so three good. Three different people come over, and they're like, "Ah, oh, this is fine and normal," and they leave her body there. And you can go back. To you can keep body. killing people, and they'll just be like. Mm, it's probably nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> it wasn't me, so it's not a problem. It's almost a good parody oh. game. This game, I will say this about Star Wars Outlaws, unironically. Like, so, someone uh, in a super chat, someone asked me, is this better than Outlaws? Easily. This game is, is hilarious. This, oh, is this game better than the Acolyte? That was it. Oh. Is this game or the Acolyte better? And I was like, easily this is better. I've never laughed so well, much at a fucking video game since Gollum. It feels like there's some kind of synchronicity thing, because I, I'm with you. Um, when I was first playing the game, I felt like its its meme levels were lower than Gollum, for sure. But like it felt like they improved over time. Uh, maybe it was just a matter of perception and ability to know think, how to fuck with it, you know? I mm -hmm. think it's because... The most positive I thought of this game was my first stream, and I didn't think it was good, but I, I didn't think it was, like, horrible. I was like, oh, this is bad, mm. but it's not, like, offensively bad, but that was just my first stream in the most polished section of the game, the beginning, <laughs> and I was doing all of, like, the missions it wanted me to do. I was very much, like, doing what the game wanted, and it was still bad. Second stream, my, my estimation of this game plummeted so quickly. The moment yeah. you do anything, if you are not completely and totally in league with what this game is trying to get you yeah. to do, it becomes hilarious. Not just bad, even hilariously bad. Even at the beginning, I mean, during the opening in Canto Bite, I found out you could you just like walk through the security cameras and they don't they don't like detect you. You can like yeah. walk through them yeah. and, it, and it won't do. You shit. can leave bodies in front of the security oh, yeah, camera if like they don't care. You know, like the stealth in this game, you can't even move enemies that you've taken out. Like you can't move them. You can't pick them up well, or like hide them or anything or even use them to like scare the shit out of enemies. It's just booby yeah, trap them. You have that. But and I assume you guys uh, would have noticed it because I think all of us got called by it. But there's a sequence in um the uh, in Akiva, no Kijimi, where you're trying to it's the mission where you're trying to help subvert the queen or whatever. And there's a room where you gotta take everyone down and you gotta enter um another room and power down the camera before you can get into another room. And it's like, well, I kind of just run past the camera like I normally do. And if you step even an inch into it, it'll instant activate alarms on. And I was like, whoa, mm. why, why, what? And it's just like, yeah, they just got lazy. They've got the standard control for all cameras in the game. But for that one, they're like, no, we want you to do the whole mission first. You've got to turn the camera off the proper way. So we're just going to make it instant activation. Fuck you. Which is like, really awesome when it's okay. inconsistent. I yeah. love it when, oh, yeah. it's I love when mechanics change. With the world. Mm -hmm. A favorite. I love, I love like I said, it caught all of us, I'm pretty sure. We were all like, yeah. wait, what? That's, oh, okay, that's how it 
works now, I guess. Okay, fine. Because most of the time we were just <laughs> running through cameras, which is wrong. <laughs> that's not how it should work, you dumb game, but that's okay. Uh, well, oh. to, to be honest, Regs, there were like a lot of mechanics change I've noticed in this game. There's there's sections where I would want to do it, I, I would want to do it stealthily, but then it'd be like, nope, this is a gunfighting section. You have to action. It's like, oh. But it, oh, yeah, could... the forced action segments I really yeah. didn't like. You at stealth all. your way through the whole fucking section. It's like, oh, the alarm is on now. Time to shoot your way and out. It's, it's like, what's the fucking it's, point? It's the reverse is true as well. On the segments mm -hmm. where you oh, can't yeah. raise the alarm, that doesn't mean you can't get into a massive firefight. It just means no one has to raise the alarm, which is a physical thing that they, an action they have to take where there's an icon over an NPC's head. And as long as you murder them before they do it, you're in the clear. You can go yeah. in guns a blazing as long as the alarm doesn't get raised. You're fine. Now, well, yeah, what raises yeah. the alarm can generally be a little bit inconsistent depending on where you are. But for the most part, yeah, stealth is completely optional as long as there's no one alive to raise the alarm. <laughs> well, no, away, it, friend. Well, I, I recall that, a few uh, certain sections where you're just screwed if you get like no matter what. Well, well, that's yeah, like, yeah, that's don't like, get caught in sections. Yeah. There's almost like don't get caught, and then there's like don't raise the alarm. Yeah, don't get caught in the worst ones because if they see yes, you, it's I like oh, you, you yeah. reset. You, you can't even put your gun out. Like you, you have yeah. the option. Your gun's you just permanently gun. holstered, well, glued with, onto your onto your thigh. Like that happens it. with um, being like arrested too. There was a couple times in the game oh, where <laughs> the arrest mechanic. I I still don't know how it works. Sometimes a stormtrooper will be like 20 meters away. He'll be like, "Hey, you, what are you doing here?" And you just are like locked out of any controls whatsoever. And you're not allowed to pull out a gun and stun him. You can't use your fast talk ability. It's just like, you're, you're just done. There was one time where a scout trooper with a sniper rifle was like, he must have been like 60 meters away from me up on like a building. He arrested me. He like looked at me <laughs> when I was like 60 meters away. And I got locked out of being able to take any actions that you get. You, it, you, I've been arrested by that, Yours, even though um, I can go in there and slaughter everybody without any problems whatsoever. Yeah, which is so fucking annoying. But, uh, you know, an alternate or rather polar opposite version of that in Tatooine in Mos Eisley, if you're running around with uh, six because I had pissed off the death troopers and then went into Mos Eisley looking to activate the next part of the story. And I was like, oh, fuck, I can't walk past like some stormtroopers there because they will arrest me. You know, um. The stormtroopers who are on the dewbacks. Are they in the game? Or are you talking yeah, about yeah, the yeah. movies? In the I game. didn't notice it. I didn't see any of them. There's the a game. couple in Moss Eisley. They're just they're on a standard sort of AI track of going back and forth and back and forth. Um okay. I was near enough within his cone that it set off the the blue the, the orange question mark. And I was like, oh fuck. And then I thought to myself, like, hmm, do I wanna see what it looks like to get arrested by a guy on a dewback? If it, if there's anything, <laughs> just to see what happens uh, at the cost of me yes, having to sell do. this out again. And I was like, yes, I do. So I ran in front of him. And I was like, go on, arrest me. And he just slowly walked toward me and then lost interest in me and just walked past. And I was like, oh. oh. Well, there's yeah. probably not a. Well, Mon, no, the do probably not an animation for. It's not. No, any no, it's, it's not about animation. They haven't programmed him to even arrest you. He can't do anything. He just walks past you. He has like, the question mark to signify that he should find you curious. He should arrest you. But they didn't program it further than that. I don't know why. It shouldn't have cost him too much to have an aura that is automatically arresting as soon as you're within that aura of of the do back. But it's not there. It's just gone. So it doesn't happen. Wow, that's fantastic. But I guess. I, I, you wonder how these things happen. It's just like, did nobody try it? Because I almost didn't. Right. And you know, I'm trying to. They see didn't if it have breaks. anyone trying to. Yeah, this game was. This game was definitely like, oh fuck it, get that we got to chip it. It's got to go out. And also, we don't care. <laughs> anyway, nothing about yeah, this game said I have care and passion for this project or Star Wars. For you to move in and deliver that knockout blow. All right, Nix, go get him. <laughs> This is what every fight is. A yeah, moment directed in the player yeah. towards areas of interest in a way that feels less obnoxious than putting a giant glowing objective marker over something instead. But it's the same I, thing. Instead, instead Nyx is the objective. What? Go to Nyx. It's the same also, thing. Yeah. It, it's just funny to say that when the game is filled with the objective markers anyway. There's so many. <laughs> like, there's one right here. See? Yeah, that's I, true. I, but I, I, I just want to be clear start, that those Nyx yeah. explorations, they get you a collectible and you barely understand what the fucking point of it is. You're just like, oh, well, we did that, exactly. I guess. Yeah. 
uh, for it's some reason, it's, just, for, yeah, it's like, oh, strip. look, here's this thing. And then it's like, hey, isn't that cool? And then it just shows a big shot of the open world Yeah. every time. And I'm just it sitting there like, strange. hurry up, I want to play again, just so I can keep moving. Don't yeah, make you did your little, world. you did a little exploration. You got your Nick strip. Look at this beautiful vista. Except sometimes it wouldn't be a beautiful vista because it'd be like super foggy and rainy. Yeah. And she'd be like, oh, like, what um, a beautiful view. And I'm like, I, you can't see anything, but whatever. It's kind of like if someone said uh, there are no there are no loading screens in this whole game, and then shows like someone going through a tight space, and you'd be like, "Oh, yeah, that's what I yeah, call the yeah. tight space loading screens, man." Well, and and some people are like, but that is worth complimenting. I'm like, I don't know, man. I think uh, it... I think we're at the point now where we can say like those are annoying as hell because we know exactly what they are, and they're kind of like boring. At least loading screens were honest. They're boring, and they are <laughs> fixed yeah. duration in the way that a loading screen isn't necessarily. Loading yep. screens improve as hardware gets better. Uh, these things don't. They are fixed duration. Correct. Okay, what can we do here next? And now, it's if always I really had to sum up the whole oh, experience in the most simple the way possible, well, I'd probably call this one Far Cry in Space. Ugh. Don't you dare. No. Don't you <laughs> fucking dare. Don't even try it. What an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm real mad. Far Cry in space. What an the, fact that, the fact that for fucking Far Cry, that's an embarrassing comparison is hilarious. No, to me. I will stand up for Far Cry a bit. I think Far Cry is pretty good. Far Cry Five, even New Dawn was like they've got a whole bunch of mechanics. They have way better AI. The layouts of bases were better. There's Than more this. meaningful upgrades to a whole bunch of stuff. There, you have you have little fluffy side companions in those games too. I mean, it's just. Far Cry is just so much better. Far Cry is just, they're just good, fun action, semi action, semi stealth games. What would you say is a more apt comparison, like Horizon Zero Dawn or some shit? Um, to this? I haven't played Horizon. Yeah. I haven't played it. I can't I, I hear Horizon yeah, is no totally well, I, fine. I've often but... referred to this as a Gollum like. I do think it's similar <laughs> in a couple yeah. of ways. Gollum like. It's like Souls like or Gollum like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I'm if not I joking with a lot of it. The platforming is almost exactly the same. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's like they and, copied like Gollum. <laughs> I Even fully support combat. referring to these failed projects as Gollum like. Gollum like. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's how bad everything is. Like the shooting in this. If you compare the combat in this to like combat in like Far Cry 5, you know, where it's just like, oh, this is like, this is fun shooting mechanics. There's different kinds of enemies, all sorts of different kinds of weapons. Um, just the way that you, you interact with the enemies in that game. And then this, which is basically just whatever, what do you think is the funniest? Just do that, I guess, because all of the combat is so mediocre to bad. Just shoot everyone in the head, or or, or that's it. I'm assuming you guys haven't played enough Ubisoft games, then, because I, I could tell what this was, right? Like, this is Assassin's Creed. Bad. It's a lot of Assassin's Creed with features of other Ubisoft games. It's I think got, it's much worse uh, than your average Ubisoft game, though. Well, it's got Last... Watch Dogs 2's combat, right? Like, the combat well... is Watch Dogs 2. Nix's like, watchdogs what? is Sorry, hacking. Uh, uh, the, it's got Far Cry's outposts and some Wordle in there too. No, it what's doesn't. Far Cry's outposts are what? way better than this. What, what are you talking about? Also has much better combat than this game too. I, I disagree with you on that one. <laughs> I, by virtue of having, I haven't even played Watchdogs and surely. Better. Yeah. And, and it's like, mean, Far Cry can... outposts are way better than this. But liberating so, outposts, they become like places where merchants and vendors appear. They become fast travel locations. I'm not saying they, they did it well. I'm saying I can see oh, what they it where they took it from. Less so, functionality than in Watch Dogs with your ability to interact with the world. There's way more things that you can do in Watch Dogs and interacting with the world than Nyx could do. Well, and so here's the thing. I, I can kind of see what you're saying, but I would describe it as the, the developers of... Um of outlaws took all of those games and then like went to bed and had them under their pillow for a night and then kind of <laughs> osmosis a little bit of it and then they came back and said yeah, okay I know, exactly. I know what to do i can see the dna on all of this absolutely well that's, well, exactly well, that's a different thing because we're talking about the actual like quality of it to say that you can see that they've no, drawn it from quality, something yeah. isn't isn't because like i would actually argue the stealth is so very similar to Gollum that i actually think there's a couple of instances and we could get into it if you really wanted to that Gollum has better stealth than this game <laughs> and, th and you'd be like that's insane i'm like no seriously because like the guys when they when they find you in the long grass they can actually like stop you they get you in golem in this they can't they get confused like th that alone is they already have like... to literally bump into you yeah 
And even then, but rags, they'll they can like kick you so far such that they can't see you anymore. <laughs> they can yeah, they, they can, can like kick, kick you out of their own vision. They can help they're like, you. Whoa, they can save yeah. you from them. So it, you Whereas know, I, and I will say like this is one of those games where the stealth is so terrible that when you make a noise or when they spot you, they will then like go to investigate, but they'll investigate like a totally different location than where they saw you. So you can't like lure them into a location by poking your head out of this corner or whistling in a certain place and then going around the side because oh, uh, they'll randomly decide, oh, I'll just investigate this other random area that you he, were planning to actually go to. Who used whistling throughout the game? Uh, you can, you like can whistle? Three times. So I, uh, <laughs> I think you could. I'm almost certain it happened to me, Metal, and Fringy. I can't confirm anyone wait, else Wait, whistle in that game? But, no, no, wait. Yeah. Wait, team. wait, wait. Whistling. So, with wh whistling as a mechanic is introduced very quickly. It's it comes on screen and it says you can whistle to distract people and then it's gone. Uh, I missed it. I'm pretty sure Fringy missed it. And I'm pretty sure Metal missed it. Yeah. And it doesn't overtly return until your boss fight with ND5, where it says whistling is effective against ND5. And I'm pretty sure oh, all yeah. of us read that and we oh, went, the "What the fuck checkers. are you talking about whistling? <laughs> like, what, what what mechanic is that?" <laughs> And, uh, You're right. It's so funny. You, know you can what? go through the entire game not even knowing whistling is a thing, and it's a, it's it's because actually Nick's trumps everything. Well, yeah, you, you don't whistle? need whistling. Nick trumps everything. <laughs> so, I never used it. We never used it. But now that you mention it, I remember it now. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. That was a thing in the intro, wasn't it? I legit I was I confused. I said like... whistling is effective against ND five. I was like, what the fuck is a? What do you mean? Like I can whistle, and then <laughs> you don't even you don't even need whistling for ND five. It's easy. Yeah, see, I, I thought. My impression of that was that they they were just introducing a new mechanic in the final battle, just because they because the game sucks basically. That's, that's what I yeah, thought. Yeah, I could believe that. I Is think it... that uh, I I think I'm serious. I'm being serious. I think I whistled three times, and I think that two of the three times I was I just accidentally pressed the wrong button, and it happened. So. I think I went through my whole mechanic. first playthrough and I didn't even accidentally whistle, or if I did, I didn't notice. I just, I'm, yeah. it feels so it's weird to play an mechanic. entire fucking game and be blind to a whole ass mechanic. I was just like, oh, yeah, that's the thing I could have done. Well, why would you? <laughs> why would you whistle? What whistling does is it summons someone to your location in terms of stealth mechanics, which is yeah, good Nick, if you need you could... to get rid of them and not leave a body behind in the middle of the room. Right. But it doesn't matter in this game. What's the point of luring them to a location to take them out where no one will see? It just doesn't matter. I'd say most Absolutely of the time it doesn't matter. You get every once in a while if they see enough bodies, they start they go to set off an alarm. I'm not I haven't got anything in terms of a consistent assessment mm. of it. But it's annoying, because uh, bodies do change their behavior somewhat, and then if they see enough of them, they'll actually set off the alarm. So the fact that that happens and you can't move bodies, is that's inexcusable. So absolutely unironically, um, I had to sort of do an internal check to see if you guys were talking about a different game when you mentioned whistling. <laughs> I was like, did I miss it? Are we did I play the wrong about game? Gollum? What, what, <laughs> you whistling Can you Gollum? imagine Gollum whistling? <laughs> he like would probably just go... Pfft. He's a good whistler. <laughs> be, I, am, I, had, yeah. I am learning this feature exists right now. Yeah. Yep. Whistling. It's a, it's a thing. And by that I mean... It's like it's the binoculars. Just... Yeah, I, re I rarely use the binoculars. Just I, wonder if, uh, I never use them. I wonder if uh, when he was playing this game for the preview, if he ever tried just driving his vehicle into one of those. Oh uh, my god, the physics. To see what would happen. Yeah. <laughs> I, on my first stream, I went full pelt into someone's uh, speeder, and we just it just like stopped. Everything stopped. The speeder. Like, sorry, the momentum. We just went, Poof, and we both stopped. And I was <laughs> like, oh, okay. Yeah, because they're not allowed to explode. Those And the... also, like, it, when you see the Banthers and you shoot them, sparks fly off. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know about you, but some mm. of the greatest joy I had in this game was when the Pike kill squads or whatever and their speeders would come and chase me. And I would drive around a herd of Banthas or whatever. And eventually all the all the kill squad people, they would run into the Banthas, explode, yep. and they'd all kill themselves. And it was hilarious. That's brilliant. <laughs> The game is full of fun surprises like that. If you just it is. think outside the box for five seconds yeah, with anything, exactly. it'll break. It's great. Well, yeah. I, probably, 
call this one Far Cry in space. And by that no, I mean it's like a... Uh, wait, 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 wait. We, just, we just did a whole response <laughs> to that. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, <laughs> listen, we got to accept that that's just came back from that. <laughs> again, it's still going to feel bad. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> space. And by that I mean it's like a series of different planets, all with their own separate maps you can run around and explore. Now, Pretty again, much from the get -go, you're given a part of the preview or not? Did you go to other planets or was it just Tashara? Yeah, because I would have thought it would be just Tashara in the preview. I figured it would be. I mean, if it was, if he only got to play for like four hours, then mm -hmm. that's, yeah, I mean, it took me like seven hours before I left Tashara. I imagine he was just told to... I got yeah, back on... with Tashara and left. Yeah. Back yeah. on the topic, because like Rags is alluding to this, it, it, you, would you not feel betrayed if this is the, the lines they give you and you're like, eh, I believe this from what I've played? And then you play space, the game and you're cool. like, wait a minute. This wasn't. This is Gollum in space, you Yeah, bastards. this is Gollum. This <laughs> you is Gollum like. You made a Gollum like. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't a Far Cry like. This is a Far Cry from Far Cry, you can even say. Run around and explore. Pretty much from the get go, you're given a speeder as well, which does look a hell of a lot like oh, the one that it. shows up in Endor in Return of the Jedi. What? Wow. Whoa. Okay. Doesn't what? Yeah. Wait, but, did he say but, it does look like, I like it? He said it looks a hell of a lot like the speeder in Endor. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Fuck off. <laughs> no. I'm trying to remember what if we're talking about the the speeders they use in Endor are not like that at all. Well, they're no. in the game. That's what all. Yeah, of the you do. You, are you, that's all around. the. Yeah, you're right. The scout troopers are all on those. So. And you can't take yeah. it because those have those have guns built into them in the lore. Now in the game, they don't. But, <laughs> oh yeah, you, that feels like something that's worth mentioning as well. Yeah. Uh, in Grand Theft Auto, in Grand Theft Auto Vice City. You could fire your weapon while in a vehicle. In this game, what? I can't. that's you crazy. It was your right trigger when you you're in the when you're in the car. Your right Dead trigger. Eye. You you you're only allowed to use the shit dead eye system in, in order to fire an enemy. You can't just like free shoot off of your uh, mm -hmm. bike, which is crazy to me. You have to just Against wait. The rules out I up think enough, I know why. And it then targets the enemies for you. Someone said, my... did he say Andor? I thought he said. Return of the Jedi Endor. as well, so Endor. Endor. He said Endor, said Endor yeah, Return of the Jedi. Yeah, uh, yeah and yeah, someone so said, uh, <laughs> does he mean... Because this is the thing, it's so wrong. I'm like, are we missing something here? Run around and explore. Pretty much from the get-go, you're given a speeder as well, which does look a hell of a lot like the one that shows up in Endor in Return of the Jedi. No, that's and this clearly thing Endor. Does... Well, he says Endor. Return of the Jedi, so it has to be Endor. Um, I, yeah. I, don't, well, I don't get it. He has a... I don't get it either. It just, it clearly doesn't look like it. No, but I, like, uh, the no thing way. is, I don't really care what it looks like as opposed to it being a cool design in and of itself, and then we can talk about how you can't shoot from it and you can't choose to ride anything else. Like, the speeder in and of itself, I've seen people say it's a shit design, and I was like, <laughs> kind of. It it's fine. It's, like, I, I don't really care that much compared to what it represents in the game, which is disappointment, pretty much. <laughs> if you're an outlaw, is that the kind of speeder that you mm. like have? Like, It'd be really you fucking cool trick to have a custom with... speeder, but no. Yeah, cool paint job on it or something. That's oh yeah, slow and blends you can change in. the skins on it, or whatever. But like, it's it's very superficial. It, it's not the kind mm. of thing that you'd want. Yeah, they are truly skins. Um, that's a really so good job. One thing, one thing I did notice is same ship, same speeder, same gun. And I think it's because the game intends you to upgrade those specific unique items and not your skills with a class of items. So you can't steal speeders and you can't steal guns. The guns right. are all temporary that you can pick up. You know solutions um, I mean, to that, though. Yeah, just, I don't know. There's 18 different solutions that you could do. There's there's so many. It's yeah. just, it's a dumb excuse for... You can for carry a gun with you. Yeah. Well, you, you can upgrade say, your... I carry this gun. Your upgrades for any given it. gun are all applied to, like, you. Like, as in, like, your damage with a gun goes up. That applies to all guns, not just the gun you hold. That sort of stuff. Yeah. You just make it apply and, to everything. And, and, and the... In, in the fluff, you'd say, like, your skill with all guns yeah. has increased. That Easy. Thing. Or yeah. just have the... I mean, like, he mentioned Far Cry. Far Cry solved this. You can bring your own guns whenever, and you can pick them up and at any of your, like, locations. Everything. Yeah, you, want, you like, can... And I would be... I'm absolutely fine with a core weapon. Pick up a new one. Like, a core blast that's always with you at all times, and oh, then yeah. you get some other ones. That's fine with me. It's just the... Well, he, well, lean into the outlaws and subterfuge element, where you have... Very so, like like your default blaster is your tiny little snub nose tiny thing that you can have on you at all times. It's so small you can sneak it into places. But if you want to have a bigger gun, that's okay if you want to carry it around. But you can't bring it into like bars or past checkpoints and stuff. So you can't always rely on it. But when you're out and about in the world, you know. It, but the little bitty gun that's hidden, it won't rouse suspicion. Um, and you could whip it out whenever you need it. Yeah. So you can play into the fact that 
different guns of different sizes. Like if you have one of the like the sniper rifles or a big, you know, long gun. I mean, you could carry it around in most places, but you can't always rely on it. Or maybe you need to find just... a way to smuggle it into the place. You're not supposed to have a big or any gun in there. Just uh, I don't know, bribe just someone. Like... It's like, hey, can you put this in the toilet lid or whatever? I don't know. That's yeah. a good sort of mechanic and sort of design space that will, again, in the AAA sphere, never see play because it inconveniences the player in a way that players are not, like, broad player bases are not yeah. amenable to being inconvenienced yep. in that way. It's, the, it's, it's like, we want this player to of... see all the things in, at the same time in one playthrough so they don't have to restart the game it, ever. It, it does a shitload of damage mm. to Cyberpunk. I remember complaining about this, that I can walk into the Corpo Plaza with a fucking heavy machine gun slung over yeah. my shoulder and it's just fine. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. I'm just here to shoot Hello. you. Hello. Hello. <laughs> yeah, it's Jedi. Yeah, I'm sorry, that... though. <laughs> I'm sorry, though. I'm sorry, though. <laughs> Mr. Fog President. Does a really good job at <laughs> yeah. removing that mundane aspect to traversing all these various planets. Oh, you can even call oh, it in with the press bro. of a button. Wait, <laughs> let's get a let's get a clean version of that. So chat, make okay. it know, yeah. Like the one that shows up in Endor in Return of the Jedi, and this thing does a really good job at removing that mundane aspect to traversing all these various <laughs> planets. You can even call it in with the press of a button, like uh, it's your horse it's in just, Red Dead. It's... Why are you saying that? Like it's like, like why would you like bother I... making an open world? Sorry, then? I I. <laughs> Sorry, it actually like blows my mind because like it really is important to make moving around in an open world fun. If it's not fun, that's like a big problem because you want yeah. players who want to move through your open world rather than fast travel everywhere. And a super infamous is a really that game's really good. I think it's underrated. I will constantly sing his praises. One <laughs> of the things that infamous does really well as an open world game is making the traversal super duper fun and engaging. You have a variety of different modes of travel. It encourages you to jump around, climb up different buildings, like slide um, using your electricity powers, like on uh, power lines and on uh, train tracks and stuff like that. And then, of course, there's enemies that you want to fight midway through. Like, it's really fun. And then you can even look at something like, how does, you know, in Grand Theft Auto, the traffic, that is like an obstacle to navigation that makes it more interesting. It's so simple because you'd be like, oh, yeah, of course there's cars. Like, you're in a city, right? There'll be other people driving. But, like, simply having to get from point a to point b and trying to do it as fast as possible while making sure that you don't hit any of the cars like in that you maneuver through traffic that in of itself is like fine here game. it's just a big empty space it's like oh i hold the i hold the square button and then i boost for a little bit and then i don't but i just like move through this empty mm -hmm. space but i'm doing it fast so that's but that's fun there's nothing any game and then, some, about the and then travel, sometimes yeah. you have like a little the... oh a question mark what is this oh it's a house with a chest in it Okay, cool. I, I'm, I'm, I'm on. confused by meeting the feet instantly about the whole well, like, a large part of the point of an open world in the like the scale and the sense of space. Just yeah, well, the fact that he's the way that he says this, I'd be curious if he's saying the presence alone of being able to travel through this world faster than walking makes traveling interesting. I'd be like, you haven't said anything. You just said that having the speeder makes it last mud day. You're like, do you mean just the ability to travel faster than walking and running? Yeah. Is it just walking plus? Because that, 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 that's... What if instead, I feel like if I told like you guys really this running animation. as part of my assessment, and then I told you, you can even summon your ride in the open world. I feel like you guys would be like, yeah. Mm -hmm. That is yeah. one I, of I those like, default that's options. The most basic, yeah. That's Something the most that basic I guess would though. be important to sort of highlight but, is like, what if the difference, what if instead of it being the bike, it was the same in terms of the speed, but it was just like her T-posing as she was moving <laughs> through the world? You know, it's like, is there any meaningful difference? Yeah, compared to the idea of like a game that actually has mechanics yeah. that encourage you to do different yeah, things to navigate right? through the open world. Because yeah, exactly. something that I was thinking about, whistling to get your horse to come to you makes a hell of a lot of sense to me compared to the speeder appears behind you. You're like, what, what the yeah, fuck? Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. the button, button you know, the whistle, if, and then in Red Dead Redemption shows up 2, you. If you're too far away from your horse, it's not going to come to you. Because, of course, the horse can't hear you. So, like, it well, has to be close enough to you. It'd be really Doesn't she also though, whistle, though? Run back and get my, uh, no, she speeder. presses a button on her little arm thing. The implication is that it automatically drives to a location. However, they've once again not fully implemented this fucking thing. Uh, 
in terms of what we could call as a broad subject, speeder summoning, you'll get every possible result you could ever imagine if you play this game yeah, long enough. You'll like, get appears directly right behind you work. and is ready to go. You'll get never appears ever. It just completely ignores you and you'll never get it. You'll get the one where, and I know that, uh, M, you've had this, I've had this, I can't remember if Mel and Fringy have, but you call it and it just fucking runs circles around you for a while. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, um, I didn't see that. No, that's neat. It is fucking bizarre. Why? It's like the speed is trolling you. It's just like, la, 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 you can't get it. It's like, okay. <laughs> and then you'll get ones Smaller. where it like makes it somewhat, but then gives up. And and you'll just be you have to run to it. It's just like okay, thanks. Um, I don't know what determines any of this shit. It just it's like completely random. The best ones, of course, though, are just when uh, uh, it actually happened on Rags' stream. It happened to me as well. But when you're in a Kiva and you haven't unlocked the ability to ride on water yet, you can get to a point where you crash the speeder into obstacles such that you get knocked off onto land while your speeder is not on land. Meaning, mm. you can't walk up to it to get on, and you're also too close to summon it, or to resummon it. Especially if you're on a spit <laughs> of land that's too small, and so you're just fucked. The game is like, good yeah. luck. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, oh, wow. the, you're on good land, luck. and you're by the water, you summon the speeder, the speeder stops over the water, and if you touch water, you die instantly. Yeah. No, well, you just sink and, down and, and it needs to be exactly. It, you just you just sink into it like it's <laughs> and then it's just like oh you're dead. <laughs> it reminded me of like 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 a Sonic game. You're playing a Sonic Adventure and Sonic just goes down to the water. He's just done instantly. Yeah. Like, oh. Or like when Mario wow. hits spikes. It's 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 worse than that because the way that it works with uh, this, like it'll be that if you fail the platforming, as soon as you essentially cross the threshold for like oh well, you're falling in. It just instantly she like ragdolls and then it immediately cuts to black and then you respawn. It looks so yeah, she hit the death boundary, so she yeah, yeah. exactly. So then she a lot of the death out. animations are very very bad. Uh, there's no when... like falling animation for her. Like when she if you jump off a cliff or you fall too far and you die, there's no like animation Dude, for that. Again, she just it's very like, golem like. Sort of like, like for it's a golem like, yeah. Like, it's very golem like. Andreas. If you jumped from too high and you were going to die, CJ would say something like, I hate gravity or something along those <laughs> lines. He would react to falling from too far. But here it's just like, nah, nothing. I won, for no, you, no. one time when I jumped into a chasm, she said, this is bad. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going so, to die. One time. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Normally, when you jump in, in Outlaws, when Kay jumps off of something and she hits the ground and dies, it doesn't even, it doesn't ragdoll. She just like lands like normal, but the screen flashes slightly red and it turns black and white. But you could tell that the model is just like landed like normal. You've just landed too far this time, so you're dead now. Mm -hmm. They didn't even bother to have like an animation of her like crumpling or dying or anything like Laura Croft or whatever. It's just yeah, I, meant, I remember I popped into your uh, stream when you were rel relatively late into the game. And uh, you were along this cliffside, and then there was this place you were supposed to get to, and there the was this rather, uh, it was uh, yeah, yeah, around there. But there yeah. was this, like this brief cliff drop. You were supposed to go there, and it looks like it's like, oh, okay, I can just drop down here, die instantly. So then yeah, you just I think go forward around the cliff, about. and you end up exactly where you yeah, where you were that was supposed the little go. that was the little wind cave, yeah, yeah, where you're on this you you start off in the cave area, and you're on a ledge. And you're supposed to go follow the ledge all the way around to get to the bottom. But the bottom's not really that far down. So I'm just like, fuck yeah. it. I got back to out the wazoo. I'll just roll off and then maybe I'll take a little bit of damage, whatever. But the moment you roll off, it's like a death line that the game is full of. So you, she just instantly dies mm -hmm. instead of just going onto the rock that's six feet beneath her. <laughs> The game's like, no, 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 you're not allowed to do that. Like we like, said, well, why did you design it such that this leg, ledge is right here from the Keep floor? Keep your arms and legs within the attraction until the ride is over. I know. <laughs> it's the feeling you get with a lot of these, uh, a lot of the little uh, mini dungeon, whatever constructions that they have in here. You are <laughs> not allowed to. <laughs> Torture chambers. But at the same time, you could kind of like, but you could tell it sometimes they clearly forgot to make all the little death box invisible lines because you could clearly do things you're not supposed to. And you can awkwardly jump in ways that the game didn't want you to do it. So even in that, they're very inconsistent. The press of a button like it's your horse in Red Dead Redemption or something. Wow, the Witcher 3. Crazy. Wow, you and in fact, a bad example. 
Whoa. I would say <laughs> that one is only bad when you're more familiar with the game because I think out of context that can come across kind of cool. It's like vroom, and I show up. I mean, oh, it looks, I more, so. it looks more normal than just spawning behind you, not moving at all. Just like, well, just, oh, yeah. where's the thing? Oh, it's yeah, ironically, it's kind of like a. It could be stressful. You're just like, I just need it to spawn, please, and it goes. Blah, 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 and it just starts <laughs> running around. All the place. <laughs> There's also not a thing where you hold the button down and you jump automatically onto it. You have to. Call it and then look where it is, and then you can on get onto it. Yeah, there's you know no automatic mean? get on. Yeah, yeah. yeah get the on first... while it's still moving, so you can like do it kind of. Like, well, if, kind of if you yeah, you hop on and then speed. If away. you hit R three while it's speeding past you, it will just stop dead in its tracks, and you'll get on. This is kind of <laughs> yeah, funny. Get on, yeah. <laughs> I got into the um yeah the habit of just oh press Y to call it, and then I heard it coming, and I would just, like, lightly tap E so that the second it zoomed past me, she'd just be, boom, right on it. It was very, <laughs> uh, um, unintended, we'll call it that. Probably yeah, not see, the way I, they I was, would engage with it. I, I was reminded of, um, how they did it in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, where you can, you can like, summon your, um, your car in that by pressing a, a button on a fob. And, it, you know, Cloud just, he, he presses the button, and there's, like, a shortcut scene of it rolling up, it never glitches out, it's always just right where you want it to be, it's like, oh, how come you can't just make it work, guys? <laughs> the thing no. I did when I got one was fly off the nearest cliff I could find, Darth Maul style. What? I, what? what? <laughs> I feel like I missed something. What's happening? What? Okay. <laughs> what are you? Okay. What? <laughs> Darth. Thanks. Ooh, As a result, like this oh, wow, stuff right here is where I found the most enjoyment <laughs> in the game. Okay. You know, just going around and exploring the map and seeing it's what It's empty! There's it's nothing so here, my map. man. <laughs> no, no, there's little chests with durasteel here and there. Sometimes, uh. Or transparasteel. <laughs> Imagine I said or I was walking day, around Qui-Gon Jinn style and it's a clip of him walking. Uh... <laughs> 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 I'm I was across. laughing, salacious become style. <laughs> and it's really kind of impressive just how fast these areas can often feel. Who cares? It's, it's impressive. Empty. Yeah, I don't give a shit how big it is, but there's nothing in it. Look I'm at all so the stuff I can shit do. In games. My dude, Space? welcome to. Have you, play, have you heard Water? of a game called Minecraft? You would well, even be boggling your mind how tell big you that is. How dumb, how fucking done I am with this shit with <laughs> games of Big Vista. Have a look at the Big Vista <laughs> look and see how it. pretty it is. Like. Yeah. And the game does a dramatic pan out, maybe with some music, to be like, look, look, it's really cool looking. It isn't. It's kind of like <laughs> par for the course at this point, which isn't necessarily a good thing, but it is. And just to get Theo yeah. complete, really going, I'm going to put some orchestral music over it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Even like, better. I, I love Breath of the Rainbow Wild, but it kind of ruined this, you know? Yeah. I think uh... there's room for it with style still. I just, you also need a fucking game. How about yeah. that? Yeah. His, yeah. Like, the first change game, I would always make to all of these sorts of sequences is cut the music, cut the camera pan, let me do it. Oh my god. Yeah. The lean mechanic. The amount of places <laughs> where it's like, would you like to lean to this, see this vista? It's like, I can already see it. I don't need to lean. I'm fine. Yeah, so I'm looking right at it. Thank you. Just let me do it. I don't know if you guys do the same thing, but when I find a place I think looks really visually striking in a game, I will in fact just stop look to at look it. around. <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah. It's Absolutely. crazy, right? It's I don't insane. need your prompting. Like, hey, this looks really neat. I can't wait to explore all the incredible things that this vista has, all the potential this represents. And that's part yeah. of what makes the vista really nice. Because you're like, oh, look over there, there's a little town. Who knows what's in there? Oh, look, there's caves and mountains over there. Oh, wow, there's a Whoa. swamp over there. You know, like, I can't wait to see what's in there and explore and find out. This game's like, I don't know, best I can do is two transparent steel. Yeah. Rain, Rain World stopped me dead for like five minutes plus with its pixel scenery. Like, <laughs> <laughs> to be clear, this is pixel scenery too. Well, true, I suppose. Ha, got him. Yeah, I was like, uh, got him. Wreck. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> and the, Rags, you just, you just got a bona fide game reviewer. He's he's now officially <laughs> the you know, right. he ass yeah, yeah, professional so. over here. So. <laughs> Enjoy you'll, be, your you'll be having that Ubisoft money real soon. Make an exposed <laughs> video. <laughs> it all just results in that awful three-letter word that detractors hate to hear. And do you know what um, that word is? Fun. Yeah, man. Oh, uh, 
Why? Why did you say it like uh, that? Why? Did, why? Bad. Yeah. What a weird way to introduce it's this. Bad. What? Okay. Um, you said sounds... so defensive. He said so defensive. Yeah. Like what? You know what? Embarrassed. You know yeah, what? Yeah, this yeah, game is bad. fun. And it's like okay. Well, why? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's like, those games like one of fun, like Star Wars Outlaws. Is. This is like one of the sentences I hear, and then I have like a little bit of adrenaline going through my body. It's like, okay, calm down. I don't, yeah, yeah. don't want to yell, but oh, I really want to yell. Oh, you can press X to oh. use that adrenaline that you got to automatically target your enemies. And oh, take them down. nice. I will forever call it Deadeye. I'm never calling it adrenaline mode. <laughs> <laughs> it's just shit, Deadeye. That's yeah, what yeah. I keep calling um, Again, I, 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 it feels so redundant. Well, no, actually, it's not even remotely redundant. Every single example is valid. In Dead Eye, you got to actually aim. Like, you need to aim yep. and target. And if, and if you hit them in the head, if you target them in the head, then you'll get, you know, insta-kill. But if you target them elsewhere because you didn't aim well, mm -hmm. you get different results. Here, it's literally just... You, it's it's the mark and execute system, really, from uh, Splinter Cell. But again, yeah. in that one, you could actually... like. That one, again, it was a mechanic that had, like, real, like, design behind it. Well, that, yeah, you had to, like, how many people can you execute at once? And it's a you good way to be like, oh, I really got to make these down. ones count. So You have to do stealth takedowns to get it. Like, even that is the most basic thing. If you have to actually do something, not simply exist while enemies are firing at you and then it charges up. Or they... what happened with you, Mola? <laughs> it would have been so much better in this game, yeah, if it really was, yeah, slow-mo. Get those headshots so that you're actually playing the game. However, they couldn't... I think they... Part of the reason must be because the speeder design, because I think the reason that the speeder combat is wait until you're shot at, adrenaline fills, auto-target, um, is because I don't think there's any way... I think they knew that if they let you freely shoot on a speeder... They would have to do things like, oh, that means we have uh, to yeah, animate it that. Exactly, less control. They have less control over what you do. What if you start shooting at their... We you know, their have level. a section for that, it's, don't you worry. Yeah. Well, it's, <laughs> well, think about it. If you're in third person, now you have an entire new set of animations you have to give Kay for looking left with it, looking right, up, down, around. What if she spins around? Yeah. Like, well, she yeah, can't just like, twist her waist. And also, I, I, it would be... With how goofy it is that all the speeders go around, it would be hell on earth to actually be on a speeder, shoot at another speeder with mm -hmm. how weird the physics are on them. It would just frustrate players. So they were probably like, uh, no. they're going to hate that. It's going to come up. Oh? I've got an article oh, okay. where they're explicit for why you cannot shoot on a oh, speeder. It's going to be great. Really? We're not there oh. yet, though. We're a little bit away. <laughs> like if it was a, I'm know. so excited. Yes. Because yeah, we're moving at a brisk pace right here. Yes, brisk. And we're this moving faster thing is than the fun. Plot of this game. What? And I think the reason for that is because you're not being told what to do during these moments and can simply just appreciate all the effort that's gone into the world building. You are constantly Man, being told what to do in every way you could imagine. Building. This Feel game, something. You see this vista? This game oh, look, dies the house. This whenever you... This implies that there are people who live here. Whenever, whenever you, you do don't do... I don't want you to do it. Yeah. It breaks. I mean, a good example would be in these <laughs> open world sections. We've talked about it before. Um, where you have, like, the random encounters of, Oh, look, some bad guys are attacking these people. You can't choose to join those guys, though. You gotta oh, fight them. I, yeah, I, I have an even rangers. better one. Where the yeah. game just doesn't count for you doing something earlier. You know the, the lady you get the part for for your speeder to repair it or whatever it was? <laughs> yes. I reached her hut before I got the mission. So I got there and it's like, oh, what's this? And then I go up to her. She just stands there and it's like, H hello, hi. She doesn't react. You can't talk to her, nothing. It's like, okay, that was weird. And then I go to where I was going, get the mission. And it's like, oh, I guess I'm going back to somewhere else. And it's like, wait, this is where I just came from. And now you get to talk to her. So it's yeah, not like, I mean, hey, I'm found this, exploration. I found person. this, I found this lady earlier. Maybe you can have like another dialogue option. Where it's like, hey, who are you? Blah 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 blah. You know, and do it this way. But well, no, the, they're like, no, that. you don't have the mission yet, so you don't get to talk to her. Get away. I from learned her. very early on that <laughs> exploration is not the point in this game. There's no reason to go Nothing anywhere in this game, game right? that yeah. you have not been sent to. <laughs> I suppose another example would be the first thing that happened when I got to Shashara, they had the objective marker pointing me to go to the right, and I said, I want to go to the left, and then it said, return to the, like, you know, you're out of bounds. <laughs> like, as soon as I turned left, they're like, no, you know I'm like, okay, yeah, there are moments where... to a new where... planet in Star Wars, go where we tell you. <laughs> there were moments there were moments where I was going towards an objective, and it, and it still gave me the out of bounds thing, and I'm like, hold on. 
How do I get there then? Am, am I not taking yes, that the explicit happen. route that if you I can, want me to? I just want to pause you real quick because we're going to carry on. But what I'm going to put in the background, because I know where we are in this review, so we'll come back to it. But just on the topic of not doing what the game wants you to do, I'm going to I'm just going to play on mute. Everyone just mute the video while we're, we're talking about this subject. Uh, okay. Me not doing what the game wants me to do in a situation that I really did wish that um, uh, that you guys had experimented with as well. But uh, it's just you know it's a luck thing as to whether or not you will. Five fourteen oh five. So, like I said, mute it and just enjoy what happens on screen. You're supposed to All leave right. by entering the ship, and I decided I didn't ah, want to. Yes. So, oh, please. people told me you were experimenting just with enjoy, that. Just enjoy, enjoy, enjoy visually. Oh, but this. Dev, Dev, carry on with what you were saying, and it, just enjoy the background visuals of me deciding not to leave when the game tells me to. Oh, I've said everything. Sorry. No, you had. I clearly cut you oh, off. <laughs> I was, I was, I was here. I had like one word left. Ah. I was done. <laughs> Fine. I found the Molly here. I found the spawn room. Uh, so did I. <laughs> oh, you did it too. Okay. <laughs> oh, this. Uh, I, <laughs> I, sh I showed Friggy it. It's very funny. But yeah, this, this yeah, just uh, very this, amusing. This, this is one of the things I talked about earlier as well, where you have like a set piece where things shoot at you, or you have like. Enemies that are friend not enemies. Uh, enemies that uh, fight against people that are friendly to you, like rebels or whatever. And then you just stand there and look what happens. And the game just, it just dearly, dearly, clearly don't want you to do that. I um because you was, because uh, you you stand oh, yeah. there and and you have like I think there's one stormtrooper left over against like <laughs> seven rebels. And this one stormtrooper gets like blasted by all of them, and he just won't fall over. Which means they deal like basically no damage to oh, each he's other. Oh, going through the wall there, jeez. Yeah, he was. <laughs> oh, you get everything in this sequence. So, yeah, the, I, uh... the game, the game really doesn't like you. Well, doing this, <laughs> doing anything. In this, uh, in this mission, the first thing that happened when I showed up on the uh... oh, well, this is actually the second time you're on the Empire like spaceship. The first one, uh, when you're with uh, what's the name? The the, the lady. Uh, what's God damn it um Rico it's it's when you're yeah yeah when uh when it's like all right let's go this way I wanted to fight the guys in the the hangar um that was painful uh there was a drop there was like a hole in the ground that the enemies weren't like programmed to interact with they would just stand over the hole but if I walked into it I would fall down and die because again it, it was an area that was clearly not designed for you to do anything in it even mm. though I had the option um, and every time I did that, it broke the path. It broke the pathfinding like two times. I think the first time she just wouldn't open the door anymore after yeah. I had defeated all the bad guys, so I had to reset and do it all over again. And the second time, she had been switched into like combat mode. She was in combat mode brain, so she just started firing at the wall and then got me caught. <laughs> <laughs> and then I had to do it again. <laughs> Well, and something it's, that's it's, fascinating about this is just that they never entertained anyone staying behind. They just didn't. Yeah. The game does not to deal with you. They're like, you so want to get the fuck out of here and finish the game right as quick as possible. Yeah. You wouldn't linger, right? You're we so actually can't believe you made it this far. Like, it is astounding how little effort went into like <laughs> selling the cardboard cutout of like a set piece in each of these cases. Did you see my allies, by the way? They're just frozen over there. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're just waiting for you. Just I just out. don't understand it. Like someone must have raised like some players going to stick behind, or maybe they just like can't figure out what they're supposed to do because players players have a propensity to propensity to be really randomly stupid in ways wow, that you can't possibly word. predict. Predict. Mm -hmm. This yeah, is a fu this but... is a fun bit. Look, uh, <laughs> return to the quest <laughs> area. But yeah, yeah, it's just fun to kill hordes of enemies the... if you're able to. So you might just want to stay behind and fuck around with us for a while, right? Yeah. Oh, I love it because this game rewards you for fucking around in the reverse <laughs> way. You know, like I, I get funny <laughs> things happening all the time because it's just like, what's the point of quest areaing me when there's only a few more meters of space? Like, what? Why? Why even do that? What? <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah, it's like because uh, someone had to make that. It was just slapped in. They didn't think about it, obviously. Remember, uh, I showed you it, Fringy. Or... There is a borderline in the waters of Akiva that does not match the border wall. You can tell they yeah. drew it and they gave up. I would show you it if I had it on <laughs> hand. It's really funny. You can see them matching oh, it to the no. borderline perfectly, and then they give up and just draw a straight line. And this place is deserted. Wait, did you kill just everyone now? No, no, no. They're all stacked up and stuck on the um on that open oh, okay. door. And if you start killing them here, I think they start they start way. noticing you and turning around as well. But I, yeah, oh, see, I was... they found you right uh, there yeah. straight away. It's funny that they, on the start on the star destroyer, they also give up on finding you. 
Like, oh, it must be gone. It's so awful. Like, <laughs> so sure basic. Because there's so many... Eventually. It's not just that they didn't... Because if someone said, like, oh, you want them to program a whole fucking option here that doesn't entail yes. what they actually want, it's like, well, I'm not even asking that. I'm saying it's very basic to cut off this shit to prevent me from getting anywhere near fucking with your game to this degree. Like, look how far or back I'm going. Or make the enemy forces so overwhelming that you surely will just fucking die at yeah. some point. Or, like, yeah. Yeah. Close or crank your the accuracy to, like, 100%. And then watch them mow you down after Make you the door stand close there. after, like, you know, so that you can't come all the way back here. Yeah. The basic accountings for this are so easy. They're they so really easy. are. Or as soon as you step through the door, just a cutscene <clears throat> starts. If you don't, you can do that yeah. too. Don't give Look the player the option to fuck if with this you. This is supposed <laughs> to be a cinematic, high stress, whatever. Don't give the player the option to fuck around. <laughs> but, uh, Thankfully, they now did. They because don't know it's what's funny. Now they have no idea what to do. I move us forward just a little bit because I do eventually uh, get back to my allies and you know just <laughs> just admiring their They're just uh... hanging out. <laughs> but like, what's even hey. funnier is the bad guys it's are so all ready. stacked behind that door. They don't know how to get through it. <laughs> oh wow! Look at them! All. <laughs> Look at them! It's crazy. Gadik is my shield. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I want to show the devs this to be like, this is not hard to replicate. You could do this just by accident. It's really easy. Yeah, why did you design it such that the player had the ability to do this? Though, like, wouldn't you put, like, that, that trip wire where the enemies, that where, like, the, the, the game progresses? It's like, you've made it to a certain point. There's no, you know, it, don't you, normally in games, these are, like, cinematic hallways. You can't Look. really deviate. Look, they're off. Oh, wow. They're off. Oh, there they go. Go get them, guys. Yeah, go right. get them, guys. Get in there. Yes. Yeah. For the rebellion. Yeah, For Jabba. Oh. <laughs> oh, off he goes. You know what's funny well, about glitches like this? Is I like I am actually invested in staying alive. I want to see what happens next. <laughs> I don't want to die. I don't want to reset all this. Come on. I want to see my friends. One of them is stuck in the door. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? I can see how Star Wars Outlaws. Yeah, it is fun. <laughs> it's it is fun. fun. It's fun. It's fun. Yeah, it's very fun. Well, this is another example of it being a golem like. It's 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 through and through. It's, it's every part of the code. It's dribbling with it. I like how we've progressed, by the way, from the red goo on your screen being like the indication that you need to heal to the red goo being accompanied by the game telling you to heal and the input to heal at the same time. Well, by the time you get to the end of the game, you don't know what healing is or what healing items are, and you don't know what all those little pips down there mean. <laughs> so they, they need to let you know that, oh, by the oh, you can press this button to heal yourself if you didn't know when you're 30 hours, 20 hours <laughs> yeah. into your Star Wars adventure. What was annoying is if I had the full gun upgrades while I was doing this, this would have been easier. I could mow through all of them. It's, it's, it's retarded how powerful you get. Um... Because, uh, you know, it's curious, right? Because what Rags commented on, and um, I've got the footage of it, is uh, if you go down that hallway on the right side, you can find a room where they just spawn on the spot. Like, they blink into existence. Yeah. They just they just appear in Which, that room. Which, typically and... speaking, devs don't want you to see that. That's not Yeah, something... normally they put up, like, invisible walls, or they have A room the doors, you can't go in. You but, know. well, it's the door opens, and it's just like a black... It's just a black wall, but the enemies will come out of it. Yeah, you know, like the, a lot of games do that. Um, so, poor ND, look at him. He's indestructible. It always bugged me that he just has this massive, vulnerable, weak spot on his chest, and the yep. plate put over it. But I guess that <laughs> would be like a smart, intelligent thing that you do to keep yourself protected. So I um, I don't have so the footage. Here, unfortunately, but I showed Fringy. If you walk around the ship, you can actually get on from the ladder, the the, the ramp side of it. And if you go into the ship, it's, uh, for lack of a better term, it's like empty. It's dead. There's no um, how do I put this? There's no decoration. There's there's, there's no, no props. Yeah, there's, no... everything's gone. It's all blank. It's like it's like the ship it, it, model like the got in... put here, but they didn't put the model <laughs> post uh, decoration. Is it like the landing the when the when the pirates and the Imperials fight and the little ship drops down and then the <clears> landing <throat> ramp opens, you could just walk right into it and there's an invisible wall, but you could see inside and it's just an empty box with nothing in there. If they you assume that would be done to save to resources, right? Like well, you would be doing that because in this game, you... I mean, a little bit of prop work. I don't think yeah, I don't think it's gonna make much of a difference. Uh, the funny thing is all the mechanics work in there. As in you can open up um customization and stuff 
Never it's like mind. they had that, but they didn't <laughs> bother to populate the like, fucking ship I'm trying ship to itself. give them a little bit of credit here. <laughs> Actually, let me... I can show the wonderful people at home, but you guys are going to have to boot up the stream if you want to see what I'm talking about, because I want to I show them this. It's quite funny. Here you go. I was it's curious to test some of these things, you know, and I didn't realize... I would have thought they wouldn't even have that as an option, but the ramp is there. You can get inside. And of course, it doesn't activate the cutscene, which it should. It's dead. Your ship is just fucking empty. Oh my goodness. It's actually yeah, that kind doesn't of... save any resources, because, like, it's still modeled. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's almost a little creepy. <laughs> like, wh why? It's, oh, it, it becomes a liminal space. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah. Wow. It, it looks like it might be missing some set dressing, too. What like some oh, like definitely. objects are just not there. There's loads, yeah. yeah everything this is what I mean. It's like the base model. It's not got in any of its like character or what what should be here. But you can still activate all the options. Wow, that's so stupid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> that is my favorite one so far. Like I can upgrade my gun <laughs> without it, you know changing the. Campaign and all of my friends are just out there getting fucking slaughtered because uh, I can access <laughs> the back. toilet. Wow, <laughs> dude, we're gonna have to have a conversation on what these people think space toilets are because oh my God, it's very that? clear these people don't know what the fuck is going on below the waist on a human body. Okay, now let me see if I can find. Oh, yeah, here it is. So I think this is what Rags was referencing. Boop, 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 boop. All right. Because when you're curious enough to walk around enough... Oh yeah, by the way, one stun shot and you can execute the, um, uh, the ion Anything. shot. You can, yeah, it's, it's just like oh, doing that to a death room. trooper Gamorian, is insane. Yeah. Uh, death troopers, Gamorrean guards. I think The droids. best they have to offer, huh? Yep. One ion shot, I one see, punch and down. Just spawning there. Yeah, this is not the kind of thing they want you to see. But I don't know what lazy fucking developer put this spawn here. <laughs> yep, that's the room. Yeah. If you're low on back to vials, you can just sit here here and farm it for a second. Like I said, by the way, eight health. And if it reaches, le if it goes into one, um, it kicks in a reduction of damage by like 80%. And then if you actually hit zero, it resets to full. And then if it goes back down to zero, you die. So as you can uh imagine, it takes them a fucking while to kill me. I like this no. back, the back-to-back -back animations broke on the Death Troopers when their head, like, bonks into the wall. <laughs> I think at this point, Rags, especially since it's the end of the campaign, the game is just like, just leave me alone. It was like, <laughs> just <laughs> go away. <laughs> you bullying um... me at this point. <laughs> Let's see, there was a, there was a, because I had just adapted the, the Dark Souls melee lifestyle, um, when we were leaving the casino after the last heist, there was a guy that I stunned and then, you know, did a finisher on, and it knocked his model's head into the casino table, <laughs> and it looks really awful. It's like his neck just went into it and stopped. Oh, I, I, like, oh I love God. when you just kill someone and just go into things and just start spazzing out. You're like, oh God, no, I'm so sorry. <laughs> One of my just favorite things. Over and over again, man. I know, right? One of my favorite things of watching anyone's streams is when they're in the middle of ranting about some dumb thing that's happened, and then something dumber happens while they're doing it. <laughs> it's like unrelated. It's just always so funny how it cuts them off. But uh, yes, fun, 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 fun is an interesting choice of words, fun. of course. Yeah, fun. It is fun. fun. And uh, it, it, he says it as though defying the notion that it was going to be not fun. Um, mm. Curious. Curious, curious, curious. Let me uh, get I us back fun. to where we were. Four, four, two. Let us let us roll it back a little and let <laughs> Five him. Five minutes out of eighteen. <laughs> let him continue. Let her rip. You're not being told what to do during these moments, and can simply just appreciate all the effort that's gone into oh, the right, world building. Oh, <laughs> Such world plan. building. Something you want. I think he's mixing up world building with graphics. Yeah. Yeah, because like, like the I mean, environments yeah, are right. pretty. They right? can be pretty. pretty. The they can be pretty. pretty. You mean yeah, like the literal act of world building? In like yeah, there is no, uh, like, yeah, yeah. you know, substantive world building there in this. And this grass over here. <laughs> building the world with a tree and grass. Yeah, that's not very interesting compared to uh, making it feel like it's lived in. It's, a, it's an actual place people would come to. Something to explore. There's not much of that. Over there, Nix. 
But yeah, off the back of that too, this is a pretty gorgeous looking game. And the amount of visual detail is pretty staggering. Especially when you go into one of the- Except when it's not. Oh, they're going to be really disappointed oh, so, when like okay, another- so he got to go to Kojimi then. Hmm. The various cities and- But Kojimi CP doesn't have like a big open world, like- Nope. Wilderness space, so that doesn't even help. Dude, really. that shocked me. Yeah. I was. I, I remember that part. Because I ended funny. one I was... stream. I ended one stream in Kojima. It's like, oh, guess I'll do the open world next stream. Then I boot up the game. It's like, all right, let's see. Wait, where's the exit? Wait, that's. Oh, it's just the. Si oh, okay. Me I too, guess. man. It, it was funnier than oh, that, was... Mel, because you you went to the bottom left of the map and you're like, that's where the open world is. That must be the exit. And you went down there and you're like, I can't do it. What? This isn't it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah same, same thing happened. Same thing happened to us. We had to like reload a save to go back. We're like, oh, we'll just do this part later. When you go into one of the various cities and see people walking around minding their own business, or other things like don't... seeing the- None, None of them are real. They're, they're not even NPCs. Oh, they're not real. You can't interact yep. with them. They're they... set dressing. Yeah, they don't talk, they don't move. They, they do talk, they just say the same, the same one line Some of them might well, speak a line, but that would be generous. Like, a lot of them do nothing. Them a, a lot of them just, just stand there, yeah. This isn't cyberpunk where we maybe get the pass of like the sheer number of things going on on well, the screen Assassin's at any Creed given time. Assassin's Creed Unity came out ten years ago. Mm -hmm. You had places like like Witcher Three and Assassin, <laughs> a lot of all the old even some modern Assassin's Creed games. Every, all the people going around doing this, going that, moving. You could actually go through the crowd. Um, it's just, but this is this is pathetic. The I was struck by is. just how little I could do. Um, Mel, you noticed this. I don't know if everyone else did, but mm -hmm. I like to steal stuff to get credits to yes. spend it on things. And I started <laughs> to realize, holy shit, there's like no one to steal from. In I'm this not allowed to. Densely yeah. populated city. I can't steal from fuck all. What what's going on? You shouldn't have introduced it such that Nicks could easily steal from people and they don't even care if you didn't want me to no spam that. But then simultaneously the find is, out there's no one to steal from. Kay Vess herself doesn't steal anything. She always sends Nicks. Yep. Which is really weird because you feel like, oh, oh this outlaw, I'm going to steal someone. It's... Then you have, uh, there's this one, I saw this one guy in the bar or what it was. He was like blackout drunk and was like just lying on the on the couch or on the, on the yeah. bench or whatever. It's like, oh. That should be a guy I should just easily steal a couple of credits from because that should be the easiest thing in the world. She ain't a fucking outlaw. If we had a scene okay, but Kay does where steal. she... That's, that's incorrect. K does steal. She doesn't... No, I already know what you're going to refer to, so give me a second. Like the, she, uh, <laughs> If we had her grab someone by their neck without them realizing, drag them into an alleyway and put a gun to them, and they start going, uh, uh, she's like, give me your fucking money right now. Give me your money. And they hand over the wallet, and then she says, don't tell anybody this happened, or I will kill you, and I'll kill your family. And she walks away. They would be like, we can't do that. We can't that's have, too well, mean. That's, that's way too mean. mean you know? guy. That would be scary. And, and the, yeah, that's almost like outlawish. We can't do that. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, right. Aid of quality has made a color <laughs> update. Shit. Well, it looks like chicken, the... which is what you are now. You're a bird. This is incredible. You and Fringy can <laughs> can get together and talk about bird flying things. and seeds about and bird stuff. things. Be, you know, being up early. <laughs> um. Yeah, you, they're never going to let you do anything like that because they know that that would make it such that she's not a wonderfully slop level character that would be accepted by everybody. You know. Mm -hmm. yep. Exactly. It's too scary to have her do something like that. So which is pretty funny considering how popular Arthur Morgan is. And with Arthur Morgan, of course, you could you know, it's a rock star game, right? Like you can yeah. interact with any NPC but you can rob them you can, walk you can crazy stuff. Walk into someone's shop and pick up everything in there and it says steal this thing and then nobody does anything and then you leave. You can do that. That's interesting. You can go into a oh, syndicate's yeah. place and pick up everything, it's... and sometimes one of them will be like, Hey, you can't steal yeah. that! Yeah. Well, I mean, this is the thing, I the thing like that, that, that games don't want to, like, talk about. She just gleefully mows down whoever's in her way. Like, yeah, exactly. absolutely well, just lord and lowering her. She does it wholesomely, so... <laughs> yeah, very yeah. early well, in the game, she when she does her first little mini-mission, her little, her little failed thief job at the very beginning, the, the tutorial mission, she gets caught, some guards come in, what's going on? And she murders them without yeah. a question. And she's funny well, about she it. off the game, it's like, you just murdered those two guys. Well, is, is when you think about, because obviously people brought it up with Uncharted, right? Nathan Drake is a very sort of fun, happy guy. 
but look at what he does. And it's His like body yeah, count yeah. is like beyond but, words. <laughs> but at the very least, it does the normal thing, right? Where he is the good guy compared to the bad guys. That like he's the he's the thief who will let the cursed treasure be destroyed forever rather than having it be released onto the world. Meanwhile, all of the bad guys will just like pursue power relentlessly. But in this case, it's like Kay has no loyalty to anybody. She has no loyalty. Like she will betray everybody. <laughs> you you might, know, she, someone might I, someone might steal uh, Man K by saying, "Well, at least she's she's very she's very good to Nyx. But like, I don't think so because she puts Nyx in well, incredibly dangerous very, and irresponsible yeah, exactly. positions. Like, I care more about him than she does. Someone needs to call somebody the the Child Protective Services of Space so they can <laughs> take him away from her because she doesn't care about anyone other than herself. She's an so awful this protagonist." Is... This is all true, which is why I found, you know, the, the final act turn where she suddenly cares about her robot friend as being very strange. So oh, this dude, mm. That is especially strange if you play the game out of order from what they want you to play it. Yeah. They, they did not yeah. bother to account for that at all. Metal uh, noticed this quite significantly because um, the, the way that their, their relationship sort of... There, there's a couple of events that have to take place in a particular order to make the most sense. Even then, though, I think it doesn't work. Like, yeah. uh, his humanity is, like, brushed in super fucking fast. But um, there's, like, a... Uh, the, which planet is it that you arrive where she, he says, um, I've got some... I think it's Tatooine, is it? Where he says, I've got some contacts, and then she says, I'll get my own yes. contacts. I think so, It's yeah. very like, oh, okay. You can do all the other missions before that where they bond, yep. and then you can have them arrive and him say, like, I can talk to some contacts. She's like, I don't think so. It's like, oh... Well, I finished the pl I finished a planet where they established that he gets broken or something, but I did that one second, so I had a full other planet going on, and he was fine the whole time. And then it's almost like, oh, let me go check back on this other oh, planet yeah. to do some side stuff. And then it started the thing for the next main mission. I was like, what? It's uh, I remember it's really like, odd. You had a was it you? I think it was you. I don't think it was Rags. Where you you'd set the mission to do the repair him mission. And then mm -hmm. you're like, oh no, I want to do the Lando mission. And then the game switched you back. Like, yes. Against yes. your will. It put you on a different quest. Like, it said, yep, you can tra track this quest. You're like, cool. And then uh, between a loading screen, it was like, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> like, no, it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was very fucking strange because the, 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 the game is built very linearly and uh, it's, it's absolutely pretending to be open. And so it glitches up and fucks up all the time whenever you do anything that it didn't expect. There's a lot of aspects like it, that, not only in terms of how you trace be. the quest, but also, like I said, with the whole, like, you're supposed to like the Crimson Dawn, you're supposed to hate the Huts, you're supposed to obviously despise the Empire, they're less than human, you can, you'd can you never want to join up with them. Um, there was a post about how they're releasing more stuff, and someone said, uh, it would be nice to be able to actually work for the Empire, and I think they said something like, uh, one of these missions will take place in such a way that you'll have to work with the Empire. It's like, okay. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> but we're not going to have to do anything, like, bad, though. You, you'll you work with the Empire, but it's probably towards just coincidentally or incidentally a common goal. You're not going to, they're not going to be like, I need you to go kill these rebels over here. It won't be anything like that, because we don't want to, That would be interesting. We don't do commit. that. Commit. No, that would be interesting. If you could role play as an Imperial loyalist. Yeah. I mean, they don't want you doing that anyway, because they portray... Basically, all, every syndicate is like this, but they also portray, oh, except Crimson Dawn, but they portray every syndicate, and they portray especially the Empire as all being evil asshole jerks all the time, regardless of context, <laughs> uh, to the point where all they're, like, they're all like cartoonishly evil, except Crimson Dawn. No, well, no, do you remember sense. the, oh, I love the part where she's like, all syndicates are the same, they just use people, they're the worst, even the rebels. When you've spent the whole game using people, <laughs> whatever you need, it's the most bizarre the rant ever. Like, what are you talking about, woman? The game's fucking reputation system seems to be designed on the basis of yeah, just use people to your ends yeah, for whatever. It, it, it advises that betrayals are normal or inevitable. <laughs> yeah, it's like just betray people. You get that's how you play the game. But like, <sighs> but but what if I want to, God forbid, in this open world game with all these factions and everything, and this essentially the most rasa of tabulas here for characters what if i was just given the option to you know commit to role play i i want to be a, a member of crimson dawn or the pikes or whatever 
We should. Well, it's like forced to leave, right? Your decisions. Well, sometimes. we should be the ones to, 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 be honest, to influence K to become a different K by the end of the game. That's like the whole idea of an open world, quote unquote, RPG. I get that she's a, yeah. a set in character and she has built in lines and all this other stuff. But like, if you wanted to be an actual game, it would have been cool if I could take her to the most virtuous path where she only helps people, and someone else can take her to the one where she's like, "No, fuck it, I'm out for myself. I'm just going to do whatever I want." And imagine your dialogue Geralt's reflected really those actions like as you go through. Whoa. The more devious things you do, the more her dialogue starts to reflect a defensive person trying to justify taking those actions. An ND could be like, "Uh huh, like you you needed to." Oh God, I don't even want to talk about the waste of fucking potential that is ND five. Holy shit. This game <laughs> is a waste of potential. All this money mm -hmm. and time and effort for this kind of game. This game is a waste. Now you can what could have been. How much? Three hundred million at, at the most, the highest estimate. Three hundred million. Holy crap! Still less well, than Concord. Okay, that, that's that's also not. We'll why, get there. We gotta get. I don't know about that. I don't yeah. know about that. <laughs> but, they are target. Concord four hundred million. Okay, I don't. Anyway. I really really target. target. Really, really, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry. Rex, we got to Oh, okay. Business, or other things like seeing them getting questioned by stormtroopers. Yeah, try running into no. one of them and see what they do. Yeah, that's not, a, that's not a real interaction. There are many of these, and when I say many, I mean seven, of a stormtrooper talking to a person, and the person will be like, oh, geez, I don't have the money to pay, or I can't go there. They're like, well, you better, and then they'll both turn around awkwardly and walk in separate directions. You'll never see them again. And well, see what happens Mala, you how else will I know that, that the Empire is bad? Would they respond to you if you bump into them like they would in any I don't even think... game like they do in Grand Theft Auto 4? Yeah, I would have to test it on those ones, because there are stormtroopers that'll get mad if you bump into them, but I think those ones don't, well, the I think. Thing... So the, the, yeah, but the stormtroopers, like, I had to bump into a stormtrooper about 20 times before he actually did yeah. anything about it. And as for all of the other NPCs, like the, you know, not the stormtroopers, just regular people, you just walk into them and they don't react to you. Like, they're, they're, they're static objects. They don't. They don't go like, "Oh, hey, watch it" or anything like that. You you could just oh. sort of run into them. And they don't do anything. I mean, you you can you can make Nick steal something from them, and you just stand in front of them. It's like, "Oh, thank you, good job, Nick." And they're like, "What was that? Who so, stole that from me?" The best <laughs> Having version a pair of, that, of stormtroopers uh, can be found. I think Raz, you found kind of one of them. Uh, the best version I found is on the Ren Pauli station. You need someone has the key card. It, it, it's something explicit. It's some explicit mission of like a recording of a thing, and you have to go mm -hmm. steal it from a person. I walked right up to them, stared them in the face while Nix grabbed it, and then she announced to ND5, "I have the recording of X, and I'm going to deliver it to Y oh, right yeah. in front of the fucking person <laughs> who would Absolutely. care about that." And they just stare at you because they're trapped. They can't do anything. They just have to watch you destroy their life <laughs> because they're an NPC <laughs> with no extra coding to do a thing. It's so sad. That's like the most, the stupidest version of all of this. Because you can steal people's wallets right in front of them, but when you announce in front of them, you've stolen their shit and you're going to take it to the place <laughs> they don't want you to. Yeah. Oh, it's also, it's, it's, it's really funny. I mentioned earlier that you have like one person in the bar at any time that you're allowed to steal from. You can steal from them again and again on a timer, so you keep stealing from the same uh -huh. one person the whole time. <laughs> I think the, the first guy funny. in the first bar, I, I, I stole from him credits like four times, like every time I came back, oh, there he is. Yeah, and you said at one point you'll steal his shoes. <laughs> he's, he's stealing everything. He'll just be a naked drunk guy laying there eventually. I don't know why I, I know come why here. here. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Here are my scan docs. Even through to the more subtle details, like walking into a bar and seeing the beads hanging from the door. What if what? you try to order a drink? What, what? what if you try to order Sorry, a drink? Rewind, rewind. You gotta. We gotta. Yeah, Rags, you one. cut you him off. Beads. You fool. Details like walking into a bar and seeing the beads hanging from the door, catching on Kay's body as she walks through them. I wow. the most You're basic joking. Seven that's out of not, ten. That's not this not is even at least I don't know. I, this might be the kind of detail that bumps it up to an eight for me, honestly. <laughs> is that is that not kind of like a ooh? There's nothing to praise in this yeah, game, that, is there? Like, yeah. Oh, yeah, we're already oh, early at, at the uh, beads on the door. Like, the fucking what? beads. You're talking wow. about the beads. <laughs> you're, a, you're just a shell. I mean, that's just the answer. That's a really, I could see myself mentioning it maybe as part of a very, like a sub portion of a sub portion of a sub portion of a thing, but even, oh, I don't know, man, that's so normal. Yeah. 
I all the way guess the... at some point there was a reason to be like, wow, it was cool to be able to see my footprints in the snow, right? But yeah. like that's yeah, on Metal Gear Solid this. One. Metal Gear Solid One was doing that. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> also, there was a point where I'm someone sorry, was but like, yeah, it's cool footprints in the snow to me is more impressive than the beads move when you walk into them. It's like. Okay. <laughs> the object you directly listen. walk into has some sort of interaction with you. Crazy. I can go over to my boxed copy of Chrono Trigger on the Super Nintendo and it says on it, amazing graphics, mind blowing. It's like, yeah, I get it. Yeah, <laughs> for the time. <laughs> well, wasn't there, remember when that beats on the door? Came out and they were Do talking remember, about fish swimming out of the way. That was Advanced yeah, Warfare, yeah. right? Yeah, I think yeah, the so. fish right, swim yeah. away from you. No, that was yeah. ghosts. No, ghosts. ghosts. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I forgot You're that right. game existed. Jesus. Yeah. And everyone was, was posting like of Cod, Super Mario 64. Existed. Everyone was posting clips of yeah. Mario 64. <laughs> They're like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> fish, fish <laughs> fishing fish away AI. from you. Fucking hell. Yeah. So oh, wow. Because we're kind of talking about it adjacently. Someone uh, actually mentioned to my server uh, on this day, six years ago, uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey was released. <laughs> Another open world Ubisoft game. Yay. That is almost, it is undoubtedly way better than this game. Yeah, Odyssey is better than that. <laughs> I mean, that, that means nothing. Like I said, Golub is almost better than this. So, yeah, this game is like truly terrible. I mean, especially if you're getting to the point where you're like, yeah, when you walk in through a door, like the beads, they, <laughs> they're like moving out of the way. That's the actually cool. Well, he'd already mentioned, he'd already yeah. mentioned how fun it was for you, okay? It was very fun. I, yeah, that, that's fun, very much one of fun, those, like, fun. hmm. It's that, what's and the it's... people expression? The one of like, hmm. It's us? The, yeah, that's the one. <laughs> that's kind of what it is. It's like, well, ah, we, wait, we it's... added it. We added the guy, uh, chat, <laughs> all of the members, post that new people. He's called. I want to say Mola, uh, Mola, hmm, Mola Stay, something like that. Mola Sus or something? Could be Mola Sus, yeah. I know which one you're talking about. Yeah, that's like, the one uh, right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, you, that's kind of me right now. I have now. new emoji <laughs> slots like, too. Mm, I need to make some new ones. Mm, yeah, because yeah, we, we've, we've got the new guy and the old guy. And we got Kek as well. Oh, yes. And the guy with his, the, the, the one, yeah. the, the funny one. <laughs> People <laughs> plotting. Yes. What is it? That dude is funny as fuck. Yeah, it's, uh... To me, it's one of those things of like, man, that is a weird thing to compliment. <laughs> like, the, the beads move out of the way. It's like, it's like, some well, revolutionary. It's doubly, he's at the bottom of the barrel. He, he's already run out, right? Well, it's doubly yeah. weird because he's mentioning you can walk into this bar and the beads move out of your way. He's like, what if you try to order a drink at the bar? What happens then? <laughs> Bro, what about <laughs> the no, bar? The you what do is, at like, bar. is, what is the detail. scope of the fucking bar? We moved on already. What's in there? What do the people do? What does it do over I the course of time? Can you influence in anything? One of the things that annoyed me is that the, the, the bartender near the beginning of the game is like, whoa, you can't go up and see Gorak, that's not allowed. And then later when you get the approval to do it, you walk up to it and she's like, hey. And then you just go, no, I'm allowed. And then never says anything ever again. As if, like, <laughs> there's just no life to this game at all. If, if you, you can sprint over the, I mean, the Gorak stuff, I don't get it. There's so many problems, I'm just going to continue. <laughs> it's too hard to list them all. God damn it! Grass in the trees swaying the wind when you're out in the middle of nowhere. Oh my God! Wow, the grass <laughs> is sways in the wind, guys. Cool. Witcher Three is still more atmospheric. Like, <laughs> easily. This planet so, is like, weirdly windy close. the whole time. That's like the gimmick the, of that it's planet. The wind planet. Everything yeah. is windy. It's like, oh, okay. Looks really I mean, weird. This game doesn't hold. The, I mean, like DayZ and stuff. These indie games are way better for that kind of thing than this. I don't, but why, like why grass even sways in the wind. Yeah, like I, I can't even. The, the idea that we spend time being like, you know what? It does have wind. <laughs> you, you, well done. <laughs> it's quite a moment. Outlaws runs on the Snowdrop engine, previously used in the Division series, but then also the recent okay. Avatar Frontiers of Pandora, a mm -hmm. game which wow. was as good looking as it was also boring. But I oh, 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 this was boring. Was boring. Huh? Oh, I'm gonna go ahead. I, I'll put a hundred pound on the notion that the Avatar game is better than Outlaws. Yep, I'll do it. <laughs> A hundred dollars to the charity of your fucking choice, G Man. <laughs> <laughs> Avatar Heroes of, of Glorschnack or whatever, Grandora is better, is better than this fucking monstrosity. Hello, all my grudges. <laughs> Either way, though, like, it's no surprise that this looks as good as it does here. And anyone who spent more than 15 minutes with the Division games can probably attest to. Like, I don't know, man. Red Dead Redemption 2, like. I feel like it looks better than this, like, overall, like, Easily. generally. It just does. And, um, 
it's it's got especially the the sky boxes are like kind of insanely impressive in red dead redemption 2 like the clouds look like photorealistic like they're like it's and, and then of course the level of the variety in the open world right going from like the deserts of uh of new austin and then like going all the way to like the swampy sort of like uh areas uh it was lemoyne right that was the name of the uh damn it i think that's what it was called the, the, the whole point being that i just find it funny being like oh this game looks amazing it's like i mean like yeah i mean it looks good i guess sometimes but i don't know i feel like there are open world games that look better than this well i think we need to point out the elephant in the room with this game when it comes to graphics is that basically every single npc looks like shit well uh, uh, they they i know it's adjacent awful. but the animations are hilarious sometimes yeah oh the mm. animations are awful I also don't think this is a selling point anymore, right? Like, games well, look graphics. good now. Okay, but... Well, I want style I mean, over graphics anyway. If, if we split it all up, I'm just like, can you please talk more about the game? I, yes, I, exactly. I, I understand and I recognize the value the of these things. Smaller. I do, but, like, please talk more about why, as a game, it's strong. It look feels fucking weird, man, to be like, yeah. God, they did such a good job with the windiness on the trees. Look at the grass. <laughs> yeah. Look, the grass moves. That's probably not something that's just automatically programmed in the game engine, right? That the grass just, just moves. I'm probably. using a texture pack right now in Minecraft, and the grass just does that in Minecraft. That's just what it does. It's moving. But it's just, what is the level of interactivity in the actual world? What can I do in the world? What What is the emergent the game plan in the world, right? Because the grass moves in Breath of the Wild, but you know what else the grass does? When you set it on fire, like, <laughs> the fire will spread in ways that are dynamic, and you can use it, like, it will create gusts of wind that you can use to Dude. shoot up into the air. And well, they did that. You can cry and swing and that. cut the grass. So, you know with how to. broken everything is in this game? If you were to set the grass on fire at any particular patch and wait for it to spread, I could picture the devs looking at you like, fuck off. <laughs> we, we can't do that. Like, we, we've barely got it fucking working. What do you mean, spread the fire? You're like, you can't oh, order God. a drink well, at a bar. You can't <laughs> set the grass on fire. Okay. I, either it wouldn't light at all, or instantly the entire map would light up. Oh, yeah. It, <laughs> Just it, it blue wouldn't screen. stop. Astrid. They wouldn't program it. Yeah. <laughs> Because like in like like in RimWorld, if there's been enough fire on the map, then it will trigger the game to be like, all right, it's gonna rain and put it out, and that wouldn't it wouldn't be that way. The whole planet would be consumed. You drop a match, instant Mustafar. And then like when they when they dev <laughs> the developing it, and that happens, you can just see them fucking slam the keyboard. I don't want to make games anymore. <laughs> <It sucks>. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing works. 15 minutes with the Division games can probably attest to just how great those things looked visually as well. There is a bit of a sense well, of the, the Division being... didn't look as good as that E3 2013 demo, that's for sure. Although the downgrade wasn't even all that bad one. either. It looked pretty damn it, well, good, it, regardless. It, it does. Uh, it's just funny, though. The Division, in tw the 2013 demo, like, the amount of set dressing was, like, actually incredibly impressive. Uh, and yeah. clearly be on the scope of what was possible on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Have we, um, has anyone else noticed that all of the games that he's comparing this to favorably seem to be um, Ubisoft-owned properties? Assassin's Creed, The Division, Far Cry. What about that Avatar game? <laughs> yeah, that, I, was, maybe, that was the same Well, no, that's well. the thing. He called it boring, though. He was, oh, he was he allowed to criticize that. Yeah. Well, let me check if it, if it's an Ubisoft game. Then... It might be. Well, remember, I remember it is Ubisoft. Ubisoft. Oh, yes. Ooh, uh, yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, so no, he's compared, but he said, but he also said it was studio. gorgeous. It's the same studio that made this massive. This, yeah. uh, <laughs> made he it. said that Ubisoft <laughs> yeah, that game are, was boring, but it was massive. beautiful. Yes, they are. It does feel a massive. little appropriate because we don't it's cover kinda... all games. The, the ones, the, but one it's... of the worst games we've ever covered was made by massives. Did they tell him <laughs> only? Use like mention other Ubisoft games, or no, it's just I, weird I, that I, all I, of them are the being. Is, is I think that a lot of these sorts of things can be chalked up to like much more. Um, I remember in The Last of Us 2, one of the most consistent things that was pointed out in reviews is that the enemies will call out their friends' names when they get killed. That was in like every fucking review, and it was the same with a lot of other like specific things where it's like a specific which it was, it was basically that. A lot of things that were said in, like, a Naughty Dog, like, developer diary where they were talking about the mechanics in the game, a lot of those things were just said verbatim over and over and over and over and over again. I feel like the way simpler answer is it's just like, I don't know, it's just like the developer like said... 
No, well, it wasn't a meme. It was uh, an ironic praise. I think it's like much more so that it's just like, oh, oh I guess it was. I mean, like a the developer said I, it, and then I can just say it right as like a thing that the game is. Yeah, they wouldn't. Lie. I guess that's what I, that's that's what I meant. Uh, I like like a different version of like the like meme, like in in the terms of like like a spreading piece of information and culture. That oh, gets put I see. In you mean a meme in a very it. yeah yeah a like meme in like a like mimetic event. yeah yeah. I see. Mimetic. I think that's mm. much better, that's a much better. I would agree with that. I think that's what it is. It's just like that's the thing that people it's the same as we saw it with alien romulus it's the third best alien film it's the third best alien film it's the third best alien film nobody's <laughs> telling anybody to say this everybody just ends up saying it because it's the thing that other people say it was the same as with far cry 3 right skyrim with guns where that just became a thing that was said over and over and over again like it it it, it emerges as like an observation and then it just keeps getting repeated um which is, in a certain sense, like, also really not good, because it's just like, damn, man, where's, like, the emergent original thoughts on what's been put before you, rather than simply saying what everybody else is saying about it? How could you have those thoughts when you need to review 10 games in a day? You're just like, boom, 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 Ah, it takes time to form my own thoughts. I find that about, like, there are film reviewers who'll watch as many as three or four in a day and review it, and I was just like, I can't do that, man. That'd be insane. Like, especially if they're, like, two hours long, eight hours of different movies, and having to, it's just, like, you just gotta machine gun it out, and it's, like, yeah. kind of part of the job, because you want to continue having the access to review things well before, you know, like, it's a, it's all, like, complicated in how it encourages you to do that. Also, on the mention of Romulus, someone should make a video about how bad Romulus is. I think that's a good idea, <laughs> mm. that's a really good idea. Wait a minute. Make... Wait. What's happening oh. here? M Mahler, but it's the third best... On topic. Stay on topic. Yeah, rag. Stay, Stay on, on topic. topic. <laughs> I'm Jesus. I'm sorry. Oh my Just god. Just run it right off. The bird in the cage. It's K. K is the bird. No, K is the bird. The K is yeah. amazing. Stay Just how topic. great those things looked visually as well. There is a bit of a sense of the UI being cluttered with icons and tooltips at times, but overall, like it's a mostly intuitive system that doesn't <laughs> feel like a slog to navigate through. All right. Okay. okay. So let me give you an option of one of my biggest complaints. So the UI in this game sucks, and one of the well, it's bad. So if you want, to, if you're on PC, I don't know what the controls are on a uh, console. So let me know because I I just don't know. On if you're playing on PC, you have to press U, U the the letter on the keyboard U. Mm. If you press and hold down U, it brings up a secondary like gear set that shows you what are your corresponding key binds for those things your grenades for instance yeah um, your binoculars so if you're wandering around in the world or if you're in combat you don't know how many grenades you have um you could have zero you could have four you don't know you have to hold down you and then it will show you how many grenades you have and it's bound to like four for me um, even when you equip grenades, it doesn't tell you how many you have. You have to hold down U to do it. You can a lot change of... that. You can change that option. That's in the settings. Can you? Yeah, yeah you, you, can, can. you can change the key binds, or you can change. I know you can change. I know you can change. You can change it so from... that the UI does not hide anything anymore. There's a dynamic UI oh. and then a static UI, and the static UI just shows it to you. It should be all default the time. that it shows you how many. I don't disagree. You have. I don't disagree at all. I turn that on. That's that it doesn't. One of the things Ubisoft does kind of well is that they care about accessibility and sort of True. immersion, right? Uh, and so, like, one of the things that you can turn off in those same settings is all of the little yellow markers everywhere, right? Like, you can turn off the yellow paint. You can have that completely gone yes. and, and try to figure everything out yourself. Um, Unironically, probably the best praise of this game is that there's a lot of really excellent accessibility options for... Hugely. difficulty yes. and graphics and text and colors mm. and color blindness and high contrast modes it's legitimately really good yes. even if some of those options are essentially you can just disable negative things that happen in the game and make the game just objectively easier yeah like skipping Fine, past whatever many games the people like, okay the, the people who like honestly i was getting to that point with slicing where it's just like this is a waste of time it's always going to end the same way they, you just have it happen. they ruined it but they made it a worthless thing to do they could have made it interesting they made it too easy and then they made it pointless and so yep. and then yeah the rewards are often super it just was like a chore it's a slog it's a boring chore it's why whenever i when i played skyrim years and years ago or fallout i would just do the 
like the lock picking automatically win mod because it's ju it, it's just a time saver. It's literally just a time saver. The the terminals and Fallout, you you cannot fail them. I guess you can technically fail them. But if you log out before your last attempt is used, you can just keep trying infinitely. So just use the mod that auto succeeds. It's just a time saver. That's all it is. There's no challenge in it. Also, by the way, this clip, uh, he's fucked up to be in this position. Yes, uh, he was about yeah. to be uh he he's failed. about to get mission failed. Yeah, like he's not uh, he's not beating the mission failed the in this situation. Yeah, mm -hmm. you can't raise the alarm. They're gonna get you. Even if he kills that alarma, it'll be another one. So I guess my point is, if nothing else, if all cut you wanted quick. was a- What? Hmm? That no, wasn't like, even a good- That wasn't even a good way to show off- mission. Oh yeah, probably. Mechanic either. No, that wasn't. That was not uh, a good way to show it off. He probably- Because he already showed the clip of when you first do it, which I hated, by the way, because you can't do anything else. It's one of those situations where it's like, please press the button. And I'm just like- I was I was planning on doing something and you just like no. Every time they have a, a mechanic to introduce, locking you specifically into it as opposed to welcoming the idea that you've got something on offer, giving you a position to test it out, but letting you do whatever you want, I always prefer. As in, here's a grenade. If you throw it at a group of people, it's probably going to do damage, whatever. And it's like, oh, look, a group of people. And then I jump into them and stop punching them. I'll save it for later instead of using yeah, it now. Yeah, there's, there's all kinds of... And I, I feel rewarded when I can jump in, stop punching them, and I actually win. Then it says, did you enjoy using that grenade? Oh. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you know, you, you carry on. Just a, that grenade, more dynamism. Good move. That grenade will come in handy later. Yeah, that could be like funny if you had a fucking partner of any kind or a. I would take the paper clip from Microsoft at this point. <laughs> well, he's helpful. Oh. So I guess my point is, if nothing else, if all you wanted was a lore accurate Star Wars game to explore and get lost in, well, then I've got good news for you. No, you don't, mm -hmm. because the no. Zerg Bash don't fit into Star Wars whatsoever. They're insane. They they they, they they cannot occupy this timeline. They're never mentioned, and they're so fucking powerful. They're seen as like the biggest threat to all the syndicates, and they work with the yes. Empire. That can, that's just some <laughs> gross fucking tumor that's a part of the OT now. That well, shouldn't also, be there. Canonically, Jabba did not come as much as I would love for it to be true. <laughs> Jabba does come canonically. <laughs> uh, oh, Jabba comes. So, Jabba did oh, not no, save the rebellion. That is not something that happened. No, he oh, did. Then he gets killed <laughs> by the rebellion. The fact that, like, I, I, I didn't, I haven't seen this scene, but I can, I can only imagine. Job coming in the well, I mean, Mr. Nagabunga, the Wonga Tachunki Rebellion. As if he's not is... a hero that we all love. I mean, um, there's, a, there's a video by, I think it's 1 800 Danky that we could. Uh, yeah, that's awesome. Then I, they animated your, your freak out. <laughs> Should we play, the, are you gonna play it or the rise of slipo <laughs> video as well which i recommend yeah the channel is one one eight hundred danky i think he'd probably want us to play this one the um the, so this is obviously it's it's cut up and it's animated uh of my reaction to java coming in at the end of the <laughs> game to save me and the rebellion from the empire it's so good Guys, the rebels are okay. here. How bad? <laughs> but not enough. She's beautiful. <laughs> Why now? Press more buttons. Someone's answered the stress beacon. What's happening? The rebels. Oh, boss. <laughs> 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 you missed me. <laughs> right. You say so. You see the background so great. <laughs> Jabber and his little fucking fat guy ship running around. <laughs> I am here, okay? <laughs> I could never lose you, okay? <laughs> you. <laughs> What? Uh, <laughs> You'll never guess who did that! <laughs> in the space battle! <laughs> fucking Jabba! <laughs> 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 I'm picturing like 
Jabba's palace, but a spaceship. <laughs> He's got like a rancor in an X-wing. Like, I'm gonna see the kid. It's not a great. Oh, that's fucking great. It's an amazing, amazing video. Uh. <laughs> Oh my goodness, my stomach hurts. I think we all had a, like a freak out moment during the last part of the game, I feel like. Like everyone had this oh. moment where it just started laughing. It's too funny. I, uh, cause I think they forgot or something about... Because like different teams working on different things and they're like, yeah, we're whoever's highest on reputation. It's like, guys, the Huts are one of those people. You can't have the Huts <laughs> come and save the rebellion. That doesn't make any fucking sense. No, what do you mean? it was a Shiga clan from that one planet. They're going to... Fight the Star Destroyer somehow. They totally wanted. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the they cannon like for them, I think, would be Crimson Dawn. They, they were like, yeah, Crimson Dawn did it. Remember who your friends are in future or some bullshit like that. I was just like, no, it wasn't, it wasn't Jabba. When I'm sitting there, like, you know what? It fucking was. I think Jabba. I had my, my, my been... laughing fit when, <sighs> when those two brothers started beefing at each other when yeah, they were talking funny. to the ship. I was like, what is happening? What game am I playing? Dude, it's between so those two, the exposition like lines from them was so funny. Uh, my favorite, possibly, is one of the first things you hear in the game, which is um, they're all like fighting at the table, being like, you know, this, the spice lines, you've done this, blah, blah, blah. and then he just goes, oh, yeah. my brother would often steal food from me, <laughs> and you're like, who the fuck asked, man? Like, what, yeah, what are you that, talking about? Like, <laughs> yeah, they do like the worst kind of exposition, where they're just like... They, they, all they had to do still was like, as you know, we did this thing. I don't know if they had this in this game, but that's like an, another really good one that I hate. <laughs> For me, it's actually the, one, uh... one I remember from Rings of Power. Where, uh, I think it's in episode four where they... <laughs> the first line that is spoken in, the, in, the, in, the, uh, in that episode is ADR. When Galadriel off screen says to Elrond, still no message from Celebrimbor. It's like, yeah, we know, he knows. You're on your way to get people to go to Eregion right now. Why are you even saying this? Hate that shit. Oh, yeah. Anyway, rent over. Go ahead. <laughs> um, well, well, for me, the, uh, the, you know, the crazy laugh moment at the end, um, Dave played the end. I wasn't playing it. But it was the, the final combat is against a, um, a Star Destroyer. I'm sure you, you guys all know that. Mm. And and uh, you know, we're, we're going into attack it, and then you hear over the comms, like, we're, we're beginning the attack run. And then Dave just parked directly in front of the uh, shield generator and just shot it repeatedly, oh, like, point blank range. Yep. Yep. <laughs> There's, like, there so was useless. no momentum to anything. He just, like, sat there, did, wasn't taking any damage, and just shot directly uh, into it. It blows up in your face, doesn't hurt your ship. It's like, oh, okay. There's just nothing. Yeah, to I did that there. to uh, all the turrets on the left, right side, and then the shields, and then <laughs> the core. I just did it with all of it because <laughs> they just they just let you. You know, yeah. Star Wars Battlefront doesn't let you. They, they defy that the momentum of the contact and collision would fuck you up. And then, of course, the more you do it, the more of an easy target yeah. you are, and the more the fighters will get you. But no, not in this game. You could just sort of chill out. You just be there, going boop, boop, boop. The fact boop. that you so casually and easily are able to destroy a star destroyer oh, no is problem. the latest. It's the latest in a long line of making the Empire into these stupid, incompetent morons that have Dude, this no game fangs deals whatsoever. deals so much damage to the Imperials. That's, oh, They're so stupid and incompetent. It's so... When, how did these people take when, over anything? So, so when that was happening, I was thinking back to, like, Rogue Squadron on the GameCube, right? Where there is oh, yeah. actually uh, uh, a level where you have to take on a Star Destroyer. That's and, on Steam um, now, by the way. It's quite hard, because you can't just park in front of the fucking shield it's generator. It's a whole process. And, yeah. And, you know, all, yeah. all the TIE fighters just, like, missing you, and they're just flying around doing nothing. It's like, oh, there's actually a fight here. You have to play through. Well, uh, if we can, I don't know if we can pull this off together, but... If, you, uh, if, if I remember the Star Destroyers, well, any capital ship in Battlefront 2... You had to knock out shield generators, life support, mm -hmm. the uh, communications array. Uh, what else was there? Engines. Uh, engines. engines. Yeah. Uh, there was oh, the bridge. To... The bridge. Yeah. The br yeah. And then you have to go inside, right? And then destroy That's the an thing. That's an alternate. You oh, can it's an alternate. You can go inside. inside. Yeah. yeah, which yeah, yeah. Is not, you can uh, destroy it from the inside. Honestly, the f like that alone blows this game out of the fucking water. The fact that you could take down the ship from either outside or inside. It's like whoa, now, right. holy moly. Calm down. Yeah, turrets as well, and you can take out the turrets from the inside to the 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 consoles that operate them and stuff. But uh, never mind. Then I've got good news for you, bitch.
the beach. Uh, okay. Hot beach. Okay. But the real draw that Outlaws has is the way the missions and all I, these uh, various... Man, I... I don't know what, like, doing the little, like, the the ones where you have, like, the sound from the game is kind of like the, ooh, yeah, look at the game, and then it just abruptly cuts it's off. It's very the abrupt, yeah. Really distracting. I've always found it as a really big signal of a uh, corporate review. Yes. You know, you know, IGN does this all the time. Yeah, yeah. it, it yeah. always comes across as cringe. Because memes for you us... Can just do it, you can do it less abruptly. Just fade out the music. It's not hard. Oh, well, mm -hmm. well, even the ones that do it Impossible. like properly, it's still... I agree with Muller. It's definitely got like a sort of corporate vibe. Oh, yeah, for sure. I'm just saying you don't have to do it like this, where it just ends like this. Because You could put a little bit yeah. of like interest, yeah. like some of your creativity into it. Maybe just a little bit. Just it's just touch. a slider. You just click the button. I guess he did call us bitch. Pretty. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's true, actually. Yeah. Corporate edge. I don't know. That's how it feels about guess, that. Which yeah. I don't really appreciate. <laughs> I'm not a bitch. I'm brave. I'm but brave. the real draw that Outlaws has is the way the missions and all these various factions work. Great. Ah, uh, oh, boring. Boring. Hey. I know that this is going to be a thing in every review. <laughs> Let him let him make his case. The okay, maybe. The reputation system is really interesting. The reputation it system goes up is a when really you do good idea. with that, but it goes down yeah. when you do bad with it. Sometimes, uh, but, 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 sometimes but, 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 yes. you have to choose between the one <laughs> uh, person and the other <laughs> person. Yeah, you're right. To be fair, to be fair, we haven't heard the argument yet. We, maybe maybe I'll learn something new about this game, even though I've played it to the end. This was a preview, but maybe I will. A new insight into the reputation system and how great it is. Uh, thanks. Right, so like throughout the course of the story, you take on missions for these various underworld groups. Uh -huh. With well-known groups like the Crimson Dawn, the Pike well Syndicate. Known. Well, well known. known. <laughs> None of these, I mean like Java's Except obviously Java. the one that's well known. Yeah, that shit was Java. so funny with the with the like leaders of each faction coming up and there's just this Java blob. Like, <laughs> <laughs> just right. takes over the that whole man, screen. He has style. <laughs> with his happy he face. He's got he's a silhouette that these people face. can't match. Oh, Friggy, this game, I would have rated it 11 out of 10 if when you get it to excellent, he's clapping. Like, he's like, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Even or he's wearing, he's wearing like a little, uh, like a birthday, you know, like the little cone hat. The little <laughs> birthday one. He has a flag <laughs> that says k yeah. Bass on it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Mm. He's I wearing like a t-shirt that has a face on it. Yes. And it's smeared like the Marge one in Simpsons. Yes. <laughs> Crimson Dawn, the Pike Syndicate, and even the Hut Clan showing up. The Whoa! Missions themselves. Even the <laughs> do you see the Pike clipping in? Yeah, do you see the graphic? Pike Syndicate? <laughs> Just watch that oh, again. Wow. Java comes in. in the review footage. Java Jesus. comes in in the PS1 <laughs> yeah. version, and then he switches to the PS5 Pike version. Syndicate, and even the Hut Clan showing up. <laughs> oh, well, did you, no. did you catch it at the very end? Oh, oh, oh wow, God. there he is. Oh, yeah. Java. Uh, yo! <laughs> There, yeah, look at smooth, him. <laughs> smooth skin Jabba. Smooth skin. To PS. That's, him all, that's him all creamed up. Oh, <laughs> yes. He needs, he needs a bit of a... Been, you got a red dot rebound. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the arid Tatooine era kind of gets him wrinkly again, yeah. <laughs> oh. The missions themselves Did you, um, are... At Wait, the end, real, when you're at the quick. Star Destroyer. Yeah? Here, compare to the actual PS1 Jabba. How close <laughs> is it? <laughs> <laughs> He's beautiful. I love him. He looks like a penis. <laughs> a big old pp did you catch at the very end when you're fighting the star destroyer how it turns into a jpeg did you it's um that? uh metal noticed it was a jpeg in one of the cutscenes before as well where they show the time yeah, it was really weird launching from it but then yeah. you, but then they have an actual model of it yeah, you destroy model. it so it's like why, why did they do this it's so awkward well because they also they also have a jpeg <laughs> <laughs> And you don't want to let that bad boy go to waste. You, well, you, yeah, you got to make use of that. Oh. No, I get it now. Okay, hold on. It's actually this Java from the Lego Star Wars. Oh, there he is. Oh, there he is. Yeah. <laughs> There's this boy. Beautiful. Yeah. My king. He's glistening. My captain, my king. I didn't even that. Glistening with hot cream. <laughs> Fuck yeah, baby. Amazing. Gorgeous. I mean, they're fine. But the catch there is that doing a mission for one faction is invariably going to piss off another. No. Oh, no, no, not no. Not invariably. Really? He didn't Most even get that right. Don't. Yeah, most oh, don't. Ninety percent don't. Are just most one. of them yeah. don't. The reality is that the system should be mutually exclusive. It should be yes. that if Java really likes you, someone else really hates you. It shouldn't yeah. be possible for them all to like you. They talk about 
all of them being at war. They talk the, the opening fucking scene exactly. is about them all hating each other. We have an example of the the Ashiga and the Crimson Dawn clashing significantly. How can you be both of their bestest you, friends? How is that possible? You can, this, like, you can make this like really easy on yourself just by the acknowledgement that one like clan or whatever pursuing their interests is not good for the others. So if you help them pursue their interests, the others aren't gonna like that. You don't even have to like get fancy with justifying it in terms of how the missions play out or whatever. It's really, really easy. What happens to one affects the other, you must understand. Oh, it's so <laughs> stupid you that you can be on top like perfect reputation with everyone. With so lame. Dumb. <laughs> yeah. Well, we don't want to have any like consequences in this open world <gasps> game about factions you can things. right this is a, this is a mission either. i don't know if uh, how many people here did it but uh, bib fortuna will want you to deliver two transport ships to i think it's tatooine or it could be tashara i don't remember but uh you can just decide during it thanks to i think gorak or someone else calls you like destroy them but they just go okay and you blow them both up and then bib fortuna's like hmm I don't like that you did that. <laughs> and then uh, Kay says, yeah, well, Jabba's in charge, not you. As if Jabba wouldn't care that you just destroyed all of his shipment. I was just like, how, how could they ever trust you again? You just sold them out and you destroyed all this stuff. Because and just betrayal's like, oh, inevitable. Fine. Yeah, worry betrayals are inevitable. It's fine. Don't worry about it. We'll get you on the next one. The D&D nope. character, yeah. we got to continue the main story, you know? Ugh. As whatever you're doing for one group isn't going to be in the best interest for everyone else. Yeah, Which, what you're talking about would be better. Else, what, yeah, would be like that's the thing that should be happening. Yeah. Describing a system that doesn't exist. Game. Yeah, and this exactly. is this is kind of what I think they rely on. Slash, that you are complicit. Where you're just like you you see the thing written, or you see the the, the way that they talk to you about it, and you're like, close enough. I could say that. Which is like, it's yeah, not that though. Is. It is yep. absolutely not that. It's so much fucking thinner, and and this is like the core appeal of the game in a way. The open world aspect, for sure, but what? yeah, this is supposed to what makes the game special. When I tell you that you can rise in the ranks of different underworld clans that like compete with each other, and oh, when you play it, what I'm about to say it, 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 it is like it's so much worse when you've played it. But if you say like the higher you get in reputation. The more they like you, the more access you have to the things that work for them in their districts, the more command, uh, respect you can command, the more opportunities you get, the more missions they'll trust you with. It's like, oh, that, that sounds really cool. And it's like you play it and you're like, it's not. It's not cool at all. Oh, it means that at this vendor I can buy two items, one of which uh, might Goomba be leather. Useful. It's like I could get Goomba leather <laughs> now or I couldn't before. I can before. get these insanely overpriced materials. Awesome, thanks. It's so annoying, like, uh, and and just, it's just not true. It's misrepresentative, for sure. And, and isn't but... it? Isn't it kind of wild though? Like when you think about it, it's kind of a scam. The factions are like, oh, wow, you you've done so much stuff for us. We're gonna open up the ability for you to give us that money we paid you back <laughs> at our vendors. You know what, Rags? Yeah. There are three different minor mini quest things with merchants where they'll say, like, can you please give me either 50 or 100 credits? And you're like, yes. And then in exchange, they say, now everything you buy from me will be cheaper. And I'm like, well, but that kind of undoes, you know, like, if, if I now buy things that are all worth money. 200 and pay you 100 because of the discount, you will have lost 100 and I gave you 100 <laughs> earlier to get that benefit. So now we're just even. Like, what mm -hmm. was the point Were of that? Were you really poor? It just doesn't even make sense for them. Like, why would they want that? You, you'd think they'd say, like, I can give you favor with someone else, or I can make you aware of this treasure that's in space, you know, and I can't get it, but maybe you can. That sort You're of thing. Like Not, it, so, yeah. if you give me money, I'll make it so you don't have to pay as much money. Like, well, yeah. I'll put in a good word <laughs> that's, for that's, you with my friend. That's just normal, I guess. Could, da, da, da. Ugh. Bad. Lame, lame, Which means lame. that you're constantly tipping the scales in either direction. <laughs> Constantly. Look, he's showing it going up. To get for you. Guess you're making friends. And even then, like during wow. some of the missions, there's Incredible. opportunities that are gonna pop up that can. That, and, and I know in game, what you just did was you unlock the ugly blaster skin, <laughs> and it's just on your <laughs> ship now for you to never use. This one sucks oh, wow. though. Very cool. Well, look, there's this time where you got to choose. Do you want to? Do you want the number to go up for the huts, or do you want it to go up for Crimson Dawn? And that's it. That. You know. I wasn't convinced about this Emma. game, but then I saw those meters rise, and I'm just, I'm in. By the way, if you choose to finish the job, she'll try to kill you and you kill her. If you choose to double cross, she'll thank you and then leave and you never see her again. Oh. Point being, what Fringy said is true. <laughs> the number goes up for one or the other. That's it. 
Yeah. There's nothing interesting happening here. If you betrayed, for, I'm going to keep it from me. Oh, don't even. Should we even get into like? There yeah, should I be like imagine. fucking eight options exactly. here. There should be. I agree with you. I will. will definitely double cross the huts. Mm hmm. Nods, and then she goes to walk up the thing, and you slice her fucking throat when she's not <laughs> looking at you. You know what I mean? Like, there's nothing clever about slicing any of is it. a different mini game, Mahler. You're going to get confused. <laughs> <laughs> they would probably ruin that too. Imagine there's like a Wordle mini game for slicing someone's throat. <laughs> like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You you just have to you have to play a game of Tetris. <laughs> and then you, you slice your throat. It's completely no, no, no. unrelated. What what's the brick breaking one with the balls, right? The brick breaking one with the balls. You know what I'm uh, talking break I mean, break out? Break, break out? Yeah. yeah. Um, I, you, you know, I, it was a lot funnier in my head seconds ago. Well, it's because <laughs> yeah, I, I got confused. I was, first, not funny. I was thinking, I was contextualizing all the slicing someone's throat, and then you said, what about the brick breaking one with the balls? And I thought you meant like a torture method. And I was like, oh. <laughs> 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 uh, it's the ball and you're no breaking her for my balls. <laughs> bricks and balls, the classic torture. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you mess around with your standings like Good cop, bad cop. Beric hired me to do a job. I'm gonna finish it. Whoa. Shame. Shame. Now, the main benefit you get from a good reputation hey. seems to be that you're able to just walk around freely and they're hey. up close. And you're not allowed to walk around freely. You get to walk around in the initial section and then they're still antsy oh, about you yeah. getting anywhere. Which, you know what really bothers me is you can walk around in good. When you get to excellent, nothing changes. No. Yeah. You, you get like a flavor text line of, oh, it's K Vess. Hello, k She's cool. <laughs> yeah, we like her. And then you can just walk <laughs> yeah. around to the back and fucking stealth take down the person. <laughs> and then also, the person standing two meters like away Wick will be like, hey, you just that... took down Frank. How could you do that? But that doesn't care. No, it'll be like John Wick where they're honored that you did a takedown yes. on them. Oh, you're so cool. I'm so glad that I you I got taken down by k Vass, everybody. Me. Oh my gosh. Also, She's how so lame cool. is it that every time you walk in, they're like, oh, k Vass, that's our friend. Right? Like... <laughs> I don't need Three. that from you. Who is this for? <laughs> it doesn't nips. make any sense. You. I've got, I've got nobody. I don't need you. <laughs> Bases, along with also getting bonuses to exclusive gear they might. This sell. is exactly what I wow. was saying. Like the way you describe it makes it sound so much more interesting because it's just not. If you're being honest about this, it's incredibly hollow. It means nothing. On the flip side, though, like, if a group has the shit at you for whatever reason, then access is instead going to be restricted. Whoa. Okay, I get it. Like, it and instead of going, let you go through that door. And you have to go through a vent. Every yeah, fucking go time. It's a vent. Yep. It's always a vent. And through the front door, you're going to have to find a way around. Like a vent. There's always a vent. Tell me <laughs> always about all the vent. ways you can get in. This is Pike territory. Often having a sneak through these conveniently located vents or hey. hacking through yeah. locked doors. Yeah, is there anything to say about that? <clears throat> I like how he says conveniently located. It's like, uh, uh, we're almost at criticism. Come on, you can do it. Mechanic, where you gotta listen to the beat of the lock and replicate it more or less in perfect. I wish these were harder. That's all I gotta say about this. Yeah. I wish there would be more than five. Yeah, yeah. most of them are the dirt, 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 dirt. It's just like, thanks. Synchronization. Yeah, bam. So I guess, yeah. like, beep, the idea beep. here. Is it like an interstellar beep, beep, version of the one. man with no name from Fistful Come of Dollars? Come on! How the fuck could you Stop ever it. compare? What are you doing? Stop it. Well, you know how k is totally just as charismatic and cool oh, as Clint Eastwood. Good lord. In a lot of ways, it's this thing that it's totally not. <laughs> like, oh wow, I get it. How much did yeah. they pay you? Uh, how many credits nice, did they you <laughs> Playing all these various groups against each other and- Yo, I I did like this. I think all of us know when you choose to, uh, either of these options, the camera just zooms on her for no reason. Like, as, as yeah. you're choosing it, it goes, uh, 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 uh. you can keep on doing it. It just looks goofy. Playing all these various groups uh. against each other and balancing the dynamics for your own gains. Plus, I'd okay. also say it's like a simpler version of how the oh, factions this guy. also. I forgot about him. This they played him like he jar. was a big deal oh. and then he's just gone. Well, uh, all I remember is it was incredibly convenient. He's like the security main system operator, and he just so happens to want to strike a deal with you to get out of there. It's like, wow, if you yes. were literally anyone else, I would have been fucked. 
Luckily, you are who you are. A version of how the factions also work in the Fallout games, letting the player really pick and choose what? who they want to work alongside with. Not really. All right, boss, knock. You, you are forced to work with certain people in the story several times. Sucks. Right. Yep. Yeah. Dude, that dumbass sheriff is like, I'm being attacked by the huts. I was like, oh, sweet, I'm with the huts. <laughs> like, I'll yeah, help maybe I can talk to them and tell them you're cool or something. <laughs> Dog pile <laughs> on the sheriff. But nope, not allowed. You have to fight with her because she's cool. Wipe all the peg debts you have on record. Someone wants to get Gorok in trouble, huh? Great, for sure. And what's kind of cool about all of this is that it's going to... It's weird when I hear him breathing in there. Not right, it does, It's one of those little things. It's so... <laughs> going to completely change every single person's playthrough. With their no, come no. on. It's the oh, same bullshit. The most change you get are with the glitches. It's like, which glitch did you get? It's like, oh, I yeah, fell through the floor. Yeah. It's like, oh, I did this, I did that, yeah. Like half a dozen, if not more instances, just in the few hours I spent with the game, where I had to make no. these binary decisions, which was going to affect my standings. And see, another way of putting that is, it was very arbitrary how they constantly forced me to choose something that wouldn't even necessarily affect the other team, but it wanted me to feel like something was happening. Can't do that, though. And what's going to be more uh, interesting than that is how long-term these decisions end up being. They're not! Oh, there's they no effects! Not. <laughs> Nothing! Oh. As we found out, if you have terrible rep anything. with everyone, meaning none of them would save you, it fucking bugs out and freezes. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually nothing. <laughs> the game, when faced with the, the cold, hard reality that it has to have something happen, says, No. Like, nope. I refuse. <laughs> I refuse. <laughs> Cannot find Rebel Savior Faction shutting down. <laughs> God. We got a deal then. I mean, if you're able to just piss off someone, but then do a bunch of side missions and be back in their good graces, well, then it's going to kind of remove the weight to any of these choices. That's what, exactly what you <laughs> well, can do. That's the I game. Look, he's mm. speculating, he's that, speculating wait, that's like, man, that would be bad if that's so, what actually happened. There should be a follow-up video then, right? Gotta be. Uh, well, I mean, you would think, yeah, you would think so, but... You gotta yeah. tell everybody how bad the game is. It's a lie, it's hollow, it's bleh. Guys, don't listen to this video I made. I took it offline because it's full of lies. Yeah, you might want to do that want... too. Uh, that's true. We're well, all the. Uh, I see. We're all those. We'll get to the comment section and we'll see what his uh, his community had yeah, to say I about this. I found something interesting, but we can wait. Yeah. It's actually, blocking off certain missions, weapons, or items because of your decisions. It's gonna be in yeah, the weapons. What do you mean weapons? Well, so no, no, there are weapons. there are some weapon upgrades you may not be able to get as easily if you don't have perfect representation, uh, uh, reputation, or whatever. But like, it's it's so fucking like not. Uh, it's really not relevant at all. Like, the idea that you block off missions, like, oh no, I can't do this mission that the only reason I would do it is to boost rep with these people. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, you want to do the excellent level mission? And it's like, yeah, what is it? Like, you go into the Imperial Station and you download a code and then you hand that over to some person. It's like, nice, and then you get 1,500 credits. Okay. That's I guess a I lot for like, a contract mission. Well, you can unlock a lot of uh, high-value missions when, when you... That's, like, the oh, point of them, I think. Okay. But... When you've gotten to that, I didn't like I didn't, because I didn't need credits. So I just didn't. So me neither. You know, it's yeah. like so. So oh, they block off the mission. It's like oh no, I can't do th like what? What do I gain from that anyway? Nothing. Yeah. And then of course, like you know, we all weapon upgrades. Like yeah, well, I mean, there's three different upgrade trees that all lead you to having a super overpowered weapon anyway. So I don't really doesn't really affect me. The point being, if you don't push your represent, uh, why do you keep saying that? Rep rep reputation <laughs> to <laughs> maximum, you know, you're gonna miss out on all these things that you might not even fucking notice were in the game because they didn't matter. <laughs> awesome idea, and you know, really create some consequences. That works too. Consequences. I will say though that I did yeah, notice at least early game. on there that this stuff doesn't really affect how you're treated during the cinematics. Really. <laughs> <laughs> Probably yeah, because they're all pre-cooked and they can't change. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want this. I like that he has a dirty, shitty knife. <laughs> yes, of course he would. With the blood of his enemies, he would never it, clean it. Nice and rusty. <laughs> <laughs> the laughs he would have after killing people, it would be great. <laughs> this little imp, this, this hell-spawn creature. <laughs> this is a murder. Make it happen.
I mean, I had one mission where I totally fucked around with this one faction to the point that I even dropped down a full ranking, only for them Whoa. to still talk to me as if nothing had happened in the ensuing cinematic. Yeah, you might even call yeah. that bad. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. a really bad thing. I'm sure it doesn't... It, I'm sure it's not like that in even worse ways throughout the... Yeah, it's happening right at the beginning. Game. I'm sure it would happen at the end. <laughs> so, I know have... you've killed dozens and dozens of my men, and I hate you, and you've stolen from us even my personal belongings, but I need you to do a job. Come into my office where it's just the I two of us. I need you to deliver some mission. cheese, please. No, oh, I just want my cheese. We'll get it done. <laughs> But I mean, look, man, if I have the option to piss off Jabba the Hutt here and have him send a hit squad after me or something, well, then I consider that a positive feat. Why would you do boo. that? Jabba it's Hell. Good to you, bro. How about, how about Jabba fucking ends you for being so oh, rude? Man, it's pretty funny that he says this when, when you get the worst reputation, basically just occasionally some Crimson Dawn idiots yeah. will show up and then you shoot a couple of them and then that's it they're just a nuisance like, I had, they become a nuisance I yeah exactly hating me all for the entire time i was on uh it's what's the the, the forest one um akiva yeah. yeah akiva i would i i had them hating me and the whole Dora. time and it just meant that they occasionally showed up and then i just waited for shit dead eye to get good oh and, and then it would just block i would wait for them to it. kill themselves on their speeders oh, crap, and then carry yeah, on right away this, one, this is what i'm oh, saying yeah. this game is so stupid that like all of us just find the quickest exploit to end the annoying thing that's that's the process yeah. it's amazing how we're at that point it's like you know you're not really playing a game at that point you're just trying to avoid playing the boring yep H which is bad as for the actual gameplay, well, Outlaws is the typical combination here of a third-person shooter and a stealth game. Nah. Oh, nah. stealth hope, game. Uh, such I hope insult. this isn't typical. I'll, I'll oh, give it to him. Such an I, I guess it's technically genre. accurate in a horrible sense. Yeah. 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 Technically stealth. Yeah. Technically stealth. With including yeah. those Grim basic features. What's in his the name form. again? I forget already. It's a mm -hmm. little critter. Nyx. Okay. Grimbly. Yeah, press <laughs> Nyx to stealth. Press Gribbly. <laughs> <laughs> if you could name your own little guy, oh, it would be so much better. <laughs> Get him, Everyone Grumples. Everyone would name him Sneem and Fleem and Grumply Gorf and Shrinky Dink. <laughs> Think of all the Wombos. Go Wombo. <laughs> He's like, I'm just picturing this fat, like, little guy who's just like, oh, I'm gonna steal. <laughs> Instead of stealing what you actually want, he keeps stealing people's food and being fatter as you <laughs> He go. eats it before he gets back to you. <laughs> he, randomly, <laughs> he randomly comes back and like, I stole their shoelace. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it'd be funny. You're so, you're so he's really well spoken for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's one of my big complaints when you're talking about being uh, well spoken. Um, all of the people sound like humans, even though they're very, very yeah. At like least their heads are very alien, but yeah, a like very they don't even human have a normal face. voice. A, a very like so normal human voice is coming out of like a Mon Calamari or or like a crazy looking alien face. And you're like, oh, you couldn't have tried to do a little something to the voices? Yeah. Yeah, didn't you meet somebody that's like Raxer, Baxer, or whatever, and he had like a squid face, and he's like, oh, thank you very much. For yeah. Oh, yeah, the gay yeah. one. Yeah, he's the gay one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 the gay dude. People he's are suggesting Tipples, Tipples the Roundarian. Yeah, he's like a little guy. <laughs> <laughs> Defeat him with when you, when you upgrade new. him, his speedy run is just a roll. He's like, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> it's like the Baneling upgrade in Star Trek like, in Starcraft yeah. 2, where he just rolls around now. <laughs> Unironically, though, if they'd had like a diverse set of you could choose actual dicks or Salacious B. Crumb dicks or Roundy dicks, like that would have already been the best part of the game. Like free starter Pokemon? Yes. <laughs> yeah. You can get them to evolve. <laughs> like, uh, you know, Salacious is much more, he's, he's the, the throat slitter. <laughs> Nyx is. <Yeah. laughs> Like, much more wholesome than the chunky guy is kind of useless, but he's funny. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> he has commentary on it. He, he like he's tells jokes. High charm. <laughs> oh, make it an actual game. Dig Why not? Vehicle controls in the form of the speeder bike and then some shit combat. There's a bit of platforming involved yeah, here as well one, with man. some hefty hilarious. fall damage, I might add. And all of this stuff reminded me a lot of the movement controls in the Uncharted games. No! Stop <laughs> it! That was, such a, that was such a clean no. 
<laughs> no. That's gonna be no. good. Yeah. It's so much worse. It's so much worse. Uncharted like controls well. It has levels <laughs> that are designed with your ability to climb and move around and use the the swing in mind. Holy I, shit! What? Me, because you've no. got a rope swing that that makes it like Uncharted. That's it. Yes. Never mind how easy or difficult it is to control okay, how well, cumbersome it is. It's a person. Not, you can do with it in combat. It's a person. There are places. That's like Uncharted. Yeah, they're the same. Uh, yeah, third right. person actually. Yeah, they're they're sorry, on a planet. Yeah. <laughs> I will oh. say the third person platforming in this game sucks. Yep, it's so yep, yep, boring. Yep, yep, yep. It, it made me, it literally was boring. making me like sleepy on my streams. I hated these sections. The High Republic cruiser, the droid factory. Oh, just yep. crawling, like clambering around on all the little platforms. Press the button to slow it. Fuck off. Go away. I hate you. Do you prefer the Uncharted climbing sections more than this? I didn't play Uncharted. It's better I mean, than this, I mean, I certainly sure, prefer them over this. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I prefer that in Uncharted, there's like verticality integrated into the combat spaces. It, it, it like actually takes advantage of the fact that Nathan Drake can run around and climb stuff and sort of like scurry around and ambush people from like different yeah. positions. It's so it funny because I wouldn't even say that Uncharted is a particularly, like Uncharted isn't very mechanically complex really, but like the environments are actually designed to take advantage of what he can do. And Unlike it is really in this satisfying game. to pull off. If you could do a full stealth run on a batch of guys, it's it's pretty it's pretty satisfying. Well, yeah, that's the thing. Exactly. Yeah. Ah, uh, this is. <laughs> oh, talking very, about that, very just, frustrating. Just just, uh, just crossed my mind. There's no incentive for you to actually do anything stealthy. There's no, there's virtually no difference between the state of them being knocked out and you kill them. There's no difference. Oh, well, it's on that no morality um, system, there's no Panther versus Ghost. There's I was enjoying stuff. Rags at your playthrough when you were referring to, you're like, you, you stun shot a stormtrooper and you said, I stun shot him instead of shooting him with a blaster because he was a man or something. They're like rare <laughs> in the world because there's so many female <laughs> stormtroopers. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, it's about, it's population. Yeah, you, know, but, you can't kill a male. We, we need them for genetic diversity because there's so few men. <laughs> but they do, game. they are treated the same as dead people in the game. The stun shotted ones, absolutely well, exactly even, the Yeah, yeah even like, the they lions. Can't they can't wake them up, right? If you knock somebody no. out, it doesn't put them in an unconscious conscious state versus being dead yeah, you can actually mean, no. that they can get woken up it's part of the reason why non-lethal is generally the more difficult route in a stealth game because those enemies aren't permanently out of the equation necessarily yeah they, they can, can be, be woken up if they're found or if enough exactly. time goes by yep great good stuff and yeah um is, is anyone looking at the vibe well, from this review we're, we're past half now where it's like this game has shooting, much like Call of Duty. Yeah, this game has platforming, I'm, I'm not much really like Mario. Getting this game has but, this, this is yeah. open world, much like Far Cry. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's just a game. And you know the fact that he mentioned the fall damage is a bit harsh? Mm -hmm. That's like the most specific he's ever gotten. More of that, I please. I guess it is a little harsh sometimes, yeah. Well, I just, I'm, oh, yeah. all I'm saying is like, that feels, you know, it's like, oh, you dig it in a little. Dig in more. Tell me more. You got 18 minutes. I feel like you could accomplish more in 18 minutes than you have so far. Yeah. Oh, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. About the, the gameplay. The, the fall damage is inconsistently harsh because sometimes you can launch yourself 30 feet into the air and survive. I have dropped from falls multiple times. One time, like, it'll kill me, and then sometimes it does nothing. It's very weird, this game. Uh, I just find that, like, most of the time it feels like I'm taking full damage when, I, when it's like, damn, really? That just happens a lot, where I'm like, wow, that was high enough, okay, jeez. Um, chat might remember, but the, the big sequence that we all had, like, different ways of approaching in uh, Imperial Base, the first proper Imperial Base mission you have with Gadeek, and you have to move through that big room, I, um, I didn't do the way they wanted you to. I wanted to run across the whole room to see if I could, like, figure out a way to do it that kind of just exposes how limited... Um, this ended, by the way, with me pissing them all off, running into the room, activating the cutscene, uh, the alarm went off, it reset me back to the beginning of the cutscene, then the cutscene played anyway. So I, I like, passed the mission. Oh, that happened to me once. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking hilarious. I saw it happen to you with Gadeek in a different Imperial mission. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, the one. It, the game is I bad, is the, the summary of that one. But, well, um, yeah, 
the, the, the point I wanted to make, though, was that to begin that section every time was I would jump off a ledge that would deal probably two bars of damage, if not more, but she would hook onto the ledge of a crate every time on the way down, and it would only take 99% of one bar and instantly heal it. It was such a weird glitch, but I was like, well, I guess I can get down here without getting hurt then, because it works every time. Fucking weird. <clears throat> Particularly Uncharted 4, where you even got to use a rope again to swing across gaps and drop down from ledges. Yeah, you'll agree with that oh, at least, right, Fringy? No, like drop down 4. from ledges. I mean, yeah. yeah, in Uncharted, you do use the rope swing to, like, swing to an area, but you also are encouraged to use it in combat. Um, but, hey, look, but can right. you drop down from ledges? Yes, you can. Did, um, did, did Uncharted you know 4 have pipes with steam coming out of them as well? Oh, I don't think they had many because I mean you spent mm. like you know you mostly got like most of the areas are like old ruins, so they don't really have <laughs> any like pipes. ancient air conditioning. <laughs> no, none of that. Oh, no. no. What okay. about giant fans? Did they have any ancient giant fans? <laughs> I don't recall any. No, no, no not really. It Damn was, it! No, it was because uh, yeah, it's. Uh, I don't remember if there were any in Libertalia where uh, where they had like big fans. If that was part of the downfall of those uh, of their colony, but I don't know. Yeah, yes, not really. I mean, I, I, and so in that sense, Star Wars Outlaws is actually more robust as a video game than Uncharted Four when you yes. think about it. We knew that. Yeah, that's what a that's historian a good, is. Right? I hadn't thought of that. Mm -hmm. That's what a historian is, right? An ancient giant fan. Yes. <laughs> oh, 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 bro, come on. Apart from that, <laughs> there we go. Good <laughs> <hit> Theo. <laughs> That is the standard clambering across walls and holding on to conveniently placed pieces of the architecture that always seem to jut out in just the right way to catch your eye. Oh yeah, thankfully too, none of which needed to be doused down in yellow paint. Is this a meme? What? Is this- oh, is he fucking around? What just- oh, wait a minute. I'm- hold, was that the listen, We're gonna, we're gonna go no. back, we're all gonna be nice yeah. and quiet and we're gonna listen to all of that because I okay. got- I must have heard something wrong. ...that always seem to jut out in just the right way to catch your eye. Oh yeah, thankfully too, none of which needed to be doused down in yellow paint. Well, I... But they are. This, this yellow... Uh, they literally are. There is, there's even an accessibility hey, option to get rid of it. In, there's wait, an accessibility option to turn it off and on if you want. Can, can you go back one more time? We're gonna go, we're gonna go back a little I, further I, this time because I'm so confused with right. what this okay. man is telling me. I would like to pause it and drop down from ledges. Apart from that, it's the standard clambering across walls and holding on to conveniently placed pieces of the architecture that always seem to jut out in just the right way to catch your eye. Oh yeah, thankfully too, none of which needed to be doused down in yellow paint. Okay, this here? Liter literally this are. is very mumbly. He's, he's... So, so she's holding on, and I don't know if it paused for, for us in the, all the same place, she's holding on on like the Death Star looking architecture, right? Um, these in the game are yellow. They're you, yellow yeah, in can, the fucking it's, footage. It's, they're yellow in the footage. Everything is yeah. 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 yellow. Like, yellow. I don't get it. It's yellow. Yeah, this is the adaptability option to change. Okay, the, the, the best I visual. Yellow. The best visual here is this, where he's. <laughs> yeah, look. This, that's. Can you see the yellow? The. It's something. It's a point it's of making fun of this game for me. That the ladder has been pointed out as a point of traversal for you. The yeah. ladder. I can... I can understand why you put yellow paint on random bullshit on the walls, because if you leave it up to intuition, then I'll be trying to grab things yeah. that should be grabbable, but it's not designated as grabbable. That's why I kept the yellow shit yeah, on the like, walls, you know, because one of those problems that them. games have as fidelity goes up is, like, not the entire environment can be interactable. I think we're happy to sign off on, like, the entire environment cannot be interacted with, well, for now at least, maybe. Um, the thing at least, is, at Minecraft least wins like again. This. <laughs> at least levels like this, right? The thing that would be worth adding, though, is that, I mean, maybe, right? Like Assassin's Creed, you can you can basically climb up anything. Um, yep, pretty much. Infamous, you can basically mm -hmm. climb up anything. Like, the entire environment is designed with the idea that you as a player have been told that you can climb stuff and therefore should expect to be able to climb stuff, and they the managed to do it without any yellow paint. Yeah, yeah. The, the environment yeah. is built around that the climbing um, concept, the way the buildings it, are constructed and beams. Yeah. I, I put in an image to say what I'm talking about, because I'm working off memory, but I recall these whole bars they being are. yellow. Yeah, by like default in, they are. You have to go into the accessibility oh, do you uh, think maybe to turn them off. You played a version with, like, limited paint? Maybe. No, you're seeing the footage he got. 
Yeah, but still yeah, but even, even the limited. Footage has yellow though, right? On the ends. Yeah, I get yeah. what you mean. On the ends, yeah. Some of no, them are yeah. a little stripey, but yeah. Now I can't remember because I didn't mess around. I look, I can't remember if these ones had. I definitely remember seeing stuff that was painted like that, though. A lot of it was like it was on the... striped yellow, yellow striped. Too, yeah. So. Well, and just to maybe to make to make clear on the, the... point, because people are saying like, isn't it good that you can turn it off? It's like it's it's. Uh, as was mentioned, it's like it's like fifty fifty in terms of a good thing because the wheel doesn't work without it. So, but the ladder, like the ladder, is a ladder. It yeah, is you don't only need it on the ladder built for traversal. You know, vertically, it's like yeah. you don't have if you if you're at the point where you have to paint the ladders. Like, how stupid do you think? I, how do you like, think I like? How do you think I got a credit card to buy your game? But you don't trust me to know what a ladder is. I'm already playing your game. I will say I've My got IQ's some there, man. I've got some PTSD with video games that are so shit that they have ladders you can't climb. I hate that. Oh fuck. Yeah. Off. Oh, I've yeah. seen a bunch of those, yeah. Yeah, that's happened. Yeah. Even fuck though yeah. even if we like, like a video game with the women, idea of of like yeah, maybe the player doesn't know exactly what parts of the environment are interactable with a good enough field of view and enough space to like look around, players will figure it out like yeah. faster than you might think. The players are really stupid, but they're also really smart. It's kind of a strange paradoxical thing about the people who play games and that, like, they will get there. They will arrive at the solution and it won't take long, probably. Unless you're DSP. Unless you're DSP. And then you base fucking the future of your game on him, which is not. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Kill me. I will say, though, that Outlaws definitely feels like it's trying to make the player go for stealth over combat. And while we're trying to make them go for stealth over combat. <laughs> so everyone, everyone here who played the game has this experience where you're in stealth, you try to do a stealth thing, and then the game goes, uh -huh. nah, uh, uh you did that wrong. Mm -hmm. And then they go, hey, it's you. And then you go, well, I guess I'll punch. Punch, 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 punch. 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 And then they're all dropped to the floor. You look around and you're like, oh. That it. was quicker. That was it's quicker, great because I and think it was, it was stealth, actually... is and, my yeah. point. You can punch game. people yeah. and have stealth. You can use grenades and maintain stealth. The game doesn't fucking work. What, like, what, yeah. It's broken. <laughs> so, I mean, Chad, if you, if, you, if, you no might be conf if you if you if you're not aware, Chad, you see this panel back in the background? They can press that to ring the alarm. So you probably think, oh, if I uh, alert them, they just go press that button. Sometimes, Sometimes, but most of the times they just look confused on you. You punch them in the face, punch the other one, and then you win. <laughs> in you know what? Splinter Cell Blacklist, at the end of missions, and kind of during them, but at the end of missions, um, you there are three play styles. Uh, there was, like, Assault, where you just go in and bam, bam, kill everybody. There was Panther, where you would kill everyone but stealthily. And there was Ghost, where you would not even alert people to your presence you'd leave everyone alive and you'd get through the area and mm. that would give you the most points ghost gave you the most points because it was the most time consuming the most difficult panther would give you yeah. a little bit less points and assault yeah, and would give a lot you of less times points you'd have to mm -hmm. maybe even like do a couple of retries to understand the yeah. map but it was rewarding because there's like in whether it's splinter cell whether it's deus ex whether it's whatever a good stealth game kind of has soft encouragement for you to be stealthy just so that you can overcome the challenge of it. You don't. It doesn't feel good to fail, fail stealth in a lot of games. Yeah. Dishonored 2. Yeah, if you get detected, you can complete the mission, but it gets a little messy and you're like, ah, I'd really like to beat this being all stealth. The issue with Outlaws, there is no reward for being stealthy. Mm -hmm. There's no point to being stealthy. You don't get extra rewards. You don't get access to crates and stuff that haven't been locked up because there has been, hasn't been an alarm. You, it, all it does is it takes longer. It's a really shitty, inconsistent mechanic. So you might as well just meme it, fuck it, blast off. They, the yep. only time where stealth is mandatory is when it says don't get caught. Yeah. They could have redesigned it such that your reputation in general, you have one and then you have one in relation to particular syndicates, but the, when you clear places like this without alerting anyone... Your reputation goes up by, let's say, 100, because it gets found out that you were here, you stole shit, and that was amazing, and nobody even knew you were there. If you go through the guns blazing thing and kill everybody, then maybe it goes up by 50. But it also maybe pushes up a different bar of, like, your reputation as a horrifying killer of people that you don't want to fuck with. Yeah. You know, and There's then no and then narrative can... incentive. Exactly, and it would dynamically alter who and how people talk to you. Like, it, it, it would be really fucking interesting, maybe. 
because you'd kind Both. of you'd want to work at a particular thing, but you might fall into a particular thing because that's simply how you play or how good you are at the particular thing. Both um, Dishonored 2 does, um, Deus Ex Human Revolution does, but the amount of people you kill throughout the game and the way that you engage with missions, whether it's stealthy or being pacifist, it literally just changes the outcome of the story it changes yeah, people's changes perceptions and expectations in, in, uh, yeah. in dishonored and, and it's that's contextualized as well because in dishonored there's the plague and the more dead people there are the more there is essentially for the rats or rat food yeah the plague. so the whole idea is yeah that, that it is harder it is more difficult to be stealthy and non-lethal but you're rewarded in the end narratively yep. This, I love this, uh, my rev, uh, Deus Ex Human Revolution playthrough. Pacifist stealth didn't kill a single person. That you know, and it was very rewarding. It took way longer than going, you know, bam, bam. But at the end, I was like, "Yo, that was a really fun experience." There's a alternative route that, like, obviously wouldn't be popular at all, but it could involve making combat legitimately scary and something that you would be incentivized to avoid, either through resource expenditure or some other system. Like, yeah, just making it very difficult to engage with, almost like thief style. Yeah, or the enemies out. are just really, really hard. Yeah, you, you are not cut out to get into sustained firefights with stormtroopers. Yeah, something like exactly. that. Like should be. Yes, there's a built-in reason. These are imperial stormtroopers. They have armor. They have blasters. You're K vest, you're this little chick with this inky dinky little pee pee <laughs> and your little your little inky little dinky buddy. little hands that can take mm -hmm. down a, a lot thousand of troopers. Idea of like the nature of steel you go fears. down in one punch. <laughs> it's the nature the of armor like, actually makes them weaker. One punch, ma'am. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I uh it's kind of like the nature of how you empower or disempower the player, right? Because in something like Thief, yeah, you are very disempowered from a combat standpoint but you're massively empowered from a you know a stealth standpoint like the power fantasy of stealth of being able to like sneak through an area completely undetected and everything like that but but the problem is this game doesn't give you like any because it, it has both combat and stealth but it doesn't give you anything meaningful to do in terms of like developing your capacity in combat or stealth there's not like a meaningful difference between where incentive. you end and where you begin yeah or the, exactly and of one, course, one incentive would just be that it has really fun mechanics, but in this case, it doesn't. They're, they're, they're barely even developed. It's too simple. Someone said, how would they know you were there if you were uh, full stealth? Which is one of the things I suggested. I said, yeah, the whole point would be it would be found out in post what you did. Mm -hmm. whatever yeah, systems they have even cameras it's like there's, there's going to be general surveillance possible that wouldn't necessarily automatically detect in the same like detection cameras and general surveillance aren't necessarily the same thing but you can make that game that way if you want where it was discovered that you or you tell people that was you you take credit for the fucking job you know like you can textualize it any way you yeah, want Yeah, like robin hood or something it, like it goes oh. back to, like i saw k talking with this agent of this faction says an informant for another faction and it would be neat you carve a z on the if, wall like zoro except it would be a k hey it would be neat mm. if you did something on the whatever station early game and then later on people like i heard about the job on blah 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 station that was amazing how did you do that and it's like yeah Fucking great. That's how I did she that. She says, I am Iron Man. Exactly. I am Iron Man. <sighs> the only possible here to get to where is by blasting everything in sight. The combat can actually be surprisingly challenging. No, <laughs> no. It's surprisingly <laughs> yeah. challenging if you walk into the fuckers that do massive melee damage that you can avoid easily. Yeah, that'll yeah, make it if tough. You, if you if you walk in front of the shielded melee guys. What what do you expect? This is right, like what's I mean, funny he here is if he had activated Dead Eye, he would have won this fight. You, all you have to do is press two, click, press Ser one. Seriously, because he would have been Killed he would have taken like half it. his health and he would have been staggered and then you can finish him off just by punching or shooting. He would have been fine. But oh well. Yep. <laughs> so that is not a good showcase of anything. <laughs> that just looks <laughs> bad. There's no regenerating healthy. Instead, you got these healing steams. There is regenerating health. You have it's to get the right build for it. It's health. regenerating in his footage. Well, I was about to say, there's also regenerating <laughs> health depending on what outfits you get. But the, the regenerating health we're seeing here is probably what he's talking about. He's going to say the, the green. Yeah. yeah it's, is he referring he, to rebounding health? It, because that's means, a different thing. He means your health partially. doesn't regenerate like automatically, yeah, presumably. He heal it. Mm. it does there's when it's no a partial bar. It also, well, like I said, it also depending on what your equipment is.
regenerating healthy. Instead, you got these healing steams, which slowly heal you over time. Which means you can't just magically pop one of That's these things quick. and get right back into the fray. As well as that, you can't artificially pause the game to craft more of these well, items. See, did the enemy yeah. just go through the door there? Probably. Can we which, rewind? Which yeah, one? I've seen a ton of that. Uh, one of these things can get right back into the fray. As well as that, you can't artificially. Yes. Yeah, yeah, see, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> back to the well, so to be clear, <laughs> she the reason why it's funnier here than anywhere else is that this is hedge footage he was provided, right? So. Well, this would have been his footage. Oh, wait. Would this, uh. Ooh, would they allow. Would they let where him do that? Where would this have been from? This is, I was going to say, they wouldn't let him this record is from it the if it was. Thing. The, so they would have. Yeah, so they sent it to him. They right? would have sent so it to him, okay. Yeah. yeah what they did is. You did the four hours through Discord and Hamachi, and then they took out any story beats that they didn't want you to have uh, and sent it to you. Which is funny. One of these things and get right back into the fray. Which is as well as that, you can't artificially pause the game to craft more of these items either. You know, like just to... I, instead of, what's wrong with that? I, pausing the what, game? So, first of all, what's wrong with that? Second of all, you could just have a system like in The Last of Us where it's in real time, but I can still craft stuff. Like, why are we pretending like... So, you can't craft it. That is better than if you could craft it. Why? Oh well, yeah, and it's also then, uh, it gives a, it gives me a reason to get all the, those massive piles. Because of because then you'd be like, oh, but I can just pause and keep healing. It's like yeah, until you run out of resources to heal, and then yep. you're screwed. So what are we even talking about? Why were you saying that like it's a positive? It's not necessarily a negative that you can't craft healing items, but why is it? Why is it being presented strictly as a positive? Yeah, because that's a that's actually an example of another push and pull of you could spend those resources to better create weaponry, but instead you're choosing like in The Last of Us, you know, like a uh, part of the bandages or whatever. You can use that for healing, or you can use it for the Molotov to like exactly, which is yeah, just yeah. A I'm simple dipping into the ammo system. budget to make heals. There exactly. is there is you have to make choices, mute. You have to make mutually exclusive choices about what you're going to uh, uh, craft. Yeah, it feels like an odd thing for a big old game of veteran to say. Like, there's it, no artificial yes. pausing here. Maybe, it's like, huh? Well, maybe maybe it's because the whole um, re regenerate your health packs at a campfire style Dark Souls thing has just popular now. So he's presenting it as a as a good thing because it's popular and everyone likes it nowadays. I don't know. You got to do more, haven't well, you? No, you he, can't just say. He, he seems to be saying it's a good thing that you you can't enter a pause menu that allows you to do shit. And it's like, but that's that's stupid. Like, Ratchet and Clank has a quick select that pauses the game so that you can figure out what gun you're going to get. I way prefer a quick select that pauses rather than the slow motion thing where it's mm -hmm. like, oh shit, I'm still like in trouble here. Like, especially if I have to choose between multiple options, right? If I have like 15 weapons I can choose between, then yeah, I do want to be able to pause in the middle of combat to see what weapon I'm going to change to. Like, yeah, like the, in Bioshock the, the, 1, you had a weapon wheel, and then you had the yeah. plasmid wheel, and then you had the wheel for the ammo types for the weapons. It's like having to do that in real time. With Wait, well, I understand yeah. now. I get it. You guys are all biased towards pausing being a good thing. We do like pausing. No. Yes. Well, so, yeah, I am biased <laughs> towards pausing, mm. but it is contextual. Depends. Because yeah. the, the whole point is, like, simply it is, saying... It's it a joke, EFAP. No, no, no. I, I, yeah, no, no, no. But I want to elaborate on it and expand on it as a yeah, point. Yeah. He's um, improving your joke, Dev. <laughs> I, no, I'm not improving the joke. The joke is the joke. This is just a developed the thought joke. on the topic. What's annoying me is it simply is presented joke, as... Laura. Yeah, you can't pause and craft. That's good. It's like, well, it's nothing. It depends on what kind of game yeah. you're making here. That's that's you haven't even provided well, he's also a real wrong, argument because not only and can you get yeah. regenerative health depending on your your outfit, you can actually um he's talking about he was talking Change about how like it, if you get shot outfit. at uh, while it's in the middle of doing the heal, it'll like knock out all of it early game. But you can get outfits to prevent that as well, which is all a part yeah. of the game. So it feels weird to say like this is how it works and this is good that it works this way when it doesn't work that way depending on what rewards you get. So. Yeah, the game rewards you um, with those options. And also, I, I can, you can pause I, I can... them, in, as long as you're not in combat, you can pause and just change no, your like, entire outfit. I already have a feeling I know where you're well. going with this, Dev. Like, the, the, the issue I take okay. with this is he's, he's it's like me saying um, it's good that you get a maximum of 20 shots in your gun because that perfectly matches the balance of the game. And then, like, the next mission you unlock 30. It's like, does that now make it bad? Like, what, what, you know, like, if you get that, that outfit that allows you to regenerate well, anyway, is that bad? Well, that's, that's what I was going to say. No, sorry. 
That's that's what that's um, what I would ask him because it seems like the way he's framed okay, this yeah, is like enough. this is a good thing. And it's like well, it's not even in the game completely. So yeah. it gives you the options to circumvent that apparently yeah. good design. Mm -hmm. So well, I I think I'm a bit willing to go um to go easy on a few of these criticisms because he did only play the start of the game, right? So if he's talking about basic game mechanics that are not, and then like more advanced stuff isn't available to him because this is a video that came out before that's the game not, came out. That's adjacent to what I'm saying though. Like if. Okay. If, like, it's like I said, if in a Call of Duty game you start out with a pistol, and then I say this is what makes the Call of Duty game good, because it's fi finally we're forced to use a pistol throughout the entire campaign, you know, this changes this, this changes that, and it's like, oh, that's only for the first mission. You know, like it, it like completely fucks up my whole point if I'm saying the whole game played that way is good because it creates this dynamic that's not present in other games. As if to say, if I had a rifle, that would then be bad, which you do get. It's what Fringy was yeah, bringing I up. See what the, you're the, whole, the whole like being able to craft and pause is like, why would that? If they unlocked that later in the game, would that have made it bad? Um, I, I see what you're saying. I just think that um, it, that would that that would basically be a kill shot for this review if it were a review after you played the entire game. You know what I mean? Well, but no, that would make him it's a, a liar. It's, a, it's an early right now. It just oh, okay, means yeah, you said yeah. something a little awkward because. We don't even agree. If this were the case, if the whole game were played the way he just described it, I wouldn't agree with him that that makes it better than systems that work differently. That's true, yes. But the fact is we're in a position where it's even funnier because this game doesn't adhere to this throughout the whole game. Time. Which means you can't just magically pop one of these things and get right back oh. into the fray. As well as that. Yeah, because another upgrade you can get is you pop them and they heal two bars instantly. So he's... <laughs> This is what I mean about, like, depending on what equipment you get, this is what being familiar with the game looks like. <laughs> is you, you, you can do all you of the things. you don't progress into game too fast. My, my point is that all these things he's describing as, like, would be bad are in this game. He just doesn't know it yet. That you can't artificially pause the game to craft more of these items either. You know, like, just to stop time and make a bunch of thermal detonators or any of that kind of crap. Like, why is that bad? What? Any of that kind of crap? Holy shit. What's wrong with that? <laughs> Chill. <laughs> okay, I would have welcomed being able to craft yeah. things in this game. It would have been a mechanic. That would have been fun. A certain other a game featuring a female protagonist. Oh. What? That's a why? Why? Zero. Why? Featuring why a female why? protagonist. Yeah, why is that relevant? Who cares what well, that I feel like we just we just stumbled across yeah. some some I don't know. Some, like something called, that's okay. upsetting. Is, is this like history with Horizon? Is this channel law? Does he like hate uh, Horizon maybe? Is that what's going on? Well, why, why, why would you say like unlike another game where you play as a woman? Why? Why? Why don't what? you say <laughs> That's a weird thing to say game. no matter what perspective you come at it from. It's just so weird. <laughs> why, why did he say that? That's kind of so crap, weird. Like a certain other game featuring a female protagonist. <laughs> so oh, weird. <laughs> I, I've not played a lot of Horizon. I don't find it very interesting at all. But like, I do remember Horizon like being functional as a video game. <laughs> I'm yeah, like, I this mean, one. it was it was I still pretty when... fun to take down big robots with like snare cords and shit. You know, I remember that it and worked, it cool. and that I didn't crash my PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so what? Why did you show this? Like when... Why did you show that? Because he threw a grenade. <laughs> what was that? Is... Oh yeah, no, it's it's really good. I'm like that fucking shit game Horizon. <laughs> and just, just, just a and just yeah, let's one let's just enjoy what? this sequence as a full because it's so weird. Slowly heal you over time, which means you can't just magically pop one of these things and get right back into the fray. As well as that, you can't artificially pause the game to craft more of these items either. You know, like just to stop time and make a bunch of thermal detonators or any of that kind of crap. Like a certain other game featuring a female protagonist. <laughs> Wait, what is that? What was that? What? Like, <laughs> why, why, just why shooting someone? What? Yeah, no. It's, it's what, not, what are these not, things? Other, other games, it's like that other shit game, and then just oh, I'm gonna throw a grenade and then but shoot like, that one guy. It was so weird because we disagreed. In, we disagreed with the fact that this was not representing the game properly. Then we disagreed with the theory of what he was saying, as in, like, if it were this, it would be better than not this, which I don't agree with. And then he's like, also, fuck Horizon. Like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> which well, also happens to be a female, female protagonist. Like, Gladly. Uh, all right. <laughs> all right, jeez. So, so, uh, I, I just... didn't play Horizon. I didn't play Horizon, but my girlfriend did. I, w I wanted to confirm something really quick. Yeah, you can build all of your ammo, like, in the middle of combat, from just from, like, like a skill wheel in Horizon. So uh -huh. maybe he's, okay. he's digging at that. Yeah. Well, I mean, clearly he is, but like, 
the whole again still it's weird that he signaled out horizon like well, it was, it, it was like, so strange how he just said woman. a female protagonist yeah, like, what female does that have to do with anything <laughs> what's why would you just say in another open can't world just game? pause time and make ammunition yeah, men yeah, can. Couldn't he had just couldn't <laughs> he said like you can't just pause time and craft whatever you want and then just show an example of horizon but he with a female had to bring up the female protagonist well, horizon and then just shoot a soldier certainly better than this game yeah, yes i agree oh yeah i mean it's it it works which already makes <laughs> whoa, only whoa here that it's totally decent Working game. Give him, give him four play. title updates and maybe the game will work for you, right? Oh, yeah. That's a good point, yeah. So what this means is, like, when you're in combat, you're pretty much stuck with whatever you've got. Or, you know, whatever defeated enemies are going to Why drop. are you describing that like it's what? a feature? That's like... That's... You're just stuck with whatever you've got. Do you, do you hear the second half of it? You said you've, Sorry, you're, I... you're stuck with either whatever you've got or whatever enemies drop. Like, well, so then what else would... With what, you've got. what else you've, would there be? Got... <laughs> yeah, what else would you have? <laughs> Other than that's, what you've that's got every game like, ever. Oh. <laughs> and he hasn't yeah. even contextualized this within any sort of resource dynamic. Like, I don't understand. It's just describing some feature of the game that may or may not well, exist in the most plain you... of terms. And, and of course, bear in, mind, bear in mind, you don't have ammo. Like, you have to reload, but it's not like you have an ammo cap yeah. where it's like, oh shit, you're out of, like, resources. Like, you can always fire. So, it's not even... Like, it's what not even just like removed a ammunition as a mechanic? A amount of ammo. Isn't it better oh, that we yeah, removed yeah. ammunition as a mechanic, period? You just have infinite ammo? In fact, once you upgrade the blaster, having to recharge it actually makes it more powerful. Yes, true. It is uh, funny, though. Yeah, he, he did. Mm. Oh, no, no, basically... no. It's sarcasm. That's, yeah, we're being sarcastic, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If he's sarcastic, <laughs> we are as well. Like, when you're yeah, in combat, yeah. you, yeah. you, just, you just don't get it. I understand. Yeah, you don't understand sarcasm, it's it's cool. With whatever you got, or you know, whatever defeated enemies are gonna drop. As for the shooting itself, well for this, you're primarily using Case Blaster. Which has a bunch of different yeah. fire modes from a standard I use a primary a bunch, like, yeah, a bunch yeah, of different like fire modes. Ninety plus percent of you know <laughs> yeah. shot through to a They're like boy, I hope you like that blaster. <laughs> Wait, you're single be shot very through, through, through two. What why are you saying it like that? That implies it's a lot. It's not. Maybe he Rapid thought there was fire. even more, you know? Oh, maybe, yeah. Like, he, he was like, oh, I've got three. That's pretty cool. Three modes. But by the time you hit the end of the game, there might even be, like, ten. Who knows? You have one mode, and it's stun. Because you've realized the true end game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or, you know, whatever defeated enemies are going to drop. As for the shooting itself, well, for this, you're primarily using Case Blaster. Which has a bunch of different fire modes from a standard single shot, through to a rapid fire, or a plasma-based attack, which destroys enemy shields and robots. Like, you're not, you're not, like, doing analysis. You're just, like, ex you're just describing, like, things that exist. This is the gun. <laughs> it has a distinct hook. possibility. Yeah. <laughs> this is a distinct possibility. That's what he thinks his job is. Which, like, well, unfortunately, yeah. A lot of a lot of IGN reviews will just, the review, a lot of it is just, this is the system, it does this, without any, like, critical analysis of, of whether or not it's good or bad. It's, uh, it's very weird. Well, he drops Star it in Wars sometimes, Outlaws right? Like, a video game every once in a while, sometimes. he'll just mention somebody, like, oh, oh, it was like, it was like an opinion. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> You'd be lucky to get specific <laughs> systems analysis, let alone, like, questions of the game in, like, total composition, if it should exist, like, in... If the idea that it was going for in the first place was misguided, exactly, or not. because that's something. It's it's something I can't help but talk about when it comes to this game. The pitch is Grand Theft Auto in space, but it's it's not though, and it would yeah. be really cool if it was. Or you know, it's it's stuff like how I feel like all of us have probably said at one point or another, you should have been able to play as ND Five. You should have been able to like get new gear and gadgets and stuff, like new upgrades that you could permanently apply to that character, like jet boots or like. I don't know, like some wrist-mounted like uh, blaster or, or launcher or something like that. It feels yeah. like the, the game in its current state. It feels like they threw a bunch of like idea darts of like contemporarily popular design trends and just concepts at a board, but then there was no refinement from that board down into a particular vision. It was just the board, and we keep going yeah, with the board right. full of stuff. Mm -hmm. Hang on! Whoa! And then enemies are going to drop their yeah, own wow. weapons, which can be Whoa. picked up and used until Whoa. they run out of ammo. <laughs> Rocket launcher! 
Oh, wow, that one you're about. Oh, Ooh, ow. 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 what just happened? <laughs> awful. Scared the hell out of me. All right, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, wake you up, you know? Noises here. Oh, boy. Oh, you're balancing. Really, though, I mean, that's about all there is to it. You aim for the. Wow, so he doesn't mention the pickup guns? No, can't he just be reloaded, can't be. He just, well, he, he just mentioned them, but he didn't talk about it really. Yeah, he, he, didn't, say, he didn't talk about how they're balanced. He didn't talk about the yeah. variety of options. He didn't talk about how you can't take them fucking anywhere. <laughs> I think maybe because we've been, you know, watching this for so long, uh, part of this has sort of missed us, which is that he started talking about the gameplay at nine minutes. It's currently eleven minutes. He spent <laughs> two minutes talking about the game. And that's about it. <laughs> And and that's, then, about that's about it. About it. <laughs> right? So, like, the thing is, is I'm willing to give a lot of of sort of leeway to a first impressions video like this because I understand that you only had a couple hours, and you know you need to get it out reasonably quick because other people also are getting their four hours. Oh, well, you don't need to do anything. You don't have to release it as soon as everybody else releases it. You can release it later. Sure. You could. You, you know what I mean. I'm willing to give a little bit of trying to olive branch, Fringy. Let him olive branch. I, I, I say. I'm I giving. Say, yeah, just, just, but yeah, the dev. problem is that he does. He, like none of this is being stated throughout, right? Like we're not getting the. I only spent a few hours, so I don't know if there's more. We're getting this sort of very definitive, authoritative. This is this how is this game, game is. That's my problem with this. Because if he were to come at it and say, you know, look, here's my nuanced view. I played it for four hours. I did it like this, you know, this is what I know. I started several hours late. I didn't play any of the beginning of the game. Because have you gotten any impression while watching this that he didn't play the first, say, eight hours of this game? Because I haven't, he but I know that that's how it works. Certainty. Yes, it's too authoritative. So I think that, you know, if he were to go through and say, yeah, you know, I, I started hours later when you get the space, you know, the, the ship, and uh, I only played for four hours, and it was monitored, and so on, I would be fine with all, well, most of the things he's saying, because I would accept that you don't actually know what the fuck you're talking about, but you told me that you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. But instead, he's positioning it like, I know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about, and that's why I have such a huge problem with it. Gollum. Gollum. What, Gollum? <laughs> Gollum. <laughs> They had to do more damage, Gollum. obviously, and then after hit a timed reload prompt to maximize. Hey, when you the shoot them in the head, they do more. That does more damage. Video games, huh? <laughs> That's a revolutionary. Wow. Yeah, also, staggers enemies when they large bores. That Whoa. is, I think the headshots do more damage. I don't, it seems so inconsistent sometimes. What was I don't the know. first video game with shooting mechanics to not have a headshot mechanic? Like <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> if you move, if you move the stick forward really far, you run faster. Hmm. Wow. Though so, I mean, you, that's you about press down. Uh, you press down L three and you, and and you and you run. Look, Damn, look, run. Like run. faster. Is is that faster than walking? Yes, actually. I, I, okay, I, around the map a lot. I need him to mention direction. it first. And I okay. thought that was really cool how I could move around the map a lot quicker. Hmm. To it. And then just you random the clip of just like running. <laughs> Damage, obviously, and then after hit a timed reload prompt to maximize the recharge speed. Oh wow, a timed reload prompt? I've never seen that before. <laughs> okay, we're clear. Wow, and he that's gave us the, the clip deepest for it mechanic. Too. Man, we're just having a clip like every second, ten seconds yeah. now. Yeah. I feel like. it out, I guess. And it's just <laughs> shooting a dude. Never going to fly mm. for too long. Yeah. Case and now I actually want to go back, up. if you don't mind. Oh no. Yeah, do it. So, okay, right here. So these these green beams seem like they they cut you right, but she, this they person just like if you she's just leaning them, on they them, make you fly back, and they take. Oh, yeah, one of the beams is going off. through her left arm. So yeah, so <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, right. and the, you're right. The, she's like draped over it like it's a physical object. It's like okay. I don't oh know, yeah, so I mean like the yeah. the red beams during these hey. little choke points areas, they don't cut you either. You just bonk into them like Listen, walls. Photons have mass. Okay, that that's true. This is a scientifically accurate. Yeah, video. like in pole too. All right. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, light hard light. Just... Yeah, I got it. Yeah, this is like Halo. This is this game is basically Halo. Pho <laughs> photons do not have mass. Just yeah, sure they do. <laughs> they are massless. Light, light or light has waves and particles. It's the wave particle duality of light. No, no, photons do not have mass. <laughs> sure they do. <laughs> like, like, how come I, I, I can? I insist on this. Then how come? Uh, 
this lady's got her arm draped over them. Mm. You know, <laughs> perhaps that is the thing, right? In the Star Wars universe. <laughs> you fucking wrecked ass. liberal. <laughs> yeah. You thought you thought I was you thought I was just making this up randomly as we went. Turns out I'm a video I didn't game make, expert. I didn't take into frankly. account your expert Star Wars. I, uh, I'm a physics. I'm a I'm a physics master. <laughs> Maximize the rate job speed. You're gonna regret that. Whenever you're under fire for too long, case adrenaline builds up to the point we can even stop time and then mark Whoa. three targets for Whoa, time. Oh, you can even just time? Oh my god. I thought we didn't like stopping wow. time. <laughs> I thought we were against no, that. You never start... like stopping time when you can shoot it. I, I just start... love how it's being described as a new feature when like Red Dead Redemption and Splinter Cell like this shitty... came out in 2010. It's the shitty cartoon <laughs> photocopy of those. It's not even close. Yes, it is. It's worse. It's worse. It's it's yeah. not even as well designed. Kind of like this... a get out of shit creek for free card, removing three enemies from the what? playing field, and kind of helping to switch the odds into your favor. Uh -huh. And yeah, like it is a bit oh, overpowered. Why does he describe it like that? Why do you describe it like that? Like that? Just like just like increasing like your he... chances to so... win. You shift the tide of the battle in your favor. It's like, dude, you press a button and the enemies die. Like what? That's <laughs> right, right. That's right. Just like he was I would say shooting him has the same effect. What do you think defeating an enemy in a game does? This is Kay's blaster. It's kind of a get out of shit free card. We can shoot people. You need a card but to get that. That shit. line specifically sounded like he was given that by Ubisoft, saying, "You must say this in your video." Mm. That's what it sounds like to me. No, I think, I think it's, I think it's much. I don't think. I think it's way simpler. It's just like describe describe system. That's that's analysis. I don't like, know enough. About I don't the game. know if he thinks that that is like analysis, or if he, or if like, yeah, he just. He just says things about the game, and he thinks his job is to just correctly identify what systems are in the game. No doubt he's being told to say that, too. It's like, come on. Does he normally just go over mechanics and not really expand upon them at all? I mean... That's what I mean. I don't know, right? Like, Well, sometimes you'll catalog. catch maybe, like, a line uh, that's, that's kind of like, oh, that was kind of... It was almost critical or praiseworthy. Huh. How about that? Helping to switch the odds. Most of the time, it's just descriptive. To your favor, and yeah, like it is a bit overpowered. But on the other hand, it's like I get it. You on know? the underhand, the... what? It's, it doesn't. It, I think he meant on one it. hand and the other hand, not underhand. I'd like to know why he gets it. Well, <laughs> like it's it's overpowered in the sense of like it, it's perfectly accurate, but it doesn't cross the apathy threshold most of the time, where I just don't care to use it. I'll just shoot everyone in the head and kill them anyway. I was, you know, is the argument actually it's overpowered, but also. Like, that's <laughs> it's not, even a, it's not even an argument. Well, if you think it was overpowered in the beginning, this thing gets way better. Kind of like, yes. Yeah, it's it like way five better. or six people. It's like, I get it, you know? It's the whole space western angle that the series has been known for since it's insane. That's also this the clip where I realize well, that she tries to fan the invisible hammer on her yes. blaster. <laughs> no yeah, it's cringe. Um, so, so it sounded like he was going to criticize it for being too much of a get out of jail free card, but but said like I'll give it a pass because it's westerny. And um, yeah, Star Wars. So that is we can call that analysis. It's not very interesting I at all. I guess so, but yeah. Because like, why, so westerns why, why, have to have overpowered mechanics. No, Are they allowed well, to I, I would go. The, fine, he's or... saying it evokes that like aesthetic, I guess, because there's ways to balance this oh, such that it wouldn't be overpowered. So he needs to like, can you tell stopped. me why it is? Star Wars is not a space western, at least not principally. It is a space opera, so I'm not even <laughs> sure why we would say this. I mean, I'll allow it. The game is supposed to be Han Solo in space. The game is space meant, and... yeah, but he said like Star Wars always has been. Uh, elements enough. I don't know. I I, I wouldn't pick on him that uh, much for right. that. Hmm. Okay. Well, do you disagree that like Han Solo does kind of represent oh. the cowboy in space? Oh, sure, but but well, sure, but like saying that that's what Star Wars has always been, it's like um, parts of it, sure, but it it feels like a weird way to describe like what Star Wars is. You like, should yeah, you should probably just appeal to this is clear what the game was going for. But I don't know, like I don't care about any of that. I would just want to talk about it, how it works, and why yeah. it's good or bad. Not yeah. it's aesthetically matching a thing, therefore I'll. It's it's weird that he said I'll give it a pass, as though it being good is like a flaw. When to me, there's ways to balance it such that it is good and is useful and is something we want. But yeah, why 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 does it have to be the dichotomy? Is yeah, it's overpowered, but it is space western. It's like that doesn't address whether or not it's a, like that doesn't say anything about whether how powerful it is. 
Yeah, the game. You know what I mean? Like, it is Ubisoft. Like, a game can be space western and have Dead Eye and be balanced. Like, it's not. <laughs> it's not like the Dead Eye system has to be broken. Yeah, you could just make it so you got to earn it a little more. Yeah, I mean, we've had games like like Max Payne Three, for instance, that are essentially designed around being able to like slow time and bullet time and that sort of thing. And Super yeah. hard. It's really but good. You gotta it's aim, really but you have to aim. You have to aim. Yeah, you still got to aim. Your God. Super. Dude, Super hot in VR is fucking Super. bomb, dude. Oh, that shit's great. Yeah, yeah. That, that, friend, that was a few years ago. That game translates to a VR fucking perfectly. Yeah, you Pretty just got to do the jack off hands to keep things moving a little jack bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's the whole space western angle that the series has been known for since its inception. That's the same clip you used before. Oh, damn. <laughs> hey, he's oh, it goes further. No, exactly. Right. He, doesn't have, he doesn't have many uh, adrenaline clips, okay? The hammer is, dude. <laughs> No, God! But even still, with you know, time man, those horses were very well, startled. Like they did not know what to do. Did you see those horses? They didn't know what to do. Oh, oh, shit, loud horses. <laughs> yeah, like, look, but even geez. still, <laughs> still with like, well, that guy fell down. Holy shit, a lot of noise. I hope someone went over to the horse and said, It's okay, calm down. <laughs> yeah, got, I'm sure they got paid. I'm stopping superpowers like this at the ready, I was actually kind of surprised at just how much I often died here. Even after I- Yeah, you're supposed to stay away no, no. from those guys. Yeah, the melee <laughs> yeah. guys want to hit you with their melee weapons. You have a ranged They're so weapon, funny because they so... don't have any range potential, so if you stand on a fucking yeah, brick, they lose you. Yeah, you literally yeah, just guys, press dude. two, click, the mm -hmm. shield's disabled. Now you just go back to press <laughs> one, click, they're dead now. That's <laughs> it, that's the extent of their mechanics. I realized that trying to play with a controller was a dumb idea and went back to the mouse and keyboard. There are times when- I'm with my oh, sticks. <laughs> hey, mm. but, but, but we, we foolishly, we dumb, dumbly uh, played it to the end on controller though. Yeah, but we can- Some of us. Yeah, we, we're smart enough to be able to do it. Well, what I, I was going to say is like we're able to use them, but if I were aiming seriously, I'm always going to choose mouse and keyboard. Yeah. So I understand. Mm. I know that, yeah. Rags, you would never have opted for controller because you would have made you want to kill yourself, right? <laughs> more so than the game already did? Yeah. <laughs> I don't need more compounding factors to nudge me in that direction. Yes. All right. When it seems you have to blast your way out of a really bad spot, but most of the time, if you're given the option, the solid snake route is far easier. The solid oh my snake God. route. The snake route. Jesus. route? Are you kidding? Is it, is it easier? I get... I, I, mean, uh, I, didn't it it that way. I didn't even still, think about it from it that still perspective. It takes longer, so it takes, it, a yeah, lot of the time it's longer and less fun. So that I could get it done so quicker. The funniest it doesn't thing even is, matter if it's easier, yeah. You could have a big old room, and you need to get to the literal opposite end, and you're like, "Oh fuck, okay," and it's like stealth through, and then you die right at the end. You're like, "Ugh," and you start guns blazing, and you're just like, blah, 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 and then maybe a grenade goes off, and you're like, "Oh fuck, I died." You could sometimes just get to a point, where you just run through. You don't yeah, even oh, kill yeah. anybody. You just run. You just, you just, just run. Through. Mm -hmm. The one I was through. telling I think that's uh, what I, uh... Metal about because yeah. he he was trying to force it, but it wasn't working out. I think everyone kind of was on the final. There's a big final Wait, mission in the um on Canto Bite, the big old room filled with people, and uh, people were trying to get to the, the end and exit. Huh? The hangar area. I don't know what it was exactly. It could have been a hangar area, but there's a lot of robots and auto capture cameras, the the the, the super hard cameras that they sometimes implement, I guess. But um, the the way that I figured out, and I was, I think I told Mel about this. Is like whenever they're gonna set an alarm off, like they they're starting it up, and you try to escape into the next checkpoint. If you just kill that person, you'll have a grace period of about thirty forty seconds because they're not allowed mm -hmm. to set off multiple alarms. They they have a, like alarm. Like, between them all as a collective AI, only one of them is allowed to set off an alarm. And when they mm. die, they have to wait before they can do it again. So if you just kill that person and then sprint to your checkpoint, you'll probably make it. And that's, that was, like, the exploit. So you go through a stealth area, and some guy's like, blah, 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 you're here, I'm going to go press the alarm. Just, like, shoot him with a stun shot, and then just keep sprinting, 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 and you're probably going to reach the checkpoint. Point being, that... the only rewards we're getting based on our playthrough, technically speaking, is reduced time, as Fring just mentioned, and so the fastest way is to just sprint through, shoot the guy on the alarm, and keep sprinting. 
Yeah, it's more silly and goofy to just like shoot them and roll around and stun them and punch them. It's just it's just more funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I didn't have that happen to me in the in the end run, but there were a few times where basically the game plan was just run through wherever wherever you are, trigger all the enemies, eventually die, but you will have gotten ahead enough that you you respawn further than when you started. Yeah, yeah. I was like, well, I can just suicide the whole well, game I was... then. I was lopping with uh, with my Jabba stuff, so when they forced me to try and get through a situation where I had to shoot Jabba's men, I just ran through saying, hey guys, great, you're doing great, everything's fantastic, and they were all like, trying to kill me. And I was like, oh yeah, <laughs> you you're accidentally a... think I'm the wrong, no, I'm good, I'm friends with Jabba, I'm just gonna go to see Jabba, it's fine, don't worry about it. And I was mm -hmm. fine, because you can just run through everything, it doesn't fucking, you know. <laughs> You can do that with Imperial bases too. You can just go. You can just walk right in, run right in, get your speeder. Fuck it, just plow right through it and inside. It's just nothing they can do. They just can't stop you. You just go in. There's and no point in engaging with a combat. It's so unfun and dull. Well, that's the thing, right? Like, yeah, whatever. Time to do the objective. Just plow through. Just beeline it straight to the end. You don't have to engage with the stealth or the combat. It's like, so what's left? Great question. <laughs> hmm. On the other hand, seems to be more based around just line of sight, where someone's then either going to kind of see you oh, and become suspicious and investigate, or they, you know, outright see you and go into an alert mode, setting off an alarm and then making wow. it. So you may as well have. To... Yeah, this is getting wow. like. How crazier is this footage? Oh, well, like, so that's what stealth irrelevant. is. If someone sees oh, you, oh wow, they yeah, shoot no, they you see you and then the the, yeah. the alert, and then they'll try and set off the alarm. Oh, when reloading yeah, the weapon, wow. it'll restock your ability to shoot the gun. Like, uh huh. Oh, oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> even whipping out the Australian Me. accent there. I already did that three times. Why are you commenting on it now? Uh, that's, I, 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 I around the disc. Okay, stop. I didn't even oh. say ye. <laughs> Feel my pain. <laughs> Cowbell's tied around your ankles. But if you make yeah, see, this up area, that, that area, you're not meant to do that. You're about to get, you're about to get detected, and unless you you're me reset. and you, you run to the fucking checkpoint yeah. and it counts, <laughs> <laughs> that is the recommended way to play. But if you manage to sneak up behind someone without them seeing you, a quick takedown's going to be a is lot this easier. Area, is, mention... Wait, sorry, is this area? What? Where yeah, is yeah, this? Yeah, this is a Pike. This is a Pike uh, district outpost. This is outpost. the Pike place. This is where oh, I spent right, ages right, trying right. to find a little fucking yeah. doodad in this goddamn room. Mm -hmm. Someone without them seeing you, a quick takedown's gonna be a lot easier, not to mention making sure that enemy's no longer any kind of threat. What the well, they can be what? discovered, Dude, bro? Oh, what? <laughs> If you... is, this a, is this a game developer toolkit video? <laughs> Seriously, it's like... Uh, Did Mark uh, Brown write this? Her head. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, he, what he just said is if you can stealthily get behind someone, you can do a takedown, which will mean they go down without you having to fight them. Like, you know, it's like, yeah. <laughs> so surface level. Okay. Fuck me, dude. Bed. Sure that enemy's no longer any kind of threat. Thanks for the example. And I don't know, like, it just feels more rewarding to try to get through areas without people seeing me. And why? 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 <laughs> why does it feel that way? Tell us. The and reason the it feels listen, rewarding... Listen, listen, guys. Life is about making your own challenges, you know? Uh-huh. Playing this game uh. is life making its own challenges. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Nick, by the way. Challenge. Nick's is mid-jump. Like, bleh overpowered he in the way that he can keep someone preoccupied for five or so seconds yep. easily letting you deal with duos and controlling the floor enemies with complete ease About I like how, thing, I think I like how it's like yeah Nyx is pretty overpowered anyway here's me shooting just an exploding <laughs> barrel <Yeah. laughs> you could have used Completely the same unrelated. place but let Nyx explode the barrel because that's a skill you have oh Nyx that's is great. Yeah. clip unrelated about the Nix other thing, implied. you can upgrade Nix to commit war crimes. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thing I think is kind of weird here is that they don't give you the option to pick up and hide someone's unconscious body. Yay, criticism! Why Woo! would he say? Wait, wait, wait. Why would he say, uh, he why would he say unconscious weird. body? It's anybody, dead or alive. Yeah, you're no, right. Because you guys in these games, right? You do kill no people. Actually, they're, all, they're all just vanquished. No, they're all just vanquished. Mm. They it all just seems like defeated a enemies. Bizarre yep. oversight. 
But that's just yet a bizarre a oversight. <laughs> Wait, Actually, they didn't the give a shit. Dude, the the lack of <laughs> sentience is astounding to me. If you think it was an oversight, <laughs> whoopsie doopsie, we made it to where you couldn't move the bodies. Oh, we forgot to program that part in. Whoopsie. <laughs> oh. it's just but at least the sure made it easy with us we'll... not having to engage with that mechanic and put body, well, you I... know, places where you can dump bodies and road, animations man. for dragging. I got a fucking Nick's list of bizarre body. oversights for him to check out. <laughs> <Black doll. laughs> yeah, this really bizarre, like, I see this in so many critics. I remember Joseph Anderson did this one recently in his uh, Shadow of the Earth Tree video. Like, he, he said something about one of the zones, because there's an NPC enemy there. He said that it was weird, like, they left a placeholder enemy there and then forgot to change it out when they were, like, making the zone. It's like, what do you think that means? <laughs> it was an accident. <laughs> Bad enemy. I, I don't understand. Crazy. I don't understand how these people think like game development goes. What do they? What do they think is happening? How do you think they got this far in and like? Oh darn, we forgot about that feature. The the body carrying. Whoops. <laughs> I mean, the they most said, li like the the okay. nicest way to put it is it was on our list of things to do, and then they crossed it off eventually. They're like, we ain't doing that. And we realized how hard <laughs> it is to make a video game, and we decided, nah, we're not doing that. Yeah, video games got hands. Video. We're gonna <laughs> have Nick's fun. like bury and dispose of the body in lime, but I don't know. <laughs> it turns yeah, out I mean, playing you, video games is fun. That? Making them is work. Nick's disposing of bodies. I didn't even program this as a feature. It's not like this is made in stone. Oh, to it. consume the. That's body. it. <laughs> the the the, the fat the partner, body. the fat starter Pokemon. He can there eat the go. bodies. He can dispose of bodies. Like a, oh, he's like a blob. Fast. He does like a blob, and he gets bigger yeah. and bigger the more like, bodies he can. I like see. the idea that he doesn't actually like like eat them properly. They just he just gets like a comically stormtrooper shaped bulge in his body. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was thinking is like you get to unlock that option. You're expecting him to eat them, and then he goes up to them and then grabs one of those blue barrels from Breaking Bad, puts the body in, and he's got the acid. <laughs> <laughs> you I find a bathtub. Pay. Don't worry, I know how to dispose of bodies. I'm quite experienced there, KVS. <laughs> <laughs> now it's got Jesse's voice in my head. <laughs> again, another reminder that we're going to go another year here without that Splinter Cell remake. Oh, yeah, and again, too. Yeah, still... but what, who even who even cares? Like, what what is that remake going to look like? It was From being made guys, by Ubisoft yeah. a day. Ugh. That, yeah, maybe they. I hope they don't forget that also, <laughs> to allow you to hide the bodies. I know. No remake. Whoopsie doopsie. Whoopsie doopsie. Like, doopsie. Having, <laughs> isn't it a little crazy to have Splinter Cell on your mind and actually like comment on the stealth here being worthwhile when like Splinter Cell is so much more robust as a stealth game than this? Mm -hmm. He seems it. to shine is when you're out and about on a random planet just messing around and doing your own thing mm? as opposed to mm -hmm. the story missions again at least the ones i played where you're given very little options when it comes to the stealth bro <laughs> so all of oh. the prepared content they provided me was kind of bad but the other <laughs> stuff you know that was better because i was like free i you guess don't have any, you don't have any extra mechanics no in either one you don't get uh, no. access the to anything. The difference is that one of them will punish you and make you restart if you get caught. Yeah, that's what he's obviously referring to is the ones that say, do not raise the alarm. That's all the story shit. Or don't get caught the way you can't even use your gun. Ugh. Yeah, I mean, well, it's the closest we'll get to him realizing how bad I'll the game is. Criticism. Yeah. And it seems if you ever stray too far off that beaten path in the slightest, then the mission's going to be failed. Yep. Mostly because you're not given the option of going loud and simply have to avoid being detected. What are you doing? You go hard at the station. And yeah, dog, like it is kind of frustrating to fail these, you know, simply because you tried to experiment too much and didn't do what the game wanted you to do. Sir, he's wow. so close. Wow. He's like, so close. Up against it. Getting there. He's almost Careful, there. Dude. Yeah. That that rep in the Discord is getting a little impatient with you right I'm now. He's like, motherfucker, you better fucking. You better just reverse course, right? Fucking. <laughs> he just turns his camera <laughs> on and shows like a picture. The Ubisoft guy just turns the camera on Discord on, just shows a picture of his family. He's like, ah, 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 ah. turn back. <laughs> it also forces you to engage with what I think is the worst mechanic in the game. Ooh. And that's hacking into these security systems, which is this odd little mini game where you need to input the correct symbols in the correct sequence. Basically what you gotta do here is choose from a bunch of symbols and try to guess the order. And then the game will let you know if you got the right symbol in the right spot, the right symbol in the wrong spot, or just the wrong symbol completely. 
And yeah, like it sounds fine, only the whole thing is complete RNG. And it's literally just kind of guesswork. Not to mention, if you get the combination wrong too many times, then you set off an alarm. No, you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> you don't. That's the biggest problem. What it it looks no like it. it. There was I absolutely never had the no punishment. punishment. Yeah. Honestly, is honestly that is punishment. arguably the biggest problem, is there's no repercussions. Watching, am I watching him get filtered by, like, Poundland Wordle? It, it, well, <laughs> to be fair, Theo, this can defeat you because of how slug. poorly designed it is, right? Yeah, this it's is just something a slug that, doing it over and over. It's because it, Wordle has a system. This does not. This is literally like uh, the big thing I noticed straight away was, um, and one of the most perfect examples, one of the earlier ones I did in my game. I guessed too right to start. And I was like, oh shit, good. And then I choose the next two, which as so try and picture it with this visual. The top four have been selected, so two are down and two mm -hmm. are up. Next line, I select two because that's my cap, and then it's like wrong. Next line, yeah, that select is the next the two, wrong. Right. Next line, I've only got one try left now, and I was like, whoa, whoa I've, I've still got eight symbols to check. So what am I supposed to do? And it's like, well, unfortunately for you, you guessed two right too early. I'm like, wait, yep. so the <laughs> oh, best yeah, way to win feels like the another. Well, the, yeah, the best way to win is to be able to like guess all of the wrong ones first. Yes, that yeah. is the way you best win this game in yeah. the early game. But by the time you hit the mid game, you've already unlocked two abilities that make it there's nothing this game can do to stop you. And then, of course, another thing that's worth adding is the thing about Wordle is it's words. So you can use your fucking brain to figure out what the yeah. correct answer is. Correct. Here is yeah. just random symbols. These are random symbols. Well, so, like, and to be clear. Even in Wordle, if you guess two of the words in the correct place, you can guess... You can still guess other letters. Yeah, like, so it, it's just fucked. It's like they didn't realize what was interesting and fun about Wordle. Pretty much. Mm -hmm. It's terrible. It's the worst, it's the worst minigame. What a bizarre oversight. Oh, uh, like, yeah, what? no, pretty bizarre. I did these it's at the end. Bizarre, for... but, you know, otherwise the game is pretty fun. Mm. Pretty fun. For, uh, for, for the memes, I did these, but while holding my eyes shut... Yes. This thing, this and I of... did it. I only had to well, look because I I didn't know where my mouse was, but there was only one thing left, and it's um, like, okay, I did it. So something you only I have to don't cover think... up half the screen. So yeah. I don't know if Rags, if you unlocked it, but I know Metal and Fringy didn't. Um, there's an ability you can unlock that auto sorts all of the yellows for you in this game. Okay. Yeah. I saw that there were little little boosters that you could use, but I could only use the default one. I think they I call think, them... I guess you have to do, like, side content, side missions so to, yeah, yeah, yeah. to get the slicing levels. But one I of them, just didn't care. One of them gives you an extra level, as in, like, delays the alarm that doesn't exist. So it's just like, eh, whatever. Yeah, I knew that. One of them does the auto-sort for the yellows, and then the other one, I think, knocks out, like, two symbols for you automatically or whatever. But... Yeah, the middle one, all I did at that point, because once you get the connecting things from that first expert lady you meet about the slicing, where it means yeah, that as long as you get one in one it section, so easy. yeah, it's insane. You get the yellows pretty quickly, and then you just auto sort it. And so, usually, I was defeating this fucking minigame in two tries. I was just like, there it is, done. Oh, Bye. Here's the funny bit I saw that they had these things, I saw these lines, and I was like, I don't need to engage with this. I don't even need to figure out what this means. I'm just going to click random buttons until it's done because I just. Fucking, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I mean the slicing kit thing, right? Like that's <clears throat> that's the upgrade that you get. It's just so overpowered. Yeah. Right. And then I'm, I mean, with well, the uh, the sorting thing, it, there's no game here. There, it's just a wasting of time. It, this goes from lame RNG that's annoying sometimes to like it's it's nothing. It's it's just a delay. To brainless, yeah. It's a brainless delay. It's very annoying. And if you don't. And if you don't get any upgrades, like I didn't bother getting any any upgrades, it's still, it, it's just a game. It feels like a gameplay disruption. Yeah. It's like, all right, you're not you're not playing Outlaws anymore. Now you have to engage with this little mini game so that you can hopefully get enough credits to feel like it was worth the side trip through the mini game to get it or something along those lines. It was just. Well, if you do a bunch of Empire you know, shit in a row, this becomes incredibly tedious because there's so many yes. of them. Yes. Yeah. The yeah. thing is, I can I, I I get why he thinks why he thinks there's an alarm because this yeah, pops yeah, yeah. up, but we this doesn't mean anything. We all thought there was yeah. an alarm, but then we're all like, "There's yeah. no alarm. That's weird." There's no alarm. Yeah, I was like, "Oh, I guess not." <clears throat> Most games, yeah, if not fucking bluff. all of them, when you take too many tries to solve like some kind of hacking thing, it will set off an alarm. Like that's that's, that's so normal. Or it will deny you the rewards of successfully hacking it, also called failed hacking it. But in this, you just. Get it. It's just how much time and effort do you want to put into it? 
which just makes it this tiresome process of backing out and in again to avoid detection. Oh yeah, you can do that too. <laughs> before you reach- oh, yeah. He's right okay. though. You can actually do that. You can do that, oh, yeah. What's even the point then? <laughs> the avoid detection yeah. part was now, but it's like, it's like that the Fallout point, yeah. computer hacking. It's you do infinite tries before you hit the last attempt that you just you just back it's out of the a, terminal and it's also rejoin. fucking broken because someone might yeah. say like oh you selected too many correct too early you better back out so that you could do worse to do better yeah. <laughs> God. It's so it's so fucking broken a real, instead of designing a real system again like in deus ex where yeah once you're in you're committed mm -hmm. but it's like a real system it's 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 like an actual little game in and of itself the hacking mini game in deus ex they should have just made it whittle Fuck <laughs> it. Just, just, just bit Wordle. Yeah. yeah, it's With a spell Star out. Wars. Star Wars. Yeah, there we go. Steam, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it also just kind of completely kills the pacing, you know, to go from working your way through an area in a pretty consistent manner to then, you know, be standing at a computer screen for five minutes just to turn off a nearby camera. Five minutes. Well. I don't agree with him on this. Uh, <laughs> Stealth games, no. a lot of them will have terminal hacking. Well, again, Deus Ex yeah. this. Yeah. yeah. It was it's a hacking minigame. Uh, I'm surprised he normal. qualified vaguely what he meant by pacing. I was expecting him to just move on from that. So <laughs> I, was, I would actually argue <laughs> the reverse. The things. I feel like this helps pacing in stealth games where you take down, take down, take down, yeah. and reach a terminal and fuck around with some technology and then take down, take down. Take down. It, it feels like it's dynamic. Especially, somewhat. yeah. Well, especially if you're doing the little mini game and people are wandering around and you only have a certain window. Oh, yeah, that can be stressful. Beat it. That could be pretty stressful, yeah. There's kind of some of those in this, but not really. So. Did you shield? So I don't know, like, hopefully the full game gives us mm -hmm. the option to avoid this mechanic. <laughs> Technically, <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, you unlock enough to just skip them, essentially, so... That, that's so funny, though. Yeah, like, I, I, I hope the full game just lets me skip this mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> like, because it sucks. That's what I did with stealth, Sorry. I just skipped that mechanic. Yeah, like... the mechanics suck. Well, anyway, here's a stealth takedown. Yeah, why... why... <laughs> Gameplay. And then the final component of Outlaws gameplay is the ship combat. I mean, it wouldn't be a oh, Star fuck. Wars game if you- So fucking tedious. Man, Ratchet and Clank I Across the this. Time has better- It's not even t an open world game, but it has way better open world, like, space. Like that, there were like so, little planets and asteroids and stuff that you could you could land on, get out of your ship and, like, acquire things that were meaningful from a gameplay perspective. <laughs> they even had space radio. And that game came out 15 years ago. Mm -hmm. If you couldn't fly around and shoot at stuff, would it? Stop. Also, wait, what did he just say? Go back. There's plenty of games. It wouldn't be a Star Wars game. It wouldn't be like. Yeah, it wouldn't be a Star Wars game if you wouldn't run around in space shooting things. What? Not like. Oh, yeah. Like all of those Star Wars games where that doesn't happen. Exactly. Well, maybe he said something more reasonable than that. I'll roll it back. Let's play is the ship combat. I mean, it wouldn't be a Star Wars game if you couldn't fly around. Never mind. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, <laughs> Never fucking mind. <laughs> All right. That's the make or break for Star Wars. Oh, my God. Like, remember the remember movie? In, remember in Star Wars where he said, I got him, and then Han said, Great, don't get cocky? Yeah. Remember, the, remember the, the Star Wars? Mem oh, remember, remember. Oh, Sadly, oh, though, wow. this was the stuff that I got to experience the least. And no, it, you were lucky. <laughs> if anything. I envy you. Yeah. I envy you. If I had to describe this whole system, I'd probably say that it's basic but functional. It's, it's awesome. I guess it's, it's functional. A... Isn't yeah. it crazy that you can just actually ignore it, though? Because I don't even want to get into... Mm. Like, you should I ignore just... it. Let's, let's put it this way. The, the enemy arrives, aim at and shoot until they're destroyed system does work. I'll give you that. There's plenty in the space shit that does not work, though. <laughs> like, I can get yeah. through combat every time. Yeah. Winning. Groaning <laughs> in my eyes. So, in, with the beginning laser, you actually you at least at least have to aim at the crosshairs properly for it to hit. Until you get the last upgrade for the blaster that has like seeking lasers. It does like a triple shot and just goes straight to the guys without you having to properly aim at them. It was really weird. I find it all incredibly boring, the space combat. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm just saying that mm. it just gets even more boring. Then you get an auto turret that kills shit for you automatically, and you're yeah, on yeah. the rock. It's just... 
Well, it's like you said, so, hopefully they unlock more and more mechanics as the game goes on that prevents you from playing the game. That'd be nice. Well, it's just <laughs> it's just more of the trifecta, I guess, of KVS is simultaneously an insanely talented parkourist. She's the deadliest gunfighter in the galaxy. She's an expert star pilot. She just does it all. She does all of it so insanely well. And I'm like, mm -hmm. where did you... How are you so good at this? You didn't... And when the game begun, you didn't even really know how to fly a starfighter at all. And now you're just killing everything in space that dares show its face to you. Man, if only you would collect a crew that could, uh, you know, do that stuff for you so it doesn't get so weird. Well, yeah, hmm. You could collect a maybe... crew member that's the expert pilot, and whenever you go into space, you're that you're controlling the ship, you as the player, but the character in the world yes. controlling the ship is the pilot Whoa. that you recruited. Crazy how difficulty can play a part in these things as well. And that can be important to the to the experience. No, that you'll the play game your slicing game. Ah, okay, okay, my bad. <laughs> you slice. know what? I'm I'm sure by the third game she'll be revealed to be a solo. <laughs> oh yeah, she's the long lost. I don't the know father. why that they don't mention phrasing the like bothers me so much now. But like a solo, a Palpatine. A solo. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Are you a it turns solo? Out Han Solo did have people. He had a love affair with Rico, and that's how oh KVS was gosh. born. But he had to leave Best. because his true heart belonged to Jawa. Or not Jawa. <laughs> Jawa. <laughs> to Chewie. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, this brain, even thinking about this game is melting my brain. <laughs> <laughs> my, okay, bra so my brain did not have a sexual regarding... affair with a Jawa. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe he did. <laughs> Who knows? Fuck it. To Jawa. Okay, you okay. don't even know his Re name. He's just Jawa. He's <laughs> <laughs> just Jawa. With Jawa. Jawa is a fine man, all right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, regarding the, um, the space combat in this game, do you guys recall how they marketed this game when it was first announced at, like, it was... Was it a Video Game Awards or an E3 or something? Do you guys recall? Yeah, they said, they oh, said this won't... This definitely will not be shit. You should buy it. <laughs> it will be very <laughs> poggy. So I don't recall exactly how they worded it, but they were very clearly taking a dig at Starfield. Where it's like, uh -huh. you can actually... You can actually fly through space. You can actually land the ship on the planet. Uh -huh. Isn't that going to be novel, guys? And, like, look, look at the cameras. Like, it was it's clearly a, a dig at Starfield. <laughs> And, and yet it just having now Starfield. played them both, it it really is very Starfield esque. It's There's not much to do up there. Starfield. Yeah, you're yeah. in a tiny little box of space that you can fly around in. If you go to a planet, you click a button and you get a cutscene, a, a foggy cutscene, so you don't even yep. see anything. So you don't and see it, the actual yeah things being loaded <laughs> in or anything like that. Right? Yeah. Yep. You know. Well, like, the difference like is, is is that the camera doesn't fade out. That's that's how they got Starfield beat. The camera does not fade out. It just goes foggy, yep. or I suppose if you it's, leave the yeah, system, yeah, it's like it shimmying goes through streaky. the gaps, mm -hmm. but in space. And it's actually it kind of breaks the immersion too, because there are segments in the space sections where you have to escape pursuers, and when you go towards the planet in other sections, and you press like you know X or whatever to land, then you'll zoom in super fast to the planet, faster than you've ever moved before, and you're like, dang, I should have. Wish I went that fast when I was being pursued by TIE fighters or whatever, but all right. No. I th I... Wow. This thing can move. Again, like you fly around this as you'd expect move. and then lock onto enemy ships and fire your lasers or missiles to take them out. It also seems, though, like it's another avenue for exploration. Because aside from exploring nearby no, wrecks no. or... Other... It seems like it's another av... It is you, you another avenue a few minutes, for exploration. I guess. It's just... It's shitty and it sucks because you're wandering around a massive asteroid debris field looking for little boxes yellow boxes. Fucking duranium or whatever it is, right? What's the it's thing it, you get loads of? It you in hold space? E and then sometimes it's um, quadranium is what you quadranium, get. Quadranium, that's it, yeah. But the, the, the yellow boxes where you have to hold to interact, they give you just like random doodads. Little knickknacks like a like a paint job or Ugh. something. You're, already, you're like reminding me of playing it. Stop it. <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> I don't like this feeling. <laughs> oh, you blew Other the thing. Orbit, you can choose a nearby planet and then check it out on foot with the ship events flying through. Why did, the, why did the you say that like that? Can, yeah. Why do you say that? You can like, hey, if there's a planet nearby, you can land on it and check it out on foot. This ain't. No, no, no. This ain't that no, game. The, the space section is like the little add-on for the planet. Yeah, it feels like the backyard of the planet. That's not. He acts like that you're gonna just come. You're just gonna stumble across planets. You're just gonna. You're just gonna find them, and you could land on them like it's Starfield, or like it's a like it's an actual exploration game with really full-fledged 
space mechanics. Well, no, you, you pick Air one eggs. of the three planets to you, go. Places. Like, yeah, that line annoys me almost more than anything in this job with a hut review because yeah. it he made it sound <laughs> like you can stumble across a planet to simply land on. Is not yeah. all how it works. One of my viewers was like, I found what Rags really, what really wants now. It's Jawa the Hutt. Um, I don't. I but don't, I but really yeah, don't. It's, it is It is kind of crazy <laughs> to explain it in that way. Kind of almost like it's, hey, it's like in No Man's Sky where you explore and look, there's a planet and you go there. It's like, well, there are four planets. You have to go to each of them. And there's no other planets or anything in, in the system, right? Again, it's not like in yeah, Ratchet it's... and Clank where the space area there'd be like two or three planets in that area and then a bunch of things in the middle that you could land on like a little space station or like an asteroid or something it's just there's the planet here's the space around it you're allowed to explore and then you go to the next space where the, the planet the, is the space part it. feels like a small extension of where, what you're here for which is the planet so to say, exactly. like, you're in space, and then you can discover there's like, no, 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 no. We have a spaceship. Yeah, we have a whole spaceship thing where you have a spaceship, and this is space where you fly it. So The space is actually that. remarkably re fucking restricted. It's very... Super restricted. Not space. But you can choose a nearby planet and then check it out on foot, with the ship events flying through the planet's atmosphere in real time. <laughs> you know, even if that no, real time is just... It's Come a on! You must like what? No, you don't. You like zoom when once you get the prompt to land on the planet, your ship like hyperspace is super fast to the planet. Yeah, you know, even if that real time is just using fog to more or less. So then it's not real time. Why'd you say no, that? It's not real time now, is it? You did you know that you could you shimmy between rocks in real time? Ugh. I don't know, man. It took, it didn't take as long to get to planets in Ratchet and Clank in the PlayStation Two. <laughs> You get in the ship, and then you get two screens of flying through space, and then you're there. Here, well, it's luckily, like... you can even do it faster, because it, it lets you fast travel from anywhere to Yeah, you could just skip. Yep. <laughs> yeah. You we could skip, skip this entire yeah, process yeah, with a single yeah. loading screen. There's a lot of... Which I was... I'm starting to realize a lot of the so. a lot of the late game understanding and unlocks of this game just allow you to take chunks away of not to doing bypass the game, the game yeah. as much as possible. <laughs> yeah. The fucking graphics are all like flickering as well. So I love you've got the combat, the stealth. K ship and Why was that your image for the stealth? <laughs> <laughs> guy, because he knows him the end death. game. He, know, he knows the end game of Star Wars Outlaws, and he's just giving it teaser. That's perfect. He's just rolling around with a stun gun, <laughs> and the stealth, the fuck out of K ship and speeder, <laughs> along with a whole ass load of main and side missions to get lost with, the all set amongst the backdrop of the franchise's most interesting time period. So what's? Uh, the, yeah, tell us about the I, I don't think that's even fair. <laughs> It's, it's what you mean is this way the your favorite stuff is from, but that's fine. It's like just where everything is set now. Oh, everything look. is set around this time. It's Fringy, like I know you want to comment on this. You gotta. I want white text on a white background. Look at yeah, the subtitles over. Yeah, like if when you the you subtitles crim over crimson your drawn. <laughs> yeah, like this is why you gotta. If you're gonna put white text against something that's white, you gotta do a black outline. Yep. I, this that is hard is, to read. This well, is actually, difficult to read. Fringy, that's actually in the accessibility settings to put a black background <laughs> over Wait. all of that. Really? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Why that's mine was why? on by default, and I turned it off because the compass is a fucking huge black box on the top of your screen. So even though I lost the ability to read subtitles sometimes <laughs> because <laughs> it would overlap on my white health bars, because the compass is uh, here. Let me get you a screenshot from my first uh, my first stream of it. It's it's huge. Again, well, also why would everything's you put... in the accessibility. <laughs> Well, that, that's, Why would you that's dumb as fuck. You just the move ship, the text though. above. Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? The ship. Don't put it on there. I want to. No, no, no. Presumably, you want me to see the ship, right? I don't no. know, man. Some of the choices. This is a bizarre <laughs> oversight, is what this is. Yeah. Yes, it yeah. is. I'm getting a picture for you right now. Apparently, oh, making like, something like not that. bullshit to read is an accessibility option now. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> The accessibility right. options are crazy too. It's like they're six really ages. Good. Yeah, it's actually really good. It's it's unironically the best element of this. It's video the game best. Design. It's incredible. Yeah. So if you on have that, the black okay. backgrounds, that's oh. how big the compass is on your screen. Jesus, that's okay. Crazy. That's it's fucking huge. This is lazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> like, come on. The, ignore, ignore the stormtrooper. She's doing her best. Okay. Wait, what is happening? That's just a. This is. I really like... remember this part of the gameplay. All of these stormtroopers here at this checkpoint are like women. It's really weird, but it's the huge black box around yeah. the compass. Because by default, for me, there's a black uh, outline to a bunch of stuff, including the subtitles and everything, which does help you see Rose. them more. However, that compass, man. It's so fucking big. It's Disgusting. a blight on your screen. Yeah, that doesn't seem like it's a solution. It's huge. It's interesting. It's yeah, it's and or straight. So what's there yes to complain no. about? I mean, to be fair, it is kind of hard for me to truly go into depth on this thing. Especially considering I really only spent four or five hours with it. But I think... Th then yeah, it would be pretty difficult for you to go in depth on it. You could have made an attempt, though. You could have tried. I mean, he had some criticisms, and he had some praises. You might even say he reviewed the portion that yeah. he played. He unfortunately was mm -hmm. duped, and hopefully can correct the record in future when he plays the full game. The biggest takeaway that I have yeah. here is that I didn't hate it. What? <laughs> and this is coming from a guy like me, someone who is the most jaded, cynical fan of the franchise. Uh, oh no! Yeah, no, you right. did not. no. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's some stolen valor right there. there. <laughs> all right, that that was just that's just a lie. No way. Like you, KVS. The huts will be pleased. Why is this clip here? Good. good Why clip. is the yeah? Good <laughs> <clip. clip. laughs> the huts I mean, will be get... pleased with your positive review. Well, you guys remember Varric? He was a really cool character. Varric, yeah. Like, high five. Yeah, Varric is a really cool guy. Ooh. Laser eye surgery, then sit through another churned out TV show or movie. You know, where I had to watch Nameless Jedi swing around bad dragon looking lightsabers. What? Why would. Uh, well, first, okay, first off, I don't, I'm no dragon. expert or anything. The insinuation that this somehow is a bad isn't dragon swap of enjoyer. That I was about to say, this. <laughs> yeah. If we're ranking None products. None of those fucking lightsabers look anything like what I've got in the If cupboard. we're ranking <laughs> products, I don't know that this doesn't sink to the fucking bottom. I don't know that this is you know, better than Acolyte. It's, uh, why would, it's, yeah, I hate it's nameless really Jedi bad, and it's way longer than the Acolyte. Though. It, it's a total it's and fundamental failure in just about every regard. Like, yeah, like at least yeah. fucking Acolyte has a you can play and it has credits, and it completes. <laughs> like what? Well, at least yeah, like, <laughs> Acolyte doesn't crash. At least you know, it doesn't freeze, mm. and I don't have to play it. I just have to watch it, which is not fun. But at least I don't have to trudge through like 25, 30 hours. Of crap gameplay. Acolyte set out uh, on to the tell other like hand. a particular kind of story, and it like, yeah, it. There's, <laughs> mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, moving it's, on. It's uh, hard to this, rank them because like... <laughs> they're so different in how awful they are. You know, the, the thing. Yeah. The thing yeah, I want to yeah, get to with yeah. this is like they're from the looks of it, there just wasn't even an attempt at any stage in terms of any facets of the interactivity of the game part of the video game. No one was trying at any point. This was definitely a that it comes across throughout every stage of this game, totally passionless. Yes, that's super soulless. There was no you never it. get to that moment in this game where you go, oh wow, they really went above and beyond. They really you could clearly tell that they put their blood, sweat, and tears into some element of this game. Somebody there wanted like they considered this work like a mark of themselves right and they wanted to just do the best that they could just for the sake of creation this I'm was sure like nah just get it out whatever we're, we're sure paid. a lot of really talented people worked on this but you'd do you'd have a hell of a time convincing me like any of them gave a shit well and i think that yeah, it, a I mean, lot of them would honestly tell you decades from now yeah outlaws is bad yeah, yeah, it was bad. I imagine. I'll tell you that now. If you got, <laughs> I'm giving them some room. You know, I don't expect them to shit on the company <laughs> this quickly, but yeah, maybe. Yeah, I'll, I'll give, I'll Why give Outlaws one. I'll, I'll give Outlaws one positive thing over Acolyte. I think I could get through Outlaws faster. So at least be done quick. You might be able to. I'm not maybe, sure. Yeah. You might be yeah, able maybe. to. Speedrunner, yeah, are you? If you speed right. The thing He's is, that the current speed run is at like four hours, I think. Ugh. For as for as bad <laughs> as Star Wars Outlaws is, it's just the the highs, the peaks of the enjoyment and the laughing that I got from oh, Outlaws. Is, yeah, it's actually hard to beat. Like I was hurting, I because I was laughing so much. I will <laughs> I will so say good. I very much value the game's golem moments to the point of it putting it above <laughs> Acolyte, but I don't know if that counts. Oh, enough. I do. It's well, it's pretty yeah, amazing how, when you, you hear. 
you hear like on a calm link, we're sending reinforcements and then like five stormtroopers fly in on speeders and then crash directly into a rock wall. <laughs> and it's like, well, are you, are they're you here. Are you driving through a bantha herd and they all kill themselves by running into <laughs> panthas and you're just sitting there cackling like a hyena on crack and you just, you just yeah. this is this is the game. This is it. This is beautiful. And it's yeah, this game could earn one life. of those like thank you for the memories sort of things. <laughs> I'll never forget the joy that I felt playing Star Wars Act and look, I know it's popular to hate on Star Wars these days. As much as it is popular Ugh, to boring. hate on really soft foot, whatever. Yeah, I don't care about this. Like, yeah, I know you're I'm you're not uh, hating. He's, he's like, I'm not like all those other reviewers. I'm willing well, to say the truth. Rags, like, if he if he wants to open the conversation about incentives, like, hmm, <laughs> like, why don't, why don't we yeah. talk about that? For, well, we're about to anyway, because we get to the comment section part of this soon. Whatever the latest Ooh. reason of the week is. But I do think that Massive Entertainment are really cooking something pretty interesting here. Nope. I can't really see it rocking the gaming industry to its core though, and it does often feel like it's ticking the boxes for what an open world Star Wars game is supposed to be, but that doesn't mean that it's bad either. That sentence didn't make any sense. I, I'm actually a little bit lost. He said, he said, as much as it comes across as though it's ticking all of the boxes for what a Star Wars open world game is supposed to be, meaning a negative... Which is, like, Picking I don't know why that would be a negative, is, no. necessarily. Like, we would want it to tick the boxes for what we expect a Star Wars open-world game should be, right? But then we would also want it to surpass that? I guess he's saying it's generic? Yeah, it's but like then it's, fucking it's, it's say that! The genre, <laughs> <it's true>. yeah. <laughs> why say it like this, where I'm like, oh, it ticks all the boxes? And he's like, yeah, but it's still good. I'm like, what? What? What open world <laughs> Star Wars game is supposed to be, but that doesn't mean that it's bad, either. And you know what? It's still going to be a damn sight more fun to play through than the Battlefront remaster. I guess either way, it's not going to be too much longer now until we know for sure. Okay. Well, now we do. Yeah, KVAS. Bess. There she goes. Oh my god, there's an orchestra in the ship. Woo! Oh. Well, that's it. How do you make videos like this, man? I did want to uh, clarify. I reached out to a couple of my friends who did the same thing. And uh, the way it worked is that they were shown the first um, first planet, right? Uh, what, Tashara. Right. Oh, Tashara. And you were there at the point that you get your ship. And then after playing for about two hours, they took you and put you into a later save on the other planet. Okay, okay. See. that explains so the Kajimi. Um, yeah, right. Footage. So it's two separate games what, you're and sessions. This is how it would have worked for him. That's how it would have worked for him. Yeah. Okay. So he would have played for about two or three hours on the first planet around the time you get your ship, and then an hour to two hours on a later planet that they select, where you had a little bit more freedom to, you know, explore. But that's why he didn't really have uh, any of the, the you know, back. not in any way to defend it, of course. <laughs> well, uh, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to read his pinned comment that he wrote. And you're, gonna, you're all going to be so tempted to cut in, but what we're going to do is I'm going to read out the whole thing first, all right? What all right, do? I can, I can do that. Right, I'll, blast. I'll post you sure, so you know, you know how long I got left. So here I go. Here, here it is. Pinning this comment for posterity, and also because this is the last time I'm commenting on this. Because it's really like talking to a brick wall. But the fact of the matter is, this video was not sponsored. By YouTube's own rules, you have to disclose if a video is sponsored or features paid advertising. I can get in serious trouble by not being honest about this kind of thing, and I sure as hell wouldn't risk my channel over a video for a Star Wars game. You can easily look at all my videos with actual sponsors, like ExpressVPN, Opera, etc., and see that I've turned this on. Finally, for those interested, as for the preview event, I drove 45 minutes each way to Ubisoft Sydney office. I was pay, uh, paid $40 for my own parking and then sat in a room oh. with one other content creator for four hours before driving home. The only thing they paid for was a cup of coffee. If you don't agree with the video, that's fine. Make up your own minds about the game when you play it. Until then, stop believing all the crap you read on the internet. I, um... Mm. It's funny, the first thing I noticed is $40. It's like, yeah, that pro yeah, that's probably what it would cost to park in. Or oh, probably, it might cost more than that, actually. 
<laughs> to park in the city. <laughs> yeah, maybe. But invited as for the actual takeaway, so, so the reality is, right, it seems like a lot of people um, are really bad at engaging with the whole, you know, like, oh, paid review, paid review. It's like the idea of just, you know, a publisher saying, here's some money, give our game a good review. That ain't happening. But oh yeah, we're going to the press event. Oh yeah, and and yeah. it's uh, or like oh yeah, we're gonna fly you out to you know wherever, and then you're in a hotel, and then you get to play the game, uh, and you get invited to other events, and you can hang out, and you can talk to the developers, and you can do your previews, and you can get them out super duper early. Like that happens. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it's a question. And I would argue it's the payment. That, we have... How much is is that going to influence? you in terms of the way that you respond to a game that's put before you and make a video about that word game. is yes. access access yes. that's, what, that's what nerdronic yes. calls all the access media reviewers <laughs> why he calls them that they have access they do not want to lose access access will decide a lot of what they'll say about a thing and it's funny i feel kind of bad for him because some people in chat were like everything he said there is true they're like um no so the the problem is not that people assume he's got a big sack with a dollar sign on it that was given to him by Ubisoft. It is that he has been influenced by the fact that he has now got a connection to them that gives him access. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very yes. straight. This is my problem. If you, if you expand out the comment, the first comment or the first reply is, did this video have to go through a third party approval process? And he just says no. But even then, that doesn't necessarily mean much, right? Because even if, I, even I, if I, Ubisoft I assumed isn't, it didn't, isn't, so... Yeah, even if Ubisoft didn't, didn't approve the video, if you put out a, a very negative video, he wouldn't be invited back to the next event. The reality right. is, do you, do you think that anybody here is getting fucking invited to check out the next Ubisoft game at some preview <laughs> event? Of course not. It, we've been too no. negative. <laughs> no. There's no fucking way it would happen. Well, which should be interesting to you from the perspective of like, Man, like, they want you to do this. They think it will be beneficial to get you to come out to this event to play the game and then make a video about it. They expect that that will yield them positive outcomes. The, That's something to think about in terms of the nature of how access is... Well, the, um, so is the, re the reverse point of that is, do you believe they contacted you to review this game early via access because you're so good at your job and they just wanted your opinion desperately? Or, like, mm -hmm. or because they're hoping to influence you toward a particular direction, one that you may not have taken, or one that you may not have taken as hard uh, without this interaction, and that in future they may just have you back again if you continue to be nice and chill, if not positive, about our games. Which, like this, this video is surprisingly astroturfy for what is what the game actually is. That's an ad. We watched an ad for eight. It minutes. feels like an ad is, is yeah. correct. For six it hours, like, actually, but because <laughs> the nature of the analysis and criticism, the, the nature of the analysis was incredibly thin and much more so just descriptive of the mechanics, and often yeah. presented in a way that was most positive and most lenient towards the game. And the criticisms were light. They weren't like super duper negative. They weren't super duper harsh. And the overall vibe was like, yeah. Good, yeah, nice, good, good. And like, and, and the problem that you're having, because of course, like the response being like, holy shit, like you're all shitting on me. It's like, why do you think it is? It's because the video is fucking weird. It is it's weird. It's like weird about this game that's so obviously crap. That's why it's, <laughs> that's why the response is so negative. So, so I dug out his Twitter, his, uh, his Twitter account, and the same day he uploaded this video, he put out this tweet where he says, I'm removing my Star Wars Outlaws video. I guess I forgot the cardinal rule where you're not allowed to say nice things about video oh games God. anymore. Oh, here we go. And I don't, <laughs> and I don't want to get a month's worth of, of, of abusive God. comments over it. And what then there's two more. Pussy. Well, wait. All right. So let's, let's let's get some context on. Uh, I'm going to read out some of the comments on his channel. These are all top comments, just all in a row. The first and foremost is, are you going to review the game now that it's out? Which I think would be a <laughs> wonderful thing for him to do. Get yeah. stuck in and tell me what you think and compare it to your initial thoughts and then talk about the introspection you can gain from that. How, how, how important is it to express your initial thoughts if they are so far beyond close to reality, I wonder. That would be an interesting topic to cover. Uh, next one yes. says, I'm glad I unsubscribed from this bad actor a long time ago. Where's the review for this trash? It's been out for weeks now. 
uh, pretty rough. So is that a thing he, he does normally? He does like uh, uh, first impression and then does a video, or I, I don't know how he operates. I'm just wondering. I, I don't. I'm not sure. We do. Okay. Um, another one says, uh, "Did he even look at the footage he uh, selected for the video?" Laugh my ass off. I mean, some of it did seem to be directly contradictory sometimes, but it might just be he's not yeah, familiar. Stealth, bat, bat. <laughs> uh, can't wait for all the good things you're going to say about Assassin's Creed Shadows. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it's really bad, dude. This was, a, this was just a paid review man sold out. He replied to that saying, it's not a review. Are you dense? It was a four-hour playthrough of an unfinished build over a month before the game came out. We're acting like previews don't exist anymore. And uh, I think he replied to... So someone said, if this is not the review, when are you posting the actual review? And he said, no matter what I say, I'll have to put up with thousands of more asinine comments. So I guess he's, he's yeah, not going to review it for that it. reason. Get over it. Get over <laughs> it. Uh, someone said this will end up in a Chrome Cat video someday. <laughs> That's <laughs> not possible. <laughs> Uh, so I said, uh, usually your reviews are great, but you've messed up with this one. And he said, it's not a review. And he said, okay, maybe address the situation instead of playing semantics. Everyone's calling you out because the product the public received has none of the virtues you talked about. And he said, how is this semantics? I played a literal preview build over a month ago uh, before it launched. If that's not a preview, then what is? I'm not interested in addressing any situation because the people have already made their minds up regardless of what I say, and I don't even like Star Wars enough to bother trying to convince everyone else. Or anyone then else. why did you what fucking a, what a, who, drive no, 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 40 even, minutes to I'll Ubisoft would. headquarters to play the game if you don't Access. care that much? Why would, you pre why would you preface it with like, oh, I don't care about Star Wars. It's a video game. You review video games. Why would you say like, well, I don't want to justify or explain any of the things I said about this because I don't care about Star Wars as an intellectual property. It's a video game. And you made so a video on it. If it was a new IP, then what? What's the excuse if it was a new IP? I am exactly. Honestly, I don't think he said. He said in the video. He said in the video that he did care about Star Wars. He's one of those like disappointed well, yes, fans. I mean, yeah, I thought of so. Of course, but, that's been awkward as well. Um, I feel. I feel like that comment might be the best one, the quickest way that got to it, like got to him in the sense that he received it. Um, the fact that he said everyone's calling you out because the product the public received has none of the virtues you talked about. It's really hard yeah. to argue that that's not yeah. the case here because it is. It clearly is. Mm -hmm. You would um, be a madman if you thought otherwise. Well, and, and that something should be done, surely. Something needs to be well, fixed. It, well, I suppose it's weird because it seems like it's such a misalignment between essentially. If, if, you know, if, if the way we're meant to take it of, like, the, yeah, man, this was just my earnest takeaway from this game. It's, like, it is so, like, out of line with fundamentally, like, what is factually true about the game, but also, like, what your audience thinks about it and the way that you talked about it. Like, it's just a weird, like, it's just a bizarre video. Um, I just don't understand. Like, I don't know what, why, what, why, why it's so hard for people to just take the L and then just, like, okay, you know what? This is actually not that great. Uh, I think it's a great opportunity to think about your, the it nature of your job. It happened to me with fucking Alan Wake 2. Watch my first stream of Alan Wake 2. It's like, yeah, this is pretty interesting. And we're like, can't wait to play more and see what happens. Then I watch you and Ass play. It's like, shit, this fucking shit sucks balls. <laughs> 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 and, then I, and then I was the only one who finished it. That's the bad ending. They tricked you. I was tricked. <laughs> Um, so, then this was mentioned, and I know this is true because I watched his video on it. Star Wars Theory, the biggest Star Wars YouTube channel, was initially invited as well, but when he asked if he was able to write a bad review, if he felt the game was bad, he was immediately ghosted. <laughs> he, uh, he did not think it was good, by the way, and gave up playing it after it froze, I think, twice in a row. <laughs> he was <laughs> like, alright, I'm good. I don't know, um, I suppose, like, it feels like this, in a sense, kind of highlights, like, a big problem that sort of exists, which is that, in a lot of ways, the creators are very reliant on the publishers, yes. rather than the other way around. Not in the sense that the kinds of videos that people make about the games have no impact, of course they do, I mean, that's part of the equation, but it's more so that you, as an individual, have very little power compared to if the company's just like, nah, you ain't getting any... No yes. review codes, no nothing. Like, you don't get invited to any of the mm -hmm. events. You never get to do any of the previews. Meanwhile, all of your peers might be doing the same thing. Um, and then there's a level of, I don't know, it's like, um, it's, it's, if you're doing, 
if you're doing like a good enough job at being like a critic, you, you should probably be in a place where like, yeah, the companies kind of wouldn't like you that much. You mm -hmm. certainly wouldn't want to be in a place where you could be getting easily hired by these companies, which has happened plenty of times with people in like gaming press where they were in the gaming press and then they end up working like actually PR for like PlayStation or any of these companies. Um, it, it just seems like that shouldn't be the case if you're, if you're, because if you're being like comprehensive and critical, like they should kind of be like not happy with what you're making in a sense. There should be a bit of a mm -hmm. confrontational not element marketing for that relationship. For in a like sense. You, um, you both, like sense. you, you should both kind of need each other in a way, but you should also both be like, we're, we're, we can't be friends though. Yeah, if you if you um, give me a product, I'm gonna talk about it truthfully and see if I like it. Oh, you know what? I actually only accept it if I know I'm gonna listen, like if, it. Listen, if if Disney invited every, all expenses paid and cast and crew meet and whatever for uh, the Ray movie for me, Rags and Fringy, and and <laughs> let's just say for just for the sake of uh, explaining this, we'd already agreed. So it's, it's happening. We're doing it. Um, I would make that so fucking abundantly, hundred percent, one thousand billion percent clear at the beginning of the video, even if I if I yeah. actually made it. But then, uh, I like the funny thing is, it's like if it's really difficult to hypothetical because I don't know if I would agree to it in the first place. But if I did, I, the only way is if um, I'm allowed to be negative. I'd have to say like, guys, you understand. I, you're more than likely going to make something shit. Like, I don't know how to do this. <laughs> yeah. So, so uh, uh, the thing I is, I would accept if I made the video and it was negative and in the sort of usual fashion, I made fun of it in, in whatever way. Uh, and someone said like, "So you weren't compromised?" I probably like, uh, "No, probably was." Like, it's it's almost impossible not to be when you go into a situation like that. It's um, it's just not in a way that's going to cause any harm to anybody at all. Uh, mm -hmm. This is why this one's more of a problem because it's like an awful product that has been raised all the way up to uh, what? Do you, what do you call? What's the video called? It might actually be pretty uh, good. Star Wars Outlaws might actually be pretty good, which is so far <laughs> removed from its like, actual quality. Yeah, yeah. I consider Star Wars Outlaws pretty noxious. Should. Like it shouldn't yeah. be. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's one of the worst. It, it shouldn't be sold. To be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's not finished. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not functional. It's so dysfunctional. Oh. It's so dysfunctional. And it's Feel not just the bugs. It's not just that it's buggy and un unpolished. It's that, like, a lot of the core design and, like, the core features are just clearly, like, incomplete or rushed. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, so yeah just, a f just having just a feeling when you get to play the thing or see the thing. I mean, that's why so many people or reviewers go to watch these early screenings of, mm -hmm. I don't know, fucking John Wick or whatever. And then they come back home and it's like, oh, it was amazing. We got to meet some of the crew and we got yeah. the Scotty back. And yeah, the movie was also awesome. But then I got some drinks and it's like, it's like, oh, <laughs> uh, really? it is impossible how, for how that not you... to change your perception. Of course. It happened to me. I, like I, I watched Avat the second Avatar because it was, it was like, it just was a good day. I was hanging up with friends. We had some drinks, I, uh, I think. We went out to the city and it's like, oh, let's go watch the Avatar movie now. And then we just had a good time. And then I came out of the cinema, I was like, yeah, I think it was all right. And then I rewatched it, and I was like, shit. <laughs> I, I, sorry, it's why they I do it. It's why they, they get people to do this. It's because it works. Exactly, why? right. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that's right. Absolutely. You, you, know how, like, um, you know how for a lot of, like, Marvel uh, slop, there's, like, the Twitter reaction embargo and then, like, the actual review embargo. You notice that? Mm -hmm. Like, usually there'll be... The, most of the time, the Twitter reactions are pretty positive. Like consistently for a lot of these Marvel projects, but like in a very vacuous and way, and it's like I don't know, man, how much of that would be influenced by like the thought of shit. Well, I don't want to say anything too negative, otherwise I might be totally shut out, and then that would be bad for me. I don't know. It's just something to think about. That's all. Yeah. Um, Access exactly. Access it's indeed. um, it's a uh, it's a powerful thing. The more comments. Uh, how much did they pay you? This aged worse than expired milk. Man's rear got <laughs> obliterated by Ubisoft for that sweet, sweet money. Oh no! The fact this has the oh, lowest dude. views of your most recent videos says a lot. I came from the future. It was not good at all. How does it feel to <laughs> shill for a game that completely flopped? You have no integrity. Damn, these are top comments. Ooh. Jesus. That's Those are really people rough. who watch him. Yep. Yeah, it's <laughs> really rough. Excellent yep. work. On, on his Twitter. Blasted. Jesus. On his Twitter, he said that the comments in the video are 90% negative. I can believe he that, yeah. to put, he, he did eventually decide to put the video back up after some people said, you should well, stand I mean, by your opinion. Yeah. 
you should stand well, by you your good opinions. Stand, yeah, <laughs> but you should, you should, you should revisit your bad opinions with improved good opinions and be like, uh, guys, I was wrong. Yeah. I was so we're, wrong. I think it would be interesting a video, video if he. Jail, huh? Yeah, yeah. It would be uh, interesting video he he could do. It's like, hey, let's actually like see what I was maybe thinking and why that happened, and let's see how it actually is, and maybe reflect a little bit. I think it would be just a super interesting video to watch. Yeah, yeah at I least so turn that scar into a band aid. You could yeah. say, like, oh, well, I thought the system based on the demo was going to be this, this, and this, but it actually went this way instead, and here's why yeah. that's bad. That'd be a fun video. Uh, 500 yeah. Uber points have been deposited into your Yuba bank. <laughs> that's Yuba bank! Uh, looks I can terrible. Afford the, I can afford the new Trailblazer skin from the Ubisoft store. Neato. Uh, bad Which is textures, a real thing. Bad facial animations, it's... bad AI, basic shooting and stealth, etc. Name one thing this game does that's great. I'm not seeing it. There isn't anything. And one thing it does that is decent. This reminds <laughs> me, I forgot to cancel my Ubisoft uh, Plus thingy. So they got a uh, they yeah. got an extra bag out of me. Those bastards. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I got a. I'm glad I found a code for it. Someone was like, hey, you should, uh, a friend of mine was like, hey, uh, you should check like G2A, see if they got a code or something. And I was like, oh, yeah, that's right. And so I got like $22 off. I didn't have to pay 70 Well, the only way to play this game is through Heaven Ubisoft Connect. Bro. You're oh, clearly. yeah, I just, I just got the, I just got the UB, UB Connect thingy because it was like 17 bucks or whatever. Yeah, yeah like their monthly, whatever it is. Yeah, yeah but now it's yeah, double because I forgot to cancel. <laughs> You're clearly giving this game far... way more sympathy oh. and excuses than other games you've dunked on that were way similar. You've cucked on this review. And there's 170 oh. likes. Oh, dear. God, God. Um, And this will bite you in the ass. Nobody wants this game, but okay, smells like a paid review. Ubisoft loved Far Cry so much they made it their genre. That's, that's not even... <laughs> this game is so much worse. <laughs> Did you sign the paper that says you can't give it a negative review? A German YouTuber leaked the rules for getting a review copy. That was, that was me, sorry. Metal. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I'm curious what those rules are. Was Schweizenheimer one, I two, would three. be curious too, actually. <laughs> Is that a... Let me maybe Google a bit. Yeah, I got nothing on that. But yeah. uh, game is going to end up being dog shit. You lost big time with this one. I'm done listening to YouTubers who are so-called reviews. Old BS, you got paid to review it. Uh, good, that's the end of it. I'll see myself out. God damn. So, um, broadly Which speaking, by his audience. <laughs> a bad reaction. Um, yeah. Yeah, Great. so I, I scrolled a bit further down in the comments than you did, Mueller. I found two comments I wanted to point out. So, one of them, the, he's replying, so the guy says, failing to disclose your relationship with Ubisoft, what you receive for reviewing the game in advance, etc., etc. And then, uh, G Man here, he, he replies with, I have no relationship with Ubisoft. Oh this my is not a sponsored God. video. But you do because you went there. That's the, of like, course that's he the does. Yeah. It's a, yeah. It's not a financial relationship because you're not getting paid, but you're, it's an access Probably relationship. Probably not sexual. <laughs> <laughs> and then the, the, the next comment is um, Synthetic Man was right. No. Oh. <laughs> okay. It's our guy. That's because, that's because <laughs> Synthetic Man saw an, a not a supermodel woman who was a minority, and he said, Woke D8EI Blackrock Sweet Baby Inc. I hate Jews. And then people were like, Yeah. Please true. subscribe. Everyone's like, I, true, just this catchphrase. I didn't realize <laughs> just, the Dev was right. If, the, if, you, if you scroll down, you start finding some deep things. So someone said unsubbed, and he said, Don't let the door hit you on the way out. And they said, Don't let Ubisoft money choke you when you spend it. Uh, <laughs> he said, if you're, if you're the kind of person who has a mental breakdown over a single video that has a difference of opinion, I genuinely don't want you as a sub. It's like, bro, what Why do you mean? Why would you make these comments? <laughs> Whoa. Why would you make uh, these comments? Uh, there are plenty of moment. single opinions you can express that would make me want to unsubscribe. <laughs> of course there are. What do you mean? You hurt yourself by making these comments. Why yeah. would you do this? Someone said they're uh, like, they're really unsubbing. Comments, <laughs> they said like, save oh, here, and he said God. bye. <laughs> Dude, stop, stop it. I use, he's, I'm, he's, not, he's, I'm not bitter at all. You're very bitter. It's okay. I don't even I'm care about Star Wars. <laughs> no. If you did something he's... online and everyone hated it, I imagine that would feel bad. But don't do this. Theo, on that yeah. subject, someone said, I really don't think you should be replying to all these comments. And he said, so I'm supposed to endure literally hundreds of insults and I can't reply to any of them. Great logic, mate. Welcome to the internet. What do you mean you can't? No, you shouldn't. <laughs> you shouldn't. 
You can. You uh, can well, yeah, you, you can absolutely. Replying to all of them. Don't read them. You, don't want to, like, play <laughs> you can just them not read them. you've antagonized everyone. If you want to, like, reply to some of the people who you think maybe could be reasoned with or whatever, do that. But don't do this. Like, yeah, don't let the door yeah. hit you on the way out. Don't what are you the doing, door. man? What's the point? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, there's a, there wasn't a door to get in. The there, joke's on you. <laughs> there, there is a weird balance here because I do recall that one uh, viral <laughs> Total Biscuit video where he basically said, "Yeah, okay, you didn't like my opinion, and you're unsubbing. However, I still think I'm right, and if you're if, if this is something that is worth unsubbing for you, then I, you, you kind of have to go right." So like, okay, fair enough. There, there, like I, when I put out my Stellar Blade video, I got a bunch of unsubs. But I was ultimately correct, in my opinion. Like, this, like I, I'm sure he, he pro this guy probably reg regrets his take on this game. I don't regret my take on Stellar Blade. It's not even but about... I get some subs for that. not about how he felt or what he saw. It's, it's like recognizing the game is out now, and we've got confirmation yeah. it's fucking horrendous. What do you have to say as someone who promoted it? Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. used yeah. your integrity to sell yeah. this to, to people. Understand. You have to understand that that's... Like, come on, you, you get it, right? Like, if you're saying that you think something is good... You would expect and potentially hope that people go and, uh, you know, play that game, right? And then conversely, if it's something that's bad, that you would encourage them not to spend their money on that and play something else instead. You know what the outcome of this video is. Obviously, most people thought it was shit, but like, you know, someone <laughs> out there was like, oh, maybe, you know, like Star Wars Outlaws is pretty good based on what was said here, where so much of it was either like, basically surface level with no analysis or eventually turned out to be inaccurate. And it's just like, eh, meh, you know, it's not, I don't know. It's like, um, so it's else says, uh, this aged just as horrendously as we expected. Wonder how much bro got paid. And he, and he said a month ago, how did this age horribly? The game's not even out yet. That's, that's what else is saying. It's out now and it aged horribly. <laughs> <laughs> right, like, like, I don't think anyone is maybe they are, but I don't think anyone here is accusing this guy of actually getting physically paid for doing not this. Not in money. But, no, not nope. in money. But there is in that's kind, not how it works. right? Like that's yeah. the whole concept of why if you're, you know, a, a political uh, appointee, you have to disclose gifts and things like that because it's understood, right? You know, it is understood that by being invited to the Ubisoft offices, by meeting the people there, by getting their Discord account, by having these things you've gained in some way. You've then been given a video which gained you thousands of dollars in AdSense. Well, it's only access you that other people didn't have, right? Correct. Like, other people don't get to play the game early and make a video beforehand that can get like massive viewership because right. there's only a certain number of people who even have access to the game at this point. Right. And, so you've gained mm -hmm. money, you've gained, you know, uh, connections, you've gained uh, cachet, potentially, if you did some big video that was very popular, right? Like you've gained out of this. It is not a zero uh, transaction. That's not what's happening here. You're not being charitably given this. Both of you are gaining from it, right? Ubisoft it, is gaining exposure and you are gaining things from it, too. It is absolutely a transaction regardless. Let's assume, like, the most charitable possible version of this, right? Where, like, the, the game he played, whatever it was, is just absolutely not at all representative of the game as it came out. And, like, he's been duped in some sense too, right? Should he not then be mad at Ubisoft for sock puppeting him for rather his reputation? At, yes. Yep. Rather than getting mad at yep. the viewers for saying that that's what they think has essentially occurred. Is that's what the lizards have done. They have sock puppeted you in order to use your like platform reputation <laughs> and lizard. good word essentially in order to sell their product to people. But instead, yeah. you're like, yep. "Fuck you guys! I had to pay for parking to go play." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which is <laughs> so said. Uh, my response would be, "This is why like, metal was correct." Video. My, my response would just be, yeah, they didn't even pay for your parking. Man, you're just <laughs> you're the, what a cheap <laughs> one. Oh, well, so, on that point, someone said you were that cheap for Ubisoft, and his reply is not uh, as cheap as your mum. What the <laughs> fuck are you doing? <laughs> oh, okay, you doing? dude. Jesus. You do what not get doing? to play the victim anymore. No, Come on. No, 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 no. I was going to say, it's like, you're not exactly not. helping your position. <laughs> Wait, are you saying my mother's a high class prostitute? Or. <laughs> <laughs> what like what? Like, like she's expensive to have like, sex with. Someone take away his. She's keyboard. not cheap. <laughs> You're saying my mom isn't cheap. 
<laughs> but, but yes, are you oh implying you couldn't God. afford my mother? Like, I don't even, like, this, this is why the ideal thing to do would have been to make a follow up video and been like, okay, I was wrong, right? Like, yep. if you actually believe you were wrong and it's clear that you were objectively, well, then it's time to make another video. Well, the problem, so the, the way reading these comments, the way he's contextualized it is all I did was play what they gave me and tell you what I thought. There's no way I can be wrong. Dude, if well, we're that's really wrong. Are just like hustling and like we're okay with just fleecing people out of their money. Essentially, just don't say anything, man. That's right. This is a seventy dollar video game. Seventy dollars. The oh, base that's version. Edition. Yeah, no, and, and no, it would, that's right. so it would be retarded right? not to say there are people who bought this game because of this video. There absolutely are. Of course, of course yeah. there are. So that's already bad. <laughs> I hope they get refunds because the game is fucking horrendous. <laughs> but. uh Yes, our adventure is not over. That that's all just dandy. We've that's got just a... an appetizer. Quite yes. <laughs> um, so our first article is from Games article. Radar, and it's regarding comments oh, made God. related to uh, this game. We've got three, right? And they're all rather amusing. So, making har, har, har. solid games isn't enough when you have gamers oh, expecting yeah. extraordinary experiences, <laughs> Ubisoft CEO I saw that says, headline after Star Wars Outlaws. As Ubisoft works to turn things around after a few bad years, CEO, um, I'm just going to say see the CEO, reckons making good, solid <laughs> games won't cut it. On the heels of Assassin's Creed Shadow's delay, which has made Ubisoft's 2024 noticeably lighter, the CEO discussed plans for the future. Bear in mind, this past February, he described Assassin's Creed Mirage as a turning point for the studio's output as it works to regularly put out good games again. In his words, quote, I've heard bad things about that game. But the beginning continue. of our turnaround to consistently creating and delivering high-quality, long-lasting games. Yeah, I, felt, I bet you wish. <laughs> I, uh, it, almost, it almost feels like it really <laughs> should be like couched in a much more serious context of now that Ubisoft stock is at like a decade low and uh, investors are very, very concerned about the future of the company. Yeah. Didn't they go like from uh, 80 to 10 have, euros uh, or something? Dude, yeah, they, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. 50%. They lost 50%. Like, Holy shit. It's, well, the, the thing is, if you put it into perspective from their all time high, their all time high was something like 100 euros. Now they're down to what, like five, six euros per share? It's like really, really dramatic drop off. Speaking on an investor conference call today, the CEO reckoned that good just ain't good enough. Quote, in today's challenging market and with gamers expecting extraordinary experiences, delivering solid quality is no longer enough, the CEO said. We must strive for excellence in all aspects of our work. This will enable the biggest entry in the Assassin's Creed franchise to fully deliver on its ambition, notably by fulfilling the promise of our dual protagonist adventure with... Nao, no. Nao, Nao, and Yasuke, uh, bringing two very different gameplay styles. This stance, which warrants the immediate counterpoint that perhaps this might not be the, uh, only not be enough for AAA products that guzzle money like a Humvee guzzles gas, follows positive but not ravenous reception for Star Wars Outlaws, which Ubisoft clocks at a, <laughs> I know, Metacritic <laughs> score of seventy-six okay. and average yeah, score, a professional writer, user score of three point nine out of five. Sales aren't exactly great, so Ubisoft's open-world Star Wars game is now coming to Steam in November with its first what, DLC what, in what, tow, yeah. and the devs promise multiple free updates to come after. Yeah, one free update. They mainly fix in yeah. the game. <laughs> Don't worry, we won't charge you for that. Uh, Assassin's oh. Creed Shadows was also specifically delayed based on learnings from the Star Wars Outlaws release regarding out polish. Dude, out of the that option. Humvee thing. The, 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 the Humvee thing was a good tripped ball. over the like, Humvee they're thing. Like, they're like four articles deep like that they've written today and they're just at the bottom yeah. of the steadily <laughs> barrel. You know, like... I, I think what I find so funny about this is this is like a worthless article. You've just essentially promoted like PR speak that Ubisoft wants so that the company yeah. looks good. Like, you haven't actually provided any analysis at all. You, it's, it's just like, yeah, the Ubisoft CEO said, hey, we're going to do, we're going to make good games. Anyway, that's it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, look at our Star Wars Outlaws review, please. Yeah. Ubisoft well, I think just it's a rage bait article. Games Radar actually. just like retweet their fucking post essentially. And be like, oh, sick. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, looks guys. Like I found it. Games Radar gave it a three and a half stars out of Two. five. A seven, out of, oh, 10. Oh, 10. a seven out of yeah. ten. It's a seven out of ten. 
Wow. It's, like uh, here the, right? it's just like I will list you all the pros and the cons. The pros are <laughs> the pros are snappy combat, excellent atmosphere, mm -hmm. smart reputation and progression systems. Uh -huh. No. The, uh, con, mm -hmm. the cons yeah. are poor stealth systems, mm -hmm. repetitive mission design, mm -hmm. frustrating lock picking and hacking minigames. Mm -hmm. You can skip those though, it's fine. <laughs> skip them. Smart repu that's insane. This person, no. who is this person? Josh West, you suck. Yeah, Josh. Uh, so I find it like amusing February? when I... Uh, oh, Editor-in-chief! Holy shit, he's the editor-in-chief of Games okay. Radar. Seven oh, oh, wow. Okay. Oh, I'm just finding it amusing when, he said, when the guy says, uh, Oh, in today's challenging market with gamers, we extraordinary experiences, delivering blah blah blah. I was sitting here like, okay, how do you explain like games like Vampire Survivors where you actually just run around and pick shit up? <laughs> That's <laughs> fun. Extraordinary that yeah. they could make a game that way, Metal. How do you explain Bellatro? Bellatro, Bellatro fucking yeah. murders outlaws. It's so funny. It's just how what? about you start with just making a functional game first? Good start, yeah. And mechanics start. that work, and maybe it's... a story that's kind of cohesive. No. And then we work from there. These games mm -hmm. don't need to be these giant fucking megalith mono products that like yeah. everyone in the universe can play and Forever. that costs like literally everyone's <laughs> souls. Money. They uh, I mean, <laughs> they're so funny. <laughs> they want to release almost fucking like bi yearly a game that everyone will play forever. It's yeah. Like, yeah. Guys, I don't <laughs> think this is gonna work. <laughs> I'm nope. gonna run out of time to play any of these. This is why so, Space Marine this... 2 was so nice and refreshing. It's like a pretty short campaign that is like nice and linear. You shoot some things, it has really cool set pieces, it's fun, it has solid game mechanics. And then you can do the operations and you can use more of the, the game mechanics. And you can do PvP, they have PvE in there. Uh, they have like a pretty good um, uh, roadmap already with like apparently every content except like cosmetics are gonna be free. So you just get free content. I, I got to tell you, Metal, I don't think what you're doing right there is a good example of how games are not trying to take over everything in your life and, and use all of your time. Because you're like, oh, it's so refreshing when uh, Space Marine 2 came out and then did everything all the other game companies did by having this roadmap and all these multiplayer I, I don't think that was the, as good an example as you would like. Yeah, but the game functions and <laughs> works. It was the game, game works. works. All right, yeah. that's a plus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, and he's also saying it's like, you know, eight or nine hours. And when it comes to the campaign, we don't need like a 30 hour epic or anything like that. Just make I'll a really a good experience epic. that's about. Well, but. Well, I mean, you know. right, and I thought that's where he was going with it. But then he was like, and then they're adding all this other stuff. And he's like, yeah. Okay. No, I'm just saying you get more <laughs> free stuff on top of the game that's already fun and <laughs> plays very well. I get it, dude. You brutalized Outlaws him. Outlaws is getting free I updates. Hate you. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Outlaws is getting free updates. They're gonna yeah, add, Outlaws is getting yeah. free updates. They're they are going. Be, they're you know what a functional game to it? Maybe? Where you used no, to fall through the floor, they're gonna add floor for free. That doesn't make you go oh, through it. Man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think they said they're gonna add an option to refund the game directly from the Trailblazer. They're gonna add a. There's gonna be a little. <laughs> they should. <be. laughs> it rags, yeah. You press it, it's blue screens. <laughs> Wait a minute. No, no, no. <laughs> um, I, mean, I, I, know, I know what you're getting at, though, Metal, because like I'm I'm currently playing through the new Zelda game, and it's just like a fun, contained experience. Everything works. It's the quality that I expect. It's the you know it's the franchise that I love. Like it's just mm -hmm. it's a good game, and it's worth the money. And I don't got to worry about all this bullshit. It's just nice, you know. So Article Two, this one, this one, I just want to read it out. Right. So Star Wars Outlaws not letting you shoot from the speeder. Quote wasn't an easy choice. Mm, okay. Isn't yeah. that curious? What's good, what could mm, happen like here? Was, though. The Let's discover. The idea that there were these difficult, you, like, uh, groundbreaking development questions going on in that room, and this is the result. Oh, let's, <laughs> we gotta read link? this, okay? Because it's just funny. Star Wars Outlaw's lead gameplay designer has explained why k Vess can't freely shoot from his speeder, noting that it wasn't an easy choice. It's been a few days since Star Wars Outlaw's launched, and while the reception from fans has mostly been positive so far, there are a few okay, key complaints that have made towards it, such as the high focus on stealth, that's not a, the... Comp that's not the criticism! <laughs> not the, it's not the, the stealth, stealth is shit! Crap. Yeah, and, and relic... 
The short campaign. Relatively short like, campaign. It took me like 25 <laughs> hours. It's not that short. One of the biggest, though, is Kay's inability to shoot while riding her speeder bike. I you would say that that's moment. considerably lower than a lot of other major criticisms. Like the game of working? The game. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You spend a lot of time on the speeder in Star Wars Outlaws, and most of the time we'll see you speeding away from imps and other baddies out to get ya. Despite having a blaster at all times, Kay strangely can't shoot from it while using the limited adrenaline rush takedown move, which takes a while to recharge and isn't super reliable because of it. Here's why Kay can't shoot from her speeder in Star Wars Outlaws. It's a pretty strange gameplay choice, and one that Star Wars fans have been vocal about over the past few days. Do you know how much padding there is just to get to this answer? Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's the, extend the, for the as long opposite. as you can. Although it looks like it's going to be sticking around in Outlaws, Massive Entertainment's lead gameplay designer Friedrich Thylander has at least revealed why the decision has been uh, was made in a recent interview with Games Radar. Thylander explained that the original trilogy of Star Wars movies focused on speeder bike chases that all of the characters using them were usually evading instead of shooting. Oh my massive, god, oh, come on! Massive meant what? to replicate this feeling and didn't want players to just be able to ride in and assault people from a speeder, quote, we wanted to make a mechanic that made you experience chases rather than having you feel as though you can ride in and assault people from the speeder. I'm yeah, but so by right. that, I was right. Oh, this is a lie, and I was right. But yeah, this is a lie. Like, well, this is so a lie. I was well. Totally hold on, because right. it's the next paragraph. Thailand oh, another one. also oh. explained <laughs> that the decision oh, came down. Yes. <laughs> the decision that's came right. down to having trouble programming the speeder to drive nicely if you were ever aiming your blaster while driving. A difficult task when trying to jump around and go at high speeds. Overall, Thylander admits that it wasn't an easy choice, but that he's happy to hear how the fads respond to it and take the feedback in mind. Well, take the feedback in mind. Right. What are you going to do about that. it? You're not going to fix it, right? Like uh, other games yeah. have done this, though. Like it's it's not impossible. Yeah, probably but those games are either, so, like, I, don't even I mean, know. this is <laughs> If you this played is, the game to do that, played the game thoroughly, and then you just read that, does this not come across as though the people like fucking making this game haven't made games before? Well, mm -hmm. the, yep. what this would well, we ultimately mean is that they would have to do a lot of work doing the programming and a lot of the animations and everything like that for ultimately what would be a small part of the game. It wasn't worth it. You focused on other things. That's the reason. It was too difficult for the small thing that it is in the game. That's it. That's the reason. Also, well, lol, 7 out of 10. Where did their 300 fucking million dollars go then? I took him <laughs> on Nicks. <laughs> German gold in Argentina. Uh, yeah. On those very hyper detailed animations of eating food. Those beautiful NPCs, yeah. The final article, and this is just to prompt the subject, uh, as I was mentioning, we were going to cover it eventually. Star Wars Outlaws was plagued with issues at launch, some of which led Ubisoft to make drastic tweaks. Uh, it wasn't well received by the general market. I like this is more honest because it's in the future. Like the other articles were like, <laughs> less aware. Uh, and gamers worldwide have been giving it a pretty low score. It comes as no surprise to learn that in an entire month on the shelves, Star Wars Outlaws has sold just one million copies. Whoa, not as many man, sales as Ubisoft would have expected, which explains the recent comments about the game's performance proving softer than expected. It's also partly why... I love why that I... PR speak, softer rather than worse. Softer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> also partly softer why... Softer is a much more approachable so, word. Yeah, you, you, you have to make the, the word sound nicer. It's bad. The sales are <laughs> balls. <laughs> the the yeah. sales were Bantha Poodoo. Bantha Poodoo. One million, one million seventy dollars, one hundred seventy million. Is that a, is that how it is? I think. Uh, well, no, yeah, that, that's not the math. You probably have to average out the other million. versions as well, right? An average of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, also, partly why Assassin's no, Creed Shadows was considerably delayed, being pushed back to November twenty twenty four from then would... to February twenty twenty five. It's, I would say it's not a considerable delay. I'd say it's the most that they could do it without pushing it past March. They would mm -hmm. want it out before March because of the like earnings and stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah, um, so yeah, um, this was probably as far as they were allowed to do it because if it got pushed into any later than that, then yeah, that would be bad for them. Insider Gaming hasn't been able to learn what the expected sales figures were for Star Wars Outlaws, but we have secured a current sales figure from sources close to the game. At the time of writing, Star Wars Outlaws has just ticked over 1 million sales worldwide. To put that into perspective, we reported in January 2024 that after three months, Assassin's Creed Mirage had hit the market and had secured 5 million sales. 
Oof. Ooh. And Assassin's Creed Mirage was not a full-blown proper Assassin's Creed game, as I understand it. It was DLC that they spun off into a mm. single, uh, like a new game, so it probably didn't cost as much to develop either. You know what the, the devs are saying right now? is Dank Farrick. That's what they're saying. Yeah, that's right. Ugh. According to uh, Inside Your Gaming, uh, yeah, Mirage has accumulated 5 million players and estimated 250 million in revenue as of January of 2024. That's pretty good for them. Yeah, and, I think uh, the Mario and Rabbids games are doing pretty well for Ubisoft too. So I don't think they. I don't think that's the case, right? Didn't the newest oh, one really? not do well either? Yeah. Oh, As someone who loved okay. the first one, I didn't like the second one. They changed all the mechanics. Mm. It upset me. Mm. How many of these sites are there, by the way? Inside the gaming, <laughs> the game, oh, that's, that's a uh, lot. games radar, like there's a lot of this shit. Yeah, game, 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 game. fucker. What are they doing? <laughs> game for big this? gamer cocks. <laughs> <laughs> Bad Dragon lightsaber games. By the way, com. no, that's dot org. I like how it's it says uh, it sold this many in thirty days, and it's not expected it'll shift many more. It's like no shit. It's got the Obviously worst not. word of mouth ever right now. It's like everyone's like stay Everyone the fuck away. <laughs> so Mahler, can I add one article to the pile? Real you quick? are welcome to. I love reading. Reading is magic. You oh, another gamer it? side. Oh, it's the gamer. We're back. <laughs> the gamer. Insider. We don't got to read the whole thing, but it is it is kind of funny. Uh, All right. History is going to be kind to Star Wars. <laughs> 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 uh, Two Jay. days ago. If this was published 30 days ago, maybe <laughs> I could buy oh, why they said is, it. This is two days ago. Um, let's see here. What makes a video game bad? I would normally describe it as an experience that plays or looks terrible or constantly get in its own way with poorly developed characters, narratives, or game design where levels and mechanics are a frequent frustration. So That's many things off. have to go wrong for a game to truly be bad. But when standards are so high, that doesn't matter. Oh, stop it. Stop. Uh, there we go. Standards. Blame the gamers. Standards, standards, so are high standards now. for that it's functional and not shit. My standards are yeah. not shit. You know what? I'll even, I'll even be, it, it might even be lower than that. If you uh, have a bad game that at least has one thing that's memorable and interesting, I'll walk away with not like a terrible thing, but like, oh, hey, yeah. at least you tried to do something interesting that was like, that was a part of it that was memorable. Like, okay, that's something at least. But what, mm -hmm. what's happening here in Outlaws? Other than the, how, <laughs> like, making my face hurt from laughter, what, what am I going to think about? <laughs> Uh, a friend asked me what I was going, what score I was going to give Star Wars Outlaws. Without skipping a beat, I threw out a seven out of ten. Uh, <laughs> the score I have because <laughs> fucking everybody rewarded. does. <laughs> everybody does that. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a fact now. It's not even a meme anymore. It's like, yep. oh, what did they give it? Oh, it's a seven. Okay, of course this. Okay, sure. This is a respectable score and one that I've given to plenty of decent games over the years. By the Gamers Review Guide, a seven out of ten is good. But to many, it's become a sign of mediocrity. Uh, sorry, not has become. It's been that way for like 15 years at this yeah. point. Video game review scores are way too skewed to the higher numbers. It's been like back in PlayStation 3, Xbox 360 times, a seven was viewed as a bad thing. But of course it was because so many games were getting reviewed as like eight or nine. If you got a seven compared to most games that were coming out at the time, yeah, that was a low score. It's not a recent phenomenon. Yeah. It's a problem that's been in the review space for video games for a while. There's yeah. too much, like, it, compression mm. up at the top end there, and it leads yep. to, like, no delineation between them. Mostly well, because this isn't really used in terms of delineation. It's just a, there is a threshold of around, like, 7.5 plus of I will buy this, or and below exactly. that I won't. But yeah. I mean, it's the reason yeah. why IGN has weird scores like 9.7 or, like, 8.3. Yeah. <laughs> just, like, just it's scale. just a little like, bit better than the 9.6s out there, just to let you know. If you were thinking about <laughs> which one you were going to buy, buy the 9.7. It's just a little bit better. And, I mean, in, in my view, games are a lot cheaper now than they used to be. So the fact that we're now still sticking with 7 being the average instead of 5 being the average, and I think 5 really should be the average, right. now that we've kind of regressed back into a, a period of games generally being shittier, and but they're all still being given 7s, it's like, well, now I guess you got to buy only 9s or something. Or at least Arkansas 8s. No. Uh, 
So I, I've been reading through this article. I don't think the rest of it really needs to be read, but there are two paragraphs here that are <laughs> Damn, pretty that interesting. Was, that was like, I can't wait to read the rest of this article. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I, don't worry. I also agree. It's mostly just bullshit, but it is funny but, at least. Well, these two these two paragraphs, I think, are actually uh, pretty, pretty interesting. Um, Damn, Dev, you were wrong. He just even with its flaws, let him go. What rags. sits at the Jesus. center is a com what sits at the center is a competent open world game that, in many ways, is a welcome breath of fresh air. It isn't uh -huh. overcomplicated or needlessly ambitious. It stays in its lane and does a nice job of it. But unless you're a masterpiece, it's impossible to avoid being dragged into a bizarre culture war or uh -huh. unwarranted oh. critical mauling. In the present day, Star Wars Outlaws has been cast aside as a forgettable failure thanks to our standards being so high and the industry being stuck in a destructive cycle of needing every single AAA game to be a flawless masterpiece or a catastrophic failure. The culture allows little wiggle room, and gamers are so expectant these days that if a game falls out of its good graces even once, it might as well not exist. Minds were made up about Outlaws a long time before its launch, and that's not fair. I'm sorry. Um, the <laughs> reason why you release trailers and shit is because people are going to form an opinion about what you're putting out there. Judging the whole game by it, sure, they can't do that, but these things are there to be judged. They want Nobody you to judge saying positively. This positively. Exactly. That's the I, expectation. If, if you judge it positively, then nobody cares. They're like, yeah, you're excited and that's good. But if you think it's going to be crap, oh, you're judging it too harshly. It's meant to be judged. That's what um, a trailer yeah. is for. So she, she does have a point here about the industry, but not about this game. Like, yeah, this game I was, is I was a say, catastrophic If she failure. said to me, like, isn't it nuts how everything's like a bail masterpiece or just a catastrophic failure? I might be like, yeah, but this is a catastrophic failure. Yeah, but this one is actually a catastrophic <laughs> yeah, this one is actually failure. One. Like, I we, agree, we can... there was definitely too much in the gaming space of Game of the Year confirmed, which is one of the most embarrassing, stupid... I hate it, seeing people say that. Oh, Game of the Year confirmed. It's like, you haven't played it yet, bro. Mm -hmm. and, and then, of course, the other one being, it's trash, right? It's trash, trash game, trash game. That's Yeah, that's a problem, but yeah, this one actually oh. is shit. <laughs> In the article, she also blames misogyny, because of course she does. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I gotta get that in there. I but think that, that there is certainly something to talk about with regards to the industry and spending $300 million on the game, because if you're spending $300 million, right, you're probably getting $50 million per unit back, which, or I'm sorry, $50 per unit back, but damn. which means that you're going to need to sell 6 million copies of this game to break even. Six yeah. million copies. Elden Ring sold 12. Black Myth Wukong sold 10 million, right? The, these are not... Uh, easy numbers to achieve. <laughs> the best games nope. of the year are sending 10, 10 million copies, right? Like that is the best of the best. And you're putting out a game that can't even break even if it doesn't sell 6 million copies. Well, I'm, we now have it confirmed. <laughs> even the best of the Gollum likes only get up to about a million sales. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's tough, man. It's, it's a tough it's industry. I feel, I feel like gaming is currently in, this, in the same space, like the big budget movies. They just throw out all these all this money and think they make like the next big blockbuster movie or big blockbuster game. And they start to realize, oh, we're spending all this money and we get too like nothing back. Too. Uh, Every game Concord's has to be losing the fucking hundreds of millions. Bomb. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You know, we can't uh, just make consistently decent games that sell consistently decently well and well, build can, up a reputation but... over time. No, you no, no. Can. Everything has to be the biggest thing ever, the best thing ever. <laughs> Understood. Um, when you've got somebody, you know, like Sony saying, we spent $250 million on Spider-Man 2 and we need to not do that anymore. That's a lot of money to spend on a video game. That's mm -hmm. a lot of money, right? Oh, yeah. $300 million on, on this, the 200 or maybe 400 on on Concord, right? Like, there's hundreds of millions of dollars being spent on these games and they are failing horrifically uh, it's just unsustainable especially as you mentioned earlier with the idea that every two years we're coming out with these games that you have to play forever i just i agree that there's an industry problem i do but then to say that also <laughs> yeah um well, also, it's misogyny. That's what it actually is. <laughs> it's very... Uh, we're done with the articles. We've got to move on. We're running out of time for reasonable things. Because uh, we've got a whole other video we got to cover. <laughs>
this. Yeah. Wait, really? Yeah. Yes. Oh, fuck. So uh, it's really suitable because of all the talk we just had about the nature of the industry, how things are reviewed, the interaction between like companies and games, and then of course the seven out of ten spam. Before I show you what what we're covering, because my god, it's quite the video. I want to make everyone aware that we're plushies, okay? This is currently what? being sold. Hooray. Halloween time. Here they are. Loosely climbers. Link in the description <clears throat> if you want the spooky variants of all of us as plushies. And there's an EFAB mm -hmm. Halloween hoodie. Just letting you know, in case you didn't already, to pick up these wonderful fellas. Look at them. Woohoo! So, anyway. <laughs> Buy them. Someone they are wonderful. very selflessly decided to explain why we have so many 7 out of 10s. An industry expert, you might even say. Oh my uh, goodness. Uh, her <laughs> name the gamer? is Alana Pierce. I can't oh, believe it's goodness. Now, the, the reason you're actually oh, like, why, 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 why are you picking, this, on, why are you picking right. on this one? And I'd be like, listen, okay, first of all, I'd like to know the truth about 7 out of 10 game reviews. A lot of what she says in here is relevant to what we've been talking about today. And the really crazy part, everybody, her fucking comment section is angry with her for this video. So, well, what yeah, happened? she has a permanent disability. What happened? Yeah, well, that's the last time she came up on EFAP was the um, situational disability shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is that. Okay, it's got her. Jim Sterling video, but um, all right, I'll I'll just you I, know what, I'll just let well, it go. Just real quick, just just real quick, I gotta be like quickly primed in this person. Who is this person? Uh, Fringy, I feel like you know better than me, but you're not. Santa here. Monica Studios. Uh, Did she start out as? I believe. Is well, wait. She, she gives you some history, actually, so it's it'll work out. Her, okay, she okay. She's gonna give you some history on who she is. So we'll, we'll be fine. I can't believe it's happened again. I'm sick of seeing it everywhere. It just, it haunts me. It's in my nightmares. It's in all of my waking hours. It's everywhere. The number seven. Another games journalist has <laughs> given another video game a seven out of 10. And today I'm gonna to tell you why that's fairly common actually, because there is like a pretty good reason for it, or maybe not necessarily a good reason. I'm not trying to call this reason in any direction. It's just a reason that you see seven out of 10s as being common. I feel like, already that this is like a defense video why is it that, so charged considering she's in yeah it's already I also feel like yeah, it's already charged to be in defense of it yeah. i feel like her microphone settings are off or something as well she it's bad yeah the s's are very piercing and it's at the same time kinda... alana piercing is it... as if no. it's somehow like no. strange for some individual online to have seen hey a lot of games that i think are of very disparate qualities are getting seven out of tens let's i think that's kind of weird let's put it this way the intro could be a good intro, or or yeah. rather, a, a an intro that's not offensive as part of a strong video. Her reasons. Uh, uh, <laughs> this is not the right intro for what she ends up saying. I'm Let's put it that way. I'm concerned about the framing already. Oh, you're gonna love it, Theo. I particularly want your opinion on this video. You're gonna hate oh, it. No. Oh, that's always good. Yeah. Yeah. The <laughs> <laughs> to the extent where we now sometimes refer to seven as like an average, which is weird, but allow me to explain. First, if you don't know me, sometimes people meme on me for mentioning this, but you'd be surprised the amount of people who comment on my videos who don't even know what my current job is and assume that I'm a full-time YouTuber, let alone a job I used to have. So that's why I sometimes say it. That's not even remotely a surprise. Most people yeah, wouldn't know that even if they're following your YouTube channel, because you'd have to be talking about it all the time compared to what you currently... I just, mm -hmm. You know what? It's, it's fine. Continue. Plenty of people stumble across videos for all kinds of reasons. You carry on. Turns out people don't know stuff. And I used to work at IGN. I was a writer there for three whole years. I'm so sorry. Three years <laughs> of writing IGN I'm articles. Scary. I can't wow. help you now, but <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Which makes me exceptionally qualified. The most professional, lauded source on the internet, educated to such a high degree. <laughs> I started and I feel like that really sells it. The one person on the planet equipped to tell you that step one before we get in. So you see you're joking, but yeah, you're not. Yeah. Why? She's not joking. You're yeah, not joking in the um, sense that you have the authority to explain why they're sevens, because IGN is the main culprit, right? Isn't that the whole point she brought this up? I mean, it's certainly the one that's being used as a reference for it her. It feels as though to me, she was like, of it. I got to cite my authority on this, but I I need to come across at least a little somewhat, you know, <laughs> normal. Well, it's for, for this topic specifically. Normally, it's like the IGN 7 out of 10. She's citing the IGN experience yes. of why she can tell you yeah. about what the Which you can be candid is, about. Yeah. You don't need to say 
you don't need to do it this way, you know? You don't need to couch it this way. You just be like, hey, this is why they did it from my end. And what's funny is, I don't feel like there's any confusion, because we, we were just talking about it a little earlier as to why they do 7 out of 10s. Um, we can see how the industry evolved such that it ended up that way, but it's dumb as fuck, to the point where we have to, as Fring was mentioning, the decimal points, because we've removed a whole section of numbers as valid because of just how things moved along over time. Obviously not a new mm -hmm. thing. Then to the rest of this video, some of y'all take game reviews way too seriously. I will explain why the 7 out of 10 is so common and why it's memed because it's so common and that it doesn't make sense. I feel like so many conversations about game reviews would be like so much more chill if you just remember that it's just some fuck- it's, Wait, sorry. I Did she say that people take them too seriously, game reviews? Yes. She did. Yeah. But like game reviews have a tangible impact on like the video game industry. So uh, yeah, yeah no, might, you don't like, understand. It's like, just I games. Think these numbers are stupid. Well, people it depends on what she numbers. means by uh, takes too seriously. If she's talking about people who like will kill themselves if One a game they like gets a particular number, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, it's like yeah, well, sure, but, crazy, but if she means, of, I don't know, what was that, that thing of like where Fallout New Vegas because I got like a certain Metacritic score that. Obsidian didn't get like a bonus because yep. they needed to get it above the score, so they matter. So well, and there's lots of money involved. There's lots well, of integrity the involved. Level. Reputation. There's all kinds of crazy, important, and serious things that one would care about that are involved in these things. So strange to say, yeah. And that it doesn't make sense. I feel like so many conversations about game reviews would be like so much more chill if you just remember that it's just some fucking guy's opinion. Oh, it is not just. And why the guy's then why the fuck and are even any of you wants... getting paid? Even if it was just some guy's opinion, can I be mad about some guy's opinion if I don't like it, please? No, I bet yeah. she's upset at people's opinions. Allowed. I bet she's been very upset at well, people's I mean, opinions. You, I mean, the video is clearly going to be a response to other people's opinions, so why do we care <laughs> yeah, about people's opinions? So, no. cool. I'm glad uh, we made so much progress today. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I, I now do remember who this person is, and this comes off as kind of disingenuous, because I'm pretty sure she's given the take a few times over the years that, like, you know, games are political, games are art, games matter, she's that sort of thing, cry, right? Yeah, yeah but opinions like, don't. And now you're sitting here saying that games don't matter? No, but, well, opinions on them don't. Or it's just... Okay. Right. Yeah, but the opinions are part of the analysis. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I used to be that fucking guy. It's oh, there you go. Some fucking guy has an opinion on something. That's that's all a game review is. The fucking guy who writes the review. Man, this is insightful. Who is no mm -hmm. more or less qualified to have an opinion on any other fucking guy on the street about a game. That is my genuine. What? Holy shit! Really? Um, an opinion. Can you? Okay. That is the opinion that I. I held. got lost there. What is she like? Was she? Was she saying that? She said that. She said no that matter who... who write these articles about games are no more or less qualified than a random person on the street. Um. I feel like what you about... shouldn't say that. <laughs> well, I, I was about to say like uh, there was two angles to this. The, one of the more important ones, I guess, is like, are you undermining your whole career? <laughs> like, what, why are you saying that? <laughs> That's what I mean. Yeah, like, would we accept yeah, this, this is from like... any other field of journalism to say that? How come games journalism? You you can be a games journalist without being more qualified to talk about the subject than a random person. But you know we what, would Rags? obviously not expect and... this from like. Any other maybe kind she's of right. She's talking about IGN reviewers, though. Well, obviously, less they're less, less. Qualified yeah. Than the guy on the street is more qualified, as qualified, guaranteed. Yeah, the cultural perception around video game reviewers has always been like fascinating to me because can you think of a single like professional group that is so openly reviled and mocked by like the entire like basis upon which they are built? Like, nobody <laughs> takes these people's opinions even remotely seriously, even like even in like fairly normy circles. People meme about IGN reviews and game yeah. journalists, people refer to easy modes as game journalist mode. It's yeah. because of how openly confrontational games journalists have been with it's gamers. Oh, so crazy. And it's like, Black Myth Wukong got, like, a lot of extra kudos for, like, pissing off games journalists, so it was just... Yeah, it happens. <laughs> ...when I did it and got paid for it. I personally do not consider game reviews to be journalism, even though they technically what? are by definition of the word, but again... They are, but I don't consider them. Okay. okay. I'll, I'll, hear you, this... I'll hear you out, but like, what then? What are they? <laughs> yeah, because yeah, like, this, this goes, you can go back all, all the way back to Gamergate with this shit, where, and obviously all the years between, 
where these people are saying like, listen, we're the experts. We understand media literacy. Ugh. We're the ones who are going to tell you what all this means. <laughs> and, that, and, why, and, and it's like, oh, so that's all. That was all bullshit this whole time, wasn't it? Okay. Even though they technically are by definition of the word, but again, it's just some fucking guy's opinion, man. And they certainly are not objective and do not strive to be and shouldn't be because they are opinion based. They are. Oh, how about the factual? <laughs> Can we reach yeah, that? What about factual? Just yeah. accurately yeah. describe what the video game is. That would be nice. Yeah. Yeah. Objectively. Yeah, and, and do it without. Did they some try views? to represent the thing without their own personal biases in some way? Can we do that? Yeah. Maybe? Or at least Please. like account oh, them or, oh, or you know, say that That's... you have them at the start of the, of the review, you know? Yeah, listen, when I watch, when I look at my, when I load up a, a site and I go to my Star Wars Outlaws review, I want an objective analysis on the way the beads move whenever I walk into the bar. <laughs> all right. I don't want that. I, that's, that's no place for subjectivity. I need the facts. No, like... ra that, that's a bizarre oversight, those beads, you know? <laughs> <laughs> One day. If one day someone you can in move my the beads more than the bodies and started saying I am a troll who lives under a bridge. Like I, I don't think I would be content with that's just their opinion. You know, <laughs> if they just start telling everyone that I am a troll, like a swamp monster living under a bridge, I think I think that that opinion is something that I would care to not have more of in the well, world. I, I would prefer it even if it is someone's opinion about a video game that they don't fucking lie. Whatever. That would be yeah. nice too. I, I mean, I'd assume they're lying about me being, you know, just dropped, in but... general. Well, the principle. Yeah. Maybe we should have them. less liars. More what do bridges have an internet connection? I'm just saying. Uh, I guess so. They are not reporting. They're just that fucking guy has an opinion. And to be clear, before somebody yeah. Dude, gets upset at me, up, not being sexist here, women can also be some fucking guy. Like Dude, I said, I, I wasn't even oh. remotely Dude, thinking about oh, that. Gamergate, like, <laughs> I wasn't even started Dude. because of some fucking guys. Dude, if you, oh, this <laughs> if, Dude, imagine you said as you're walking by, some people's like, "Hey guys," then you go, "Oh, I don't, I don't mean that a sexist way." <laughs> They're like, oh, yeah, okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's like I actually love women and respect them a lot. Actually. And you don't want women? You could be guys too. You're like, what? What do the... you mean? What? Stop! Just, just move on. You it's the meme of the people in the circle and someone just says something and then the one guy just does the thumbs up and they go back to talking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I used to be some fucking guy. Gender neutral. It's really just that the guy who does it for IGN has an editorial policy that he has to abide by, probably has more writing experience than the average person, and more people will read it. But So you're saying he's more qualified? No, oh, it's it. there. Despite all of that qualification, they're still not more qualified okay. to give better opinions on games, even if they're qualified to write. More informed, more experienced, better ways to translate the experience into words that people can read and understand. You know what I mean? Like none of that. No, no, it's just some guy having. An, he's just. It's just some guy. But that is really the only difference. No one's opinion on a video game is any more or less valid than anybody else's. Go the and own... fuck yourself. I disagree. No, my what opinions someone... are a lot more valid than other people's opinions. <laughs> what about the people that just you... lie to me in their reviews? Are they still valid? I feel like if someone. What if they tell me this isn't re a review about a Star Wars game, but it's actually. GTA. Someone's <laughs> reviewing Outlaws and they've spent like 200 hours on it versus a guy who spent four hours on it. I'm going to be like, well, yeah. I like, feel like one of them's well, going to know the game tells better. Me, what if someone tells me that the first person shooter mechanics in Super Mario World are really well balanced for the PvP <laughs> environment? Yeah. Fucking Jim Bob, who has played zero hours of Outlaws but left a negative, a negative like Metacritic review, is his opinion like just as valid <laughs> as yours? Yeah, Why should it just... be? If zero your opinion Jim Bob get a voice. Better, Jim Bob says if you can't have zero, a more qualified zero. review than someone who's not played it. Then, like, why are mm. we? Why do any of you people get paid? Is this all one big scam? Just, we're just denigrating the medium again, as if there's nothing interesting that can be said about things by digging into them more. Only exception to that, and like I oh. feel that way about films and stuff too. The only exception to that is when. In my opinion, someone who has a ton of expertise is the one reviewing something. Oh, what? Well, well, you're, you're supposed to use expertise. <laughs> What's yeah. that? That's the point of doing your job. A lot of. Can you, can you like? Expert. Can you just redo this whole thing? Yeah. Why <laughs> do you? Why do you speak when you're just going to like draw a trap door under yourself with the exception you're about to add? Like, I don't. Like, let me start with a statement. Them? Dud. Now let me well, be, continue with how you. that's wrong. What? We're just building sandcastles and kicking them over. That's what's happening right now. <laughs> How can someone time. who's a streamer for a living be so bad at, like, speaking? She is not a streamer for her living. Yeah, so she, she, said she, right. that's, she said that's no, what no, she she's does. Not a YouTuber no. is different. She is, she is the... No, she, did, she said I'm not a full-time YouTuber. She is... Uh, she works for Sony Santa Monica. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
But she has she's, a plenty she's of experience as a, a YouTuber, though. She's a part of the industry. In her videos that constantly defend the industry, well, there you go. There you go. She's, on, she's in. Tino, not just some fucking guy. Miyazaki, Hideo Kojima, not just some fucking guy. They go beyond... Can you stop doing this, that? You know, a lot of, it's actually a scale what the random you could pans have inward towards the lots person? of what different if... people at different levels who know different kinds of things it's not just what some if... guy and then tarantino that's actually what this, if this... miyazaki says something stupid yeah <laughs> well but the... it's like these this is a whole people fucking actually topic. make games we and may as well just do make videos so may as well just let her get past opinion... it it's uh she's yeah, just yeah. she already knows she's wrong about everything she's saying right now move on be a of some fucking guy in yeah, which yeah, 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 yeah. all of the rest of us exist, but otherwise, a hundred percent of us, IGN. So gets... just so you guys are clear on this us. topic about the truth about seven out of tens, the first point she makes is you shouldn't really care. So let's guys, let's get to the next one. Yeah, because none of us know what we're talking about. Yeah, yeah. They <laughs> pretty much. They are. You're just some fucking guy. Shut up. Nobody cares Stuffing. about some fucking guy. Gamespot, <laughs> kind of funny. You in my comment section. We're all just some fucking guy. Move it's on. actually pretty crazy when you think Can about it. Can we take a shot every time she says a fucking that. guy? We'd be dead. I'm going to give myself a bit more credit. All this just run by just a guy. <laughs> like, I'm the what guy. are any of us doing? Think about how many things you don't oh know. Oh my god. Dude. dude. We're really stuck on this. How many this. mistakes that you've uh, made. And you're still here. And that's to just the same as the rest of us. None all of us right. have any time. idea what's really going on. Next. We're just some fucking guy who got a job. They want to die. Have we done it? Is literally all of your peers. Can this be the How end of the insightful. section? Please. Okay, but first, yes. 7 out of 10. Here Why is it so common? Why does it feel like 7 out of 10 has become the average video game score, at it. the very least, in the AAA gaming space? Oh my well, god, it's so bad. You established all of this! Get on with it! <laughs> Why is everything a 7 out of 10? Why is it so common? What I happened know. to the other half of the scale? Why aren't we using it? In my opinion, it actually is. It's not the other half. It's the it's seventy percent. Because seven out of ten <laughs> has become average for AAA games, but maybe not for the reasons that most people would think. Important to note yeah. before we get into this that different websites do have different scales. Oh my god! Um, oh, my god. <laughs> oh no! Um, do we have to we ten minutes of this to get to the point? For Remember IGN, we went for the same scale as nine on for the, some other website. Do you have any feelings about reviews that you look up what their individual scales mean? Um, one thing that I see people mistake all the time is that they think a ten out of ten is a perfect score or that it's a perfect game. Yeah, for because IGN, it's for a example, full point. Mm. So the ten you can't get any better than ten. The ten on the right Jeez, side is supposed to represent maximum quality, and the ten on the left side means that it fulfilled maximum quality. If you think, <laughs> if you think one hundred percent means it's all good and perfect, you're wrong. Yeah, like, it, okay, it could have so gone to eleven out. Ted. Fuck yeah, it. why is it? It's, oh, fuck me. Well, a 10 does not, not mean perfect, it just means masterpiece, because no game is perfect. What is the website? Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. whoa, whoa, whoa. The website said that 10 out of 10 does mean perfect by their own metric. Also, you what do you mean? They all have different metrics. What do you mean a game can't be perfect, miss nobody's objective? That sounds like an objective mm, statement yeah, to me. Uh, exactly. Oh. Man, it actually is like a tangled web of like, damn, there's like four things wrong with the thing you said this. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I'm like, we'll off. just move oh, on. Oh yeah, every website has a different metric. Uh, except all of them, when they say 10, they don't mean perfect. Even the ones that e maybe explicitly say that that's what a 10 means. For Portal, and maybe also Deadly Premonition, and Doom 93, and Tunic. But that's the list of perfect video games completed. Unless you have anything to add. Wait, so you just said... Uh, no, it's fine. Don't it's fine. You know, no, it's a ha ha meme. It's a ha ha meme, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But, the floor is yours. Gungan Frontier. All your favorite Wait, what's characters happening? are there. Wait, wait, wait. You get to play Hang with Fambas and Falupa sets and plant trees on the moon. And the UI is a clam. 10 out of 10. Perfect game. There we go. Comprehensive list of perfect- I want to play the Gungan game. <laughs> <laughs> Why do they feel so entitled to waste your time, man? <laughs> <laughs> Don't, Don't worry. Know, man. Don't worry, because Theo. you're just some no, really. fucking guy. Sit down. We might. You know, there's just actually an extra guy. layer to this that you haven't considered. It's that it's not that your time is being wasted. It's that you are freely participating in helping us get rich off of this. So it's even worse than you think. Ah, Listen, yeah. we're a fifth good, of the actually. way through. We may actually start. It may happen. Get excited. Ooh, None exist. Promise? 10 out of 10 means masterpiece, right? It is a masterpiece. It doesn't mean it's perfect. But Maybe. for whatever website you use, I don't even know what the fuck. What use was that even to establish anyway? Well, how, well, how does that help any of this yeah, conversation? I, I, Who cares? I don't, I don't, it, so, it'll, it'll, maybe they'll come around. Involved in, I recommend checking out their individual scales. And if you look okay. at a 7 on the IGN scale, 7 means good. Not great, just good. When I worked there. Oh, so already. 
Yeah, okay. we got a problem, don't we? Yeah, so it still repeat? doesn't mean average. Good. Good is good. Average is average. That's two different things. Video games and movies and stuff sometimes. Dan Stapleton, the executive editor of reviews at IGN, told me to treat what score I would have if I was having trouble as what would I say if someone walked up to me on the street and asked. So, well, uh -huh. what does that even mean? Especially considering that you don't have any more or less qualification to talk about it than aforementioned guy on the street I asking you what the though. number like, would be. As opposed to what? When you're presenting it on a website? But then you told me to Wouldn't... treat it as though I'm on the street, so... Why, why should his... Why is his phrasing not the average gamer asking you the question, not average guy on the street? Does he... It's a website yeah. for gamers, for video game reviews. Shouldn't it be you phrased should cater as like, to what a video gamer would expect. Whatever immediately comes to mind as an average sort of number to represent the experience, as opposed to whatever you would have said to the guy on the street. That feels like such a weird way to think about it, but... I guess that's what she was told, and that's what they tell a lot of people over at IGN. A seven would be, yeah, it's good. It's not great. It's good. It's good. Because to be honest, assigning a score to however many thousand words you've written where you try to really explain every single nuance of this thing and why you do or don't like it. You work at IGN. All right. That's not, that's <laughs> like, <laughs> you guys don't do that. I'm sorry. Your work is laughable. Like, come on. <laughs> IGN is no, I'm it's sorry, the laughing like, stock of the gaming world. Like, what are you? Why do you? It's absolute pure word world. garbage. Like, it is completely <laughs> useless to everyone. It's the most disgusting practice that these people they, get paid to write that shit. What's what's the famous shit? Like, they said too much water in that one game. Yeah, that was for uh, <laughs> uh, one of the Pokemon yeah, remasters. Pokemon. Too, yeah. too, much too much water. Too much water. Yeah. The thing is, in in that, <laughs> I will defend time. that one. I will defend that one in in the case that. It's not the writer's fault. That was the editor's fault. That's, oh, well, that's I'll, IGN. I'll just go to other. I'll just go to other embarrass. Yeah, it's still IGN. So that's I don't care whose fault if it was. I, if it's someone hacked them, fair I enough. I feel like but... the other things we can point out is they gave Call of Duty Modern Warfare Three the old one like a nine. That is insane. It is not a nine out of ten. But they gave lots of Call of Duty games really high scores back then. Mm-hmm. It is extremely difficult and sucky, but it's just really important to audiences. Like it gets sucky. clearly so much engagement from these websites. People want the yes, opinions and you need to steal them. them to you need them views, and you'll do whatever mm -hmm. it takes. Yeah, it's, it's, I don't think she realizes right? what she's saying. It's kind of funny. Yeah. Little number. It generates so much discourse. It generated this video, technically, and probably many videos about seven out of ten or ten out of ten game reviews that exist on this platform. Audiences clearly. Of Man. Stop talking. Yeah, no, it's taking <laughs> forever. Very Whenever you're fucking ready. School. For writers, it sucks. But when you're having trouble being like, I For don't writers, know it sucks. It's your job. You got paid to do it. So let's calm down. What, it what, it what doesn't had, suck. Like a, like yeah, I'm sorry. Job. I refuse to agree with that. Like, yeah. oh, I can't yeah. average out a fucking number on a 1 to 10 scale. Are you kidding me? What am I going to do? I'm going to die. <laughs> <laughs> it's words to still to. How am I going to figure that out? Yeah, a good way to do it is what would you say someone came up to you on the street? So a seven is, it's good. It's no, okay. I would talk. And firstly, no, you, that... you, you want to hear a cool, cool trick? You can have a conversation with people that doesn't include a number scale. It's like, hey, what's about this game? It's like, yeah, so here's all the things I want to talk to you about. And then now you can gauge if you would like it or not. And then maybe I can put a number on that at the end if I really want to. But the number is kind of useless because I just told you all the things. And now you can see if that's interesting to you. I'm already saying more things that are more interesting. Just move on. I want to go to bed. No. And also, uh, Theo, you're still alive, right? I'm working on it. Yeah, I'm just tracking. Because uh, you would have died by now on certain videos, but this one, I think you... I'm just making sure I'm just checking your blood pressure every once in a while. That they does strong. encompass a lot of video games, especially when you're a reviewer. People who review games or play games professionally are, by virtue of the thing that is their job, playing a lot more video games than most people. Now, before you get mad at me for that, it's... Ooh. I don't you're playing a lot more <laughs> video games, but you're playing them a lot less deeply. For instance, you might, for instance, like people would often, it, it shouldn't surprise people, but it, it makes a lot of sense. A lot of people who develop games don't play their game very much because they're too busy working on the game. So then, they don't have... Like the, that Star Wars Outlaws game. Yeah, um, or just people who uh, are just pouring their heart and soul into making a game. You know, they don't have the time to spend necessarily playing that game and getting some sort of a organic or semi-organic like gameplay experience. They're too busy working on a game. So also, and many of the devs, like the director can just tell them what to do and they don't really know why they're doing it. They could just go in 
quite blind. I can guarantee you assets. several of the components that created what was Star Wars Outlaws did not have communication. Like, they, they did not yeah, know. Absolutely. I, I'm also curious, is she currently making the argument that some people are more qualified? Uh, no, yes, no, she would never say that. No, 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 no. That would be crazy. Like, is that is that actually what she's well, doing? Well, we'll roll it back. And you're a reviewer. People who review games or play games professionally are, by virtue of the thing that is their job, playing a lot more video games than most people. Now, before you get mad at me for that, it's just that they're allowed to do it during work hours. So they're playing more video games than every other human who has a job that is not in the games industry because they're allowed to play games at work. So, like, by... So that means they don't want to go home and do the thing that they would do at work. I think. I think. So Maybe. she's trying to find a nice way to say this part, but I'm gonna need to know what she means. It means because she's saying that like they're already playing at work while mo people who aren't in that job aren't. So their playtime, much like a normal person's would still have the game in it, meaning they are playing on average maybe more games than people do. It is like meaning what that they're more qualified. Mm -hmm. Say it. Mm -hmm. By default, they have more hours on any given day in which they can slash are playing video games. But because the average games journalist is able to play more video games than the average reader, it's kind of another uh -huh. reason that... Also, I, this association uh -huh. with... They I'm play waiting more video for any second yeah, for her to yeah, say yeah, like, they're more qualified. Judging the quality of She's games. She's moving so. around the what that means. It's like, tell yeah, me what it means, yeah. Alana. Mm -hmm. Tell me. The review is just some fucking guy's opinion. What somebody who has played a thousand games mm. thinks of a game is inherently going to be different to what oh, somebody who's only played. Different. Oh! Different. Yeah. Different. Sure, different. She's right about oh, it. Oh, God! Different. Different how? <laughs> but different how, Alana? Tell us, Alana. Yeah, say it. Played a hundred oh, games of a game. Just you are coming into that with that wealth of knowledge experience and wealth of that, knowledge wealth of does knowledge not sound from... like it's a difference it sounds like an improvement <laughs> the wealth of knowledge See, it... from just not even paying attention to the 50 games you played today. i know yeah, what matter nice. what does it matter if you play you off. what if you end up like the g-man guy who plays outlaws for four hours releases review which is a ten amount of misinformation at this point and you do that for 10 <laughs> games does that make you more of an expert than the guy who played outlaws for 10 hours and said oh it's shit if anything, all she's fucking saying is that the games these people play just blend together into a slurry of content stuff in yes. their mind, and they have nothing left to say about it. Yeah, seven sounds <laughs> or, or safe. Or maybe, maybe what she's <laughs> saying is this is a bit of a stretch, but maybe she's saying that um, the, the like the actual number of games will make you better at an analyzing games. Fair enough. But but at, at the start of the video, when she was talking about who's qualified, she's making like an argument from expertise, and there's no like degree of games journalism you can go to school and get. Right, so maybe maybe for her it's just entirely an, an argument from authority. Well, she she's stepping all over herself is kind of the point because we we already I don't think it's a hot take to say there are people who are more qualified and less qualified to talk about any given topic. Or yeah, it's like, that's totally chill. The fact that yeah. she wanted to avoid that because she wants to play the card of everyone's opinion is just as valid as everyone else's. But now simultaneously she's like, you will listen to my authority because it is my job to play games, and I worked for IGN, which uh, <laughs> look at me holier than thou. Oh, look, I'm better than you. I don't. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. But. <laughs> that is true. But anyway, moving on. He's like, yeah. wait, 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 wait. Side, there... side note: Did oh. somebody just like fucking tumble down the stairs just now? Like, what was that? That was Am. Yeah, he's okay. That was okay. me. <laughs> you okay there, buddy? I'm he's getting, crying I'm in his getting avatar. Getting destroyed. Yeah, Look right. at him. Tear it up. <laughs> Those set your You're getting destroyed. Like too, you huh? might find something bland or generic because you've played ten other games like it. If someone has played less games than you, they may not feel that way. Imagine somebody playing Star Wars Outlaws as their very first Ubisoft game. I... No! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Damn, this Ubisoft company's got to suck. Yeah. Mm. That'd be real it's also good for them for not playing a Ubisoft game. Yeah, that's the, <laughs> the takeaway. They resisted for so long. Myself was like, I'm kind of burned out of Star Wars. I'm kind of burnt out with the Ubisoft formula right now. This feels very samey. It's not grabbing me. So I tried and I decided that I wasn't going to play any more of it. You give it a seven? Did, did you, you, did you rate it a seven out of ten? <laughs> like, but Say someone it. who's never played a Ubisoft game before might be like, holy shit, this is crazy. What is this? We're all just a bunch of guys who have just fucking opinions. I don't know. Like, oh my god. So, I'm already a Oh bit, I'm already a little bit frustrated because it's like, what is oh, the criticism? Oh, yeah. oh, I'm kind of burnt out on Star Wars and the Ubisoft formula. Nothing there was saying that any of these things are bad. It's very soft criticism. Instead of, oh, well, imagine it's your first game because you don't know how much better they could be. Right? <laughs> like, that's it's, You know what I mean? Yeah, yes. no, I, I get it. I, I, I think I get what she's saying there. She's saying something like, because everyone has different tastes, no one's not saying it's can not. actually be. That's the thing. She's not saying everyone's got different experiences that define how they react yeah. to stimuli and everything. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. Get yeah, on yeah. with it. 
Holy shit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She already made this point like four times. Yeah. It was subjective. And, awesome. and it's impossible not to be subjective. Blah, 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 blah. All of the experiences oh, yeah. that right. you have had yep. into Come every on. opinion yep. that you follow. Yeah. Pretty yeah. much every And that's how you yeah, resolve obviously. it. It's just Moving on. an opinion. Secondly, I think there's a misconception well, that five <laughs> is supposed to mean. Wait, what was firstly again? What was first? <laughs> firstly was blah, 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 blah. The firstly is that we're all different. We all have different tastes. I thought we were all different tastes. Is that the first thing? We already did that. Yeah, it took her seven minutes to say it. You have opinions. You guys know that. Fuck, I'm trying to remember if there was an actual firstly for the 7 out of 10 shit, or was there not? <laughs> it I was, think it was just that. It was just the, that they're all subjective. Thing, yeah, Everyone has to... Okay, yeah. fine. Jesus. Great. I mean, average on the scales where it doesn't, at least not on any of that I've ever seen. Well, so, so here's five, the thing, though. That's mediocre industry, right there. This is, the, this is the easiest way to explain it. On Metacritic, a 60 or above is green. That's good. In the video game industry, it's got to be above 7.5 to be considered in the green. The, the, it is off. Like, when you say that a 7 is good, that's not how it's viewed in the film industry. A 6 is good in the film industry. Or a 6 is at least positive, right? Whereas here, a 7 out of 10 is, like, positive. That's, like, the lowest you can get. And even then, right, if it's, if it's rated in the, the orange, that's mixed reviews. The standard is off. It is. Yeah. Here, let, let, let me give you guys a hunch, okay? I have no evidence for this directly when it, when it relates to games, but this is where my, my intuition is going. Um, I spent a semester teaching high school, and I learned when, when doing that, because I was, I was on track to become a teacher. I didn't like it. I did like my, my test semester, then I said, I'm, I'm changing my degree. But um, I did that for a semester, and I learned that um, teachers cannot actually give students less than 45 in, in Canada, where I am. Um, and I think it's, I've, I've spoken to some American teachers. They say that roughly the same thing, like 40, 45. Even if the, the student never shows up to any class for the entire school year, you still must at least give them 45%. You can't, right. like, it's it's still a failure. But well, they say it, it hurts the student's self-esteem. If you give oh. them, like, the zero. When they didn't even turn up. Well, we wouldn't want to, well, yeah, well, we wouldn't want them to spare in the fucking... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's stupid. But, yeah, so so even if, like, uh, a student, you know, handed in a test and they got like twenty percent. I was required by the job oh, to give them forty five percent. She, we've still got a decent portion of video left. She will get to some right. things that are going to rock your right. world. Okay. J okay. J just, well, she better yeah, hurry I'll, the I'll fuck this. up. <laughs> fifteen seconds. Fifteen seconds. Okay. I think just that idea has kind of permeated everywhere, including games, where just you you can't give something someone a one or a two or a three. You're going to hurt their feelings. So now it's everything's a... been pushed up towards the top. Well, whether or not you're trying to explain why it might have happened in certain areas is one thing. It's not going to be the reason she gives. Okay. An opinion. Secondly, I think there's a misconception that five is supposed to mean average on the scales. I thought every reviewer had a different meaning for what these numbers mean. I guess she's specifically talking for IGN now, is it? Is that what she's doing? Um, well, is she? Like <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know say. if this is IGN's fucking list of scores it might be i mean this is the ign list oh there you go yeah, yeah. i think she's spoken That's specifially about ign where okay. it doesn't at least not on any of that i've ever seen a five for ign means no any, oh, any. Oh, no, means any i've media. ever seen okay yeah. so if not just ign then rip yep. <laughs> she is being stupid well how many times do you contradict yourself jesus a lot you describe but, it as something if, that is blind. isn't this a bad example though because five says mediocre isn't that average yeah, it is average. I mean, I mean, M E D. I mean, it, I mean it kind of is mediocre. Like, is like, like below average, average, I think. Well, it has very negative connotations. Yeah, I was actually going to say like whether or not. Oh, would you say okay represents the middle of the road? I think that well, because for the yeah, they have okay. a six fine for IGN you know? is okay, which basically means if you're below that, you're fucked. Yeah, on the IGN scale, all about seventy. Oh, oh no. I agree. Mediocre fine. has never been used to describe something being fine. No, mediocre like, has it is, just, it is at best. Mod I mean, it's like it's mediocre. It, 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 it's built into the etymology of it, but it means like of like the medium, moderate quality. And yes. But we use it to say that something, we use it in a negative way to describe something, so. All right. At least not on any of that I've ever seen. A five for IGN means mediocre. They describe oh, it go. as something that is bland and unremarkable, and I guess we... But here's the thing, like, it should say, because you prescriptively can say <laughs> what your rating system is, five should be average, you know?
that definition, I wouldn't be like super uncomfortable personally categorizing Star Wars Outlaws that way, maybe. I haven't played enough that I feel confident oh, wow. saying that. But <laughs> that becomes complicated when you realize how many games do fit below the five category. And that's kind of the point of this video. That's fine. Yeah. Then put oh, those fine. If a lot of games oh. are shit. That's fine. I mean, oh, that's get ready. You, you can't hurt their self-esteem. Below average. Oh, it's just gonna end up with fucking. This is gonna be paid for. bad points. Wait. We're not gonna get the fucking game early, so we can. I, I forgot. Just, just say it. I forgot how long it takes for it to actually get to these points, but these, this is. Mm. I can get excited now. Below the five category, and that's kind of the point of this video. Five is not actually baseline average, and it makes sense that most scores that these outlets give are going to be above a five because, in comparison to the amount of video games that come out, the AAA games that people are playing, the games that are popular enough for people to even be talking about them for somebody to need to write a review about them, are going to be in that upper category like there are so many video games that come out and the truth is most games that release are very 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 flawed most games that come out don't even have mm -hmm. an inch of the complexity that you see in something like star wars outlaws and you may why why are we talking about so already why are we talking about complexity when it comes to quality mm -hmm. yeah that's bullshit <laughs> already we're in a bad <laughs> really tetris, tetris is pretty straightforward uh, tetris is pretty tetris. simple you talking yeah, about that yeah. three out of ten game? Oh, oh no. I also love how we can just appeal to this fucking invisible other like avalanche of completely non-functional games to justify not using the majority of the scale. Yeah, that's yeah. Stupid. As if, like, like, point this, like, saying that. How often is foreign. IGN reviewing some random game that's on the new sellers list on I, Steam? I noticed that as they were going down the the review scoring thing. It's like as you got down the list, the games got progressively less real to the point that there was like game nobody games nobody's heard of, nobody will ever play. That's just shooting game twenty three. I'm just I'm already two, yeah. like <laughs> pissed off at the idea that I, I cannot games. rate Outlaws lower than apparently like a five or six because of its complexity. Yeah, what the fuck dumb. are you talking yeah, like, about? Who cares about the complexity? Super Mario it doesn't World work. isn't that complex compared to Star Wars Outlaws yeah. in a sense, you, but it's a way better, more polished, refined, well-designed, great game. Again, Vampire Survivors. It's just it's, you walking around and picking shit up. <laughs> if you shoot for the stars yeah. and miss, I think the guy who shot for the moon and landed will like have you beat. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I think so with some kind of like offense as though you think that Star Wars Outlaws is not complex. And that would be totally fair if you compare what? it to everything else that you've played. But if you compare it to Ooh. the games that come out, it has- Everything else you've played. <laughs> Why are we talking about complexity? It doesn't matter. You peasant. Um, yeah, it doesn't. Also, also just- it's so it has... cheap, like this invisible other games. What other games? Which ones? Are you literally talking about games. like the Steam asset flip garbage? Oh, yeah, if you yeah, like, what a great <laughs> question. <laughs> If we're talking about stupid clown games, just fucking who cares about them? They oh, get to give them to go uh, one. They can have well, why one. Why give them the power? <laughs> let's to influence let us continue, your scale shall like we? That. Let us let us delve deeper. <laughs> all, do all of the shit, to listen, all the shit played. phone games. They, they gotta have like one, to two, three, the four. games that come out, it has incredibly complex systems. Most games aren't even close to that level of complexity. Most games that release have one song. They have maybe two inputs. They have very few. One what song. Fucking game. The, the, the amount of tracks <laughs> the on the game, OST dude. adds to the complexity of the video game. Name it has five more tracks now. Uh, name the OST. Five. Cheat them in. Cheat them in has one song. That's true. This point yeah. goes out the window Tetris immediately unless she can name five yeah, three, games that match this description off the top of her head immediately. And any five Atari games will do, frankly. <laughs> Mechanics that just. You kind of press the same button over and over and over again. A lot of them crash all the time. What They're very buggy. Games? Sometimes they don't even have music. Most games that come out do. Well, Outlaws crashes all the time. Which <laughs> yeah, <laughs> crash quite a bit. Just but Rags, clear. Rags, the crashes are complex. So you know I you mean, have to get points for that. One of them certainly was complex. Yeah. Not Does she think the industry is still in the 1990s? Oh, God, I, I kind of want to. I want to ask that question actually. I, mean, like, I know there's so, one piece of information yeah. that's going to make all this make sense. So we're almost there. I'm just Bing Bing Wahoo One Up is still what games are doing, except when Star Wars Outlaws comes out. Like <laughs> what? <laughs> come out. Do not have even like an inch of the complexity or nuance that you are used to in nuance. AAA video games. That that you are used to. Bad UI, oh, unintuitive controls, me. just all of the things that net them somewhere between one to five on a game review scale. Between that one means to that five they for these the non-functional non-games. <laughs> five to ten for the other games. Listen, those games had to had to die so that Outlaws 
it could crawl. Could Buffy crash. Name them now. <laughs> name them. Basically, at a point where hundreds, if not thousands, of games are released every single day, usually from one person teams who do not do it full time, you don't even hear about these. Is games, that true? I'm gonna do an. Well, if we don't oh, even yeah. hear about them, then why are you allowing it to impact the scales of these you incredibly popular sites? You used to tell other people sites. about games. And to thousands of games a day? Games. What, what I, if this one random that game number. that no one's ever heard of is really bad? That's why Star Wars Outlaws is a 7, because it's more complex than <laughs> it's that just game. It's so that bad, bad because guy made some guy made a thing that was from... terrible. Well, you see, it's so bad it has to occupy every fucking number from 1 to 6. It's like <laughs> that's, it's, that, it that took sounds like a really scale, complex guys. game. Listen, to take up I, that much of the scale. I am thoroughly like in a position of enjoying the fact that she's framing this as though you're not aware that there are trash games that get made in the world. Like you don't know about <laughs> this. <laughs> you wouldn't know we because you, consumer, you only play the AAA games. But me, an advanced IGN ex employee, gaming master professional, can tell you. That there are such games that barely even work. Can you believe it? Wait, a game that barely even works? That'd be crazy, man. That's so nuts. Especially if it was like a Star Wars game. Especially if they spent hundreds of millions of dollars on it. Yeah. Experiment for you all right now. I'm Ooh. going to boot up the three most recent releases on Steam and play them for you right now. I don't know what they are. This is not rehearsed. It's not going to be the games on the bestsellers list, yeah, just is. the most recent releases, new releases on Steam, and I will show you exactly what I'm talking about of like what majority of video games that release actually look like. Okay, everybody, I've done She says mm -hmm. this like we're not going to have any concept of what we're about to experience. It's so oh, condescending. This... It's insane. There's weird games on Steam. Whoa, you're going to check out the fucking community tabs and shit, all the crazy, the, the alpha awful things that people just shove on there the fucking like copycat nonsense the asset flips did you know all these things exist that's why outlaws isn't as bad as you thought are you we serious this, like... what like what era are you from we already know about all this. bad games have existed forever what are you talking about the program downloaded the three most recent releases on steam they are doll catching simulator future breach youngblood which is free to play so that's pretty cool. And Zool Dungeon. Let's start with Doll Catching Simulator. Um, I need settings so I can... What's this? It immediately oh, crashed. Right tried to change the aspect ratio and it immediately crashed. Uh, this oh. time it didn't even have a menu. Um, cat? Oh, AD key, switch the call machine. Enter key select. So is she, is she trying to find Enter key, bad inserts like, points. What is she doing Enter. right now? AD She's trying to key. prove you that your average game are... on Steam means the Outlaws is good. This has physics, which is actually pretty okay. cool. Enter. Just like in real life, they've nailed it, to be honest. Pick it up, pick it up. We got a cat! Huge! This game's better than Outlaws, Am I the by the way. First? <laughs> <laughs> this, this seems more functional than Outlaws. Not bad. What was it called? Doll and Catching Simulator Speedrunner? I might be. Um, I feel like that's maybe it. I did get a couple of cats. Look at me go. I like this. This is cool. That. Did you say I feel like this may be it? As well. So how you so, like you don't even know How do you think the person who made this or the people who made this feel about you essentially like doing some fucking journalistic tourism through its neighborhood <laughs> being like, "Hey, I need to find some some of the some shit trash. like garbage pisser games that have been coming out on Steam. Uh let's have a look at this one and be like, "Oh, this is quaint and nice." But anyway, this game right here is why 1 to 6 can't be used, because this game belongs there. This is why Outlaws should be respected, this shit trash. There's, <laughs> well, there's each number, each number on the scale only has enough room, so yeah. there's not enough room in 1 through 6 anymore. Because all of those random games that you've never heard of that the guy in Moscow made for, you know, it, we just you can't do it. But it just so happens that around the 6 mark, we start we start having openings. The rooms are opening again, know? yes. Yeah. Ooh. Turns out those are oh. some hotels open it up. Plenty of rooms available. Let's go. At is doll catching simulator. It functions, to be honest, very simple. The art is not great. Um, but it works. Seven out of ten. Next what? Was that a bit? That better that was, that was, that was, that was um, a meme. I hope so. But, but like this is, this is not if, the time for a bit. Yeah. We need to know no. what this we need analysis, don't we? We do. Well, no, what you we... need smarm. Just well, we have uh... Zool Dungeon. I have no idea what this is. Trap? Zool, not enough. Uh, unlock trap first. Okay, okay. 
right click to spawn your, your monster. Click him. You select monster. Spawn him. Click him. Spawn him. I, I don't appreciate the reading things as though they're insane thing you're doing. I, I really yeah, just, just don't trust in, any of this person's base impressions. HP point like, uh, on summon? HP? I, I guess that means like health H points H or maybe hit, hit points, maybe? D like yeah. F one Speed? Like Dungeons one? and Dragons? Maybe this is an homage to Dungeons and Dragons? H Hunter, Do level D two? Because this level is two? edited, I just don't have any faith that she's not just cutting out like explanatory things about the game that it might have led with. I don't know. I have no faith in this person to be honest with me about the game I'm looking at because of the way this is presented. What's the timer for? Why am I being timed? The surviving hunter, hunter, destroy hunter camp. I'm, I'm earning money, I think, maybe? Oh, this text. Increase base HP PT on summon. Yeah, those the are GTA symbols text? that represent really like, letters. The thing, those, they I, represent yeah. sounds and they create words. Whatever, and the words have like shared understandings. And... Increase movement speed on... Increase movement speed on. Oh yeah, okay. I can wait. I can give him little buffs. That's cool. So now we got like a jacked up hobu. Am I trying to kill these guys? Oh okay, yeah. Okay, got it. I think this is maybe I just spawn these in to kill these dudes. Oh, did I lose? Oh. Uh... Well, that's Zul Dungeon. Do you think that is sufficient to know what the fuck I... <laughs> that was? What was that? I don't know. I, I I don't know. As a I feel like the uh, door. Yeah, I got nothing. Z O U L dungeon. What is even the Compelling. point of this exercise if you're going I to don't know. <laughs> Zul Dungeon is a game. Future Young Blood, a game that is. Wait, did she give a number for that bucks. one at least? Yeah, we're done with that one. We yeah. get, get one go. Compelling. Last but not least. I, she called I it compelling. It's, it's like a. I, I think it's like a Kagero game almost. If you guys played that series. No. No. Okay, sounds like Kagero... one of those games I don't play. Kagro is basically, um, you have a map, and usually the map's some kind of mansion, and there's, like, dumb teenagers who show up, and they're like, we're gonna explore this haunted mansion, and then you being the ghost, you lay down traps for them to get caught. Because this video in. killed me, so I'm a ghost now, that's true. It's lore yes. accurate. I see, I see. <laughs> but, but, the, but the idea is, like, you set up traps for invaders into the house to fall into. And well, the more yeah, this... traps, the more points you get. Well, this says, yeah, Zul Dungeon is a strategic dungeon defense game where you take on the role of a dungeon master. Summon monsters, yeah. upgrade your lair, and set traps to fend off waves of greedy adventurers. Protect mm. your treasures and prove your worth as the ultimate dungeon overlord. It released on September 11th, 2024. Oh, no. So, <laughs> yeah. these, these are, these, these can be fun games, actually. This is what I mean. Like yeah. the they don't even. Uh, I'll just, we'll just let it get through the three. Is Future Young Blood a game that is apparently made with Unity? Uh game hello this is a preview build to show the initial gameplay later versions will what are we doing what's happening in this video doesn't go visual she's, she's telling, game us... Oh, okay. she's telling us so... I can't okay. do this right. as it turns out future breach young blood was just a demo so i'm gonna go back we just get get a demo. With a demo. the steam library or the demo you don't need to buy it it's a demonstration yeah that's what it's short for <laughs> you know that right <laughs> up, 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 up. deep in the dungeon i need to reach floor 240 to escape from here okay i like the music not something i could see myself playing for a super long time what the fuck was even we don't even what the i don't even <laughs> what? know what's happening yet deep so in the dungeon, i feel like this has dramatically 11. backfired uh mm -hmm. yep. almost completely to the point of actually making brand new random games on steam look pretty fun like, you can just find yeah. all kinds of things. I think yep. she was desperate to find absolutely trashware, like, just nonsense crap, and she didn't. And she's like, fuck. <laughs> like, well, th th this is <laughs> So it's like a, a tile. <laughs> yeah, it's, it says, it's a roguelike game where players explore a mysterious dungeon. Monsters and items are randomly placed each time, adding unique challenges to every playthrough. Your goal is to find the way out using your skills and strategy to fight and survive. So there's like, I guess there's tiles and you have to go through and you could unlock things and upgrade your guy and do stuff. That yeah. sounds okay. awful. And then you have to get through enough like monsters and tiles, you know, I guess, to get to the after end. After everything you just said, right? I, suddenly I just feel the urge to say that Star Wars Outlaws is actually a seven. Turns out. Mm, yeah. True. <laughs> there's probably only one song too. But you said At it was this good. rate, um, but it's really just arrow keys, which means you can move just through it pretty far. Of course, it fucking, that's what Tetris is. That's how a lot yeah, of games why would work. You run into the... I don't know. This is so. Into the big golem, dude. I don't even this know what to so do with this. Gross like, to me. You can hear just, her just yeah. tapping so, down. Like she's, she's not even paying attention. She has no idea what's it. going on. 
if yeah, you just go back a bit, she's going through all the all the selections of each of each row and just like, oh, just go down, 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 down. This should terrify you as a game dev to have like to have IGN review your game. Yeah, it's a fucking this fucking dumbass. She introduced in the video that she was like more qualified because not only has she got so much experience playing games, playing them professionally on YouTube, having worked for IGN, she now works with Santa Monica, and this is her assessment of video games. Like what? How did what? This has vibes to me of like the rich person. Yeah, let's go and see how the poor. Yes. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> this, isn't, this isn't even worthy of my attention. Oh, look at the cute pixel graphics. How, how can you be this experienced with video games? It's be... actually really disgusting. I She's this confused. She doesn't know what's like happening. This. Dev's totally right. You can tell the idea is you have the options to choose and you'll have you know, risk, reward, benefits, and losses. It'll lead you to different pathways that can get you to You're supposed to consider where you're going. Then she starts spamming the down button. She's like, I guess you just press keys. Oh, what a, well, yes, this is brilliant. Really is 100%. This is really as refined as Alan Wake 2. Like, just writing <laughs> off what these people have tried to make. It's so fucking gross. Yeah, this is... Yeah. Look yes. at this. You can Actually clearly tell someone yourself. made a thing here. They didn't just... Like, it's not... They you know what I mean? something. Ugh. This person made a game and put it out into the world. That's more than you're ever gonna fucking do. Oh, shit. Yeah, <laughs> they didn't ramble in front of a webcam for... Dude, I'm so minutes. upset. Is there an accessibility it, it, option for... Leave these people the people? fuck alone. Yeah, but so you have to understand if you, just... peasant, knew about these games, you'd understand why Outlaws deserves a seven. <laughs> ah, yes. Yeah, so, so just just pressing down is like booting up FTL and then saying, oh, you're just clicking on things. <laughs> if I spam. Well, there's, there's a lot to FTL, actually. Dude, imagine I booted oh, up yeah. Tetris when it was first fucking released and I put it in this video that I spab up, that it goes shape, 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 up to the top, defeated or whatever. And I go, ooh, okay. Well, <laughs> a bit Fuck, awkward. You deserve being used <laughs> like, to your fucking I tried to put all the colors safari. close to each other. Yeah, like, 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 I press the, the buttons that I just lose, I guess. Okay, no, good game. Yeah. How come the colors aren't <laughs> matching? I'm putting all the colors together, but they're not going anywhere. Shitty game. Time. At this rate, um, but it's really just arrow keys, which means you can move through it pretty far. I fucking hate like this. Down, <laughs> down, 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 down. <laughs> this is a good Maybe screenshot, though, I will say. You, idiot. you have been defeated. Yeah, Look she, at her face. Walked... She's like, what? She but I was pressing into the keys. a giant goal. Right into the big defeated. golem, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, it seems like the nature of whatever you decide, what pathway you use, will, like, it'll hurt your HP or do things like that. Like, it simulates a fight. So you have mm -hmm. to pick the you know, the least resistant fight as you can and then make your upgrades to Do you remember, you know, deal with different stuff. Yeah, I mean, it was like the, um, those shields and stuff, so you can probably pick up those, like, more defense. You can go no, verify no, this, by the way. potions, there was gold. Myself, yeah. I th I'm pretty sure Rags, I'm not 100% sure, but Fringy and Metal, definitely. When we played those arcade games in Outlaws, we were like, this is a better game than Outlaws. <laughs> <laughs> and you might yes, be like, that's absurd. Were. And it's like, it's not. It's actually not absurd. <laughs> The scale of the game these... functions well, and it has rules, and it yeah. requires your input and skill and knowledge to be able to succeed. Like it, it fucking sa even if it's, even if it's simple, Alana. <laughs> it's, right? it, oh, it's so annoying. Like built an entire fucking section of the video to just shit on people's creative works because they have the audacity if... to not have lots of money and resources. And Go if she can't yourself. handle, if she can't handle these games that are by her. Admittance very simple and not at all complex. What makes me think that you can handle a game that is complex, like is Star Wars? Even Outlaws. remotely give them a fair <laughs> shot. She went in expecting them to be like terrible, shitty, and garbage. Like she was stupid. going to the fucking leper colony. Like, dude, yes. <laughs> it's so like you didn't even need to give yourself this weird, I don't know, rule. Like, if you want to show what shit games are on Steam, d just look for the shit games on Steam. The best version right? of what she was saying wouldn't have involved any of this. This was a huge mistake, what she did here. Yeah. It would instead be, you can have games that qualify as games, maybe, it's, it's kind of a murky area, but a 1 out of 10 is like a game that's barely able to be function, and, and you start it up, and it's like you've completed it in two seconds, and it's, it's like a flash of imagery. It's like, that's kind of how I rate a 1 out of 10. She could have said it like that. I and mean, then she could have said, so Outlaws is almost like an automatic 5 with how much functionality there is, though... There's so much more conversation to be had, but like this was the the worst way you could have approached trying to explain this. Austin, it's you know what? It's pretty fun. It's hey, it's not bad. You get the idea. Probably the top ten. No, no, not even I didn't. close. I have no idea what you're trying. You said that a game is more complex, therefore better because it has a, more songs in the OST. Woman, I have no idea what the fuck you mean.
So it's time for her to explain. I'm sure we're going to understand okay, that. Okay, here we go. Looks like okay. that kind of thing. Maybe even more than that. And websites like IGN have to effectively reserve the lower half of their scales for those games because those games exist. No, they don't. Do they even review they really these don't. games? So, <laughs> thanks for just putting they... all of these games in the one to five after being like, oh, yeah, this is nice yeah, it's, and quaint. This is pretty fun. You, Four out of ten. You embarrassing okay. fucks I, I are relegated <laughs> to a maximum of five out of ten. That's what you are. What is happening? See, I, 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 don't know have... about, I don't know about the the first of the game but the first uh however the second and third ones they could probably be higher than a five i think it's so like, stupid I, I i get i get mad about the fucking preamble thing but like this is like personally offensive to me it's so fucking gross to treat people's creative works this way just because like uh that they don't have much exposure they don't have many resources they're just making a thing they think might be neat and throwing it on steam not enough bodies on the project you're a max five out of ten boy don't even You're try. Right. Out, we were gonna go we fuck were, yourself. We we'll look at Balatro. Down in four, but there's just way too many games in four. So luckily, you get bumped up to a five. Dude, imagine she stumbled across Balatro because she like on the day of release didn't realize or anything. She just picks it up, plays it, and she's like, "See, it's kind of eh, the graphics are not very good." Yeah, I, I just imagine her with like yeah. many of like the great indie games that way. Like she picks up Slay the Spire and is like, "Oh, I guess you click on cards and then you throw them Super around." Super Meat Boy. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Fucking Rain World, like just any of these things. Just dude, if it was Super Meat Boy, wow, she would have been like, "Me of the oh, little paper things in real life." It's like Free the Mario, but you know, not good. Uh, well, anyway, moving on. Just, just tr like so dismissive, and and removing all context from a viewer, so that we like. I guess we didn't say it, but like part of why that's a good move for her is because we can be more confused and be like, "Wow, that game looked weird. I don't know what was mm -hmm. going on there." I 100% believe that at least one of those games had some explanatory, like, preamble that was cut. Probably, yeah. <laughs> they just very rarely review them because most people don't know what they are. Like, if people aren't such... People don't... They don't right. review they them don't because know people what don't know they what they are. are. If, you're really reviewing them. Them, if you're really reviewing them, then what's the point of reserving a huge amount of your scales for stuff that essentially it's barely ever covered? For the, the mysterious dark universe of bad like, games out there that we don't talk about no <laughs> we don't talk about scale. them that's why we have a space yeah. for them <laughs> oh, what? Oh, God. but also to say that we don't talk about them because people don't know about them that's not a good reason oh, to not talk about a game unless yeah, you're obviously exactly. doing it solely for engagement but I guess she's already admitted uh, that mm-hmm mm -hmm watching for them people aren't really trying to figure out if they need to buy them or not so you don't really need to write a review for them oh well no because you, the, the, i mean the system ordains that they're not worthwhile right she's already made <laughs> that well, clear there, there, hold on there's there's actually a half decent point here right because it, uh, if you want to know it yeah yeah i think so if you want to know if star wars outlaws is worthy of spending 70 dollars well you should probably read a review but a two dollar game you can just buy it, just two bucks right uh, so probably like really cheap games you don't really need to review them as often i think what about time saving and just the fact literally the, all the examples we just brought up like are you supposed to go buy a shit ton of indie games and test them all out or would you rely on a site that you think is trustworthy to say hey we do this professionally you should check out Bellatro and you're like oh Hold okay on, where's, the, where's the simple interest in the analysis of art what, why wouldn't that just be enough it's like well yeah I mean we, we cover video games well, and this is a video game so and even let's if, cover it even if we want to say two dollars is just two dollars it's like well what about when you times that by a hundred because of you daily just searching yeah. for video games and then all the time it takes I don't know like listen I, listen all right I agree with, I agree with all this I'm just doing my best to try to throw her a bone here okay only throw valid bones don't just throw bones <laughs> <laughs> For, so why does this person? Bones? Why does this person get charitability after how she treated those three fucking games? Like, well, <laughs> hello, hello. Oh, I thought my I thought my internet just died. I, I no, saying, that, was actually, perfectly that was directed at Dev, right? I think. Oh, oh, yeah. gee, Jesus! Sorry. Um, I mean, I guess she doesn't. All right then. But in case one goes viral, like the day before, for example, very bad basic video game they still need to have that bottom half of the scale there i'd love to know how you've determined it's a bad game that doesn't apply to outlaws i'd love to know because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. outlaws kind of remarkably fails in almost everything it does in some significant substantive way so i'd be yeah I'd, yeah i'd be real interested for those games and when you well, consider no, it was published by ubisoft which means it that can't. it is automatically at least a five or above which has a distinct, distinct cringe to it, doesn't it? Electronics, yeah, yeah. Arts, Activision, 
Uh, if it's published by any of the, or Sony or Microsoft, if it's published by any of these companies, it won't go below. How often has there ever been a game that was released by one of these major publishers that IGN gave less than a five? Well, that's why I, I would I'm say seriously struggling to think of one. That's why I say this is accidentally uh, insightful because she is trying yeah. to give us like what she would consider to be substantive or reasonable reasons for why this is happening. But what we're learning is. We can't give those companies lower scores than X because they are, of course, too good to make such trash. They would never. And it's like, that's and then, interesting. That feels a little uh, about that incestuous stuff we were talking about before. So, so there's like an inverted part of that argument, too, where any indie game that doesn't blow up like Undertale or Stardew Valley or something, they always get five or below. Even if they're good indie games. Yeah. Well, that's what yeah, that's what we're bringing up. She said they were capped out at fucking five. That's what they. That's their space. That's where they belong. Which is so fucked up. Yeah. I mean, I, uh, I I've seen this video before. I, I did a video on IGN maybe a year ago, um, looking at the games that they review under a six. Uh, there aren't many right that are from big developers. You've got like Cyberpunk uh, on the PS4. That one was like a four out of ten. And I would argue should have been much lower. Uh, it didn't function. And I think functionality is a part. But even that reveals, right, that it's a major release and it is non-functional and it's still a 4 out of 10 because it didn't work on the PS4 when it came. It did not function, did not turn on, and was still a 4 out of 10. I guess a weird thing about that is is that... Like, theoretically, assuming this is the case, those technical issues would eventually get fixed, right? Fixed, But right? that's... Does, does, you, does are you score... doing a review? No, no, no. What, what I mean is, like, does the score then get updated? No, no, no. Score does not update. They do not update scores. Okay, so the score is no longer reflective of the product that is currently for sale. Like, Correct. I mean that yeah. in terms of it being, like, useless for the vast majority of its lifespan. I don't useless necessarily... for every game, right? Like, any game that ever gets an update, the score is useless. And part of I wouldn't that... say that's necessarily useless. Like, it depends on how transformative of the game the update is, right? So any game that gets a substantive update, I'll, I'll add that word there since uh, that was a, a, clearly a point for you there. Um, the, the issue is that when you are producing something that is going into Metacritic, Metacritic's not going to update it. And they don't care about anything beyond that right? They're looking for your day one clicks, they're looking for Metacritic, mm -hmm. and after that, IGN just doesn't give a fuck, right? They're yeah. only going to care about everything. Oh, it, it, the, she brought up the day be, before uh, game, right? Like, the only... They did that review after the game was pulled. They did the review after the game was no longer for sale. You could not buy this game, they put out a review for it. So they only care about stuff that's on the day one. Um, and it, it seems very clear to me that when they're doing these things, it is incredibly mercenary and has no regard for consumers beyond just the day one thing. So when a game gets an update, no, it's never going to get a new score. When sure, a game I, gets... I don't disagree, but I'm saying, like, I guess in an idealized world, like, I would like it if going forward we have, like... I, I put no stock in these sites myself whatsoever. I think they're all completely worthless to me as a consumer. Yes. But... um theoretically in a world where they were to be useful it would be nice if you know we could have a score that is reflective of the product that exists yeah yeah but it just won't happen right and and like okay of course sure. it would be nice if it could i don't know how you could do it right like i'm not in any way defending it update I, the review I agree when an you. update comes out that's how you could do it i mean steam it has a better be... shot at this than most things with the the two scores right the yeah steam yeah steam is much better steam is a great way of doing it uh, IGN is trash, and they're never going to fix that because they don't care. They're incentivized. Oh, yeah, but care, that, right? that is actually the starting point for this video. We think it's trash, makes no sense, fuck this. And this video is like, wait, 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 I can explain. And what she's done so far is only explain how trash it is. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> how many games are like that? It starts to make a little more sense why you keep seeing AAA games on the other half of the scale. Like, That's nope. the breadth of the scale nope. that is being nope. considered. AAA games are inherently a oh lot more God. complex than majority no, of the games. No, they're not inherently. 
<laughs> no. Okay, I, I wanted to test the monster. Never heard of Dwarf yeah. Fortress. Factorio. <laughs> 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 the thing is, is, is that if you look at something like Star Wars Outlaws, in terms of its coding, it's probably a hell of a lot more complex than like any game on PlayStation Two. But as has been mentioned previously, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas has more games like complexity mean anything to me, and interactivity. The than uh so, than that game and and even if even if we agreed that complexity it had greater complexity what does that mean why would that be better necessarily why does that necessarily I, mean honestly, well you're at least a six or above i think she's using complexity because she doesn't want to have to admit a more complicated and like a like a thing that'll get her in more trouble a word like saying it's just better it has more things well, yeah, but, but how, do, how do we now score away the games that came out historically you know in the past that are considered to be great that are just Categorically less complex. He keeps referencing Tetris because it's now. a banger example. Tetris is a perfect example. Mm -hmm. Tetris is like actually about as close as you can probably get to the perfect game. Um, yeah, and it kills her whole it's, argument. It's, it's, it's a very simple game. It's very quick it's to very learn. Very straightforward. Yeah, straightforward, simple rules. Obviously, it has a great, great uh, deal of replay value and potentially added complexity, mm -hmm. especially if you got multiplayer and stuff like that. But the core is really simple. And what? That would mean that, hey, well, it's not as good as Star, Star Wars Outlaws has greater complexity, so therefore, yeah, I think you know, I, we, we have need to write to... it better than that. I need to know if... where she puts Tetris on the scale. Where is it? Tell yeah. me. <laughs> and if it's anywhere below a 9 or a 10. Well, I'm afraid, <laughs> by her rules, it should probably be 5 out of 10. It's the top oh, tier yeah, of D&D. Yeah. &D it is the best of yep. the... Top tier is garbage. I decided... <laughs> <laughs> it's a good garbage. I decided garbage. to kind of, kind of test some of the things that she said, right? So I, lo I looked up... So we, we all know that Star Wars Outlaws got 7 out of 10 from IGN. Mm -hmm. uh, Concord got 7 out of 10 from IGN. Suicide Squad got 5 out of 10. Ooh. My oh wow! Wow! And, uh, and like Redfall yeah. got four out of ten. Wow! And so that's like it, the only that's like the only recent one from a major publisher, then, isn't it? Yeah, and <laughs> even then, like large. four out of ten, I think is too high for Redfall. Like Redfall was a fucking disaster. Um, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. If it ended up being <laughs> so, so she's that. sitting here saying, like, "Well, we have to reserve this end of the scale for you know the big wigs." It's like, well. I guess that's what you've done then, because look, look at these these scores for these games. By the way, Tetris got a nine from IGN. <laughs> a nine. Okay. Why, why not a ten? Why not a ten? Uh, indeed. Uh, why not a ten? Tetris isn't magnificent or masterpiece. Oh, okay, it is it's a it's absolute is... by any normal reasonable standard. Tetris is nope, a masterpiece. Then it been a 10. That's the sort of the almost. thing. Almost, maybe one almost. Just like there, oh, loses man. points. Maybe one. Yeah, exactly. Nine out of ten What's too many blocks. <laughs> what is wrong with Tetris? Please it seems like me. it is pretty immaculately successful at everything it's trying to do. So uh, only one song. Yet? Well, only and then song. of course the next example oh, people will give <laughs> is either Pong or chess. It's like, tell me, what's wrong with Pong and chess? Go on. What is wrong with chess? Yeah, it's one of the flaws of chess. <laughs> uh, white side advantage, maybe. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> Broken so, fucking balancing. The queen is insane. It's a patch. <laughs> someone, someone in the chat someone in the chat asked uh what about what about dustborn ign gave dustborn seven out of ten guys <laughs> of course <laughs> you know, <why>? obviously <laughs> then majority of the games that come out every day so they are far 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 more deserving of the top five part of that scale the scale uh... is not just triple a does that make outlaws deserves that spot while those fucking games i looked at earlier were Ugh, trash. Yeah, it feels particularly awkward because it feels like the thing that looms over this whole video is Outlaws is so dysfunctional. Yes. It's it's not it's not a functional game. It's it's like broken to the core, not just because it's buggy. A lot of its inherent like ideas and 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 sort of like conceits as a game are uh, unpolished, unrefined, is... incomplete, or just yeah, like silly. It was discussed about three or four hours ago, right? The whole, it's crazy and bizarre that they oversighted on the moving the body thing. It's like, no, that's not a feature. It's just not in the game. They, they didn't put it no. in the game. It's not there. It doesn't work mm -hmm. that way. I'm sorry. Like the, the point being, of course, even if the game were fixed, it's crap. It would still be, yeah, even if it didn't have any bugs, it's it's screwed. It's, it's kind of the thing. You can't patch a lot of these problems. What, you're going to patch it in so that you can drive every vehicle? It, like, you can drive multiple vehicles, or that you can permanently acquire different weapons? Probably not. That's probably too difficult to implement in a patch. Well, the thing is, I could argue to her to hell and back that the game is incredibly simple. Not complex. Not at all. Yes. 
Exactly. Mm -hmm. Well, as has been pointed out, San Andreas has greater amount of interactivity with the world than Outlaws. As was mentioned, if anything, the like bugs and glitches make it more complex. Something like a Dwarf Fortress, which she would have dismissed immediately if she had come across in that selection of three, is infinitely more complex than... Super Mario 64 has greater levels of interactivity, yeah. like All in I'm terms of just is... general mm -hmm. emergent gameplay. The IGN God Hand review starting to make a lot more sense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Give it. Give it, what, like a three? Give it, like, what a... S oh, did three? Damn, yeah, I think that was, like, really four. low. Am I crazy? Uh, they they gave God Hand really? a really terrible review. It was a big meme on the internet for a it's long time. It's an infamous uh, infamous review uh, by Jan, <laughs> God, yeah. God Hand yeah. is worse than Redfall. They gave it a 3 <laughs> out of 10. <laughs> God Hand is not a 3. <laughs> they gave oh, it no. a 3 out of 10. But oh, you know what this oh, game boy. is? It's kind of hard. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. It's a bit challenging, that one. My little handies hurt after I mash too many buttons. The demon punched me in my face. Ouchie. Am I articulating this? No, I remember when no. Diablo 4. You should be able to. You're a writer. She's a lot more than a writer, Free. Like, the amount of experience that she listed and to, to have produced this crap. Like, it's insane. Well, especially when you've got unique insight into the behind the scenes process, right? Of, like, at a place like IGN. And I feel like all that's been done is unwittingly revealed how crap of a system they have. Yeah by part of that scale. The scale is not just AAA. Does that make sense? Am I articulating this? I remember when Diablo 4 got massively review bombed uh, by the user ratings, maybe a month or so after it came out, which was deserved. They made some disappointing changes, but people were giving it like a 2 out of 10 and calling games journalists shills because they weren't giving it 2 out of 10. But when you see the games that I just showed you, and then you compare it to- Wow, they were she's not still shit on them. Like, why why is they the they scale- Who do you, what? dude? Why is the 1 to 10 <laughs> so scale mean. based off of any other game? If there was only one video game in existence, you should be able to put it on a 1 to 10 scale. I'm like, actually go fuck yourself. What do they do to you? Out of curiosity, I wonder if people's <laughs> annoyance is not specifically that reviewers didn't give Diablo 4 or 2, but that their average score is like 86, 87, 88. Yeah. Like, Probably. I don't know anything about what the conversation would have been around that game, but I'm curious if it's being painted in the most negative light possible. If you are wrong, if you gave it a three even or something, or if it's simply that if you, in this case, that the critical review seems to be but massively three. different from that of how players felt about the game. Do you remember once upon a time in this wonderful video where we said any review of any kind of any substance from everybody is valid and it's all subjective? That's however, right. so all the same. however, <laughs> you are not yeah. allowed to rate Diablo 4 a fucking 2. If you do that, you but are what, wrong. Uh, well, you know, something's Damn been awkward though. We're talking about, oh, well, video game journalists God, have probably God. played more games. It's like, maybe, but I'm sure the people who reviewed Diablo 4 negatively probably have got a lot more time in Diablo to, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Then <laughs> to repeat the rant that we weird. have once per like five EFAPs, I am once again so bothered by the fact that these people will always be like, there's no such thing as objectivity, and that they just fucking say, you cannot have that opinion. You, yeah, can't you can't cannot do that. Well, like, well, okay. Throw out these perspectives where they're talking about stuff that actually is subjective for sure. Yeah. You know, like it's often like, oh, well, you're not allowed to have that. And it's like, what are you talking about? That is actually just you're describing somebody's personal feeling about something or something that you cannot prove. Like it's not something that can be falsified and they'll just, just be, they'll just throw it out casually. The fact that, that she has said, like, you know, these games, these high budget triple A, quadruple A games, like they obviously cannot go below a five. Obvious like just that's that's just the truth. Anyone doing that is wrong. Mm -hmm. Toxic gamers. To something like Diablo 4, which has complex systems and Stop saying complex you coward. Coward. Mean coward, 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 coward. She wants to say they're just better. They're Does just fucking game? better. Yeah. This game I have, it's 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 very buggy. It doesn't work. It crashes all the time. But look at all the complex things I coded in here. See, that's a six yeah, like, out of ten. At least. I almost want to say to her, "What's the most complex game in existence?" And let's just say she names something. You go, "Okay, what if it never boots?" No. Mm -hmm. What's the rating then? What if, what if every hour it, it kicks you? Like it spawns a little uh, <laughs> boot out of a PlayStation and then it kicks you. It kicks you in the, ch in the shin. It's like, hey. Yeah, in the shin, a really like annoying spot. This is, is going to sound a little bit weird, but maybe she almost thinks like the number of people who have worked on a game and for how long, like the number of manpower hours that have been expended to create the game, that's what makes it have a higher score. 
I don't know. Point. I mean, I guess I, I'd, I'd be a little bit more cynical. It's like, do you want to, you don't want to burn any bridges, huh? Like, yeah. there's that. That's, that's there's what absolutely that. Mean to mean to the, that's where this goes like, to me. You can also go more lizard brain. Just, you play something like Outlaws, you're like, wow, this is a big Chungus game. I love this. Look, that looks like real life. And oh, there's voices and music. Woohoo. Oh, I'm in space. Woo. Da, 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 da. Maybe, now let me boot yeah, up this fucking. Oh, dungeon. Pfft, look at these graphics. Oh, press down. Zero <laughs> keys. Do, 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 do. Yeah, maybe. I, I oh, seriously fun. think it yeah, all yeah, comes yeah. down to the lizard brain perspective of obviously Outlaws is better than that shitty 2D thing. Yeah, that, that's, yeah. that, that is kind of what I'm getting at because I have, I have seen other people say things like, you know, a thousand people worked on this game. Why can't you appreciate it? It's like, well, it's still a bad game, though. Well, yeah. they're Why can't they appreciate money, my so, money and time? Yeah, yeah. Why, exactly. I'm sorry they that a thousand my people's time and effort. effort went towards such a garbage product. I'm sorry they had to work on it. A lot of people made the Third Reich, man. I don't know what to tell you. Like, it, what, what do you want me to say? Seven out of ten. <laughs> Seven and enemies ten. and classes <laughs> and like seven and, of ten. and music and sound design and art. You can see why it doesn't. It's more complex. Is that is mm. that what you want to tell me, or do you want to just this, this is... is what I mean? Just admit it. You just want to say, "Ah, oh, it's just Boy, better." It's just better. I sure do love defining terms. When you say complex, what do you mean? <laughs> I like, told you, actually, she's being a coward. She's not going to go further than that because it would get her in trouble if she started saying Outlaws. Yeah. AAA games are inherently better than indie games. They just are. Imagine she fucking said that. Yeah, that would be, uh, that would be silly. You know, she's thinking, she I wants think, to say yeah, it. I think she thinks that. She wants yeah. to say it, but she can't. She might think that, yeah. I would even she's argue smart she would say it to, to friends, say and then if they were like, whoa, she'd be like, no, 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 we all know this. We all know the amount of people working on it, the shit. If you have a hundred people working on a game and one guy, obviously the a hundred people game is going to be better. Know. I guess Obviously. I'm curious. It's like I would, I would always want to know. It's like, would you be comfortable just saying the game kind of is shit? Like, if, let's say, let's say you didn't even believe it. Would you feel like you could say that, and that that wouldn't cause you problems, <laughs> like <laughs> in terms of our uh, connections or uh, any sort of stuff in the industry? So and funny if you feel as well like as you can't, um, then maybe you don't talk about. This if you remember the part two where she was like, as someone who's like aware of these games, and you probably are, you probably play your little triple A's, so you, you know you, you probably don't know. And then uh, I'm sure everyone here is like, God, I've 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 poured more hours into some indie games than I ever have oh, yeah. into like quadruple. It's 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 so funny to be talked to like this, like. You, don't you know indie games are not capable of much? Like the, the, those poor little guys are struggling to get over the fucking finish line of being even even noticed. But yeah, like, but hey, but Ubisoft thinking? game Ubisoft whoa. whoa so complex dude. Oof. That's an auto seven. Yes, but are, are are they fun though? Are the indie games fun? Uh, mm. Shut up, seven out ten. Seven ten. <laughs> <laughs> the idea of like challenging any AAA studio to like try and replicate something successful out of the indie sphere is so amusing to me. The absolute <laughs> bumbling slop mess that would come out at the end if you told, I mean, hey, it's not... hey Ubisoft, try and make Slay the Spire. I think yeah. that it is somewhat intuitive for a lot of people to believe this line, like the, that many people and that much money, it's gonna be baseline better, but when you start, like, dig deeper into it, Alana, you must have some of this insight. The amount of mistakes that can be made along the way, this reflects on films as well, right? Like, the, they can pour so much money into a thing that doesn't fucking work, and then it gets scrapped. And then just like, whoops. Like, a game can get restarted in its development several years into it. We've had bazillions of examples of that. So, it's just like, why, why do we treat this like it's not possible? Look at Duke Nukem Forever, remember that shit? Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> Well, like, but just, but the um, thing is, I don't need to refer to any particular examples. Outlaws is the example. It is a super exactly. high budget game that had bazillions of people working on it. And it's awful, absolutely trash. You can do the exact opposite too with Stardew Valley, which is a game from a single producer, one guy Same, in yeah. his basement, in his Eric girlfriend's Ryan. basement, made that game over seven years, and it's the mm -hmm. one of the biggest selling yeah, games of all time. Most people consider it a ten. Why would yep. we even need to entertain the conversation? How many indie games could you just list off the top of your head? You know, like Shovel Knight. Well, you could point out Super Mario 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 just with Valetron. that. Papers, Please, Katana Zero, like Stardew Valley. It's it's like, yep. Undertale. What, what is to be exactly? Like, Hollow Knight you... was made by three guys. Tetris. Exactly. <laughs> well, Tetris was made by one guy. Yeah, Tetris was made by one fella. So yeah, I don't, I don't know. Like, I don't the know why would we... the Tetris movie. Movie. Yeah, Tunic, yeah. Disco yeah. Elysium. The list just goes on for fucking ever, man. Of all the good indie games, ones that she could easily have stumbled across at any moment in that selection.
say the majority of the best games of all time are Wait, gonna hold be on. games. She she even said that Tunic was a ten out of ten. She did. Earlier in the fucking She did. Yeah. That doesn't get maybe once it becomes popular yeah, enough, she, it's no longer registered in your head that way. It's again like the IPA reviews because it gets sufficient popularity, then at that point it tr it transcends being an indie game to become yeah. a real video game. It's welcomed into it's the again club. It's a disgusting like poverty safar safari thing. Yeah, like it's got a sufficiently high production value for me to like give a remote shit about it whatsoever. <laughs> the, the aristocrats of the gaming industry have ordained well, she... that you can ascend from plebhood. Yeah, she, she <laughs> yeah. like arrives. In, yeah, in her yeah, limo, yeah. she walks out. Yeah, she yeah. gives a top hat and a cane to this homeless person. She's like, "Welcome to the club, buddy. <laughs> You're in." <laughs> yes, the authorities, the just some guys, the just some fucking guys. Sorry, yeah, uh, the guys. That you are now that get to be a part of the 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 cool kids club. Doesn't really exist in the same realm as a lot of the twos that come out every day. It was this. functional and it had this cool feature where you could actually play it for more than five minutes without being extremely bored. Ba yeah, unlike those three games that you Dude, didn't uh -huh. understand that, how they worked also, at all. That, that's subjective as fuck. What if I boot up Diablo 4 and I'm like, wow, this is boring. Am I wrong? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. IGN said so. Like, well, so all right. Well, <laughs> on that note, there are plenty of AAA quadruple game. Look at Civilization, for example, the newest ones. If you put my mum on that, she's not gonna fucking get it. She's gonna be like, uh, I don't, I don't really like this. Two out of ten. We're like, uh, no, you can't give that a two out of ten. You're wrong. Basically, Steam is full of it a lot of cars. things that like barely count as video games or what the general So why don't you show us those instead of referring to them that way when you gave us three examples that are absolutely games? Mm-hmm. This is what I mean. Like, could you at least you should have just said, you know what? My my plan here to play the latest three failed. It really did. I picked three that are actually like games. I need to go find you examples of shit that's terrible. <laughs> You're a YouTuber, just edit it out! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could just not put it in your video. Ah, uh, who has time? I th it, This is part of the thing, like, the, the rambling, I'm a writer, rambling for nine fucking minutes That's about weird. absolutely nothing. Like, you could have written down a script for this, or at least maybe some fucking bullet points, and gotten through it, and instead I'm 13 minutes into a 22-minute video and you've said nothing! <laughs> Or yeah. have you said too much? <laughs> so okay, I, I, have... I don't know if you guys. Uh, I downloaded the second game she talked about, Zool, Zool Dungeon. It's not polished by any means, but it's fun for three dollars. A lot of fun. <laughs> oh, you actually got it. Wait, yeah, you, you were playing this whole time. <laughs> No, not me, the, the super chatter. I just, I just amused by the fact oh. that. Like... Oh, okay. I thought you literally went and bought it. Yeah, no, no, both, no. Um, I think both of the games she'd mentioned were they, they both came out September 11th of this year, and they're like three bucks. They're super cheap little yeah. indie games. Well, the even the the Cat Claw one. The problem with that, because that's one the one that looked to be possibly the most like ready to be criticized. But uh, she even said in the videos like, I don't know if there's more to this or what I'm supposed to do. They just quit. It's like that's not really fair, is it? You're yeah. gonna need to make sure you know what you're talking you know, about. Dang, that, that you know, it's too late, wild, trash. Yeah. Which, yeah. <laughs> My it's also a scripted video. You edited this, or someone edited this together, and should have been like, you know, this this didn't work. You probably want to do something else, or yeah, these I don't are know. The highlights, man. It, it, it would not have been games. hard for her to just go and find oh, and, like well, three asset flips or like games that won't boot up, and like it's easy. Do you see though the? Oh, by the way, she, she failed she miserably, but even if. This, by the way. She did, yes. But even if, even if she selected three games and none of them booted or one of them did and it flickered graphics and then died, and then she said, so you see, Outlaws isn't as shit as you thought. I'd be like, no? What are you talking about? <laughs> this is like, the best version of what she was trying to do doesn't prove her point, but instead it backfired yep. and she ended up possibly providing some fun experiences for people in chat. <laughs> Which if, you're trying to explain, if you're trying listen, to explain listen. to me what the score of Outlaw should be and you mention any other game that isn't Star Wars Outlaws, I don't give a yeah. shit. Yep. That's not a good way to do her, it. Her, her logic just seems to basically be like, appreciate the fact you have cancer because it's not AIDS. Well, <laughs> maybe, maybe not. <sighs> yeah. The public understands a video game to be, and most of them aren't even really worth reviewing. But the scale has to still exist for them. And it's like, you know that. I get like, why. They're not worth reviewing. Roll it back. How do you know bit. that without a review? 
actually play it for more than five minutes without being extremely bored. Basically, Steam is full of a lot of things that like barely count as video games or what the general public understands a video game to be. And most of them aren't even really worth reviewing. But the scale has to- Okay, so if I present to you just a poop, and then I say this is my video game, does that change the scale for everything again? Because now I've, I've created a new floor. How many bowel movements, digital bowel movements, becomes... movements do you have to have before Literally Outlaws anything, becomes an eight? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, not, not digital, actual. Like, you, you, go to, you go to GameStop and then you buy Mahler's game and it's just like a bucket with poop in it. <laughs> and the guy just hands it over. <laughs> oh, it's like, here's my game. Was, I, I was Seven out of ten. Like in a box, you know, it's got like <laughs> proper box on and everything, but you open it up, it's just poop. <laughs> 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 Uh, the poop. It still exists for them. And it's like, I get why if you've only played AAA games, if you've only played really, really popular games that do rise above you know, the schlock of majority of the stuff that comes out, that you would have Dude. a skewed perception of... See, of what... you, you poor... You must have a skewed perception. You don't know about the indie circuit. You don't know. I know, I know. It's, uh, it's, um... Cringe. I'm almost, I'm almost, uh, impressed by the condescension, though. No. It's, uh, it's tinged with a lot more of a positive tonality. It's uh, what we talk about all the time, yeah. If she said yeah. this angrily, people would see it for what it is. Yeah, because in this case, it's like, you know, and if you haven't played that many games, actually, like, if, you know, not like, if you haven't played any of these games and you played all these AAA games, then yeah, you would think that the, that Star Wars Outlaws should be lower than a 7. It's very, yeah, the tonality it's like, well, is it's really on point. So what you said, is she seriously intimating that the public can't determine what is good quality? Yes. Yes. In a sense, yeah, which is funny considering the observation that it's just some fucking guy's opinion on a review, but now you're saying, well, yeah, but you're now more they don't know. a video game than the average person. They don't know any better. So, yeah. Uh, this is what I mean. In a sense, I'm almost impressed by the, uh, <laughs> it's not very, it's not particularly well constructed, but the tonality very much is, uh, softening the, uh, the condescension what the scale looks like. like. Your scale is probably different to the scale of some other fucking guy based on just what oh, you there played, you go. where yes. reviewers often have played a Inject lot of stuff. memes yeah, but so did you see it gets treated like seriously but you don't, It's a sneaky... But we have the one through ten. Yeah, she did a sneaky... Set. Look, she says that just some fucking different. guy as like a... We're all just... We're all having opinions. But right after it, she then makes clear what would make our opinions lesser. To the scale of some exactly. other fucking guy based on just what you've played where reviewers often have played a nice. lot of stuff. Nice! See? See? This this little, yeah. like, just some fucking guy, it's like a shield yes. to protect her from yes. people being like, what the fuck, you just said that I, I don't have as much experience yes. as, like, IGN Very reviewers. Very impressive. Mm -hmm. Very impressive. Lame. Just stop <laughs> being so cowardly. Just admit what your position is, which is, I know better than you guys. These games are 7 out of 10s, okay? Outlaws is at the very lowest of 5, and those shit games I showed you barely ever, there's an exception here or there, but barely ever scratch above like a 1. They're all pathetic. Just say that that falls on the lower half of that scale and is the reason the lower half of that scale exists. I think you could pretty easily make a case that the they should just not touch those lower half games at all and that you could like have a scale just for know AAA games and they could be two separate them. things. But I think that would also be pretty complicated. I mean, technically, she's already explained to us now <laughs> that it caps at 5 to 10, meaning that we should treat IGN's 5 to 10 as 1 to 10. I so, have such a fucking yeah. problem with her. We should separate out, you know, and have just a scale that's just for the AAA. We do have a scale that's just for the AAA games. It's the one through fucking 10 scale. <laughs> <laughs> well, but remember, Tunic, that's too good to be on. The, 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 <laughs> the concept that every game she doesn't like is under, oh, it's not big enough. It's not important enough. It's under a five automatically is just... Insane! Jesus Christ! Ah! Well, you just, I hate <laughs> watching these shit. Listen, if it, if it was good, it would be popular. You know. You need to is, reconnect right? it back, okay? So when she says Outlaws is gonna be better than the vast majority of them because they don't scratch above it, blah blah blah, then you go, which is better, Tunic or Outlaws? She's gonna be like, well, <gasps> wait, hang on. Yes, Tunic is better, but it cut. Well, hang on. It's like I, just, I like the idea that she just has fucking smoke starts coming out of her ears. It's just like blue screens, <laughs> down. blue screens like outlaws. Located to explain to audiences in a lot of cases, where I feel like it's probably easier to explain. No, a zero or a one or a two is for games that don't function. Do have like outlaws. How can a game like that doesn't outlaws. function be a two? <laughs> A non-functional game yeah, gets what? a two somehow. 
Yeah, I mean, it would be a that's two songs. I, honestly, Rags, work. I think it's because she said in her head that one of those numbers belongs to non-functional, and she's like, "Fuck, that's that's really not good enough, is it?" Because that that would work on the scale allowing outlaws to be like a three. You could still have one be non-functional. So she's <laughs> like, "No, it's got a, a zero, one, and two. Maybe even three. <laughs> like it goes all the way up. It's a, it blocks out so many numbers. You see, that's why AAA have got to be up in the higher numbers." Okay, man. Okay, let's say you have two non-functional games, right? Mm -hmm. And one of them is a zero, and one of them is a two. Why? I don't know. Well, one of them is more complex than the other. It was like the the crash different. Like it was a nicer looking crash screen or something. Like yeah, what the see, fuck? see the the zero had a crash because of only one line of code. The two had a crash because of eighteen lines of code. There you go. Okay. <laughs> so yeah. the zero, one, two, three, four, five are all non-functional. So AAA has to be six at least. Like yeah, it's <laughs> go to the first. <laughs> Concord is not functional. 7 out of 10. <laughs> Making changes that negatively impact the game didn't make it completely non-functional or didn't make it so that the only thing you could do was like play a claw machine. You know what I mean? But Ooh. Get fucked. Claw machine dev. <laughs> Sucker. Uh, yeah, you could certainly argue Ubisoft. for that if you wanted to. Go ahead. I'm just explaining why it currently exists the way that it does. And to be clear... I'm... You've done an awful job. Like, catastrophically. This, is, this makes me hate... <laughs> This makes me I, hate I you wonder and if the... even more, and <laughs> my opinion was already really low. I, I can picture her like at like a theme park, right? She puts a dollar into a claw machine, fails to get the, the stuffed animal, and just like, two out of ten. This game doesn't <laughs> fucking work. Not even functional. <laughs> I wonder if she got like a call from IGN people, and it's like, this is what you thought what the scale was the whole time? What the fuck? <laughs> I mean, the, <laughs> if I was to agree at all. If I was to explain... To someone quickly, watch what point she's broadly made here. I'd be like, one through five relates to indie, five or six to ten relates to AAA. That's basically what she said. Yes, AAA and also really important indie. Yeah, other than when an indie game is so good, everyone talks about it. That's when it gets to be elevated into the AAA scale. I'm not trying to defend IGN in making this video in any capacity. Even when I worked there, they had game reviews come out that I staunchly disagreed with. When I worked wow, there, aren't they had you brave. the Doom 2016 <laughs> review, which was written by a freelancer who gave it... It was like an insane low score. Yeah, it was a 7.1. Uh, that's his opinion, okay? Opinion. <laughs> you said it's his, allowed. His opinion is no more... He's just some fucking guy. He's just a fucking guy. Just a freelancer. Just, just gotta make sure that's said. It was written you by said, a freelancer. Yeah. Not even a yeah, real yeah. journalist. Just yeah, a freelancer. Yeah, what are those fake ones? Yeah. That doesn't have makes... the experience that we do, right? I just, like I'm just, journalists. I just, I'm, I'm just more hung up on the insanely low score of seven point something. It's like, that's pretty seven good. <laughs> it's like, I don't know. It sounds, that's a pretty on good my game. scale, that sounds pretty good. I could higher than that, but that's a pretty good game. <laughs> Insane. Yeah, that's Would a good I get higher than that? Yeah, maybe. Oh, yeah. Probably. That's the thing. We don't do things the same way they do it over yeah. a crazy no. town. Um, for Doom 2016, and I remember like everyone in the office being like, "Not fucking agree with that at all." But is he wrong? Mm? Go as far as saying it. Do it. It's just some guy's opinion. Yeah, it, yeah. Was, it was just him. Not none of us. It was just him. Yeah, we just didn't. We didn't guy. fuck yeah. that up. It was. Him. Why are you it was questioning from, uh, him? Gilroy, he just showed up into our studio and in the solo wrote the whole thing. Is a total freelancer. Um, I don't think he even. Why are you say what? Like what? What is? What do you think this means? Why, uh, Not what? professional. So That's what has, she yeah. thinks it means. This, this He's on the outside. Doesn't the count. Right now. Oh, man, <laughs> the amount of like this might be one of the best videos ever for how insulting and rude this video is, but the tone is just fine. So you'll never yeah. know, and no one will know. Also, by the way, that just makes the IGN people look even worse because if they didn't, if like no one agreed with that score and they were all like, well, he wrote it now, he just fucking put Why it out. Why did they give yeah, a release like live. Doom 2016 to a freelancer? I don't know. You, you, you feel like you want your best people on the highest. I would have uh, thought they'd want their people <laughs> on a release like that, but okay. Or the most relevant games, rather, yeah with that at all but it was from uh job gilroy who did not even work in the ign office a total freelancer okay. um name drop he That's even sick. wrote for ign very often like maybe one or what two what does that have I've... to do with anything why, not actually... yeah, why are we bringing this random guy up to put him under the wheels of that bus right now Jesus for you know what's weird Free, she put him under the bus <laughs> And then she was like, whoops, forgot to give him a name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, what, what? Why? Like, what are we doing here? What's I guess I gave on? you some clues as to who he was, but I'll make it easier for you, <laughs> just so you know. 
exactly sure. But like they've certainly had review scores that I fundamentally disagreed with. Okay. And that's just yeah, sort okay, of the cool. reality of reviews being just written by some fucking I want to lie down But so yes, bad. this is I'm essentially why you might mind. feel like you see so many <laughs> review scores that are above a five or you feel like the lower half of the scale is being underutilized. It's why sevens feel like it might be average um, and why I've heard people like call to change the seven to a five. But it's just when you factor in games that you probably haven't played or probably haven't heard Stop. of. Stop. Uh... Uh, you yeah. probably haven't played and heard of these Gross. games that don't work, and then Maybe showcases a, a bunch of games Maybe that do work. <laughs> it's so cringe. The bottom of the scale gets very, very, very full very fast, and your AAA games start to look a whole lot better in comparison. And finally, oh, I know that this don't. isn't going to sway anybody who, like, already feels some way about this, but... If you mean we think IGN is a joke... You're correct. This has not swayed <laughs> yeah. us in any fucking way at all. I think just, you're more just... of a. I think you're a malicious joke now. Like, yeah, yeah. this doesn't help anything. Establish it. No publisher is giving an IGN reviewer a bunch of money to influence. Obviously, a are... that's Obviously. not the criticism. That's not how it works. Nobody thinks it works like that. That's not what we mean. That's Word of advice anyone for anyone who out there needs to defend themselves from claims of being a shill. Never address the argument, they dropped a sack of money on my desk and said, you best review that game positively, bitch, or I'll kill your family, and you won't get this sack <laughs> of money. That's not the criticism, it's always about influence and access, and you, but you're too scared. You get access, you're all friends, you're, you get invited to events, you get put up in hotels. Who runs the ads? What kind of ads are getting run hmm. on, like, IGN or any of these websites? Are they from publishers? Sometimes they are. Yep. It's all of that. It's not the idea that somebody's literally saying, here's, here's a bag of money, give it a 9 out of 10. Obviously. Yeah, and, <laughs> and I'm not ruling out, you don't need to address it, but I'm not ruling out the idea that they go, oops, dropped my sack of money on the table. Oh, oops. <laughs> I mean, we, we've seen that happen. Oops. We've seen it happen. And, and on top of that, we, we have seen them, you know, directly uh, blacklist companies like Kotaku, right? So, like... This does have an effect. They will stop giving you games if you uh, review them badly. It's been proven. This is not questionable. It's not like us out here speculating uh, as conspiracy theorists. They will stop giving games to, to these journalists. As an individual outlet, you need their publishers more than they need any individual website. Yes, it happens. Right, and and I see people in the chat being like Kotaku needs. I fucking hate Kotaku, but the, it is concerning when a journalist is being blacklisted at all, because yeah. it shows that this shit is happening. <laughs> it's giving an IGN right? reviewer a bunch of money to influence a review score. There are ways that companies try to manipulate positive reviews. Well, so, I mean, here's another one, right? Like, oh, well, I work at a, you know, games press, but like, I want to keep my options open in terms of, you know, future career prospects as well, right? Like, yeah, it slide on over the, onto that it, side of the, uh, it, and that side of the equation, it maybe. It really doesn't seem like it should be the case that somebody who was working as a reviewer at IGN should be able to be working, like, like, it, it, there have just been cases where people who worked at IGN end up working, like, in PR or working at studios, and it just seems yes. like, well, wait, if you're, like, doing your review accurately, there are going to be some games that probably should be getting shit on a bit, but, like, to the point that they might not even, you know, want to be working with you anymore, and it's like, I, I, I just, the, the overlap is kind of, like, bizarre in a sense. It should be more of like a hmm, that's odd. It's odd that the 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 side that is ultimately meant to be representative of the interests of the player base, consumers, whatnot, uh, that, that that would actually be the case, and they'd be able to like comfortably sort of then align with the companies that are seeking to make money off of that player base, whether it's through, you know, good games or bad games or bad business practices or whatever. Scores in ways that I think are extremely egregious and actually far worse than I think the general public realizes. Like, this stuff is huge. I'm going to make a whole separate video about this. I was going to put it in this video, but then it's like too many topics in one video. It's a lot. I will make a separate video about Two? basically like publishers, companies trying to influence people to get positive reviews and the manipulative tactics that are used for that. There is so much to say and so much to unpack. But where I just. That is what people are talking about. You don't need to address yeah, they drop the sack of money on the table. Mm -hmm. Just don't. Mm -hmm. yeah handing somebody money to give 
a game a score, which, by the way, as an aside, I've seen people recently suggest that IGN was paid to give Star Wars Outlaws the 7 out of 10. Why would you be so paid for a 7? A 7? Beca uh, because... Uh, 7 isn't oh suspicious. God. You just yeah, spent the whole fucking suspicious. video talking about how, you know, it's 7, AAA means quality, it's too complex <laughs> to not, not like, you, you spent ages defending how it's an important number that represents quality in a baseline, and then you're like, why would they pay for that when what if the reality was a fucking 2? A uh, seven's a way better score than a fucking two, and then of course, like as an aside, like that's silly that they would do that. But then the main point being, they would never drop a whole bunch of money to just require a positive review. It's like, well, yeah, but you just went over all the reasons what they would do it that are non specific like non direct, non explicit. Because of course, it's illegal. Like it's funny if they actually did that transaction of the drop sack of money on table for positive review, they would never say it in a way that could be captured. But that may very yeah. well take place that they just go like, "Hey man, I hope you give it the same kind of review approach that you usually do." And the guy winks and says, "I know what you mean. See you at Disneyland." What is, what, is, what is the nature of uh? Because IGN does it in Game. In, I don't think does Game Informer exist anymore, or did it get shut down recently? It's gone. Yeah, like, when you, because IGN has it where it's like, oh, we've got, like, exclusive access for the month on this game. What do you think the point of that is? Like, journal, like, that's, that's basically ads. <laughs> like, in terms yeah. of a, it, or, or at least in terms of the idea of, like, what exactly is the publisher looking to get out of a preview where they show the game in a limited capacity and the extent of the coverage that's provided by a website like IGN is descriptions of things presented in a way that's generally going to be positive for whatever the game is of, oh, you can do this. You play as this character. It's, it, you know, it's about this. Like, those are other, again, what's the point of even talking about the whole like, oh, here's the big sack of money, give it a nine. That's obviously well, bullshit. And remember, the actual relevant and important one is the soft influence. Seven plus is enough to get your average assessment from people to say, well received. It's well mm -hmm. received. Especially yeah, if you're the right. site that controls the little blurb. Thanks to the fucking avalanche of users saying this is pathetic, horrible, broken mess. You could see even from the articles that we were reading that the, the, they were across time. The latest one is like, it's it's not been well received. <laughs> like, not, not really at all, actually. And, uh, it's just funny to say, like, why would anyone want to pay for a 7? It's like, well, it's better than a 6, a 5, a 4, a 3, a 2, a 1, exactly, and a fucking yeah. nil. <sighs> you're paying a reviewer you can just slip them like you know company like give yourself a shit ton of money just like another 50 grand or whatever the fuck also it'd be fucking suspicious as hell if IGN gave it a 10 out of 10 yep the 7 <laughs> yeah. doesn't arouse yeah. suspicion remember remember how fucking suspicious it was the 86 for uh, Rotten Tomatoes for Rise of Skywalker it was like oh, how the fuck yeah. do you give that an 86 <laughs> and if so, if, if Alana said it's not on a 100 they would have got, given it a, if they were paid off they would have given it a 100 <laughs> like Wasn't what are you also, talking about didn't the didn't the score like not change at all as well nope. for like it weeks just on end? Stuck oh, on yeah. eighty six, <laughs> almost yeah. as though they really, were paid really to not weird. let it drop yeah. below eighty six. People love the Rise of Skywalker. Oh, sure they do. Dead. Yeah, hyper sus that shit. That's that's one of those ones where I was just like, I will never believe that was genuine. Not in a million fucking years. Everybody said that movie was awful. Mm -hmm. Fuck and be like, just make it a ten. Why would they pay for a seven? But handing somebody money to give it would actually be dumb as fuck to pay for a ten. Just in rush, just thinking about yeah. this. Especially if it's and... that, yeah, that's I'm super suspicious. Any review score? Let me, is let me, let me just hop in here for a minute, if you don't mind. So I decided to look something up because maybe a minute or two ago, she mentioned the Doom 2016 um, freelancer. She kept pointing out he's a freelancer. He's a freelancer. He's nobody. The 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 Job Joab Gilroy, Job Gilroy, mm -hmm. whatever his name is. Yeah. I just kind of dug around a little bit, just just uh, doing some Instagram searches and some Twitter searches. Um, she brought him into IGN to be a freelancer. This is not someone that she doesn't know. I don't mm -hmm. know why she was playing him up like like she doesn't know him because they're like they're both Australian and he was hired on because they they worked together previously in the Australian game circuit in like 2015. Like, these are people who know each other, and then they had some kind of personal falling out in, like, 2023. Oh. Wow. Interesting. Um, <laughs> so, that, okay. well, that's why the bus guy. happened. <laughs> like <that>. Yeah. <laughs> she probably kicked him while he was up to it. Yeah, they, they apparently both worked, like, in some small-time outlets in, like, 2015-ish. She got on to IGN, and then she, like, tried to pull him up. And they remain fr they remain friends after they both left IGN. 
Um, and then they had a falling, like a, a personal falling out. They don't talk to each other anymore. Rip. And, and the details of that aren't aren't revealed. But uh, yeah, she's she not someone that, like she doesn't know. <laughs> no, you wouldn't That's, have gotten that impression at all from what she just said. Freelancer. Well, and it was also very odd. She she only referred to him in such a way that could get him flack, and then she made sure to, like, you know his name. It was like, that's that's just odd. It was weird. He didn't need to do that at all. Make signals here. Extremely illegal. And these companies have giant legal teams. Right, it's an illegal thing to do to pay for good reviews. Uh -huh. Right, there you go. There you go, guys. A massive yeah. and crime is illegal. A massive illegal. company yeah. would never do crime. anything illegal. Most murderers didn't know that it was a crime. Yeah. Like, it's, I don't <laughs> know where to begin with this naive fucking no comment. Comment. Like, it would Crimes it's... don't happen because they're illegal. Yeah. You're not actually it's not also... allowed. We've solved it. Yeah, it's also not allowed to give people gifts on Amazon when you sell them stuff and say, I'm going to activate that gift card if you give me a five-star review. They I still would do it, though. <laughs> they don't need to be explicit. We talked forever about the access stuff, but if they were quote-unquote explicit the way it would be done is not with explicit language it would be man i love donating to you i really do it's the best thing ever and i love reading your reviews I, especially especially this one this one this one they're all like the nine out of tens it, it, you know the more work you produce the more i'm invested in donating to, to you to make sure you're supported because i love your career just that's that's already more explicit than they probably would do it if they were to do it but the kind of shit that can't mm -hmm. even get you oh, in yeah. trouble legally like if you took that to court, you can't prove that. You know, you, you, it's like I've, I can't believe people still say these things. Like, don't you know it's illegal? Why would they do an illegal? <laughs> <sighs> Who are so hardcore and so intense about this kind of stuff? Their whole job is to prevent the company from getting sued or getting fined. That is. That's actually a reason in favor of our argument that they have a whole team <laughs> designed to protect them from getting in any legal trouble. Yep. Yep. Job of these legal departments. I have worked with some of these legal departments. They are annoyingly hardcore. Stupid legal rules where they try to avoid getting sued for the dumbest shit that you're like, nobody. Yeah, that's what, what a dumb thing for a multi million yeah. dollar oh, company no. avoid to avoid sued. getting yeah, sued. Have... <laughs> like... Dumb shit like that. Yeah. People will sue people for time, anything. Actually. A lot of it's good that they have these teams to protect themselves, but simultaneously yeah. the teams can be used for less cool and less ethical or things. Evil. He's going to sue you for that, and like, doesn't matter. Somebody could, so don't do it. Paying somebody to have positive sentiment, even if you disclose it, is illegal. Did you know that? So, like, if I do a sponsored ad here on YouTube, yeah, they I get cannot it. ask me I to understand. say, hey, yeah, like, uh, this is all useless you... fluff. Like, we already know all of these things. Move on. Address the actual arguments, please. That I don't believe. They are not allowed to ever say, hey, can you say this sentence? I think I've received pushback on that maybe once, where they were like, can you say that? And I was like, I don't feel that way. And they had to be like, okay, they are not allowed. Well, wait, don't they know that's illegal? Right. But, oh. right so, uh, they just oh, did crime. Oh my god. Everybody, everybody. How do we how do we account for like the similarities in terms of the ads? Then right in terms of the. Structure? I don't think honestly, for me, I don't think we should bother. This one is such a stupid RPGs like. RPGs in twenty yeah like remember everybody said it was one of the most ambitious RPGs. Right? Well, I think the I think the difference is that the one thing is a review from a press and the other thing is like an explicit ad what, what do you mean right no oh, what she's specifically that, talking that, to right? is, you said sponsors, what she's specifically right? talking to is sentiment yeah. right so you can't be like i like thing i'm but a you user can't say of that thing. a game is one of the most ambitious they totally do yeah right. <laughs> yeah I, uh, ambition I, is a hard thing to quantify i just yeah. i'm just i'm just mm -hmm. exhausted by like the notion that she's addressed anything here by saying it's oh, crime they crime. wouldn't do crime <laughs> it's crime <laughs> They wouldn't yeah, crime. do crime. No That's illegal. They have crime. they have lawyers on their teams. Lawyers are meant to not do crime by job. So why would crime happen if job was not crime? That's yeah. You, you're stupid. Out. They say do that. Bad. That is very 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 illegal and taken very very seriously. So paying for positive sentiment without disclosure is going to get you fined, but even with disclosure, also going to get you fined. Like, extremely illegal, That's again, crazy. taken very seriously. And asking mm -hmm. games journalists oh, really specifically cool. to yeah. lie about review scores, I think, is one of the dumbest things that a company could possibly do. Like, that's going to Yes, I was out. here two minutes ago when you said that. Can we move on? <laughs> she hasn't said anything new <laughs> forever. So fast, if it were actually happening. It's an industry full of people who are so poorly paid and are often very bored with the stuff that they're able to write from an industry.
good. I hope they starve. <laughs> Just read it gives them like no information. I don't even know what the fuck point is this. What, what, like, I don't know. Why would they pay for the lowly no, reviewers' those poor scores? Games journalists. Those poor fuckers. If anything, you're you're. They're, she's giving me a reason why someone would accept a bribe is what she's doing. <laughs> about anything and it's constantly withholding things and just making them like rehash press releases because the games industry is so cagey about information frankly they are desperate a lot of the time to write the article that gets the name out there or alana this is not helping your argument at all no you just told us why they would accept it it's <laughs> all it's all very mm -hmm. illegal but they're starving send us more money <laughs> <laughs> she even gives a price money. earlier just another fifty thousand. Just oh, give it no. just give another 50,000. <laughs> or gets views or makes people like them. It gives them the prestige of breaking this huge conspiracy news story. Like so many, I would say 90% of people who work in that games media industry would be frothing, chomping at the bit at the opportunity to leak this story. If it were happening, it would have leaked a thousand. But the, all the reasons you just gave wait, for wait. that would also reflect being leaked, bribed. So it hasn't happened. Wait, it has leaked. Kanan yeah, Lynch. it has happened. We know it's happened. Yeah, exactly. yeah, it's I'm famously sorry. happened. But did you yeah, catch that, though? I... She gave all of the reasons why these people would want to get an article that's very famous or very engaged with, because that would provide them money, which will help the particular situation being not fantastic, which I'm more than inclined to believe, like, the vast majority of the people who work in trying to get this to work, like, they're probably not that well off. But you cannot deny that that would also work as motivation to be bribed. Yes. Yes. I agree. <laughs> How can you lay all this out and then be like they would never be bribed? <laughs> They're all so full of integrity that all of them would leak this story immediately. That's what would happen. Like, okie dokie. Time's over. And I actually don't doubt that it was happening in the 90s and 2000s before a lot of the more strict regulations came in. Of course, companies are going to try to do it. They just can't anymore. So uh, somebody They're tagged me um, in the Discord about Jeff Gersman, and I think he's actually a, a pretty good example. Giant Bomb was founded because he was fired from GameSpot for giving a bad review to a game after that uh, developer had paid for a large purchase from the website. So th this stuff absolutely happens. Like this meme. <laughs> yeah, I saw that earlier. <laughs> <clears throat> I've always liked it's this done. meme, whatever people use it, it's great. It's such a good format. It is a good one, yeah. There are, there are times where I'm more than on board with the third place guy celebrating, you know? Like, you, good on you, buddy. <laughs> like, yeah. just, you, you, the others He's looking go yeah, get him. Yeah. He's the, but, I mean, there's the Olympics. That's, that, that's why people at the Olympics, you get a silver or bronze, you're celebrating. You're like second or third in the world. Hell that's yeah. insane. And publishers do have other ways of trying to influence review scores, like I said. I'll have a whole separate video about that. But they are not giving game reviewers money to give games a 10 out of 10. Again, yeah, just like think about everything you've ever disagreed with somebody on. Think about the dumbest fucking thing that you've seen on the internet that you disagreed with somebody on. Did your toilet paper, do you put it over or under? Heated disagreements about that stuff. Over is correct, by the way. Anyone who puts it under, I will literally- Who's arguing for under? Does anyone argue for under? I've never heard anyone argue for under. I've ever. not heard if it. If anything, that's like the example given for things that no one believes in. That's why it's considered universally to be a mistake to do in a bathroom, because nobody prefers yeah, it. Apparently, like she's that. had heated arguments with people about under. All right. In your house, if I see that you have the toilet paper under, I will change it. In your house. Please, I don't, I don't care. want to talk you about toilet paper right now. I'm, I want to go. Opinions. All right, but this video is shit. <laughs> We're almost done, Mel. We're almost there. Don't you worry, buddy. It's boring, <laughs> but it's true. And as an aside, on my own aside, I promise you, if I ever find any evidence or any even oh people are saying under is better for cat owners that makes sense yeah i don't believe you why is it better for cat owners because <laughs> if the cat spins it, it down yeah it would it would never unspool it doesn't unspool and why don't you just close the door you could do that, that works <laughs> well too Wait, well what if it pulls at the the toilet paper modern and not problems the roll? modern solutions it, the cat could just... still unspool it it'll just be harder i think i, I do think there's, there's some fair logic there actually Perhaps it's litter boxes in the bathroom too. Oh. I like to go to. Never mind. Mm -hmm. Suggestion Never mind. that game reviewers are being paid off. I will tell you in a heartbeat. I would get so many subscribers. People would be so happy with me. I would get so many views. You don't fucking need them. Like, why, why no. are you. You're expressing. Your whole point 
was those poor destitute people will absolutely expose this story because it would get them engagement, which simultaneously gives them the motivation for the bribe. And now you're telling us, as someone who is absolutely fine and well-off money-wise, you would expose the story. Like, okay. I don't even know, like, what, 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 what does this help? How does this do anything? So much credibility, she finally outed it. Wow, look at this person go. That's my epics. Instead, I'm doing my routinely dumb bitch move of telling you- I would you say that you are them. overestimating how much the average person recognizes the names of games journalists. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't think the average <clears throat> person is paying that much attention to, like, who is breaking these stories. Like, even, like, someone like Jason Schreier, I presume that, like, most people probably well, don't even know who he is. pointed out, if it were happening, I, I really hesitate to use the word if, if it were happening, then it wouldn't be done in a way that she could expose it like that. It would be what underhanded. Very few people would actually the, know. The, the, there were these things where, like, thousands of people worked on a video game, and then it comes out after the game was developed that there was some crazy shit happening. Why wouldn't it come out sooner when there's so many I eyeballs just, on it? Because what I'm trying to get at is they will those. use subtlety. They will likely have lawyers recommending how to do it. Yep. Why would they just explicitly like send you a fucking know. email that says, I would like to bribe you, please? <laughs> like, well, that's not going to happen. <laughs> if you need elaboration on the bribe offer, please just email me back at... Da -da 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 Dude, it's this... Biz, uh, whatever. It's like... If you want to know more about bribes, please Google it. It's the evolution of the bribery, because when you give them the bad review, they say, you know what? We're not inviting you to this next conference. We'd like to invite you to the year after. Mm. Really, it'll just depend on the quality of your writing. Something like that. What are you going to do? Yeah, take them to court? The went... They're trying to bribe me. <laughs> no, we're not. We would never do that. <laughs> That's ridiculous, yeah. and our lawyers will I fucking know, kill you. And most of you probably don't want to hear. Not most of you. It's just the ones who don't want to hear it really don't want to hear it and are definitely going to get mad at me in the comment sections of this video. Like, I'm aware of that. Uh, in fact, I will probably lose subscribers. Ooh, ooh, I'm going to get cancelled. I like actively reject the proven to be excellent strategy of saying the thing the masses would like to hear. Shut and up. Make a controversial video that Wait, would force what? people to yell at me. Oh, yeah, that's saying right. it would be a lot yeah, easier for me. Oh, oh, I'm listen, get listen oh, you need to understand oh, that she ain't no, she ain't no usual Ulysses. She doesn't just fucking say rad to boring, lame, and, and well-accepted shit, she'll tell you how it is, even at the cost of people not liking it for it. How it is, which is ultimately a defense of the AAA video game industry. And the, yeah, and the shitting on indie. It's a monolith and yeah, shit on the, the fucking people just making video games with whatever they have around. Someone who actually does work in media to come out and say reviewers are being paid off if it were happening, they would have done it by now a million times. Over. They have done it by now. Yeah. They have done it. Uh, <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, yeah. <laughs> We've God. Seven or already, I would have already. done it by now a million times over already. I don't review games that don't accept codes. I have no reason to lie to you about this. It's, it's I have no, no I reason to lie to you about this. Oh, it's like the it, the video is so rich. I love every part of it in a way. It's just not. I think I'm going cross-eyed. Some fucking mm. guy. There are also just a bunch of factors where it comes to some fucking guy's opinion, where the person who reviews oh, the game is the most likely to be excited about that game because they put their name down on the sheet where they said they wanted to review it. No, no, That's no, 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 no. You just explained all the benefits of access and uh, engagement and the fact that you only review things that people are looking for to get your name out there, to increase your career. And it may have nothing to do with your interest in the IP whatsoever. Mm -hmm. are, how does she not That's listen to herself? Like maybe not even the best way that things should work. Like, oh, at IGN, the most excited you are for the game means that you're more likely to review it. Maybe that's not a good thing. Maybe you should get people who are indifferent so that you can get a more neutral perspective. So they are likely to be more interested in it. Basically, some fucking guy is probably into the thing that he signed up to play however many hours of it. Like, it's, it, this is basically saying it's almost like it systematically or systemically, like, has a positivity bias. Because mm -hmm. the person who's most likely to review the game was most likely to be, like, excited for it. Which well, she switched it to positively. interested in, which is like... I would hope you're okay. fucking interested in the thing that you're professionally paid yeah. to review for the sake I mean, of I suppose consumer that, yeah, information. Yeah, in the most general sense of the word, but, but I mean, if you're no, like, yeah, oh, I got I'm you. super duper duper hype for like Diablo 4, I want to review it, compared to someone who's like, I'm indifferent on that one, but obviously, you know, I'll give it a fair shot. It almost sounds like the system makes it to where it's, it's, it's like positively skewed, because the person who's going to review it is probably more likely to like it anyway. Hmm. And write a review of. That's why he signed up to play it. My suggestion for people looking for game reviews that they align with is 
actually to just find an individual or a couple of individuals a reviewer like one writer or like one youtube what Patreon. a genius idea that not everyone already does wow. nobody <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not like anybody's ever done this before. Nobody ever talks about yeah, like a YouTuber or a reviewer of any kind that they're interested in and rely upon for anything. Nobody ever does that for anyone, really. Mm. Everyone always relies on IGN specifically and Nutri. It's IGN is so cool and awesome and respected, and this video has really helped that. You know, I, I used to think they were retarded. But now, <laughs> wow! <laughs> it's just you know. I thought they were cringe, but they're actually super they based. Have no concern for the medium whatsoever. They just care about the huge corporate fucking monsters they've latched themselves onto. Sick. Mm. Who you really align with and actively seek out their opinions. I don't even feel like it makes sense to read every IGN game review when IGN- is Who the fuck would? <laughs> like, who, literally who? <laughs> what? Gotta find out what IGN What thinks. poor zombie fucking did that? Jesus. Put him out of his misery. It's just 20 different some fucking guys who have vastly different opinions from one another even and frequently disagree on review scores even as employees of the same company. Like I said, while I worked there, there were review scores that were given out that I really did not yeah, agree like with. Yeah, like that one fucking really. asshole, right? <laughs> <laughs> that was the, the okay. one piece of shit that we all hate. Fucking oh, piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I do about that because I'm not the some fucking guy who reviewed that particular thing. What I do personally is just ask my friends. I don't read reviews at all. Literally never. I think all your for, friends uh, are reviewers. I was about to say that, you know but also undermining your whole the whole value years. of your whole fucking profession again. <laughs> like, why would I like, do that? Listen, like, I, why don't you? Wait, huh? No, well, I mean, I guess it's because she's out of it, right? So yeah, she's out of it, so it, she can just so it's, it's talk fine. mad shit. Like, it's all good. That's Listen, not no. Would, she's got plenty of years, friends that are going to exist reviews. in that profession. Yeah. And why well, would you? That's still I, her past I, I, work. <laughs> no, I know. I. <laughs> but hey, look, all right, that ladder. Well, you can kick it down once you once you got off it, all right? They I don't know. It's just nothing. weird, isn't it? To just shit. So, like, the whole point of this system, the whole point of this video has been to like essentially defend the nature of how all of it's run. And like the nature of these reviews, and to argue for how the people who write these reviews <laughs> effectively have more of a of a right to have a perspective on these games. So then be like, yeah, but I mean, I don't fucking read. Them. I don't I fucking read them. <laughs> who cares? Thing to me whatsoever. <laughs> um, and I even felt this way when I worked in that space. Oh, I just oh, what they think about it. Well, there you go. Uh, <laughs> something and what they like about it and what they didn't like about it, and based on what I know about that friend and what they said they liked or they didn't like. I can make an assessment on whether I will or will not like something. Basically, seven out of ten is the average because well, yeah, but you can make an assessment based on somebody who you don't know based on their arguments, right? So no, we're not even yes. we're not even pretending anymore. It's just like she made reference to this earlier. I was going to say something, but I guess now is like searching for reviews that you align with, as in. What's the phrase I'm looking for? Because it's been a while in the stream. Um, where you just confirmation bias. You like you just you just Confir want the uh, thing yeah. that tells <clears throat> you that you were right to feel the way that you did. And she's like, if yep. you want that, you just got to find the person that aligns with just you, as someone. if that's not the most intuitively obvious thing that everyone does anyway. Which is honestly a frustrating yeah. thing. We shouldn't encourage. Don't just listen no. to people who automatically agree with you about everything. Don't just try to search yeah. for confirmation bias. Try to expand your possible perception of a particular thing look into other yes. people's perspectives and then the reason why i just triggered onto this is because for he's like what about their arguments it's like she's not even entertaining they're making any they're just saying it was good does that make you feel good and then they go yeah and then you go that other thing though that was bad then they go no i like that you go oh, oh no yeah it was oh, good oh, oh. it was it does you was you're, you're good <laughs> for liking that it's, it's <laughs> you're like good for liking it it's so sad, uh, and, I, and it kills discussion, kills analysis. What the fuck is the point in any of it if it's just making yeah. you feel better about the fact that you like Star Wars Outlaws? Yeah, and all reviews are the same, and no one has expertise uh, over anyone else, and everything's valid, but here's our publication. We'll accept ads here's for a, our opinions. Here's a better one. Find people who you believe are honest. Fuck the confirmation yeah. bias. No, counts. find people who you agree with and get their opinion. That's what she said. Mm -hmm. For the amount of games that do not have even half the complexity of most of the games Stop. that you play. Complexity doesn't and matter. Stop saying that. Saying that fucking yep. weird, yeah. Need to have the lower half of that scale in case one of those games get gets reviewed. Again, I'm not trying to defend that. Just trying to explain yes, it. Yes, you, you, yeah, you, yeah, you, you are. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. You are. Sort of like, has never thought about it before. Was, you know, if this never thought. <laughs> Never thought about just squeezing these in at the end. Video makes anyone well, so, go, oh, 
Such yeah, a- that makes sense. Then great. And remember, game reviews are just the opinion of, of some, some fucking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. cool. Yeah, sure. So if if she actually wasn't trying to defend it, then she'd probably she should put it right at the end here. And this that I just explained to you is bullshit, and here's why. But she didn't. Dude, she like the best version of this video the is the scale is skewed because there's a shit ton of games that barely even work that would fill stages one, two, three, four, five. Like uh, I could go through it in detail, but you probably know what I mean. It's ones that don't even boot up, or ones that do, but all they are is like a fucking black square on the screen, and you press a button, it breaks. Like these are the lower level games. There, there are some games of this type that can like you know surprise you and, and whatever but the, that's what the scale is for hopefully that makes sense that's why a lot of things end up in the top half whatever by like that's like the best version of this crappy video i don't know why it took it 22 <laughs> minutes holy shit you Looking killed the metal they say we're long <laughs> i mean this was just 20 21 and a half minutes like here's that the reason like why eternity. just to like fucking that. tell us at the end yeah, but I'm not actually doing any of these things, so it doesn't actually fucking matter. It's like, oh, cool, thank you. <laughs> cool. That video was a golem-like. There, I said it. <laughs> it wasn't nearly as funny as the golem-like stuff. It was some funny yeah. bits. Like, the just drastic lack of self-awareness and then the cruelty. I was kind of surprised by that. <laughs> like, in retrospect, some of those some of those bits with the, the indie, because I remembered it, but I, I didn't remember it like that. Gone. That was like that video seven out of ten. Just seven out of ten is too good for any indie. Think, game, think of all the worst videos, all the crap videos out there that take up the one through six space. <laughs> <laughs> so this one's a seven. So complex though. Woo. Oh. All right, Mauler, let's start the third video. Let's go. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> no, no. Wonderfully, we have. We reached. will now begin our review of Star Wars Outlaws. Yeah. <laughs> Oh I'm not sure how we're gonna fit everything in because I just realized it's like so Saturday we got Rings of Power, the Joker's come out, and then we've got Joker Agatha like I think out, as well. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, lots of episodes of EFAP on the way, lots of episodes of EFAP movies on the way, lots of episodes mm. of 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 us talking about everything on the way. What else can I say? I want to do some gaming too. Wow. I like games. <sighs> we need to change. Games are pretty cool. Chain together I like again. Star so, Wars wait, wait. Outlaw game. Was Chain Together made by like an indie team? Because I don't want to play no fucking one to five out of ten. Games. That's like a somewhere between a one and a five, bro. <laughs> the higher you get, yeah. the higher the number. Same with Only Up. I think Only Up was made made by one guy, if I remember correctly. So we're Sorry. kind of an indie production oh, ourselves. Indie. So I guess we're like oh. a one out of five. Sense. Yeah, Damn, that's that sucks. yeah, and we don't even have a soundtrack, so no soundtrack. <laughs> Oh, that's the one. Right I think there. you stole that one. No, I didn't. I don't know. Oh, okay. I'm not an asset flip. How dare you? Well, now that we're nearing the end, <laughs> what we shall do is talk is to remind our people? guests here about their uh, their goings on, their up to dates, and what what's happening in their lives. And you know what? I'm going to start with. Theo, what have you oh. done since last being um, on EFAB? I might have, I might have made the Shadow of the Earth Tree thingy. Uh, <gasps> it, it's out there in the world. Yeah. Oh um, my it's, god! Everyone's watching it. It's kind of, kind of crazy to me. It's a sensation. <laughs> it, it is a seven yeah, out of ten it's video. A sensation. That it is in fact a seven out of ten. Yeah. yeah. Um, and yeah, uh, I'm hoping to have something else out within the next couple of weeks or so. Don't. Hold me to that. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> well, yeah, it's an extensive boy, breakdown of the DLC. And Theo, I'm honestly a little disappointed that you didn't begin with sighing and saying I didn't want to make this video. <laughs> <laughs> I was so ready for that. I was like, yes, 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 yes. Oh. I did. I did see that video though. It is very good. Uh, good job. It's Great, very data related. It tries to explain to you what's wrong and what's right and how we're right for being critical of Elden Ring. <laughs> That's the whole point of yeah. it. Um, yeah. the, I'm I'm like baffled by how broadly positive the response has been. So like I guess thanks anyone and everyone who watched in the chat for that because That's like great. I was expecting a lot more like anger, <laughs> but Plenty of people, even if they don't agree, are like perfectly content to just hear out what was said. So that that's really cool. Uh, I wasn't expecting that. Has it made it to any like Elden Ring communities where they have they been nice or? Uh, not that I'm aware of. I don't mm. think so. At least I haven't been informed of it having reached any dark recesses of the internet where I'm getting <laughs> fucking clowned on twenty four seven. Give it time. 
<laughs> we have to yeah, it'll happen. There is a link to said video in the description, I believe. And uh, yeah, it's kind of uh, it's kind of fun and exciting. It's uh, it's good shit, well edited. You put a lot of work into it, and we look forward to more. In Thank you. Mm -hmm. I look forward to making more. Yes. That's Metal. Fun. Oh god, that's me. What are you up to? What have you I been making to? more vidges? I mean, I don't even have one video. I have four hours. I have wow. four. Yes. Uh, yeah, Rings of Power episode one through three. Those wow. are out. I put out uh, a rando rant about uh, Outlaws, the Star Wars Outlaws. That seven out of ten uh, game. Yeah. That that seven out of ten game. Yeah. Uh, go watch those. Uh, I am finishing up episode four currently. Uh, fingers crossed that's going to be tomorrow. It's only a couple more minutes of visuals left. Uh, I know I'm very much behind, but you know I'm a wage slave, so I can only spend so much time <laughs> unfortunately mm. um but yeah i'm uh, i'm doing the whole season still don't you worry it's still coming but yeah uh that should be out there soon and then i'll go straight back to the episode five and torture myself some more while also still needing uh, having to watch the last two episodes and joker and yeah so yeah joker forge is happening on sunday that's gonna be fun stuff hopefully didn't hear good things about that so that's sad yeah, I'm a little a little cagey about that one. I was yeah. kind of worried that that was going to be the case. So yeah, yeah I'm going to go see that and uh, spooky games. I'm gonna, I'm trying to do uh, two spooky streams a week. Uh, currently playing through uh, Darkwood. Uh, it's like a, that's a neat a, game. A top down spooky game. I've been enjoying it quite a bit. The first stream. Uh, I think it's is pretty great so far. So I'm looking forward to do more of Seven this. Seven out of ten. Seven oh no, it's an indie game. Ten. Four out of ten. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm shilling again. I'm uh, just a little over 500 subs away from 10,000. So Woo! that's that's exciting. And if, when those 10,000 are reached before I get to Mahler, we, we're doing that Dark Souls Take 2 Dark marathon. Souls you force us to play Dark Souls 2 on stream if you if yeah, you subscribe to us. Really up to you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so oh, when boy. I'm over when when, when that's happening, uh, when I'm over there, we're gonna get drunk and play that game, and I'm sure it's gonna be fantabulous. You also suggested so, yeah, us for... co-oping Gollum, and I was like, <laughs> no, 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 thank you. <laughs> but yeah, tons of content, even by, on my side. Isn't that crazy? That's crazy to hear. Yeah, that that's it. Sub subscribe, ring the bell, stuff. <laughs> ring the subscription bell. Yeah, you got um, you you you've been tackling all the new cringe and uh. Yeah. When, when are you going to make your first praise video, Mel? All about how... Yeah, how come you're so negative? Yeah, doesn't Metal even like anything? I, I'm starting yeah. to wonder about you, you know? Rings of Power well, is jokes. what you would call a triple-A TV show, so it's kind of weird Seven that you've ten. been yeah, ripping it down to like such well, a low level. Well, joke's on you. The video was working on before. That is a praise, but I'm not going <gasps> to say what it is. <gasps> but that's kind of... Oh I'm, I'm going to still gonna treat me. It's is a it praise out? of criticism. That's what it is, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you got me. I but yeah, I, I already got things in the Why barrel for right him? after uh, Rings of Power. We 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 go we go hard, baby. <laughs> hey Theo, have you got a, a sub goal that makes you so you get to stream all of DS2 live as well? Oh, <laughs> uh, dude, not DS2. It's gone on, on the fifth thing. Go 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 go! All yeah, DLC bosses. Do it. Do it. It would be very like, funny. You know. Near four four thousand, I don't know, whatever. Sure. Then oh, you suddenly need to go you higher, just take it? down the Elden yeah. Ring DLC video and goes, "I'm sorry, I apologize to Elden Ring DLC <laughs> after what I've played. I'm so sorry." Do I even still, yeah, I do. Okay, I do have the game. Fuck. <laughs> <Just> fuck. <laughs> you refunded it in your dreams. It's still on your library. <laughs> I just couldn't remember if I played it on Steam or not. Mr. Moriarty, what are you up to as of late, sir? Uh, you know, I'm working <laughs> on stuff. Uh, I, I put out a video recently about Concord, and people seem to have uh, enjoyed that. But uh, I have I two videos that, video. that are... Very good. Thank you. Yeah, I, I enjoyed making that. Um, uh, but I have two videos that are super relevant to what we watched today, um, one of which was the IGN video. It's called uh, The Game So Bad Even IGN Gave Them Less Than a Six. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> God. It is a, an, a look at like the actual games and why they get these and, and uh, sort of the undecided, you know, part of IGN and, and the problems with IGN. And then there's a companion piece to that that's called The Problem with the Game Awards Jury, 
uh, which kind of talks about the incestuous nature and network of the journalists and the people who who are, are becoming these uh, jurists who decide what you know games win game awards. And uh, I think those two are are highly relevant to the content that we watched. I agree. Nice. So go and pursue those videos. They are quite chonky in terms of entertainment, engagement, content. They are the best kind of thing you could possibly want after this stream. And it'll probably make him feel a little better because it sounded like he was dying a couple of times in this stream. <laughs> it was really. so painful <laughs> to watch. Oh, Outer games. Wilds video I look forward to watching when I play that game, hopefully. That Outer Wilds video, it's such a failure of a video, but I'm so happy I made it. Uh, it, was really, good, it was a good video. I don't, I don't really know I, what that means. Oh, it did like 4,000 views. <laughs> like, really oh. bad. Really, really bad. But, Wait, but we allow people who have 4,000 views challenge. Ugh. On this show. I All really right. enjoyed making it. I spent many, many months on it. It's a three hour long, you know, uh, big philosophy video. And uh, it, it got metal to retweet it several times. He liked it so much. You know what? That sounds like a success. Outer Wilds is fucking I mean, awesome. Yeah. So I was very happy to see that video. <laughs> yeah, I thought that game is like special in a way very few games are. And yeah. I, I look forward to playing it soon. Fucking Outer Wilds is after. special in a way that very few games <laughs> yeah. are. Uh, yeah, true, actually. That much money getting burned on a pyre. I was uh, going to say uh, Gollum-like, but uh, <laughs> the genre. Well, yeah. Mr. Dev, what are you up to if you're there? I don't know. You are. Hello. I'm, I'm here. I'm here. Yep. I just uh, keep myself muted manually just because I start coughing or I'm slurping on start, soup too loud. You start answering Slur voices. Slurping yeah. Slurpo. <laughs> he's, he's regularly slurping on that soup. <laughs> it's all day. <laughs> all just, listen, man, I had, just... I had a big bowl of ramen for dinner tonight while doing this. So uh, Just what you need. Carbs. Well, I mean, in the <laughs> course of the stream, you would have it's ready to the next meal. <laughs> we, 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 well, into yeah. that time now. <laughs> I could have, I could have thawed out the rack of ribs and then slow cooked them in the oven and then enjoyed them and eaten them through nice. it by the time this whole stream was going on. <laughs> it's the so, I mean, I'm a, <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm a, I'm primarily a political YouTuber, and so I've been, I've been enjoying the political slop instead of the media slop, like you guys. So. A bunch of my recent videos, there's been some videos about ideas, there's been some videos about books, um, there's been some videos about like current events, like I talked about the uh, the story of the Haitian migrants who are apparently eating dogs and cats in Springfield, Ohio, which wasn't exactly true, it turns out, but I mean, that's how things go when it's an election cycle. You know, I've, I've watched debates with, you know, the presidential debates with my friends and stuff like that, and honestly, for, for me, what's coming up, because it, it, we're like... 35 days out from the election, it's pretty much all going to be all politics stuff. Um, I'm probably gonna have, I'm probably have to wait for my own Star Wars Outlaws video till after the election because there's just so much to cover right now. There's so much to go over. Which, I mean, it's it, it can be a bit soul-crushing sometimes, but also I do want to do it. I do, there are a bunch of things I do really want to talk about, so I'm working on that. A bunch of big projects will come out over the course of the next month. I think if I am going to do one video game related topic in the next few weeks it'll probably be dustborn because dustborn was an incredible train wreck and i loved it <laughs> well, it was a i watched harmful play uh quite a bit of it it was oh what an experience that must be yeah er put himself through it felt bad but you know what we all we all have to make sacrifice it's, it's like you know you take dustborn i'll take outlaws that sort of situation it's like we all gotta do the amount of people who told me on stream to play Dustborn, I was like, I can't, I can't. I just, I can only take so much. If you, metal, if you, it's put like on 20 hours long, and man. Play Dustborn, I'll give you a hundred dollars. <laughs> That's not enough <laughs> to what convince I mean? metal what to am torture I? himself. I'm not fucking boogie. <laughs> no, do it. It's, it's a high class a long war. game for what it is. Holy yeah, fuck. Put on blackface and play Dustborn. <laughs> Wow. I'll give you a hundred dollars. Mel's like hundred and ten. Hundred and ten. Hundred five. Don't be in the middle. Um also uh <laughs> last but not least would be Das. Um if there's anything you wanted to mention of any way, shape, or form. Um nothing on my end of things, although I did help with the plushy announcement. Like yeah. You made the awesome um, trailer. Hooray! Yeah. It was very good. Yeah. Help put together a couple of extra things of which I won't disclose, but you'll have a good time with them. 
Yes. Other than that, nothing really on my side. I just kind of just work. I do what I can. Yeah. Well, um, yeah, I suppose then we shall re-mention these wonderful new plonchoids. That's how you pronounce that, oh, the original so French. Clonchoids. Clonchoids. Oh, uh, Mall of the Longpire, <clears throat> Rags o' Lantern, Werewolf, yeah. Bringy the Raven, and the Hoodie. All available currently and shall be gone once the Halloween season is dead. Buried mm -hmm. until next year. So grab yours while you can. And uh, the more of them you collect together, the bigger the discount. So it's, uh, yes. it's quite, it's, they're like a family. You wouldn't want to separate them. Yeah, that's right. You wouldn't that's want to right. split a family. Right? I mean, you can wrap them all up in the hoodie, take them on adventures. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All in the pockets. That looks yeah, pretty yeah. big. Pretty big pockets. And I suppose before we head out, it's worth mentioning since it's going to come out tomorrow. I have a video <laughs> that's, that's releasing uh, with the help, significantly, from Fringy. Uh, we kind of alluded to it earlier. Going to be on Alien Romulus. Oh, oh goodness. Classic. Alien Romulus, wow. Though I feel the need to warn everybody in chat, it is not six hours long, okay? It's nice, short, and sweet, at least by my standards. What's funny is it's a really long <laughs> review to any normal people. But for, <laughs> for me, it's not long at all. Uh, it's, it's around about a 40-minute adventure through That's tiny. that wonderful film. But we'll say uh, we've been working on all kinds of things. That is one of the many things. And so you can expect that tomorrow. And hopefully Yay. you'll love it. Uh, at least I hope it entertains. It's gonna be. I mean, you guys know our perspective on that film. We're not exactly. We. It's not a seven out of ten, to put it lightly. <laughs> like it's it's <laughs> a little bit lower. It's more of an indie oh, game God, type look. of score. You know. IGN. Oh my God! We did a <laughs> three out of ten video. That's embarrassing. What did IGN give Alien Robbie? It was probably a fucking nine. Let me check. Let me check. Oh, they gave it an eight. Eight. Jesus Christ. Wow. I'm surprised. That's Why are they allowed? Is the like rags are the cons like relies too much on nostalgia or something like that? Uh let me scroll down to the bottom here and see what we got. Um it is eight. Great. Alien Romulus's back to basics approach to blockbuster horror boils everything Ugh. fans love about the tonally fluid franchise into one brutal, nerve wracking experience. <gasps> It was definitely really nerve wracking. That's man. true. Yeah. Mm. Well, <laughs> piece of shit. Anyway, <laughs> not what I would call kind to it, but what? like I said, hopefully you'll be Loved entertained. Uh, but yeah, you got lots of EFAP stuff all over the place. Just, just everywhere, man. It's, it's gets sticky. It's, it's all over. It's, you got Ew. Elm Street two. The gay one is on the way. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it was a controversial title at the time, but I think it really settled into I'm very uh, tempted to that. put that in the title. <laughs> <laughs> Even if it demonetizes it, will it will be worth it. The gay it one. It will be funny. That's the what matters. Um, and then, yeah, we got uh, the Rings of Power 7 and 8 getting broken down on Saturday for another fucking nine-hour EFAP. And that one will He's be loved. long. The amount of shit Just we have to say about will. episode 7, yeah. Oh, these past EFAPs have all been so long. They have. That's right. Buckle Oof. in. Buckle cool up, things buckers. happen around the spooky month. Dude, I'm going to overdose on Rings of Power this week. Ooh. Jesus Christ. I'm going to overdose on Mace for the moderation. That's not possible. <laughs> oh, no. Massively behind. Eregion. Mithril. Eregion. <laughs> That's how you're supposed to say it. The original Elven. Valinor. Galadriel. Oh, there'll be so much to talk about in that episode. It was uh, shocking. You've seen it now, Rex? Did you say or no? Huh? You, have you seen it? Yeah, I can't remember. No, remember he got mad about the spoiler, so I it's guess... Yeah. Bring you, that was he's nine hours it. ago. He may have watched it. I could have <laughs> watched it three or four times <laughs> in that time. You could have. Alana Pierce opened her mouth, and I'm like, dear God, I need to watch Rings of Power to watch this out of my brain. Oh, yeah. Um, let me truly. see. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Uh, all right, we're good. We're good. Oh my God, look at this wonderful gif. Really? Oh yes, this must have been the wind. <laughs> <clears throat> this is pew, essentially pew. outlaw. You know what? This is too kind. It works way stupider than this. <laughs> <I guess>. <laughs> <laughs> Unless Did the idea is the invincible grass. 
They're so fucking oblivious, you may as well be long grass at all times in the game. Just moving around, <laughs> sentient long grass. Because, yeah, okay, that's fair, actually. Must have been the wind. Must have been the wind is one of my favorite quotes. That was from Last of Us 2, wasn't it? Yeah. Or, or at least I remember <laughs> yeah, it starting there. Skyrim. Oh, okay. I don't know what it originated from, but the, um, I remember it coming <laughs> it up a lot for Last nothing. of Us 2. Just, yeah, the probably nothing shit is fantastic. There's always that. But anyway, we're probably going to wrap up there. Is there anything anybody wants to say before we do? No. Goodbye. Nope. <laughs> think I'm good. All right, no, then. I'm all set. Hey, those plushies, they really swell. And they are oh, really cool. Look at them go. You should, mm -hmm. you should get all of them, and then get some for your friends, and then get an extra pair in case something happens to the first pair. Mm. And then get an extra Absolutely. hoodie so your hoodie doesn't get cold. Yeah. <laughs> all righty then thank you all so much for joining us for such a long episode okay. of special thanks to all of the cast here for, for hanging in for that long for this disastrous set of horrifying things and mm -hmm. a special thank you of course to Star Wars Outlaws for providing such wonderful memories Yay. <laughs> thank, thank you so was. much the best goal of life good video game Okay, bye. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Oh, my God. Dank Ferric. <laughs> <laughs>